which is the way of Taiji. The third order chapter is the comprehension of many rules. The fourth order chapter is where the rules are further comprehended and the way of Taiji becomes more and more perfect. As for the fifth order article, it's the Genesis. Taiyin Yuan Shen, Sun Yuan Shen. As well as the Taiji Genjutsu that unites the two. Sure. In order to reduce the difficulty of the martial arts cultivation pathway, Lin Yuan divided the Yuan Shen of the fifth order piece into three levels. Tai in Yuan Shen. Solar Genesis. As well as the final Taiji Genjutsu. The latter evolved without the need to cultivate into the Taiji Yuan Shen. One only needs to cultivate the Sun Yuan Shen or Tai in Yuan Shen. This was similar to the Yin Yang realm of the third order chapter. In the world of Dragon and Tiger, the Celestial Masters, all of them cultivated either Tai Yin Wuji or Sun Wuji. As for the Taiji of Yin and Yang, it was only Lin Yuan who had cultivated it. Therefore, the three-stage chapter of the Martial Dao Evolution Pathway was also divided into three levels by Lin Yuan. Tai Yin Chapter. Sun Chapter. As well as the Tai Chi Chapter. These three levels are juxtaposed, depending on the cultivator's own talent to make a choice. Martial Cultivation System, after the fifth stage, the Yuan Shen can manage to leave the body and act alone, which is similar to certain special gifts of splitting. Lin Yuan suddenly thought in his heart. The talent split was a means possessed by a few special ethnic groups in the depths of the cosmic stars. It is possible to split into a body, similar to an out-of-body incarnation. And after Lin Yuan had cultivated to the fifth stage, the Yuan Shen that he had condensed would be similar to a bilocation. Although there was no flesh and blood. The power exerted purely with the power of the Yuan Shen was not too much weaker than the main body. Even better than the instance in some ways. For example, speed, without the limitations of the physical body, the Genjutsu was unbelievably fast. And size. Yuan Shen is the cohesion of soul power. Theoretically, it could be infinite. With the current strength of Lin Yuan's Yuan Shen, he was able to transform into a giant a million feet in size when he poured out his strength. I also have more than one Yuan Shen, the Yin God and Yang God can both act individually, equaling two doppelgangers. Lin Yuan thought secretly. Like the gift split, if the split falls. It would take a great deal to breed it again. There are even some gifted diversions that are dead and gone. However, as long as Lin Yuan's Yuan Shen did not fall at the same time as his principal body, Yin Shen, and Yang Shen, it will then be able to quickly evolve the other two. The way of Tai Chi, Yin, and Yang are in harmony, the extreme Yang of Yin, the extreme Yin of Yang, Yin, and Yang are inherently capable of converting into each other. Even if the Yang God was destroyed, the Yin God could quickly differentiate into a Yang God as long as it was still there. A few days later, Lin Yuan had almost finished organizing the Fifth Order chapter. Goddess of Wisdom Lin Yuan connected to the Goddess of Wisdom, intending to upload the Fifth Order chapter. Since he realized the importance of preaching, Lin Yuan naturally would not hide anything. Besides, with the difficulty of cultivating the Fifth Order piece, other evolvers, even if they were extremely talented, would only be able to cultivate a Yin God or Yang God at most. As for a Taiji Yuan Shen such as Lin Yuan, even if he cultivated it, it would be thousands and thousands of years later. And, experiencing the Five Realms World Shuttle, Lin Yuan vaguely realized that. As long as a founder like him was still alive, other evolvers who practiced the path of martial evolution were inherently suppressed by themselves. It was just like that suppression of the world's devils by Xiao Yuan. Of course, in the beginning, Lin Yuan's suppression of other people who practiced martial arts advancement was not yet obvious. However, such suppression will gradually increase as strength increases. Virtual Worlds Inside a spacious palace The old man wearing a crimson robe suddenly opened his eyes. At this moment, his eyes, which were burning like stars, were not emitting light and heat, and he was clearly able to barely control them. Finally, this secret art has been practiced. The Chikuan Star Lord closed his eyes, and when he opened them again, the pupil stars had disappeared. In order to cultivate this secret art, the Red Kuan Star Lord paid a huge price, even the star's star core, got dozens of them, and eventually refined them into his eyes. My good disciple should be waiting impatiently. The Red Kuan Star Lord had just practiced the secret technique when he thought of his newly accepted thirteen disciples. It couldn't be helped that during the cultivation of the secret art, most of his mind was in his eyes, and he was unable to suppress the power of the stellar star core, so after hastily accepting Lin Yuan, he resumed his seclusion. Good apprentice. Come and see me. The Red Kuan Star Lord's consciousness connected to the virtual world, and after determining that Lin Yuan was not in seclusion, but was in the online state, he immediately sent out an invitation. Kanglin Star, Middle Continent Manor. Lin Yuan had just finished uploading the fifth order chapter of the Pathway of Martial Progression. Then I received a request from the Lord of Chikuan Star. Good apprentice. Come and meet me. The voice from the Red Kuan Star Lord rang in his ears. Teacher is out. Lin Yuan immediately got up, his consciousness similarly connecting to the virtual world, and arrived within an expansive palace. Everything is fire red here. Greetings, Sensei. Lin Yuan bowed slightly towards the Red Kuan Star Lord who was seated on a high throne. Eh, get up. The Red Kuan Star Lord carefully sized up Lin Yuan. Suddenly his face changed slightly. 
although Lin Yuan did not synchronize his strength in the virtual world. In other words, currently, Lin Yuan's fleshly soul was still at the extreme stage of the fourth rank. However, what kind of vision was the Red Kuan Star Lord, after a few more glances, he vaguely noticed that Lin Yuan's mind power was already above the fourth rank. Good disciple, you're at the fifth rank? After a moment of silence, the Red Kuan Star Lord couldn't help but ask. This post ends tomorrow. I'm begging for a monthly ticket. Quill. End of chapter. Chapter 21, The Great Scholar of Evolution, Request for Subscription. A few days ago, I was lucky enough to enter the fifth rank. Lin Yuan did not deny that human civilization was vast and vast, and there were countless geniuses. One or two years to cross a large realm for a certain star realm or a few star realms. It might be considered rare, but if you look at the overall boundaries of human civilization, it's not so dazzling. Other than that, in the past, the Red Cohen Star Lord seized the star Siyokuan Pups and ascended to the heavens in a single step, and the extent of his legend spread throughout half of the human civilization's borders. So, as long as Lin Yuan remained a human, and without exposing the gate of 10,000 realms in the depths of his mind, even if one displayed even stronger talent, there would not be any problems, and would only be treated even more like a treasure by the Red Kuan Star Lord as well as the Goddess of Wisdom. More than two million years into the Star Ocean calendar, the alliance of human civilizations swept across the eight corners of the universe, beating the alien races back step by step, relying on nothing but those top-tier powerhouses. Even more important are the mechanisms for the protection of genius. Without this mechanism to provide a constant supply of fresh blood, it would not be possible to have a human civilization that is currently overpowering many alien races. It's really fifth order. The Red Cohen Star Lord was silent, he had just thought it was an illusion. It was only when he heard Lin Yuan admit it that he immediately realized that this new disciple of his was even more talented than he had expected. Comprehending the Xian Huang evolutionary pathway can only mean that one is suitable for practicing this evolutionary pathway, but what heights can one actually go to in the future? Still unknown. However, with Lin Yuan's current performance, there was no need to say much about his future potential. Let me slow down. The Red Cohen Star Lord rubbed his brow. Originally, when he was in seclusion, he had already arranged a series of cultivation plans for Lin Yuan. The Red Kuan Star Lord was good at teaching his disciples, and when he came out of the gate earlier, he met Lin Yuan, and in passing, he once again browsed through the video of the battle in the ring a few times. From this, he came up with a training program for Lin Yuan. This cultivation plan was completely customized for Lin Yuan. Precise to every step of the subsequent cultivation. But now, Lin Yuan broke through to the fifth rank. The set of cultivation plans that the Red Kuan Star Lord had come up with could naturally only be nullified. This was not due to the fact that that training program of the Red Kuan Star Lord stopped at just the Fourth Order chapter. As a matter of fact, the Red Kuan Star Lord's cultivation plan had already encompassed the Sixth Order chapter, even giving advice on how to break through the Sixth Order. However, this cultivation program was based on the Lin Yuan and the previous perception of the Red Kuan Star Lord. Now that Lin Yuan had stepped into the fifth rank, and his talent exceeded the Red Kuan Star Lord's expectations, using this cultivation program again would obviously be somewhat out of place. Simply put, this training program was no longer worthy of the current Lin Yuan. Let's see. The Red Kuan Star Lord was cautious. He knew very well that the more talented a person was, the less they could interfere with instruction. With the height of the Red Kuan Star Lord, if it was an ordinary evolver, he could naturally give direct instructions or even personally plan the path behind him. However, if it was a top genius evolver, Star Lord Chikuan would have to be cautious, as he did not know if the path he had mapped out for this top genius evolver would necessarily be appropriate. Geniuses often go out of their own way, and others who forcefully interfere will only suppress this genius. I never thought that I, Red Cohen, would one day dwell on such things. The Red Cohen Star Lord fretted a bit in his heart. The twelve disciples that he had taken in earlier did not display talents that could reach the level of Lin Yuan's. So Star Lord Chikuan taught them very casually. You go back first. I'll think about it. The Red Kuan Star Lord observed Lin Yuan for half a day and after chatting with him for a few moments, he once again fell into deep thought. Yes. Lin Yuan bowed and his figure disappeared in place. As Lin Yuan left. The empty Crimson Palace was once again only one person, the Red Kuan Star Lord. What to cultivate? The Red Kuan Star Lord frowned in agonizing thought. Red. The Red Kuan Star Lord suddenly spoke. Master, Little Red is in. A mechanical voice rang out, and it was none other than the Red Kuan Star Lord's intelligent assistant Little Red. That rule crystal I collected 80,000 years ago, it should still be there. The Red Cohen Star Lord spoke. Yes, Master. Little Red replied immediately. Send that rule crystal, to my disciple. The Red Cohen Star Lord pondered for a moment and said. Master, that's a rule crystal. Little Red was slightly stunned, it had long since evolved into an intelligent being with its own thoughts and emotions since it had followed the Red Cohen Star Lord for long years. Yes. Seeing that the Red Cohen Star Lord did not say anything, Little Red could only do as he was told. Kanglin Star, Middle Continent Manor. Lin Yuan disconnected from the virtual world connection. I also don't know what the teacher is calling me over for. 
Lin Yuan was puzzled in his heart, guessing that his crossing over to the fifth rank might have disrupted some of the Red Kuan Star Lord's plans. But there wasn't much Lin Yuan could do. In front of a powerful person like the Red Kuan Star Lord, Lin Yuan could not hide his strength at all. This time, when he met the Red Kuan Star Lord, Lin Yuan did not even synchronize with the virtual world. But he was still detected by the Red Kuan Star Lord in terms of his true strength. The power of the mind. Lin Yuan thought secretly. The power of the mind was the most fundamental power of an evolved person, and this time, it was precisely because the Red Kuan Star Lord had detected the power of the mind that overrode the fourth rank that he judged that Lin Yuan had crossed over into the fifth rank. Just as Lin Yuan was contemplating, the solemn, cool voice of the Goddess of Wisdom rang out. Honorable fifth level citizen Lin Yuan, after final determination, the fifth level piece you uploaded is worth 200,000 merit points. 200,000 merit points. A smile appeared on Lin Yuan's face. It must be known that this was not the value of the pathway of martial evolution, but rather the value of just the fifth order piece. The likelihood of the martial way evolution pathway advancing to the sixth order is 95%. The likelihood of advancing to the seventh order is 20%, and the likelihood of advancing to the eighth evolutionary pathway is half a percent. Lin Yuan immediately glanced at the updated information on the martial Tao advancement pathways. Along with the uploading of the fifth order piece, the goddess of wisdom would surely redetermine all the information of the martial way evolution pathway, and ultimately come up with an updated conclusion. The likelihood of N advancing to the sixth order hasn't reached 10%? Lin Yuan had some regrets. Unbeknownst to them, of the countless evolutionary pathways recorded by the current human civilization alliance, there was simply no evolutionary pathway under the sixth order that could definitely advance to the sixth order. Most fifth order evolutionary pathways have only a 30% or 40% likelihood of advancing to sixth order, and more than 50% is already considered rare. Nowadays, the possibility of the martial Tao evolutionary pathway to advance to the sixth order had reached 95%, and it was definitely counted as the topmost cluster in the many fifth order evolutionary pathways. The possibility of advancing to the seventh rank has increased by 10%, with an additional half a percent possibility of advancing to the eighth rank. Lin Yuan nodded slightly. It could be seen that Lin Yuan's uploading of the Fifth Order chapter had brought about a qualitative change in the path of martial evolution. In fact, this could be predicted, after all, in the Fifth Order chapter, the method of condensing the Yuan Shin was definitely an incomparably rare means. Although Lin Yuan estimated that the vast majority of evolvers in the later generations had only one Yuan Shin that they had condensed, this was an analogous means to the Talon Split Body. The latest ranking of the current Chikuan Evolution Ranking. 53rd? Lin Yuan glanced at the updated rankings of the Martial Dao Advancement Pathways. Song Lan Evolution Ranking was still number one. And on the Red Koan Evolutionary Ranking, from the original hanging top 100, he was among the 53rd. In fact, in terms of potential, even the top 50 evolutionary pathways on the Red Koan Evolutionary Ranking, there were quite a few that had a lower likelihood of advancing to the 8th rank than the Martial Dao Evolutionary Pathway. But nay, these evolutionary pathways were basically 7th order evolutionary pathways, which pressed over the Martial Evolutionary Pathways by two levels. The rankings on the evolution list were based on many factors, and potential was only one aspect. 5th level citizen to 6th level citizen. You need half a million merit points? Why don't you go grab it? Lin Yuan sighed, even if he had created and killed his way into the top 53 of the Red Koan evolution ranking in terms of martial evolution, adding up all the merit points he had harvested, he was still far away from the half a million merit points required to advance to a 6th level citizen. One can only imagine how difficult it is to promote a 6th level citizen. Even Lin Yuan was like this, and for other evolvers, if they wanted to gather such a huge sum of merit, it was estimated that it would take thousands and thousands of years. However, high-ranking citizens, who have many privileges for the human civilization, have to make great sacrifices if they want to enjoy these privileges. Lin Yuan thought secretly. Although half a million merit points, he couldn't come up with it this time, but the next time, the next time at most, could he still not come up with it? Chikuan's main planet virtual world. In the central plaza area, numerous evolvers were chatting casually in twos and threes. Of course, most of the topics that the evolvers talked about were on the martial arts evolution pathways. It couldn't be helped that the top 100 evolution paths on the Red Coin evolution list didn't necessarily change for thousands of years and tens of thousands of years, and everyone had chatted about every single evolution path on it. Basically, I've talked about everything I can. The martial evolution pathway, on the other hand, had just killed its way into the evolution list not long ago, even if it only occupied the top 100 at the end. However, it also had an extremely high degree of heat, especially the incredibly fast promotion speed of the Martial Dao Evolutionary Pathway, which was a source of great interest to many evolvers. I don't know which evolutionary great scholars' experiments were actually dropped into the Red Koan Starfield. Evolutionary scholars, that's a human treasure alongside, no. Even more important than high-level evolvers. Numerous evolvers and high-ranking citizens whispered. In human civilization, the status of evolutionary great scholars was incredibly high, and many evolutionary great scholars were not good at fighting and slaying, but their contribution to human civilization was in no way inferior to those high-level evolutionists who were always fighting against alien races on the border battlefields. The prerequisite for wanting to become a great scholar of evolution was to open up a brand new 8th order evolutionary pathway. 
or discoveries such as technological inventions that are equivalent to eighth-order evolutionary pathways. This is an evolutionary path that can continuously produce eighth-order revolvers, which can bless the human race for millions and millions of years to come. When do you guys say that the Marshall Way evolution pathway will continue to improve its ranking? A fourth-order revolver asked curiously. If the Marshall Dow evolution pathway came from the hands of a certain evolutionary grand scholar, then the final ranking would definitely be more than just the top 100 of the Chikuan evolution ranking. Continue to improve the ranking a short time should not be able to do it. A third-class citizen couldn't help but say. Even if one was a great scholar of evolution, it was impossible to randomly create an evolutionary pathway that had the potential to reach the seventh or even the eighth order. The establishment of an evolutionary pathway is something that requires heavy consideration and finally the approval of the three goddesses to confirm it. That's what I thought. The Yuan great scholar who founded the Marshall Dao evolutionary pathway is certainly knowledgeable in the past and present, but the evolutionary list of my Chikuan star realm isn't for just anyone, and hasn't that evolutionary pathway stood the test of time? Another revolver spoke up as he stepped forward, raising his hand to point at the tall and lofty Chikuan evolutionary ranking, finally stopping at the very end of the Marshall Dao evolutionary pathway. I'm betting the rankings won't change for at least the next three years. Before this evolver could finish speaking, it was time for the Chikuan evolution ranking to be updated daily. Only the hundred evolution pathways on the evolution list began to blur. Several breaths later. The names of all the evolutionary pathways became clear once again. Ha! Huh? The evolved person who stood up suddenly realized that the evolutionary pathway he was referring to was no longer the martial evolutionary pathway. I'll go. This evolved person immediately sensed that something was wrong. The eyes looked directly upward. Finally, at the 53rd position, he had found a path of martial arts advancement. And at this point. Central Plaza area. The many evolvers and high-ranking citizens once again exploded. The Marshall Dao evolution pathway had continuously crossed dozens of places, soaring from the top 100 to the top 53, simply shattering their three views. This wasn't one of those planetary evolution lists, but rather, it was the Chikuan Starfield's evolution list, which included all the evolutionary pathways of over a million living planets in the entire starfield. The evolutionary pathways that were able to make it onto the Chikuan evolutionary list were all not experiencing many tests. Not to mention crossing dozens at a time, even if it was only one or two, it was incomparably difficult, and one needed to accomplish a major breakthrough somewhere in order to do so. Fifth Order Piece? The Martial Progression Pathway has been updated with a Fifth Order Chapter. It should be this one that caused the rankings of the Martial Progression Pathways to skyrocket. Buy it and study it. I'd like to see what it is that makes the Martial Dao directly surpass 40 or 56th order evolutionary pathways. In the Central Plaza area, there were immediately quite a number of evolvers that began to purchase the fifth order chapter of the Martial Dao evolutionary pathway. Cosmic Human Frontier. A huge planet somewhere in the vast star field near the east. The planet was immense, surpassing the higher life planets, and numerous institutes were built on it. In one of the highest research institutes, an old man in a white research suit was looking at the light screen in front of him. Infinite data emerged from the light screen, and many formulas and conclusions flashed by. A almost over. This old man closed his eyes, intending to rest for a while. The consciousness connects to the virtual world and enters the forum of the founder's world. Another reply to the post I left back then? This old man looked a little surprised, he had left a question on the founder's forum 23,000 years ago. It's sensing a rule well. It's better to sense multiple rules. Over the years, one by one, people have spoken out under this question. But none of those answers satisfied the old man. Look. The old man immediately began to enter this post below. Anyway, it's kind of rewarding to be idle and take a break and look at the problems you used to face. Naturally, it's to sense a rule, how many rules are there in the world, to sense each kind, even those who are high up in the high tower of evolution can't do it, right? Only sensing one rule will ultimately have limitations, if it's possible. Naturally one has to sense multiple rules. The old man looked over the responses from recent years and kept shaking his head, apparently all of them had failed to satisfy him. Until he saw the last reply. This reply is dated the latest, just over a month ago. Sense a certain rule, and then use that to control all paths. The old man was slightly stunned, a look of surprise on his face. End of chapter. Chapter 1 I think your view on the path of martial arts evolution is incomplete, requesting subscription. To use a single path to control all paths? A large amount of data quickly flashed through the old man's eyes. The possibility of such an approach is clearly being postulated. In fact, it's good to sense a rule. It's better to sense multiple rules. As early as 20,000 years ago, there was a near-standard answer. That's looking at itself. If you are naturally close to multiple rules, it is naturally good to sense multiple rules. If you only have a high affinity for a certain rule, then naturally it's better to prioritize sensing that rule. Just for now. This latest reply. But it is giving the old man another direction. Nope. If you want to use one path to control all paths, the first thing is that the one path here should have a crushing suppression of the all paths. If it's just a Dao at the same level, on what basis can one Dao be used to control all the paths? The old man had deduced half a dozen times and hit a dead end. 
but in this way, it is indeed possible to do so. The old man was so radiant that he couldn't even care about the data that kept surfacing on the light screen next to him. No, I need to talk to this old man. The old man immediately clicked on the avatar of the person who gave this reply, wanting to directly obtain the other party's contact information. Not enough authority? The old man blinked. I'm at least an 8th level citizen, can I still not have enough authority? The old man bristled. See if you can. Once again, the old man's eyes flashed with a multitude of data. Yet the next moment. A solemn, cool voice came. Great scholar Taiye, you are acting against Article 13 of the Human Alliance Charter, and if you continue, you will be punished accordingly. Hey, goddess of wisdom. I just want to try out the information blockade laid down by you three goddesses, whether there are any loopholes or not, definitely not against the meaning of the charter. The old man's eyes data immediately stopped flowing, and he explained with a smile. Great scholar Taya, whether or not there is a loophole will be dealt with accordingly, and it has nothing to do with you. The goddess of wisdom's tone did not fluctuate up and down. That's fine. The old man continued to sit down. By the way goddess of wisdom. Why does the citizen who gave this reply have such a level of information blocking that even I can't query the other person's information? The old man paused for a moment and immediately inquired testily. One must know that the old man was an 8th level citizen and a rare evolutionary great scholar, whose status could be ranked in the top 3 in dozens of surrounding starfields. Great scholar Taiye, you do not have sufficient authority to know about this. The goddess of wisdom replied faintly. Oh. The great scholar of Taiye was deep in thought. Could it be that the other party was also a great scholar, and the kind of great scholar who studied top secret results? Otherwise it wouldn't be so bad that he couldn't see any information at all. Just. Come honestly. After half a day's thought, the great scholar of Taiye realized that there was no possibility for him to take advantage of the situation. So he left his own question under the reply of using one Tao to oversee 10,000 ways. As soon as the person who gave this reply comes online and enters the founder's world, he or she will see it. Kanglin Star. Mid-Continent Manor. Lin Yuan sat cross-legged. The light screen in front of him floated with a lot of information on the pathways of martial arts advancement. First Order Chapter, 36783. Second Order Chapter, 494. Third Order Chapter, 0. Lin Yuan watched the number of evolvers at each stage of the Martial Dao Evolution Pathway. In the Cosmic Human Alliance, evolvers purchasing evolutionary pathways were required to purchase them under their real names, and after becoming an evolver, they had to go to the Evolver Association to register. Afterwards, if you have a breakthrough, you also need to go to the Evolutionary Association to update your rank information. From this and then the official unified data of the human civilization, it was naturally possible to obtain the number of evolvers of each order. Of course, there would be errors, such as an evolver breaking through to the second order, but forgetting to update the order information because something came up. However, this is a relatively rare occurrence and is within the normal margin of error. Not a single person has cultivated to the third order chapter until now? Lin Yuan thought secretly. The third stage chapter of the Martial Dao evolutionary pathway had already touched on shallow rule perception. When Lin Yuan first opened this stage, he was in the world of divine warriors and had many divine weapons to refer to, coupled with his heaven-defying enlightenment. As for the other evolvers in the main world, they obviously didn't have Lin Yuan's treatment. Thus, even with a complete guide such as the Martial Dao Evolution Pathway that Lin Yuan had opened up, wanting to cross over to the third stage chapter was not an easy task. Make an explainer video sometime. Lin Yuan thought silently in his heart. Since spreading one's own evolutionary pathway would be beneficial to the ultimate leap in the future, Lin Yuan naturally wanted to find ways to reduce the difficulty for other evolvers to cultivate the martial arts evolutionary pathway. This move kills two birds with one stone. Not only is it able to boost the number of people practicing the martial way evolutionary pathway evolution, it could also generate more income for itself, and with a special explanation video, the other evolvers who were watching might, if they were enlightened, turn to step into the field of martial arts. More than a hundred more people have purchased the fifth order piece. Lin Yuan looked at the number of martial Dao progression pathways sold and found that the number after the fifth order chapter was 126. It means that 126 people have already purchased the fifth order piece. The pricing given by Lin Yuan when he uploaded the 5th order chapter, was 500 million. 1st order episode, 10,000. 2nd order chapter, half a million dollars. 3rd order chapter, 5 million. 4th order chapter, 50 million dollars. 5th order article, 500 million. When more than a hundred copies of the 5th order piece were sold, it was equivalent to selling more than 50 billion dollars. Even after the 37 split, as well as the deduction of the relevant taxes, Lin Yuan ended up with more than 10 billion dollars in his hands. This is just a few days after uploading, and as time passes, more and more purchasers will come. Even many evolvers, even if they didn't cultivate, would buy it to study and research. After all, the Martial Way Evolutionary Pathway, now ranked in the Chikuan Evolutionary Ranking, was 53. Fame-wise, the Martial Evolution Pathway was greater, after all, achieving a leap of dozens of places in a short period of time was more likely to inspire curiosity in other evolvers. Evening. Lin Yuan ended his cultivation. 
Come outside the main building and get ready for dinner with your parents and sister. Since Lin Yuan was, most of the time, in cultivation. The family didn't see each other much, even if they lived on the same estate. That was why Lin Yuan would specialize in coming out for a meal every once in a while. Brother, I'm now an entry-level evolver, her younger sister Lin Yi ate while bragging to Lin Yuan. Actually, it was a very normal thing for Lin Yi to become an entry-level evolver so quickly. When Lin Yuan stepped into the fourth stage, he performed an ekphrasis for Lin Yi. With Lin Yuan's strength, under the E-gene and marrow cleansing, Lin Yi's physique bottomed out. So whichever evolutionary path you take, it's easy, after all, the roots are there. Of course, this kind of ease is only reflected in the first order, at most the second order, until the second order of 10 paragraphs 11 paragraphs, it can only rely on themselves. Xiao Yuan, you're not too young, even if your main focus is on the path of evolution, you should still consider having a child. Mother Lu Qiong couldn't help but say. Nowadays, because of Lin Yuan, the Lin family had leapt from an insignificant family in Dongning City to become the topmost family in Kanglin Star. Mother Lu Qiong would occasionally connect to the virtual world, and I don't know how many of Kanglin Star's big families and powers wanted to introduce their pearl in the palm of their hand to Lin Yuan. There's no rush on this. We'll talk about it when the time comes. Lin Yuan said casually. The powerful evolvers of the main world have different attitudes towards heirs. Many evolvers who concentrated on the path of evolution felt that heirs were just redundant, and Lin Yuan held pretty much the same view. No matter where or what period of time, one's own strength is always the foundation of everything. As for heirs, it's just a matter of numbers piling up. As long as Lin Yuan was around, even if there was only one person, they were still the top family nobles. If Lin Yuan was gone one day, even if he possessed more children and descendants, it would be of little use. Rats from a sinking ship. Just as the family was chatting. Master, someone has come to visit. The voice of the intelligent assistant rang in his ears. Who? Lin Yuan inquired. Kanglin star consul Song Wuyang. Inside the main floor parlor. Lin Yuan and Song Wuyang sat looking at each other. Worthy of being an evolutionary genius that comes out once in hundreds of thousands of years from our Kanglin star. Song Wuyang was satisfied with Lin Yuan. Not long ago, in the ring match, Lin Yuan crushed the entire field with his fourth rank strength. One must know that the birth of a fourth order revolver under the age of a hundred in Kanglin planet was not a bad boost to the performance of a consul like him. It was just a fluke. Lin Yuan shook his head and said. A fluke? In the hundreds of thousands of years of the Kanglin star, is Mr. Lin the only one who got lucky? Song Wuyang joked. However, regarding the matter of the Red Cohen Star Lord's test, Mr. Lin doesn't need to take it to heart. Song Wuyang said comfortingly. It wasn't a secret that Lin Yuan hadn't passed the Seven Star Cave Test. Although Lin Yuan was a Fourth Order Revolver. There were as many as tens of thousands of Fourth Order Revolvers who participated in the Seven Star Cave Test at that time, and very few of them eventually passed the test. The Seven Star Cave Test opened by the Red Koan Star Lord targeted the comprehensive aspects of the test taker, strength was only one type and it did not account for a high percentage. Pity. Lin Yuan shook his head slightly, showing a hint of regret in time. In the ring match, Lin Yuan had only displayed his strength at the fourth rank, and it was only through his own eyesight, coupled with the fact that he was watching the source video transmitted by the Goddess of Wisdom, that the Red Koan Star Lord was able to ascertain that Lin Yuan had already begun to perceive the rules. Eventually become a gold stripe or dealer. As for the others? Even if one existed at the same level as the Red Koan Star Lord, if one did not have the source video, one would still not be able to confirm Lin Yuan's true details. It just felt like Lin Yuan was just an ordinary fourth order. And there were tens of thousands of such fourth order, among the evolvers who entered the Seven Star Cave Test. As a result of this, Lin Yuan's failure to pass the Seven Star Cave World Test was a normal thing in the eyes of outsiders. Very inconspicuous. Consul Song has come over this time too. After the two exchanged pleasantries for a moment, Lin Yuan took the initiative to ask. There's something I need to trouble Mr. Lin about. Song Wuyang paused for a moment and asked tentatively, Mr. Lin is my Kanglin star, the youngest fourth order revolver, we I intend to invite Mr. Lin to become an honorary professor on behalf of the Kanglin Evolution Academy? Don't worry, it's just an honorary professor, except for the first few classes where Mr. Lin has to show up, you can come and go as you please later on. In the future, even if Mr. Lin leaves Kanglin star. As long as he doesn't voluntarily remove the title of honorary professor, he'll be able to keep enjoying the many treatments of an honorary professor. After Song Wuyang finished speaking, he carefully observed Lin Yuan's reaction. Kanglin Evolution Academy is the highest evolution academy in Kanglin Star, which gathers the most promising young generation of the current Kanglin Star. Since it was the younger generation, naturally they were all not very old, and Lin Yuan, as a fourth order revolver under a hundred years of age, had a lot of influence among the young people. If Lin Yuan was able to become an honorary professor of the Kanglin Evolutionary Academy, it would definitely be able to cause no small amount of motivation to those students. After all, the idol was right there in the school, and which of those students didn't muster up enough energy to study and cultivate? No problem. Lin Yuan thought for a moment and agreed. The main thing is that this honorary professor, really very free, there is no binding on him, and even if he gives his students lessons, it is also in the virtual world, and he doesn't even have to go out of the manor. 
in addition to receiving a salary of 100,000 civilized coins per month. Of course, with the current wealth of Lin Yuan, it wasn't this amount of money that he cared about. Rather, occasionally instructing other revolvers was a kind of self-summarization for Lin Yuan, and there would be unexpected gains under the counterintuitive enlightenment. In that case, then it's a deal. Song Wuyang was relieved, before he came, he was really afraid that Lin Yuan would refuse. Since he had agreed to become an honorary professor of the Kanglin Evolutionary Academy. Lin Yuan was also embarrassed to not even show his face. In the virtual world, the principal of the Kanglin Higher Evolutionary Academy, as well as various professors and experts, personally received Lin Yuan. Professor Lin is young and promising, we old guys, we are really ashamed of ourselves. Professor Chu said smilingly. He was also the most senior among the professors, not only as a professor, but also as a vice-chancellor. I also didn't expect that I would be able to see one, such a talented evolver in my lifetime. Professor Lu couldn't help but say, glancing at Lin Yuan. After the many chats on the field for a while, the topic naturally shifted to evolutionary pathways. After all, everyone is either an expert or a professor, and is usually exposed to aspects of the evolutionary field that are easy to talk about. And since we're talking about evolutionary pathways, we definitely have to mention the martial arts evolutionary pathway, which has been a big hit lately. Even in the main planet of the Red Koan Starfield, the Martial Dao Advancement Pathway had caused an uproar, and Song Lan Star, as the initial planet of the Martial Dao Advancement Pathway, naturally had a higher level of heat. The professors and experts in the arena had basically purchased the first three stages of the Martial Way Evolution Pathway for their research. The experts and professors on the field chatted hotly, and Professor Chu saw Lin Yuan sitting there without speaking. In order not to let Lin Yuan feel isolated, Professor Chu then took the initiative and said, Professor Lin, I wonder what your views are on the path of martial arts advancement? The words came out. Everyone was quiet. Full of anticipation, he looked at Lin Yuan. They also wanted to hear what this most gifted Evolver Kanglin star had ever seen had to say. My thoughts on the path of martial evolution? Lin Yuan's complexion flushed with a hint of eccentricity. If it was any other question, he wouldn't necessarily be able to answer it. But there was naturally nothing wrong regarding the path of martial evolution. The pathway of martial evolution is rooted in qi and blood. Lin Yuan roughly stated his opinion, but it was limited to the first and second orders. It's hard to tell just by talking about it when it's too high up in the hierarchy. The surrounding experts and professors listened intently and nodded from time to time. When Lin Yuan finished speaking, everyone discussed in low voices. A few moments later, Professor Lu talked with the next few professors for a few moments before speaking, Professor Lin, your understanding is very good, it's just that it's a bit one-sided and can't reflect the true depths of the Wudao progression pathway. My understanding of the path of martial evolution. Somewhat one-sided? Lin Yuan fell into deep thought. Two over. The double moon is almost over. I'm begging for a monthly ticket. Quill. End of chapter. Chapter 2 Rule Crystallization, Request for Subscription. Looking at Professor Liu whose eyes were glowing, a hint of eccentricity flared up under Lin Yuan's eyes. If it was compared to the understanding of the views on the pathways of martial evolution, not to mention the Professor Liu in front of him, even those evolutionary great scholars of the human civilization could not possibly surpass Lin Yuan. Because the pathway of martial evolution was simply opened up and created by Lin Yuan, how could other people compare? It was as if the questions were all from Lin Yuan, and what the answers were was entirely up to him, and did outsiders dare the questioner? Of course, the identity of the founder of the evolutionary pathway is too important. Especially if it is still the current hot pathway of martial evolution. Lin Yuan naturally wouldn't admit his identity here. It was important to realize that most of the evolvers and high-ranking citizens of the Chikuan Starfield were now in agreement that the martial evolution pathway was an experiment of a certain towering evolutionary great scholar. What kind of person was a grand scholar of evolution? That was the absolute top level of human civilization, whether it was his own strength or his contribution to human civilization, it was indisputable. Those alien races outside of the human civilization were incredibly eager to assassinate an evolutionary great scholar. A great scholar of evolution might not even have been to the border battlefield, but his influence on the border battlefield was incomparably far-reaching, researching evolutionary pathways, as well as many secret arts and even technological achievements. It can even determine whether a local war is won or lost. It was a pity that the importance of the evolutionary grand scholars was known to the foreign races and naturally known to the human races as well, and every evolutionary grand scholar was protected to death. Besides, the evolutionary great scholars were not weak, and they also had their own means of preserving their lives. The alien race could not even determine the location of the evolutionary grand scholar, not to mention assassinating him. If Lin Yuan were to reveal his identity as the founder of the Martial Way Advancement Pathway, the alien race would definitely not hesitate to launch an assassination. Even at the cost of several sixth-ranked powerhouses who had infiltrated the human frontier, he would carry out a frantic assassination of Lin Yuan. Why the martial arts evolutionary pathway is considered a test case for evolutionary great scholars? Why are other evolutionary pathways not subject to such speculation? It wasn't because of the mind-blowingly high potential of the martial progression pathway. Ordinary founders of evolutionary pathways simply cannot create evolutionary pathways at this level. 
Only evolutionary scholars, who are well versed in the past and present, knowledgeable and knowledgeable, can create this potential evolutionary pathway at a high level. If the foreign races knew that the pathway of martial evolution was created by an evolver who was not even a sixth order evolver, where could they possibly allow Lin Yuan to continue to grow? The martial Dao evolutionary pathway had the potential to grow to the eighth order evolutionary pathway, and Lin Yuan had a tiny chance of becoming the next evolutionary grand scholar of the human civilization. Assassinating Lin Yuan, even if it cost even more, was much lighter than the future battlefield of the clans, where billions and billions of alien powerhouses would fall because of Lin Yuan's research inventions. Lin Yuan's thoughts collected. Listen to Professor Liu's insights. I feel that the pathway of martial evolution is not purely based on qi and blood, but rather a fusion of spiritual power, soul power, mind power, and many other. Professor Liu spoke eloquently. The principle of the Kanglin Evolutionary Academy nodded slightly. Think Professor Liu has a point. Of course, this didn't mean that what Lin Yuan said was unreasonable. Studying the path of martial arts evolution, everyone has everyone's opinion opinion. That's normal. Lin Yuan's evolutionary talent was indeed the best in Kanglin Star. When you are under a hundred years old, you cultivate to the fourth order. But that's exactly why. Most of Lin Yuan's time was definitely spent on cultivation. On the contrary, Professor Liu was certainly not as evolutionarily gifted as Lin Yuan. However, he had begun to conduct research in the last few years. Ever since the martial evolution pathway killed the Tsonglan evolutionary ranking. It was more than normal to have a deeper understanding of the pathways of martial evolution. Okay. Professor Liu and Professor Lin each has a point to make. We all have different opinions, but we are all working for human civilization, Professor Lin, you must in mind, Professor Liu is just like that, sometimes he even dares to dislike the principle. Professor Chu laughed and rounded off the conversation. It's okay. Lin Yuan shook his head slightly. He didn't really care that Professor Liu had just questioned him. The main reason was that Lin Yuan didn't care too much, and every word Professor Liu said was touting the pathway of martial arts advancement, and by touting the pathway of martial arts advancement, wasn't he touting Lin Yuan, the founder? That's fine. Professor Chu nodded readily. Return to the virtual world personal space. Lin Yuan pondered in his mind, having just talked to those professors. The mention of the understanding of the views on the pathways of martial Tao advancement had given him more insights and feelings. Cultivation and learning is never something that happens behind closed doors, but occasionally involves contact with the outside world. Reverse heavenly enlightenment was a deep enlightenment based on the height that Lin Yuan was at. If the more Lin Yuan knew and the wider he saw, the greater the effect of the reverse heavenly gnosis would naturally be. Finish examining yourself. Lin Yuan discovered a small red dot on the column of the founder's virtual world. Someone contacted me? Lin Yuan immediately knew the meaning of this red dot. When he carried out the fourth shuttle, Lin Yuan directly shut down any means of contacting him in order to avoid being disturbed. The founder's world message alerts are, naturally, included in this. Who will contact me? Lin Yuan was a bit curious, he was new to the founder's world and didn't know anyone, let alone have any friends. Soon. Lin Yuan then entered the founder's virtual world. Is that the owner of that post? Lin Yuan's expression was slightly grave. The problem with this post is. Is it better to sense a certain kind of rule, or is it better to sense multiple rules? At that time, Lin Yuan gave a reply based on himself, and originally didn't think he would get a reply from the post owner. After all, that post was published 23,000 years ago. The owner of the post may have died of old age long ago. How do you control all paths with one path? Is it the avenue of time? Or the space avenue? Lin Yuan looked at the reply the post owner had given himself and fell into deep thought. He was using his own way of Taiji to control the 10,000 ways, as for the way of time? The space avenue? It was too far away for Lin Yuan. Regardless of whether it was the rules of time, or the rules of space, they were all one of the supreme rules, belonging to the rules that only existences beyond the sixth rank were qualified to comprehend. Lin Yuan was only at the fifth rank now, and even if he possessed heaven-defying enlightenment, it was impossible for him to have any feeling for time and space. With the rules that one has mastered as the skeleton, and the many other rules as the flesh and blood, one will naturally be able to use the one to control the 10,000 paths. Lin Yuan pondered for a while, but still voiced his insight. Endlessly far away, a huge research planet. The great scholar of Taiye was yawning, now that his research was over, the next few decades were leisurely. Eh? There's a reply? The great scholar of Taiye immediately came to life. In order to be the first to know that their questions have been answered. The great scholars of Taiye have listed the founder's world as a special concern. As soon as there is any news, he or she will receive it immediately. Skeleton? Flesh and blood? Too general. The great scholar of Taiye's brow furrowed slightly as he continued to ask, how exactly do you construct your own rule skeleton? Kanglin Star's Central Continent Manor. Shortly after Lin Yuan replied, he received a new question. This man. Specializes in squatting, huh? Lin Yuan looked carefully and replied cautiously, the power of the Taiyin and the power of the sun combined to form a solid miniature domain that holds all the paths. This this is intended to open the border? 
the great scholar of Taiye Sked, and through a few short conversations with Lin Yuan. The great scholar of Taiye concluded that Lin Yuan should not be another great scholar. In order to become an evolutionary grand scholar, one needed to create at least one new, stable pathway of eighth order evolution to open up. This meant that the evolutionary grand scholar was at least an eighth order evolutionary. And while there was certainly nothing wrong with the few questions that Lin Yuan had just answered him, in some of the descriptions, it did not seem like something that an eighth order evolutionary would say. At least the formation of a stable realm with the power of the Taiyin sun is the prototype of some sort of open realm. Remarkable, less than the eighth rank, surprisingly preparing for the future opening of the realm, without a teacher's guidance, the potential is unlimited ah. The great scholar of Taiye whispered to himself. No wonder the goddess of wisdom is so tightly protected. The great scholar of Taiye glanced around. He knew very well that a great scholar like him was under the surveillance of the goddess of wisdom all the time. Both for protection and to prevent himself from doing anything out of the ordinary. It's hard to predict the consequences if a great scholar of evolution goes mad. A few more questions. The great scholar of Taiye came to be interested, it had been a long time since he had encountered a descendant who made him so energized. Next. The great scholar of Taiye chatted with Lin Yuan for more than half an hour. This. The great scholar of Taiye gazed in amazement, through his own secret guidance, and even spoke of other methods of opening the boundaries. The great scholar of Taiye clearly felt that the so-called boundary opening method was completely Lin Yuan's knowledge blind spot, and he did not even know what the boundary opening method was. However, as the great scholar of Taiye communicated deeply with Lin Yuan, the latter's understanding of several other boundary opening methods quickly increased horribly. It was so terrifying that even a great scholar of evolution like him was shocked. Are you pretending or do you really not understand? The great scholar of Taiye was a bit puzzled. From the tone of Lin Yuan's reply to the inquiry, the great scholar of Taiya was certain that the other party really didn't understand and hadn't come into contact with the method of opening the boundary. It was just that if he really didn't understand it, how could his comprehension of the method of opening the boundaries be so quick that he understood it after mentioning a few words? Genius, absolute genius. The great scholar of Taiye immediately rose and paced back and forth. Ha! Huh? He's offline? The great scholar of Taiya realized that Lin Yuan had suddenly disconnected from the virtual world. Kanglin Star, Middle Continent Manor. By talking to the great scholars of Taiye, it had a great impact on Lin Yuan. Even to the extent that he finally had to disconnect and return to the real world to concentrate on the path of martial arts advancement. Use Taiji to control all paths. But what if it wasn't Taiji? Can it still govern all paths? Numerous auras erupted in Lin Yuan's mind. You're so enlightened that you can analyze one path and continue to perfect the path of martial arts evolution. You're so enlightened that you can analyze one path and continue to perfect the path of martial arts evolution. You have a natural understanding, dissecting one way to conquer 10,000 ways, and continue to improve the path of martial arts evolution. Lin Yuan fell into deep cultivation. Even outside senses were shielded for the most part. Fortunately, Lin Yuan usually did this a lot, and his parents were basically used to it, and would not go and actively disturb Lin Yuan as long as he did not come out. A few days later, Lin Yuan opened his eyes. This retreat had a great impact on Lin Yuan, and he even began to reconsider the roots of the martial arts. That person, at least a high-level evolver, no weaker than the teacher. Lin Yuan thought secretly. Just through a few conversations, Lin Yuan gained a lot. Just as Lin Yuan continued to ponder, the intelligent assistant's elevated voice sounded. Master, you have a delivery arriving. It's sent by the Shuntong group, and it's Class S encryption. Express delivery? Lin Yuan was slightly stunned. But after hearing Shuntong group and S Class encryption, the heart was in a state of shock. The Shuntong Group, the largest transportation group of the human civilization in the universe, had a business scope that was not limited to the human alliance. In the cosmic stars, the human civilization swept across the eight directions and had many enemies. But there were also many allies as well as those of affiliated communities. As long as human civilization can reach, it is within the scope of Shuntong Group's transportation. As for reliability and confidentiality, the Shuntong Group is a group officially endorsed by the human civilization, so it is absolutely confidential and reliable. With the Central Star River Bank, it belongs to the same level of power. Sure. The Shunto Group charges a lot, starting at a minimum of a billion dollars. The S-Class encryption of the Shunto Group, whose delivery prices start in the hundreds of billions of dollars. The exact amount of money depends on the size of the item and whether it has other useful effects. The price of shipping a rock, for example, is naturally different from shipping a planet. The S-Class encrypted delivery, which belonged to the Shuntong Group's high-level business, would have eight sixth-order revolvers, as well as a seventh-order revolver escorting it. Its whereabouts were kept completely secret, and it was impossible for outsiders to know except for Lin Yuan, the receiver. When do I? Lin Yuan was a little hesitant. Just then, the Red Cohen Star Lord suddenly sent a message. Ha 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 ha, good disciple, the stuff should have been delivered. It's from the teacher? Lin Yuan's heart was slightly certain. Without figuring out exactly who sent it, the odds were that Lin Yuan wouldn't receive it. Right now. Teacher, 
What is it that requires Shuntong Group's S-Class encryption? Lin Yuan was a little heartbroken, that was a hundred billion civilization coins. You'll know when you get it. The Red Cohen Star Lord said mysteriously. Good. Lin Yuan nodded his head. Spinning out of the main building. Come outside the manor. A man in a black uniform had been waiting there for a long time. The man looked very ordinary. No different from any other mail carrier. It was just that Lin Yuan was aware that in order to ensure that the items were delivered to the receiver, the last person to hand over the items was often the strongest one in the transportation squad. The Shuntong Group's S-Class encryption was one that required a 7th Order revolver to accompany it. In other words, this man in a black uniform was a 7th Order revolver. Sir. The black uniformed man had a slightly respectful attitude. Those who could afford to use the Shuntong Group's S-Class encryption had a status that was extremely high even among the levels beyond the 6th Order. Hello. Lin Yuan nodded slightly. Spinning through fingerprints, pupils, and soul fluctuation authentication. After determining that Lin Yuan was the receiver himself. This black uniformed man, before handing over a plain black suitcase to Lin Yuan. Eh? The moment Lin Yuan received the suitcase, his face changed slightly. End of chapter. Chapter 3, The Marshall Way Shouldn't Be So Small, Request for Subscription. So heavy. Lin Yuan looked down at the black suitcase once again. It was only 50 centimeters long and wide, but it weighed at least 10 tons. Handover complete. I'll go first, then. The man in the black uniform smiled slightly. Turn around and leave. From start to finish. It was all a very normal looking send and receive. If Lin Yuan hadn't known about it beforehand, he wouldn't have thought much about it. What exactly did the teacher send me? Lin Yuan carried the black suitcase and returned to the main building. Ten tons of weight was naturally not a problem for the current Lin Yuan's physique. The reason Lin Yuan was surprised just now was that he did not expect this black suitcase to weigh ten tons. Open it up. Lin Yuan returned to the underground training ground. Drop. Again, fingerprint. Pupil and soul fluctuation authentication. The black suitcase slowly opened. What came into view was a black and gold box the size of a fist. Lin Yuan was able to tell that the suitcase's weight of up to 10 tons basically came from this black and gold box. Click. With many certifications ahead. This time, Lin Yuan easily opened black gold black sun. Eh? Lin Yuan saw that in the center of the black and gold box, there was a stone, only the size of a small thumbnail. The stone was reddish in color. Lin Yuan looked at this stone as if he was viewing a wheel of stars. This. Lin Yuan looked closely at the nail-sized stone. Every single detail of it, the textures and traces on its surface, caused monstrous waves to rise in Lin Yuan's heart. This is the rules, the world essence rules of. Lin Yuan was excited in his heart. If it was any other revolutionary, he might not be able to recognize what this stone was. Even if it was certain sixth order revolvers, they would likewise not necessarily recognize it. But Lin Yuan was different. After experiencing the divine soldier world, Lin Yuan was extremely sensitive to the world essence rules. This fingernail sized stone was far from reaching the level where the rules of essence were externally manifested. In the divine soldier world, even the smallest fragment of the divine soldier contained a body of rule essences that far exceeded this stone. But this was the main world. A single hair of an elephant was countless times heavier than an ant. Not to mention that when the main world was compared to the divine soldier world, there was more than the difference between an elephant and an ant. This stone was far from being able to talk about the manifestation of the essence rule, it was not even an imprint, and at most, it was tainted with some of the essence rule's aura. However, the feeling that Lin Yuan got was more than the essence of the rules contained in all the divine weapons combined within the divine warrior world. Hot. Vastness. Light. Many auras manifested on this stone. With this stone referencing the senses, it's going to be much easier for me to open up the subsequent evolutionary pathways of the Martial Dao, as well as break through to the sixth rank. For example, when doing a topic, originally Lin Yuan could only do it slowly, but now, there was a whole lot more supporting information related to the topic. It would definitely be a whole lot easier to solve the topic in the end. Even with these auxiliary materials, it would be extremely helpful for Lin Yuan to answer the next topic in the next. Teacher. Lin Yuan's consciousness connected to the virtual world. He came to the Red Koan Star Lord's Palace. Coming? The Red Koan Star Lord looked at Lin Yuan with an expectant face, did you read that thing? How did it feel? Teacher. Lin Yuan was a little hesitant, it's too precious, I can't take it. Even if Lin Yuan was not sure about the value of rule-related items in the main world. However, just by transporting this stone, the Red Koan Star Lord had used the S-Class encryption of the Shuntong Group, which was worth hundreds of billions of dollars. One would know that its value was at least far more than a hundred billion dollars. It was even simply a priceless treasure that money could not even buy. You are my disciple, what can't you have? The Red Cohen Star Lord didn't care and said, besides, at teacher's current level, this type of item is no longer of much use, so rather than putting it there and wasting it, it would be better to take it out and give it to you to use. Many thanks. Teacher. 
Lin Yuan nodded his head. He also understood that what the Red Kuan Star Lord had said were completely comforting words. If he could not use it himself, he could completely sell it or simply barter for one that he could use. How is it? How does that stone look to you? The Red Kuan Star Lord continued to ask. It is very inspiring to me. Lin Yuan said seriously. That's good. A smile appeared on the Red Kuan Star Lord's face, good disciple, with your qualifications, if your master were to forcefully guide you, he would instead fix and limit your path. That stone is a crystallization of rules, and the essence contained on it is the heavenly Tao that is almost no upper limit. As long as you realize the mysteries contained within the stone, surpassing the sixth rank is not a problem. The Red Kuan Star Lord spoke. Returning from the Red Kuan Star Lord. Lin Yuan's gaze once again looked at the nail-sized stone. It's too profound. Lin Yuan was almost mesmerized. The crimson red stone was related to the rules of the sun, and Lin Yuan was able to continuously improve his sense of the rules of the sun by carefully comprehending them. Just like that. Lin Yuan would allocate most of his time every day for the enlightenment of this stone. As for the rest of the time, he would continue to perfect his martial Tao evolution pathway, as well as pondering on what kind of way he would go about breaking through to the sixth rank. That's right. Lin Yuan had long had the ability to break through the sixth rank. However, exactly what angle to start from needed to be careful. Once one started to break through the sixth stage, one's own soul would actively fit into one's own evolutionary pathway. This point was crucial. If the soul reached a perfect fit with its own evolutionary pathway, then it could cross over to the sixth rank. Breaking through from the fifth stage to the sixth stage was not an instantaneous or short time thing. It had a process, as fast as one year, two years, three years, and as slow as a hundred years and a thousand years. Many fifth-order extreme evolvers were stuck on the soul fit, unable to step into the sixth order for hundreds or thousands of years. Virtual World Kanglin Evolution Academy's Large Classroom Before the class even started, there were thousands of students who came over in advance, took their places, and waited with anticipation. Have you guys heard, the one who will be teaching us this time is Lin Yuan, the number one player in the ring, Lin Yuan. Nonsense, if I hadn't heard about this, could I come over so early? That's Lin Yuan, the evolutionary talent of Maitsan Lonstar has been the strongest evolutionary talent for hundreds of thousands of years, crossing into the fourth stage under the age of a hundred. Yeah, I'll be satisfied if I can become a second order revolver before I'm a hundred years old. You still want the second rank? Thousands of students discussed ah in low voices. The students who were able to sit in this teacher's room were all the most promising students of the Kanglin Evolutionary Academy, belonging to the future hopes of Kanglin Star. At this moment, everyone was incomparably expectant, waiting for the lecturer to arrive. Whoosh! Right at this moment. A young man appeared on the podium. The next moment. The classroom was immediately silent. All the students stared at the young man in unison. Hello everyone. Lin Yuan casually greeted. As an honorary professor of the Kanglin Evolutionary Academy. Lin Yuan enjoyed many treatment benefits at the professor level, and even though he was an honorary professor, even if he didn't show up, he had to at least finish one or two classes. Half an hour later, Lin Yuan finished reading from the textbook. He then began to ask the students below about the problems they had encountered on the path of evolution. Professor Lin. A girl with a ponytail raised her hand. You ask. Lin Yuan nodded his head. Thank you, Professor Lin. This ponytail girl was a little surprised, there were many students who raised their hands at the same time just now, but in the end, Lin Yuan chose her. Professor Lin, I follow the Martial Tao Advancement Pathway. The ponytail girl took the initiative to say her evolutionary pathway. This was normal, each evolutionary pathway had different characteristics, stating the evolutionary pathway that one practiced would be more helpful for the teacher to determine the next question to ask. The Martial Arts Path Ah. Lin Yuan nodded slightly. Nowadays, the Martial Tao Evolution Pathway had become the hottest evolution pathway in Kanglin Star. Of the thousands of students on the field, at least one-tenth of them had taken the Martial Tao Evolutionary Pathway. Of course, these students had just cultivated not long ago, and the vast majority of them were still not yet in the rank. I see that behind the Martial Tao Evolution Pathway, one needs to perceive the two powers of Tai-In and Sun, but I'm naturally slow to perceive these two powers, does that mean that I'm not suitable for the Martial Tao? The ponytailed girl asked carefully. The moment this question came out. The other students on the field immediately pricked up their ears. They also wanted to know the answer to this question, after all, the two types of energy, Tyene and Sun, belong to the higher energies, and not everyone could sense them. Most evolvers still perceived basic energies such as gold, wood, water, fire and earth. More keenly. This question. Lin Yuan looked around. If he had to answer it, Lin Yuan could answer it. That is, everything has yin and yang, for example, the attribute of gold, it also has yin and yang, the attribute of water, it also has yin and yang, the attribute of thunder, it also has yin and yang. Even if you don't have the ability to perceive the Taiyin sun, you can still perceive the power that you can perceive, such as the power of gold, and only after perceiving the power of gold, you will perceive its yin and yang part, and then finally push to the power of the Taiyin sun. Only. 
This answer could be understood by Lin Yuan, and the other fifth and sixth rank evolvers could probably understand it as well. However, these students on the field, who were the majority of the uninitiated evolvers, definitely couldn't understand it. Not only could they not understand, it was also impossible to do so. Since this was the case, Lin Yuan did not want to say anything. Lin Yuan didn't want to say it either. I am also studying this issue. When it is researched, I will definitely tell you. Lin Yuan opened his mouth and said. Good. There was nothing strange about the ponytailed girl. Although Lin Yuan's evolutionary talent was the best in Kanglin Star. However, compared to that mysterious great scholar who had created the pathway of martial Dao evolution, it was naturally inferior. Even that mysterious great scholar had not given an explanation to the question. It was only normal that Lin Yuan was not sure of the answer. Finishing the lesson. Lin Yuan's consciousness disconnected from the virtual world. Sitting cross-legged in the underground training ground. The ponytail girl's question in the classroom. It made Lin Yuan fall into deep thought. All along. Lin Yuan had created a path of martial arts advancement. It was entirely based on his own perspective. The First Order Chapter. The Second Order Chapter. Yin and Yang in the Second Order Chapter. The Third Order Chapter, the Tai Yin Rule, the Sun Rule. Fourth Order. The Fifth Order Song, Tai Yin Yuan Shen, Sun Yuan Shen, Tai Ji Yuan Shen. Everything was based entirely on oneself. But what kind of person is Lin Yuan? Possessing heaven defying enlightenment, citing one against the other, citing one against the other. If Lin Yuan could understand, realize, and absorb, could others do the same? For example, the Tai Yin and Sun Tai Chi is the content of the second stage chapter of the Pathway of Progress of the Martial Way. But to realize Tai Ji, not to mention Tai Ji, even if it was just Tai Yin or the Sun, putting it on other people would be incredibly difficult. In the world of Dragon and Tiger, those who had realized the Sun Wuji and Tai Yin Wuji were all celestial masters who were not encountered for hundreds or thousands of years. And they also had to rely on the true martial perpetual sword to do so. The cultivation environment of the main world, although far superior to the dragon tiger world, did not enjoy many resources for the most ordinary citizens. The difficulty of martial arts no longer applies to ordinary citizens from the second stage chapter. Lin Yuan's face was calm as his thoughts churned. With the current pathway of martial Tao advancement. In the second stage chapter, one had to realize one of the Tai Yin Sun. If one could not realize it, it would be very difficult to advance further. It was foreseeable that an unknown number of citizens were trapped in this step. Lin Yuan slowly closed his eyes. The martial Tao should not be so small. For a while, many epiphanies came to his mind. Some time ago, in the founder's virtual world, with that 23,000 years ago, leaving posts of the mysterious existence, the conversation removed the Taiji Imperial 10,000 things, other Imperial 10,000 ways of the law, was quickly taken out by Lin Yuan to use. Lin Yuan began to reintegrate the martial arts from the second stage, removing the restriction that only the Taiyin Sun could be re-entered. In the future, martial arts practitioners were not restricted to the Taiyin Sun, as long as they could feel it, gold, wood, water, fire, earth, thunder, ice and cold, and many other forces, they could continue to cultivate. Starting from the second stage, to determine some kind of fit their own path, wait until the fifth stage, cohesion of the corresponding attribute of the Yuanshin. The Yuanshin here is not just the Yin God and Yang God, the Yuanshin of gold, the Yuanshin of water, and the Yuanshin of wood are all available. Endless. It encompasses all things. Just as Lin Yuan was perfecting the pathway of martial evolution. Boom. The self-soul shook violently. Immediately, his breath began to shift, slowly transforming towards the martial Tao evolutionary pathway. Unexpected. This is the best way for me to break through to the sixth rank. Lin Yuan let out a light breath. Perfecting the martial Tao evolution pathway so that it was not limited to the Taiyin Sun directly allowed Lin Yuan to seize the best opportunity to break through to the sixth rank. This kind of opportunity was something that many fifth order extreme evolvers might not be able to catch for decades or centuries. Even before, Lin Yuan was hesitant as to what exactly was the best way to break through to the sixth rank. But now, everything was obvious, this kind of natural breakthrough was definitely the most perfect way to cross over to the sixth rank. One month later, Lin Yuan emerged from the customs. Breaking through from the fifth rank to the sixth rank was not something that could be done in a short period of time, one needed to wait until the slow metamorphosis and transformation of the soul. Rest for a while first. Lin Yuan intended to combine labor and rest. It wasn't like he was one of those evolvers who had a big deadline coming up. At his current age, Lin was only 20 years old and had a lot of time to enjoy himself. And? So many people are looking for me? Lin Yuan opened the information panel and realized that quite a few people had visited him during his seclusion, but because of his own seclusion, he had let his intelligent assistant deal with them. However, there were still seven or eight people who insisted on seeing Lin Yuan. They were still waiting for him to come out of seclusion now. Meet them. Lin Yuan clicked agree. A middle-aged man with golden hair appeared in front of him. Puan Star Domain, Xiangwen Group, Zhou He meets Mr. Lin Yuan. The blonde-haired middle-aged man said with a slightly respectful attitude. Xiangwen Group. Lin Yuan pondered. 
Immediately, he remembered that this group was the Puan Starfield, a rather famous group with a sixth-ranked starfaller in attendance. The Puan Starfield, on the other hand, was a starfield next to the Red Kuan Starfield, and due to its proximity, it had frequent trade transactions with the many forces in the Red Kuan Starfield. Speak. What is it? Lin Yuan said casually. We, the Xiangwen group. Sincerely invite Mr. Lin Yuan to become a member of the reserve battle team for the next ring competition. As long as Mr. Lin Yuan agrees, the conditions can be opened at will. The blonde middle-aged man opened his mouth and said. You mean, let me join your group and then participate in the next ring tournament? Lin Yuan glanced at the blonde middle-aged man. Two more shifts are finished. Today is the last day of double monthly votes law. I'm begging for a wave of monthly tickets. End of chapter. Chapter 4, The Black Prison Family, Request for Subscription. That's right. With Mr. Lin's natural talents, the Kanglin planet is ultimately too small. But a medium life planet, I, the Xiangwen group, have a sixth order starfaller sitting in the town, and that's the stage that's truly suitable for Mr. Lin Yuan. The blonde haired middle aged man wore a smile on his face as he continued, Furthermore, Lord Xiangwen attaches quite a lot of importance to Mr. Lin, and may step in to give a few pointers in the future. Lord Xiangwen. He was the sixth order starfaller behind the Xiangwen group. The guidance of a sixth order revolver was a great opportunity for the vast majority of evolvers. A sixth order revolver has the power of falling stars. From the height and angle of view, just a few words of guidance. It was possible for a fourth or fifth order revolver to have an epiphany. The blonde middle aged man believed that it would be hard for Lin Yuan to ignore this condition. Lin Yuan's qualifications were indeed good. He had entered the fourth stage under the age of 100 and had a greater chance of becoming a fifth stage evolver in the future. But that was all. If he wanted to take a step forward and break through to the sixth rank, there was still little hope. Therefore, a sixth order revolver's guidance would certainly not be missed. Sorry. I am not interested in joining other forces. Lin Yuan shook his head and said. Are you kidding me? According to what the blonde middle-aged man meant, joining the Xiangwen group would definitely require signing many contracts. It would even require Lin Yuan to personally go to the headquarters of the Xiangwen group to review it. And those conditions offered by the blonde middle-aged man were certainly attractive to ordinary fourth-order revolvers, but to Lin Yuan? But to Lin Yuan? Lin Yuan's real identity was the 13th peak master of the Chikuan lineage. It was similar to the status of an empire's prince, or that kind of real power prince. If he joined the Xiangwen group, it would be the same as selling his life for other star domains to participate in the ring tournament. What kind of words was that like? Mr. Lin, you didn't even think about it? The blonde middle-aged man's face changed slightly. Although the Xiangwen group was not in the Chikuan star region, it was after all a major power with a sixth-order star follower in attendance. Even if Lin Yuan had other options and wouldn't join the Xiangwen group, there was no need to say it so directly. By being more tactful with his words, everyone would look better on their faces. I said that I am not interested and will not continue to consider it. Lin Yuan shook his head, the most important thing for him now was to step into the sixth rank as soon as possible. Other things that were not related to breakthroughs were all trivial matters. Good. If Lord Xiangwen knew about this, he should be very disappointed. The blonde-haired middle-aged man's face was a bit ugly as he stood up and was about to leave. What's wrong? Your family's Lord Xiangwen, is it hard to believe that he will still come over to teach me a lesson? Lin Yuan opened his mouth. In the Cosmic Human Alliance, the laws were sound, and the more powerful the evolver, the more constraints they were subjected to. Even those towering evolutionary great scholars could not manage to act recklessly, let alone a sixth rank. That Lord Sanguine only had to dare to come to Kanglin Star and exhibit his intentions to strike at Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan would just report it to the Goddess of Wisdom. Can't beat you? Is it hard to not be able to report you? Of course. Lin Yuan thought that it was unlikely that Lord Xiangwen would come over. Even that Lord Xiangwen did not necessarily know Lin Yuan as a person. I hope that Mr. Lin's path of evolution will always be smooth, the blonde middle-aged man's face was ironic. The implication was that Lin Yuan, in the future, should not ask for anything on the Xiangwen group. Get lost. Lin Yuan directly kicked the blonde middle-aged man out of his personal room. As long as Lin Yuan stepped into the sixth rank, he would be able to publicize the identity of the 13 peak masters of the Red Kuan lineage. At that time, a power at the level of the Xiangwen group would be too late to crawl over and lick Lin Yuan. Personal space. Lin Yuan sat alone on a wooden chair. The ring match. Lin Yuan's face was thoughtful. The ring match was one of the hottest and most talked about events in the Human Civilization Alliance. And being hot and noticed meant huge traffic. This gave rise to a series of industrial chains that involved huge amounts of money. Why would the Xiangwen group, or other powerful plutocrats, specialize in cultivating a battle team to participate in the various tournaments? Could it be that it was really just for honor or something? Naturally not. As long as the evolvers were able to make it to a certain rank in the tournament, such as the top 100 or top 10, they would definitely receive a lot of attention. At this time, a random advertisement. 
or clothes engraved with the logo of a certain group of plutocrats, the heat brought about by that is bound to be terrifyingly high. And advertising was only the most common means of realizing money. In every tournament, there is also a casino set up in advance. Before the match, select a player you think can win, and if the result is really so, you will get a certain multiplier of the prize money. Of course. In order to guarantee fairness. Under the detection of the goddess of wisdom, the possibility of playing a fake match was almost ruled out. It was because of this that the major power groups and plutocrats were all very keen on finding potential evolvers on various insignificant medium life planets before supporting them to participate in galaxy level and star domain level ring competitions. These evolvers from medium life planets had low exposure and had not undergone systematic training. If they received cultivation support from a large power, their strength would be increased in a short period of time. By the time the star field level tournament began, they would enter as dark horses. After all, in the eyes of the vast majority of citizens, a player who already had a notable reputation and had won 10 or 20 consecutive victories would face off against a player who had never been heard of before. The majority of citizens would definitely press for the former to win. In addition to the two mentioned above. There were many other ways to profit from ring competitions, the most long-lasting of which was to gather fans and cultivate them into star evolvers. In the current Universe Human Alliance, the top star evangelists had countless fans, many of which were the second generation of those big powers. The influence caused by every move was appalling. So, I already have the qualifications to become a dark horse in the eyes of those conglomerate plutocrats? Lin Yuan stroked his chin and shook his head slightly. In fact, this was indeed the case, in the last tournament, even if Lin Yuan had only displayed some of his strength, it was still a fourth rank. A fourth rank evolver under a hundred years old might be common in those prosperous higher life planets. However, in a medium life planet like Song Lan Star, it was almost impossible to produce one in tens or hundreds of thousands of years. The education, cultivation, and resources of medium life planets were far inferior to those of high life planets. In such an environment, to be able to cross into the fourth stage, no matter whether it was by chance or luck, it was not much weaker than those top evolutionary geniuses of the higher life planets. That was why Lin Yuan was valued by the Xiangwen group and specially sent someone over to invite him. The goddess of wisdom acquiesced to such a thing because invitations from big powers and big groups might create restrictions for evolutionary geniuses, but they also cultivate these evolvers. And limited by human civilization regulations, the contracts that these conglomerates and plutocrats sign with evolutionary geniuses will not go too far, and even if they breach the contract, the liquidated damages they pay will not be astronomical. Lin Yuan thought secretly. If you have to gain, you have to pay, this was the default unspoken rule of the human alliance. If one wanted to take advantage of his genius status and disobey the contractual treaty, the three goddesses would not support it. My current soul fit. Lin Yuan's consciousness returned to reality and felt it carefully. About 8% completed according to the speed, in two years at the most, I will almost reach a perfect fit and be able to formally cross over into the sixth stage. A smile appeared on Lin Yuan's face. The sixth stage, for any evolver, had a special significance. Below the sixth stage, even the most powerful beings were only surface beings that needed to rely on the environment inside the planet to survive. Once they left the planet and came into the starry sky, it would be difficult to continue living. And to the sixth order, will be able to travel the sea of stars, all the sixth order evolvers, also known as the star life. In addition, the sixth stage was also the stage of qualitative change in strength. Why did Lin Yuan only need to cultivate to the sixth level to be able to disclose his identity as the thirteenth peak master of the Chikuan lineage? It was because sixth order revolvers were already very difficult to be assassinated, or at least their means of preserving their lives far exceeded that of the previous fifth order. Generally speaking, unless it was absolutely necessary, the foreign races would not assassinate a sixth order revolver, the price paid would be too high, equivalent to the cost of cultivating dozens of seventh order powerhouses. In the end, it wouldn't necessarily be possible to kill that sixth order revolver. The speed of soul fit conversion, it's not stable, it might be fast in the early stages and slow down in the later stages, or slow in the early stages and speed up in the later stages. My current fit conversion, it's still normal. Lin Yuan continued to observe. However, as long as the soul fit doesn't reach one tenth, it can be discontinued and other evolutionary paths can be chosen for the fit. After stepping into the sixth stage, the cost of changing evolutionary pathways would soar. However, Lin Yuan was currently not technically stepping into the sixth stage and was still at the fifth stage. Of the many evolutionary pathways that I have at my disposal now, the most powerful one is undoubtedly the Xian Huang evolutionary pathway. If I use this evolutionary pathway as the direction of my soul transformation, Lin Yuan pondered for an instant and immediately gave up on this idea. Even if the Xian Huang evolutionary pathway was more powerful, it was not created by Lin Yuan, and using this evolutionary pathway as his own fundamental evolutionary pathway, the benefits might be great in the short term. But stretching out the timeline, it might not be of any benefit. Lin Yuan was still more at ease with the Martial Dao Evolution Pathway. The Xian Huang Evolutionary Pathway could be enlightened and could be practiced concurrently, but it definitely could not be used as a fundamental pathway. All the other evolutionary pathways were the same, including the Xian Huang Evolutionary Pathway, they could only become sustenance for perfecting the Martial Dao Evolutionary Pathway. It's better to continue perfecting the Martial Dao Evolutionary Pathway. 
Lin Yuan's mind continued to sink into the Martial Dao evolutionary pathway. In Lin Yuan's latest vision of the Martial Dao evolution pathway, there was no longer any Tai Yin chapter, Sun chapter, or Yin Yang chapter. Many attribute powers could be incorporated into the Martial Dao evolution system. Whichever one the evolver was good at, he or she could enter the Martial Way for cultivation. The Martial Dao should not be so small, but should be infinitely large. Lin Yuan found that when he was moving in this direction and perfecting the pathway of Martial Dao evolution, the speed of his soul's fitness transformation would gain a certain amount of increase. Next. While perfecting the Martial Dao evolution system, Lin Yuan watched the Crimson Stone sent by the Red Koan Star Lord. In his spare time. On the other hand, he refused those invitations from the plutocratic group forces from the major star realms. Apart from the Xianwen group noticing that Lin Yuan had the potential to become a dark horse, other powers naturally noticed as well. In the interstellar era, the slightly more powerful forces all had their own think tanks, making plans and actions that best suited their own interests based on information and intelligence from human civilizations and even other alien races all the time. Lin Yuan was a fourth order under a hundred years old, and came from a medium life planet, with a high potential and not too high a price tag at the same time. Naturally, he was very much welcomed. And for the invitations from these forces. At first, Lin Yuan reluctantly found the time to meet them. Clearly expressing his attitude. But in the end, the frequency was just too high. Lin Yuan simply didn't see them and let the intelligent assistant deal with them. In the first place, if I had said to the public that I had passed the seven star cave test. Lin Yuan shook his head slightly. If it was just like Fang Cheng, passing the test and becoming an official member of the Red Kuan lineage. It was estimated that these forces would not have invited him so much. After all, as a full member of the Red Kuan vein, where was the reason to sell out for other forces? The Red Kuan lineage was the most powerful force. It was just that in this way, Lin Yuan would need to travel to the Red Kuan main star in an airship battleship together with those who had passed the test from Fang Cheng. This was also the normal process of joining the Red Kuan lineage throughout the ages. Lin Yuan was able to stay at the Kanglin Star all this time, purely because he was the 13th Peak Lord, enjoying many privileges. And even the gifts given to him by the Red Kuan Star Lord had to specially pay a hundred billion civilization coins and entrust the Shuntong group to send them over. On this day, Lin Yuan had just finished his cultivation. The voice of the intelligent assistant then came. Master, the person we are going to visit this time is from the Black Prison family, the 3821st son of the Black Prison Desert, a close friend of the Black Prison Keylator's command. Black Prison family? Lin Yuan frowned slightly. The Black Prison family was a power in the Red Koan Star region, and among the many powers outside the Red Koan lineage, the Black Prison family could be ranked in the top five. The strongest person of the Black Prison family, the Black Prison Desert, was even in existence beyond the sixth rank. The Black Prison family. Lin Yuan pondered for a while. Meet them. The other power plutocrats, Lin Yuan could ignore them, for one, because most of them were sixth order powers. As for Lin Yuan, it was only a matter of time before he became a sixth order revolver. The second was that most of the ones who invited Lin Yuan were group forces outside of the Chikuan Starfield, so there was no need to be too close. But the Black Prison family was different, as a local force of the Red Koan Star region, in the future, when Lin Yuan stepped into the sixth rank and made his identity public, he might have to deal with them. Whoosh. Lin Yuan's consciousness connected to the virtual world. Personal space. Lin Yuan agreed to enter. An old man dressed in a black gown, as elegant as an aristocrat, appeared in front of him. Bei Zhao on behalf of my young master, Black Prison Shell, meet Mr. Lin Yuan. The black gown old man, Bei Zhao, had a low stance and a slightly respectful tone. Immediately, he stated the conditions of inviting Lin Yuan to join Black Prison Shell's command. I don't have much interest in the ring for the time being, sorry. Lin Yuan said in as moderate a tone as possible. I see. The black gown old man Bei Zhao's face could not be seen to change. After getting up to say goodbye, he disappeared into thin air. Quite a good talker. Lin Yuan nodded slightly. Previously, those forces had sent people to invite him, and after getting a refusal, most of them would make some threatening hints. Inside a magnificent palace. The black prison shell sat on his throne, his eyes closed in contemplation. Just at that moment, the figure of the black gowned old man, Bei Zhao, appeared. So, Lin Yuan, which grade of contract is the choice? Black Hell Chelsea said casually. Before he had sent Bei Zhao to invite Lin Yuan, the black prison shell had set five grades of contract. The higher the contract grade, the higher the support for Lin Yuan. At the same time, the restrictions were also greater. The specific contract of that grade was left to Lin Yuan's choice. Young master. The black gowned old man, Bei Zhao, bowed slightly. Lin Yuan has refused the young master's invitation. The black gowned old man said in a low voice. Refused my invitation? Above the throne, the black prison Chelsea was slightly stunned. He looked down at the black gowned old man, Bei Zhao. End of chapter. Chapter 5, Targeting the Sixth Order, Request for Subscription. Young master. I have already stated all the conditions. But that Lin Yuan, still refused. Says he's not interested in the ring. Bei Zhao, an old man in a black dress, immediately said. 
is that really the case? Black Hell Chelsea stood up from his throne, his brows slightly furrowed. He thought that he had been incomparably benevolent. And the conditions of treatment offered in the five grades of contracts given were all very high. Especially the contract of the lowest grade, which only required Lin Yuan to serve him, the black prison shell, for a hundred years, and then he would be able to obtain many resources to cultivate him. For a fourth and fifth stage evolver, a hundred years wasn't that long, and to work for his black prison shell? This was a blessing that ordinary evolvers could not even ask for. But Lin Yuan refused. This was a result that the black prison shell had never expected. He, black prison shell, is the black prison family beyond the sixth level of existence, black prison most direct descendant, do not know how many evolvers, want to take the initiative to rely on him. But black prison shell couldn't even look at him. Now it was so hard to look at Lin Yuan, but it turned out that the other party did not look at him? What the hell is going on? The prestige of my black prison family has fallen to this extent? The black prison Chelsea was somewhat distressed. Sun Lan Star, Middle Continent Manor. Lin Yuan walked out from the underground training ground and beckoned Ho Ming, the captain of the guards. Greetings. Mr. Lin. Sixth rank evolutionary Ho Ming said respectfully. To ask you about something. Lin Yuan sat on the seat, his right hand gently tapping on the armrest. That black prison Chelsea subordinate invited him to join and left directly after being rejected, making Lin Yuan a little curious. You know about the black prison family? Lin Yuan looked at Ho Ming and inquired. The black prison family? Ho Ming froze slightly and nodded, I know, one of the five major forces in the Red Kuan Star region. The most powerful force in the Chikuan Star region was the Chikuan lineage, there was no doubt about it. The entire Chikuan Star region was named after the Chikuan lineage. And under the Red Kuan lineage, there were five major forces, and the Black Prison family was one of these five major forces. At first, not long after the Star Lord took charge of the Starfield, that Black Prison desert dragged his family across several Starfields to the Red Kuan Starfield to set up roots. The Star Lord felt that it wasn't easy for Black Prison Desert, so he handed over some of the Star Domains trade to the Black Prison family, which gave rise to the Black Prison family, which is now one of the five major forces. Ho Ming said quickly. Although he was an evolver secretly cultivated by the Red Kuan lineage, he was not ignorant of the outside world, plus he had lived long enough, so some information that was no longer circulating on the surface was known to him. I see. Lin Yuan nodded slightly. Understood. To summarize. That Black Prison Desert was the teacher's lapdog. That black prison Chelsea, have you heard of it? Lin Yuan continued to ask. If he remembered correctly, the one who had invited himself to join was none other than the black prison shell. Black prison shell? Ho Ming thought for a moment and replied, is that the youngest son of the black prison desert? There were thousands of sons and daughters of the black prison desert, so if it wasn't for an evolutionary's extraordinary memory, he wouldn't be able to remember so many names. Especially since the names of the black prison family were all pronounced similarly, it was easy for outsiders to get confused. Not bad. Just now, he invited me to join his team in the ring. Lin Yuan shook his head and said, but I rejected it. What is that black prison shell? How dare it? Ho Ming sked, Lin Yuan was the 13th peak master of the Red Kuan lineage. Even the black prison family's pinnacle, Black Prison Desert, had to show respect when he saw Lin Yuan. I guess it was Mr. Lin's performance in the ring that fell into the eyes of the black prison shell, that's why he took the initiative to invite. Ho Ming pondered for a while and said with slight emotion, the black hell family is powerful, but the competition. It's also huge, the Black Prison Keylator, as the youngest son of the Black Prison Desert, was born thousands and tens of thousands of years later than his older brothers. Even with the support of his family, it's hard to catch up to his older brothers, that's why he set his sights on the ring. As long as he supports a dark horse and kills his way into the top 100 of the Star Realm level ring tournament, he, Black Prison Chelsea, will surely earn vast amounts of wealth. At that time, the status of the Black Hell family will also rise, if you get the Black Hell Desert valued, the future inheritance of the Black Hell family patriarch position, it is not impossible. Ho Ming whispered. So it is. Lin Yuan nodded slightly. Those big families and big forces, the surface is bright and shiny, but in reality, the internal tilting is also extremely serious. Even to the point where it's enter or die. Unless the black prison shell lies completely flat and doesn't care about any power or money, he can only compete with his thousands of brothers. Actually, it's not just the black hell family. In the Red Kuan lineage, the competition was also extremely brutal, and there were many standards among those who were full members and core members. Can't meet the standard? Then let Jean, give it to a member who can meet the standard. The reason why Lin Yuan did not feel strongly about this was entirely because he started off at the peak master level, standing directly at the very top of the Red Kuan lineage. Most of the inheritance resources of the Red Kuan lineage were open to Lin Yuan. And Lin Yuan's task was not to compete with the other disciples. But to just continue cultivating. Of course, Lin Yuan had such a treatment, but it was also through competition, the Seven Star Cave World, where more than a million inheritors competed together. Although Lin Yuan's start wasn't low, it wasn't the highest, and there were still three red stripes on it. Only in the end, only Lin Yuan became the 13 peak master. Right. 
That black prison chelator, the outside world doesn't have a very good opinion of him, doing whatever it takes to achieve his goals, and I'm afraid he won't be able to stop so easily after Mr. Lin declined the invitation. If this black prison Chelsea is doing something really excessive, Mr. Lin can have several other peak masters step in, and that black prison desert won't dare to disobey the peak master's orders. Ho Ming warned in a low voice. The black prison family, in front of the Red Kuan lineage, was coy and lowly, which was not to say that the black prison family was not strong. Rather, the Red Kuan lineage was too strong, and the black prison family could only do so much. However, without the Chikuan lineage, the black prison family is a hegemon overlooking a starfield, and the other four forces within the five major forces are not willing to offend the black prison family until they have to. Understood. Lin Yuan nodded his head. Only. If it doesn't get to the last step. Lin Yuan was not going to ask his senior brothers to step in. At the level of the Black Hell family and the Red Coin clan peak master. I don't know how many pairs of eyes are watching every move. Lin Yuan hid his true identity and cultivated on the Tsonglan star, if he was involved in the vortex of the peak master and the Black Prison family. Maybe something was surmised by some being. The main world's thousands of evolutionary paths were juxtaposed. And among them was a category called the divination type of evolutionary path. This type of evolutionary pathway allows a certain conclusion to be deduced from known information. The 13 peak master of the Red Kuan vein had just been established, and the outside world didn't know how many forces were speculating about the true identity of this 13 peak master. As a result, at this time, a certain peak master stepped in and suppressed the black prison family. This was a very obvious sign in the eyes of those evolvers who were well versed in divination type evolutionary pathways. Even if the senior brothers did it very stealthily, if the black prison chelator somehow retreated back in the end, there would still be traces left behind. Of course, this kind of divination type of evolutionary pathway evolutions, generally poor combat strength, mostly serving in the think tanks of certain big powers. This Lin Yuan, why on earth did he reject me? Is it because I didn't make a high enough offer? On the throne, the black prison shell was still pondering. During this period of time, while recruiting other revolvers, he couldn't stop thinking about Lin Yuan. He couldn't help but think back to when he left his family and came out to make a name for himself. That father of his own, the Black Hellmouth, had once given him two choices. The first option is to take away 10 trillion civilization coins from the family treasury. After that, the Black Prison family would not give him much support, and if he wanted to return to the family and run for the patriarch position, he had to use the 10 trillion civilization coins to earn up to 100 billion universe coins. The conversion ratio of civilization coins to universe coins is 10,000 to 1. In other words, he, the Black Hell Shell, would have to earn a hundred times the wealth of 10 trillion civilization coins before he could qualify to return to his clan. The second option was to have the family's think tank map out a complete business map for him. The Black Hell Shell could also return to the family and run for one of the patriarchs as long as they ended up earning 10 trillion civilization coins. Black Hell Shell eventually chose the second one. And the think tank of the Black Hell family, which had planned his business map, was rooted in the ring. The business layout was detailed, and the think tanks of the Black Prison family had gone to great lengths to select 223 evolvers under the age of 100 for Black Prison. These 223 evolvers all possessed potentials that ordinary people had not discovered, and as long as the Black Prison shell signed these 223 evolvers and cultivated them to participate in one of the later sessions of the ring tournament, the probability was that they would make a big splash. And of these 223 evolvers, Lin Yuan was clearly listed. Lin Yuan. The think tank's evaluation of Lin Yuan rang in the Black Hell shell's mind. Just in his early 20s, he crossed into the 4th rank, and in the middle and late 4th rank, undergoing training and cultivation, he was able to reach the extremity of the 4th rank before the arrival of the next ring tournament, and it is expected that he will cross into the 5th rank before he turns 100 years old. With the strength of the 5th rank, it's easy to kill your way into the top 1000 when you participate in a starfield level ring tournament. I, a black prison shell, must obtain this Lin Yuan. The black hell shell looked down at his subordinates and spoke, I've heard that geniuses are proud, you went to invite him and were rejected. If I personally invited him, would I be successful? Young master. Bei Zhao, the old man in the black gown, was slightly stunned, I'm not sure, it's just that if the young master personally invites, then Lin Yuan, I'm sure, will be very touched. With the identity of the black prison key later, personally inviting an evolver with no background and no power, the latter would indeed be moved. After all, a personal invitation means attention in face. Virtual worlds. A certain small world that was specially carved out. All twelve peak masters of the Red Coin lineage were gathered here. Just then. A figure appeared. It was Lin Yuan. Senior brothers, the cultivation was delayed and I didn't pay attention to the time. Lin Yuan's tone was apologetic and he apologized at the first opportunity. Since becoming the 13 peak master of the Red Koan lineage. In order to maintain the feelings of the peak masters, the eldest senior brother took the initiative to take the lead and invite the other peak masters to return for a get-together every once in a while. Since it's easy to meet in the virtual world, it's just a matter of connecting consciously, and everyone is usually on time. Ah, this young master brother of ours is marvelous, at less than a hundred years old, he's already at the fifth rank, I guess it's only a matter of time before he steps into the sixth rank. Eldest brother laughed out loud. 
It wasn't a secret that Lin Yuan had crossed over to the fifth rank, the Red Kuan Star Lord knew about it, and so did the twelve senior brothers. Junior brother doesn't have those special physiques or special bloodlines, and to be able to break through to the fifth rank under a hundred years old is indeed rare. The second brother nodded approvingly. In the Cosmic Human Alliance, there were indeed many unbelievable geniuses, not to mention the fifth rank under a hundred years old. Even the sixth rank under a hundred years old had appeared. However, these geniuses, all of whom possessed many physical bloodlines, some of whom were born in the third or fourth or fourth or fifth order, started from too high a point, and there would be no need for comparison. But Lin Yuan was different. Although the Twelve Peak Masters had never seen Lin Yuan in person. However, from what he had heard from the Red Kuan Star Lord, it was known that Lin Yuan's physique and bloodline did not have any special features. According to Junior Senior Brother's rate of cultivation, in a few decades at most, he can attempt to break through to the sixth rank. Before breaking through to the sixth stage, Junior Senior Brother must be cautious and select the fundamental evolution pathway, the more suitable it is to oneself, and the higher the soul fit, the higher the speed of metamorphosis will be. It will even be of considerable help in the future in breaking through from the sixth order to the seventh order. Eldest brother reminded earnestly. He was now a seventh order revolver, and had a deep insight into the path he had taken before, and what he had taken wrong, or what he had taken crooked, was now easy to spot. Understood. Lin Yuan's heart was certain. From the beginning to the end, eldest brother emphasized the importance of choosing the evolutionary path that best suited one's own needs for soul-fit transformation. It's the best fit, not the strongest. The human civilization in the universe possessed a vast ocean of evolutionary pathways, and which evolutionary pathway was more suitable for Lin Yuan than the martial arts evolutionary pathway? Hey, with the speed of cultivation of the youngest senior brother, breaking through to the seventh rank, it is estimated that there is also a great possibility, at that time, I also do not know our previous name. Should we change it? Third senior brother glanced at fourth senior brother and the other nine senior brothers. Ah this. Fourth senior brother blinked, if junior brother can break through to the seventh rank, that would be an enhancement of my Chikuan lineage's heritage, even if I were to change my words, I would still be willing to do so. Ah ah ah, old three, don't tease them. The second brother shook his head. For a sixth order revolver to break through to the seventh order, it would require even more of a specific kind of chance, and even if Lin Yuan could break through to the sixth order within a few decades, it would not be easy for him to continue to break through and cross over to the seventh order. Many sixth order extreme evolvers, on this bottleneck, were trapped for thousands and thousands of years until they died of old age. After an hour of interacting with the brothers and sisters, the party was over. Lin Yuan's consciousness disconnected from the virtual world and returned to reality. Mid-continent manor, underground training grounds. Look at the results of this time. Lin Yuan's mind carefully perceived the extent of his soul's metamorphosis. 20%? A smile appeared on Lin Yuan's face, according to this speed, it was estimated that it would take less than two years for his soul to reach a perfect fit, just a year out. At that time, he or she would cross into the sixth rank and become a mighty fallen star level powerhouse. Two shifts of 8,000 words. There are still a couple hours left before the double monthly is over. Please, 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 please. Quill. End of chapter. Chapter 6 Average Talent. Too much pride, requesting subscription. The most important prerequisite for a fifth order revolver who wants to cross over to the sixth order. It is the degree of fitness of one's soul with the fundamental evolutionary pathway that reaches the level of perfection. As long as the soul fit reached 10%, the next breakthrough would be a matter of course. Yet it is easy to say, but extremely difficult to do. Where is the easy part of trying to find an evolutionary pathway that fits with you? Sometimes the pre-cultivation seems to fit, but when you get to the fourth and fifth orders, you may suddenly realize that. It doesn't fit anymore? And perhaps those evolutionary paths that seem so obstructive in the early stages of cultivation, and so the evolver abandons them early, fit in with themselves again later on? The reason why the Cosmic Human Alliance, along with the three goddesses, have encouraged their citizens to open up and develop new evolutionary pathways, and have even tilted their resources to that end. Except for a certain extremely secret, unspeakable reason. It is because it gives countless evolvers more choices, if this evolutionary pathway does not fit with them, then they will change to another one and another one. With more choices, the number of 6th order revolvers naturally increased, and when the base of 6th order revolvers arrived, 7th order and 8th order would naturally be born in a steady stream. A virtuous circle is formed. As for that extremely hidden and unspeakable reason, it affected the topmost powerhouses of the human civilization and even the entire main world's cosmic stars. The pathway of martial evolution, which I personally created and opened up, is extremely compatible with my own nature, and the transformation of soul fit is a heavenly problem for other revolvers, who would even waste hundreds or thousands of years on it. But for me, it's just a walk in the park. Lin Yuan let out a light sigh of relief, if he had chosen the Xian Huang evolutionary pathway as his fundamental evolutionary pathway, the refinement of his soul fit would definitely be far less than it is now. With the facts, Lin Yuan was not fit to cultivate the Xian Huang evolutionary pathway, and was completely cheating by relying on his heaven-defying enlightenment. But the soul fit metamorphosis, the Antipodean enlightenment can not help much, it can be imagined that if you choose the Xian Huang evolutionary pathway, now even the first step has not come out. End of practice. Lin Yuan walked out of the main building and went to the manor's grassy field. 
The parents are there relaxing in the sun, although the virtual world has all kinds of entertainment. Mr. and Mrs. Lin Xiaocheng still preferred reality, and as for the virtual world, only occasionally did they go into play. Oh ha! Huh. In the sky, a stream of light was flying rapidly. Lin Yuan didn't need to look, he knew it was his younger sister, Lin Yi. The evolutionary pathway chosen by Lin Yi was the Nianli evolutionary pathway. This evolutionary pathway is widely circulated, and the prerequisites for cultivation are not very difficult, requiring only spiritual power higher than that of normal people. The numinous evolutionary pathway is essentially the development of the evolver's numinous power to interfere with reality, and at the first and second order levels, the attacks of the numinous evolutionary pathway evolvers are mostly physical means. It is to use your mind power to imperialize one or more weapons and then attack the enemy. Similarly, evolvers of the Nianli evolutionary pathway are among the few evolvers who can achieve alternative imperviousness when they are not in the rank. It's when a nimble evolutionary manipulates a weapon, then physically stands on it. Then manipulates the weapon to fly. Of course, this kind of imperious air was far inferior to a true imperious air, both in terms of speed and stability. Let's see how it goes later in the practice. Lin Yuan thought secretly. He didn't let Lin Yi cultivate martial arts, no matter how much potential the martial arts evolution pathway possessed, it wasn't adapted to everyone. A few words were exchanged with the family. Lin Yuan once again returned to the underground training ground of the main building. Just when Lin Yuan was planning to continue cultivating to perfect the martial Dao progression system, the voice of the intelligent assistant suddenly came. Master. The black prison shell of the black prison clan wants to see you. Black prison key later? Lin Yuan sighed in his heart. From the captain of the escort, Ho Ming, after learning that the black prison shell had the character of not stopping until the goal was achieved. Lin Yuan then realized that his refusal of the invitation from that old man in the black dress, Bei Zhao, was not an indication that it was over. Meet. Lin Yuan pondered for a while and still felt that it would be best for everyone to meet and make things clear. The human civilization of the universe had a sound legal system, and the three goddesses ruled from on high, so as long as Lin Yuan didn't agree, the Black Hell Chelsea couldn't do anything about him. Virtual Worlds Personal Space Lin Yuan met the Black Prison chelating young master of the Black Prison family. He was only one meter and a half tall, but his skin had black dense lines, and as he stood there, there was a noble aura coming from him. The Black Hell family, whose bloodline was said to be not purebred human, but with a fey bloodline. This phenomenon was common in human civilization. And breeding offspring with those powerful alien races might give birth to a supreme genius. Elder brother Lin Yuan. Black Hell Shell greeted him warmly. In order to be able to recruit Lin Yuan and follow the business map set by the Black Prison family's think tank, Black Prison Chelsea had already lowered their stance as much as possible. He longed to be back in the family, he longed to sit on that one-man patriarch's throne. Young Master Chelsea. Lin Yuan nodded slightly. The two were seated. Instead of getting straight to the point, Black Hell Chelsea digressed, over the years, I've watched videos of the ring matches from time to time, and I've found that my human civilization, there really are too many, too many geniuses. For example, in the Dark Spirit Astral Domain, a supreme genius was born, awakening the Dark Elf bloodline, and was born with an incomparably intimate sense of the rules of darkness. With this kind of qualification, if you casually cultivate a dark evolution pathway, you will be able to easily pass through the soul metamorphosis between the fifth and sixth orders, and in the future, there is a not solo possibility of crossing over into the seventh order. Black Hell Shell said with a smile. Indeed, there are too many geniuses in the universe. Lin Yuan nodded his head in deep agreement. After becoming the 13 peak master of the Red Kuan Star Lord, Lin Yuan browsed through intelligence information from all the frontiers of the universe. With a huge population base, the birth of even more demonic geniuses was possible. But a genius with even higher potential was still just a genius, not a powerhouse. The human civilization has countless geniuses assassinated by the foreigners every year. The more talented one was, the more they had to hold back. And until they had achieved great strength and crossed over to the sixth rank, they must keep a low profile. But no matter how talented one is, one has to need huge resources to support them, otherwise, it's just a waste of talent. The black prison shell looked at Lin Yuan. Right. Talent matters. Resources are also important. Lin Yuan nodded his head. How is it that human civilization has been able to give birth to a strong man? It wasn't that human civilization was always in a state of expansion, constantly taking large amounts of resources from other alien races, and then giving them back to their own strongest. Elder brother Lin Yuan, you haven't joined any other forces yet, have you any interest in joining my Black Prison Chelsea's banner? After the Black Hell Shell finished speaking, he immediately said, Elder brother Lin Yuan, don't be in a hurry to reject it first. 80 years, as long as you serve me for 80 years. The Black Hell Shell said in a serious tone, after 80 years, you can leave at any time. And during these 80 years, you can enjoy many resources that can make your path of evolution, a straight path. Many evolutionary pathways? The evolutionary pathways that my Black Hell family has included are all available for old brother Lin Yuan to view. Cosmic wonders? Starry sky treasures? And countless evolutionary secret arts? 
Just say the word, old brother Lin Yuan, and I will see to it that you collect and purchase them for you. The black prison shell looked at Lin Yuan sincerely. In fact, most of these conditions he said were empty promises. The many evolutionary pathways included in the black hell family? Even if he wanted to browse through them, he would need to pay many prices. Let alone an outsider like Lin Yuan. But now the black prison shell could not care less about that. Let's take Lin Yuan under his wing and sign a contract first. As for navigating the evolutionary pathways of the Black Hell family, he didn't say how long it would take? And with 80 years of potency, the Black Prison Shell didn't lie, after 80 years, Lin Yuan was over 100 years old and had no qualifications to participate in the ring, and the Black Prison Shell didn't mind releasing Lin Yuan. 80 years of service? Lin Yuan's face was expressionless. After 80 years, he was estimated to have stepped into the 7th rank, serving a scion of the Black Prison family in the district? I was so suppressed in the ring, but I didn't expect that I would still be valued by this Black Prison key later and be so persistent. Lin Yuan was somewhat helpless. He also knew that the reason why the Black Prison Chelsea and those power plutocrats had invited him was solely because of his performance in the ring. However, the Black Prison key later might have realized that Lin Yuan had hidden some of his strength in the ring, which was why he thought so highly of him and personally invited him. Elder brother Lin Yuan, what do you think? The Black Prison Shell looked at Lin Yuan expectantly. He thought he had already done enough, not only personally invited, but also opened more favorable conditions, and finally the time limit for effectiveness was even reduced to 80 years. Young Master Chelsea. Lin Yuan looked at the black prison shell, I have little interest in the ring, young master shell doesn't need to spend any effort on this. Ha! Huh? Black Helchel was a bit confused. Rejected. Lin Yuan surprisingly refused. After he, black prison shell, had shown so much sincerity, he even refused? Black hell shell lapsed into silence. The originally enthusiastic demeanor also quickly turned cold. He, black prison Chelsea, was not a passionate person by nature, and everything he did just now was in disguise, in order to show that he valued himself enough. But since Lin Yuan had rejected it outright, there was naturally no need to continue the disguise. Lin Yuan, are you sure about your choice? Black Hell Shell asked again. I'm sure. Lin Yuan nodded his head. As the 13 peak master of the Red Coin lineage, it was simply impossible for him to join the Black Prison clan, let alone be under the Black Prison Keylator's command. Very good. Black Hell Shell got up. All that passion, all that attention from himself, and in exchange for Lin Yuan's unhesitating rejection? It gave the Black Prison Shell a feeling of being genuinely wrongly paid. In terms of importance, Lin Yuan was not the most important of the more than 200 evolvers under the age of 100 given by the Black Prison family's think tank. But was the first to explicitly decline his invitation to the Black Prison Shell. Average talent and too much arrogance. The Black Prison Shell looked deeply at Lin Yuan and after whispering these words, his figure disappeared within his personal space. Given the level that the Black Prison family was at, the talent of a fourth rank under a hundred years old like Lin Yuan was not top-notch. And of course, it has little to do with talent in general. However, the black prison shell was annoyed in his heart and felt that compared to his talent, Lin Yuan's arrogance was much heavier. Still offended. Lin Yuan shook his head slightly. It was no wonder that 10,000 years ago, the young disciple that the teacher had taken and ended up revealing his identity of his own accord. In fact, just now. When faced with those last few threats from the black prison shell, Lin Yuan also wanted to directly reveal his identity as the 13 peak master. Then he watched as the Black Prison Shell was terrified and begged for forgiveness on his knees, and even that Seventh Order revolver of the Black Prison family, Black Prison Desert, had to come over to make amends and apologize. But this way. What happened to that young disciple that the teacher had taken in 10,000 years ago could be what happened to Lin Yuan after that. The Fei picked up on the trail and then launched a frenzied assassination attempt. I've kept a low profile enough. Lin Yuan rubbed his brow. From the time he had just become an evolutionary, to the current Fifth Order extreme, Lin Yuan had never left Kanglin Star, and had tried to stay out of trouble as much as possible. You know, which normal Fifth Order evolutionary hadn't traveled half of the Starfield or several Starfields? Fifth Order revolvers certainly couldn't survive in the Starry Sky, but the human civilization was technologically powerful enough to travel across the Starry Sky in a spaceship battleship. Even the main way that many Sixth Order revolvers traveled was by battleship craft. It's also the dominant mode of transportation in current human civilization. Lin Yuan, however, had not even gone out to the planet so far. Even so, it was still approached by the Black Prison Shell. If it was just an ordinary plutocratic power that invited him, Lin Yuan would have refused, but the Black Hell Keylaten came to live in the Black Hell family, which was one of the five major powers in the Red Kuan Star region. In fact, even if we reject the Black Prison Shell, the odds are that nothing will happen, and even if the Black Prison Shell has the guts, it's not possible to realistically make a move. Lin Yuan thought silently in his heart. The many laws and regulations of the universe's human civilization strictly prohibit high-level evolvers from striking out at other citizens without reason. Any violation will be severely punished. If the Black Prison Shell dared to secretly strike at Lin Yuan, it would be difficult to escape the investigation of the three goddesses afterward, and at that time, the Black Prison Shell would have to pay a heavy price even if he didn't die, and would even involve the Black Prison family. Just. 
Not afraid of 10,000. Just in case. What if the black prison chela is really crazy? Lin Yuan considers things thoroughly. After realizing that he had completely offended the black prison shell. Then he began to contact his big brother. As for why it wasn't the teacher if Lin Yuan had offended that seventh stage evolver of the black prison family, black prison desert, he might have turned to the teacher for help. But a black prison key later? Totally not worth the teacher's time. His teacher, the Red Koan Star Lord, had already given Lin Yuan enough help, and for such a small matter, Lin Yuan did not want to trouble his old man. Virtual Worlds Lin Yuan came to the personal space of his eldest senior brother. Eldest senior brother was the earliest disciple taken in by the Red Koan Star Lord. He was also the strongest disciple, with his strength crossing into the seventh rank early on, and had always been the object of study for all the peak masters. Little master, huh? How come you have time for me? The elder brother spoke in a gentle tone and looked at Lin Yuan, his face glowing with delight. He had accompanied Star Lord Chikuan for the longest time, so he naturally knew the importance that the Star Lord attached to Lin Yuan. For Lin Yuan to take the initiative to look for him. This was a good thing in the eyes of the eldest senior brother, to be able to draw on the relationship between senior brothers. Eldest brother, there is something that I need your help with. Lin Yuan opened his mouth and said. End of chapter. Chapter 7, Steady Eldest Brother, Request for Subscription. Lin Yuan briefly told eldest senior brother about his affair with the black prison key later. That little son of Hei Jiaimo, how dare he? Eldest brother shook his head, even black prison desert had to be respectful in front of him, that little son of his? Junior. What do you want to do about this? Eldest brother said casually. The matter was really not difficult for him. Even extremely easy. The easiest way was for him to personally contact the black prison desert. Let him control his little boy. With eldest brother's status, a single word would be enough to shake the black prison family to its core. It was estimated that the next day, the black prison shell would be captured and returned to the family, and would even be tied up to the Red Koan main planet to ask for punishment. Eldest brother knew the black prison desert too well, and was very good at weighing the pros and cons in judging the situation. Sure. This approach is not without its pitfalls. That would be a great possibility of exposing Lin Yuan's true identity. If Lin Yuan chose this method, eldest senior brother would have suggested that Lin Yuan's real body travel to the Red Koan main star before contacting the Black Hell Desert. Eldest senior brother, I still want to stay in Kanglin for a few more years. Lin Yuan pondered for a while and said in a low voice. Before the sixth order, Lin Yuan was not too willing to travel to the Red Koan main star. There were too many strong people there. Even under the eyes of the Red Koan star lord. Lin Yuan had quite a few secrets on him. It is like the door to all worlds. For example, the Budo progression system. Before the sixth order, the souls of evolvers are not yet attuned to the fundamental evolutionary pathway and are vulnerable to spying on secrets. Lin Yuan was not worried about the gate of 10,000 realms, even the virtual world could not be replicated, and it was estimated that the Red Kuan Star Lord could not detect the reality of the gate of 10,000 realms. It is just that the Martial Way Evolution Pathway now Lin Yuan's soul is slowly fitting towards the Martial Way Evolution Pathway and is at a critical moment. In the event that the powerhouses on the Red Kuan main planet noticed something, it would definitely be no small hidden danger. With the current potential of the Wudo Evolutionary Pathway. Once the identity of its founder was exposed, it was definitely far more serious than, say, Lin Yuan exposing the identity of the 13 peak masters of the Red Kuan lineage. Don't want to leave Kanglin Star? Eldest brother rubbed his chin. This meant that he couldn't explicitly warn the Black Hell family. I know what to do. The eldest senior brother nodded and looked at Lin Yuan and said, Don't worry, young senior brother, just cultivate well in Kanglin Star, that Black Prison Key later, there is absolutely no possibility of making a move against you and it won't be captured by those divination-type evolutionary pathway evolvers, who will capture any information about Little Master's true identity. Eldest brother looked slightly solemn. The evolvers of the divination-type of evolutionary pathway were individually weak, but they possessed no less influence over the general situation. Throughout the history of human civilization, there have been quite a few top-level great diviners who have used the universe and space as a chessboard, with many peak ethnic groups as pawns, and have recklessly laid out and placed their pieces. It was only that top-tier great diviners were too rare, and none of the current top-tier great diviners of the human civilization were sitting in the central starfield of the human race, tens of thousands of light-years apart, laying out the other ethnic groups. Then thank you, eldest brother. Lin Yuan said seriously. With the heights that eldest senior brother was at, it was already rare for him to be able to agree to Lin Yuan's request without hesitation. Even if other Seventh Order revolvers wanted to ask their big brother to do something, they wouldn't necessarily be able to do it. Between masters and brothers, what is there to say thank you for? Eldest senior brother said unconcernedly, I'm still waiting for junior brother, you to step into the sixth order and drink with me. Kanglin Star, Middle Continent Manor. Lin Yuan opened his eyes and his heart was certain. Though that said, he was almost certain that that black hell shell wouldn't mess around. However, there were also extreme possibilities to consider, and Lin Yuan was instantly relieved when he received a promise from his eldest senior brother. Sixth order. As long as I can cross over to the sixth order. 
the soul is completely attuned to the pathway of martial evolution. It would be impossible for an outsider to discover which evolutionary pathway I am practicing. Lin Yuan thought secretly. The sixth rank, to Lin Yuan, was also a qualitative change. There is a qualitative change here, not just in strength, but in identity. As long as one stepped into the sixth rank, the ability to preserve one's life was greatly increased, and then one could disclose the identity of the thirteen peak master. Appearing in front of everyone with a true stance. There is no need to cover up as much as you are doing now. Personal space. The black hellshell sat on his throne with a grim expression on his face. Young master. Dressed in a black gown the old man Bei Zhao appeared and bowed towards the black prison shell above the throne. Then Lin Yuan, rejected me. The black prison cella looks down on the northern call. Even the young master personally invited and refused? North call looked stunned. A personal invitation from a direct descendant of the Black Hell family, how great an honor was this? How could Lin Yuan dare to refuse then? Then, young master, what are you going to do? North call, dressed in a black dress, asked tentatively. What to do? What do you think I should do? Black Hell shall asked. It's just a genius on a backward medium life planet, it's his loss if he refuses young master's invitation, young master doesn't need to care about it, just keep recruiting other revolvers. North Call said tentatively. What he meant was that it was better to do more than one thing, there was no point in wasting time on such people. No. He's no ordinary genius. Black Hell Shell growled lowly. Lin Yuan was one of the 223 evolvers designated by the Black Prison family's think tank. Promising to make a splash in the Starfield level ring tournament, earning him, Black Prison Chelsea, a vast amount of wealth. Such a genius must be in your own hands. Young master must be that Lin Yuan? North Call continued to ask. Right. Black Hell Shell nodded. It's not hard, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass. North Call pondered for a moment. Quickly. The spirit of the Black Hell Shell was shaken. Since Lin Yuan is unwilling to become under the young master's command. Then we will force him to become under the young master's command. Bei held his mouth and said. Forced? The Black Prison Shell frowned, but you can't go against alliance laws and regulations. The cost of violating the alliance's laws and regulations was high, and even if he were to violate it, he would do so at a critical time like the fight for the patriarchal position. It's still not worth it to go against the grain for Lin Yuan. It's natural. North Call nodded. He also didn't think about going against the laws and regulations. The reason why this Lin Yuan is unwilling to join the young master's banner should be because he is emotionally attached to the Kanglin star and is nostalgic for his home planet. North said verbally. The home planet, indeed, has an extraordinary status in the hearts of many evolved people. Powerful evolvers have traveled the vast frontiers of the universe and seen a planet with very different customs, but there is always only one home planet. Go on. Black Hell Shell looked at North Call. In that case, we can start with Kanglin Star. When Bei Zhao said this, he paused for a moment and continued, if I remember correctly, the Black Prison family, in previous years, had quite a bit of trade with Kanglin Star? As one of the five major forces in the Red Coin Starfield, the Black Hell family was so large that interstellar trade occurred with most of the planets in the Starfield. This was normal, some of the rare ores and rare raw materials on Kanglin Star needed to go through the Black Hell family's chamber of commerce before they could be quickly realized. There are also some shopping channels and such that go through the Black Prison family. What do you mean? Black Hell Shell's eyes lit up. With Young Master's status, he is fully capable of cutting off trade between the family and Kanglin Star. At that time, the Young Master is putting down the word that the reason why the family is not trading with Kanglin Star is solely because that Lin Yuan doesn't know what's good for him. Bei Zhao smiled faintly, if there are no accidents, then Lin Yuan will definitely endure the verbal abuse of countless citizens of Kanglin planet, and even become the sinner of the entire planet, and I'm afraid that by that time, he will know of the young master's position of power, and will take the initiative to obediently defect. Nice nice. A smile appeared on the face of the black hell shell. Cutting off trade with Kanglin star is not against the laws and regulations of the alliance, after all, human civilization advocates free trade, I don't want to trade with you, is it possible that the three goddesses will still force them? This method may cost some of Young Master's connections, after all, cutting off interstellar trade with Kanglin Star is a lose lose method. North Call asked carefully. The Black Hell Shell is currently still in the stage of being tested by the family, and there are few means of resources that can be utilized. No harm done. Not a big deal. Black Hell Shell shook it. Cutting off trade with Canyon Planet is a perfectly fine choice for other planets, it just costs more. He, the Black Prison Shell, had a noble status, and he still had this power. You go down. The Black Prison Cella looks down on the Northern Call. Yes. The old man in the black gown, North Call, disappeared in the distance. Above the throne, the Black Prison Shell pondered for a moment and began to contact an elder. A few moments later, an illusory screen appeared in front of the Black Hell Shell. A man in a baggy coat looked over at the Black Prison Shell. What is it that you want from me, little shell? The man in the baggy coat asked lightly. Second uncle. The Black Hell Shell had long since risen from his throne and saluted respectfully. 
Second uncle, I want to cut off all trade between the family and Kanglin Star. Black Hell Shell spoke his thoughts directly. Kanglin Star. The man in the loose coat pulled up the information about this planet, his brows furrowed as he said, it's just a medium life planet, how did it offend you, little Chelsea? The loose coat man, a high-level member of the Black Prison family, was in charge of all the family's trade in the Morning Star Galaxy, and as long as he was willing, the matter of disconnecting from trade with Kanglin Star was nothing more than a matter of words. I wanted to recruit a talented evolver from the Kanglin Star to participate in the Starfield level ring tournament for me, but he refused. Black Hell Shell said. That's it? The man in the baggy coat frowned. If it was just a matter of not recruiting the people they wanted, and for that reason, they used the power of the Black Prison family to suppress the other side. The man in the baggy coat will be very disappointed in the black prison shell. Second uncle, this person is very important to me. Black prison key later gritted his teeth and spoke about the family's think tank. So it's the genius evolver selected by the think tank. The loose coat man's face was solemnized. For hundreds of thousands of years, the black prison family's think tank had made countless feats. In particular, the chief of the think tank had suggested that the black hell desert should relocate its people to the red Cohen star region. This has led to the present day, the prestigious black prison family. I will cut off trade with Canyon Star. You have to work hard too, Little Shell, and do it for those in the clan. After the man in the loose coat finished speaking, he ended his call with the Black Prison Shell. Mr. Lin, if you refuse that Black Prison Shell's solicitation, the other party is bound to follow up, and the odds are that they'll do something about interstellar trade from Kanglin Star. Inside the main building of the manor, the captain of the escort, Ho Ming, analyzed. I think so. Lin Yuan nodded his head. With his parents and sister on the estate, the family is under the protection of Canyon's planetary defenses, plus the surveillance of the Goddess of Wisdom. The Black Prison Keylator couldn't even find a place that could threaten Lin Yuan. With the power of the Black Prison family, all they could do was cut off trade with Kanglin Star and then put pressure on Lin Yuan. That Black Prison Shell, thinking that I didn't accept the recruitment, is incomparably valuing Kanglin Star and can't afford to part with this place. Lin Yuan thought secretly. Even if we cancel trade with Kanglin Star and put all the blame on you, Mr. Lin. At most, it would only cause the other citizens on Kanglin Star to have some opinions. As long as Mr. Lin doesn't care about that, it has no effect. The escort captain stole a glance at Lin Yuan. In fact, he said simple, but really when the endless public opinion came to their own head, in the center of the public opinion of the people, feel no, is another matter. I wouldn't care. Lin Yuan shook his head and said. Even when he was shuttling for the fourth time and became the great devil Xiaohou Yuan that everyone in the five domains scorned, Lin Yuan was full of concern, let alone now. What we need to pay attention to now is whether or not the Black Prison Shell will do anything else drastic after cutting off trade with Kanglin Star and realizing that it won't affect you, Mr. Lin. A flash of worry appeared on the face of Ho Ming, the head of the escort. People are not intelligent, they have feelings, desires. And naturally impulses. Waiting Ming was worried that the Black Prison Key later would jump over the wall in a hurry and disregard everything, even if the possibility of such a thing was extremely low. No harm done. Lin Yuan's face was calm. He had long since met his eldest senior brother and informed him of the Black Prison Key later. The eldest brother also assured me that nothing would happen. I also wonder what means and methods eldest senior brother intends to use to guard against the Black Prison shell? Lin Yuan suddenly felt some curiosity in his heart. The landing area of the Canyon Starship. A big bald man walked out. Uhu, is this the Kanglin Star? The place where junior brother grew up? The bald man took a deep breath and closed his eyes in a look of enjoyment. Junior brother wants to cultivate quietly on Kanglin Star for a few years, and doesn't want to be disturbed by that black prison key later, the most stable way is naturally for me to come over personally to sit on Kanglin Star off. With me on Kanglin Planet, the Black Hell Desert will have to roll when they come. The big bald man left the landing area of the airship and found a random place to stay. With his strength, a single thought was enough to envelop the entire Kanglin Planet, and even the planetary defense system didn't detect his presence. This alter ego of mine was recently condensed and formed, and the outside world doesn't even know about it, this father is sitting on the main star of Chikuan, and those divination-type evolvers don't know about the existence of this alter ego, so naturally it's impossible for them to divine any useful information. The bald big man looked away in the direction of the Middle Continent. He only slightly sensed the aura of the Middle Continent and did not probe deeply, so Lin Yuan would not have discovered it. It's only a few decades. As long as it leaves a good impression in Little Master's heart, it's totally worth it. The bald big man now wished that the black prison shell would be more impulsive. At least it was able to show itself to be worthwhile and not a wasted trip. Two more shifts are over. Please, please, please. Quill. End of chapter. Chapter 8 Double Protection, Request for Subscription. Black Prison Shell, you've got to fight for it. Better send a squad of Sixth Order Revolvers over here for me to crush. Then I'll make a righteous move to save Junior Brother from danger in this way, won't Junior Brother have to be touched to death oh 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 oh. The bald big man lazily leaned back on the roadside chair, thinking happily in his heart. With his status and position, he could naturally warn the Black Prison family directly. But then. 
It wouldn't be enough to satisfy junior senior brother's request to continue cultivating in Kanglin Star for a few more years. The impact of a personal warning from the great peak master of the Red Cohen Vein would definitely be studied by this starfield as well as the neighboring starfields, by many forces. For example, what exactly had happened to cause the great peak master of the Chikuan lineage to personally intervene and warn the Black Prison family? It turned out to be that young son of the Black Prison Desert. Just why would such an insignificant character attract the attention of the Great Peak Master? Oh. It was because this youngest son was using the power of the Black Prison family to suppress a genius evolver named Lin Yuan from Kanglin Star. How could a mere genius evolver from a medium life planet cause the Grand Peak Master of the Hallowed Chikuan lineage to step forward? Once this conclusion was reached, there would definitely be people who would associate Lin Yuan's true identity with that 13 Peak Master of the Red Kuan lineage? Or even simply the 13 Peaks Lord? The above speculation, of course, may be just one of many. But when it came to the mysterious 13 Peak Master, even if it was just a possibility or speculation, once the foreigners learned of it, they would not let it go easily. He would rather kill the wrong person than let the future 13 Peak Master grow up. Sure. The bald big man could also secretly warn the Black Prison family about the Black Prison Desert. But as long as the Black Prison Chelsea reacted in a way that didn't conform to normal logic after the fact, such as suddenly sparing Lin Yuan, such as suddenly being recalled to the Black Prison family, it would still cause a reaction from the outside world, and those divination-type evolvers would deduce information about the results that would be useful to them based on some minor news intelligence. And the bald big man was also not very trusting of the Black Prison family, his own secret warnings, the many forces in the outside world did not know, but the Black Prison family always had to know, right? We've got something else on our minds. Therefore, for the bald big man, the safest way was to personally sit on Kanglin Star. As long as he was there, no matter what changes occurred in the outside world, even if the Tsong Lan star collapsed and the nearby star systems were destroyed, he himself was sure to ensure that his little senior brother would not be harmed in any way. This body of his now, although it was a recently condensed bilocation, was not much weaker than his original body. And due to the fact that he had never revealed it, the outside world did not know about this alter ego of his, which was used to protect his junior brother. And would not be detected by certain sinister divination type evolvers who would notice anything. Mid-Continent Manor Lin Yuan sat cross-legged in the underground training ground. Pity. Since uploading the fifth order chapter of the Pathway of Martial Evolution, the Goddess of Wisdom has taken the initiative to unblock my information and forge a normal growth trajectory. Lin Yuan sighed. The blocking of information is as much a warning as it is a protection. If someone wanted to deal with Lin Yuan and then check the information and realize that the information was blocked, they would definitely be a little cautious. But if the citizens who are being infralegged in the underground training ground. Pity. Since uploading the fifth order chapter of the Pathway of Martial Evolution, the Goddess of Wisdom has taken the initiative to unblock my information and forge a normal growth trajectory. Lin Yuan sighed. The blocking of information is as much a warning as it is a protection. If someone wanted to deal with Lin Yuan and then check the information and realize that the information was blocked, they would definitely be a little cautious. But if the citizens who are being information blocked are more important than a certain threshold, then the information blocking, it smacks of a no-brainer. It is true that the citizens who are blocked from information are not limited to the founders of evolutionary pathways, there are geniuses in the field of evolution, geniuses in the field of gastronomy, geniuses in the field of scientific research, geniuses in the field of art, and so on. However, today's martial Tao evolutionists possess the possibility of advancing to the 8th stage evolutionary pathway, which meant that in the future, Lin Yuan was expected to become a new evolutionary grand scholar. It would be a bit risky for such an important talent to then be blocked by information and be able to focus on it as soon as someone else checks it out. How do you really protect a talented person? that would be letting this talent die out. Even if other people checked Lin Yuan's information, they could only see the information that the Goddess of Wisdom had forged, thinking that Lin Yuan was just an ordinary fourth-order revolver with some talent at most, and that he was expected to cross over to the fifth order in the future. That's all. In this way, even if they were targeted, it wouldn't be too much. And it wouldn't be worth the huge price the Fei paid to come over and assassinate them. Of course, an evolver that could be worthy of the Goddess of Wisdom's personal falsification of information had a terrifyingly high level of importance, and must have been arranged to be protected by other means. The other side of the Kanglin Star. A gnome-like man is savoring a meal. Uh, this planet is backward but the food is pretty good. This dwarf-like man walked with a big grin, and many of the young and beautiful female citizens around him were scared and backed away. What's wrong? Never seen the demon rats before, huh? The midget man straightened his rounded stomach and said without any concern. The devil mouse race. It was one of the starry sky groups that had completely submitted to the human civilization, and over the past million years, it had been thoroughly integrated into the human race, although it was still not very common on some medium life planets. The females of this planet really don't fit my aesthetic, how can they be as cute as those little potatoes of the demon rat race? The dwarf man walked for a while, stopped and looked away in the direction of the mainland in his eyes. The goddess of wisdom took great pains to protect that man by forcing me directly from the border battlefields to secretly come to this planet as a bodyguard on a secret mission. The midget man sighed. 
To think that he was a peak seventh order existence, even in the border battlefield, he could kill in all directions and be incomparably majestic, but as a result, he now had to hang around on a medium life planet. But the more that happens, the more important that person proves to be, and the goddess won't do anything senseless. Much less waste the alliance's resources. The midget man thought to himself. The goddess has given me the task of protecting that genius evolver called Lin Yuan until the sixth order. The midget man had also inquired about Lin Yuan. Of course, the information he found out was all from the goddess of wisdom in disguise. There is only some explicit information. This Lin Yuan, who is only at the fourth rank, certainly has some talent and is expected to step into the fifth rank, but the sixth rank. The dwarf man felt that he would have to stay on this planet for hundreds of years. Consider it a break. The midget man simply stopped thinking about it. Half a month later. The Black Hell Clan's trade with Kanglin Star was gradually disconnected. For a time, the many group companies of Kanglin Star were in a state of panic. These group companies, which could all rely on trading with the Black Prison family to earn profits, now the Black Prison family would rather break the contract and pay the liquidated damages, but also want to cut ties with Kanglin Star. Naturally, there is some trepidation among these group companies. What the hell is going on? Didn't we work well together before? The rare metals developed by our group can only be eaten by the Black Prison family, who am I going to find to work with if he's gone? The circle of merchants in Kanglin Star exploded with chatter. Lord Black Prison Zhang, I wonder why you want to cut off trade with my Kanglin Star? A director of a certain group contacted a member of the Black Hell family who was in charge of Kanglin Star's trade. If it was just one or two families stopping their cooperation, it might have been an unexpected situation, but now, all of the Black Prison family's business regarding Kanglin Star was suspended. Obviously, there was a big person targeting Kanglin Star behind the scenes. No? You Canyon Star did it yourself. And you still don't know it? Black Hell Hidden looked lonely and frowned as he asked. I really don't know, the group director looked helpless, I still hope that your excellency will point out, we'll see if there's any possibility of remedying the situation. There's an evolved person on your planet named Lin Yuan? Black Prison Zhang spoke in a strong tone, this Lin Yuan, how dare he refuse the solicitation of Chelsea Young Master, our Chelsea Young Master was so sincere and offered those favorable conditions, only to be rejected. Is this looking down on my Black Prison family? You, Kanglin Star, have produced such a citizen, so there is no need for my Black Prison family to continue working with you. After Black Helso finished speaking, he simply disconnected the connection. Lin Yuan? This group director's heart went cold, he naturally knew who Lin Yuan was, the previous champion of the ring, the man of the hour of Kanglin Star. Just now, Lin Yuan had actually offended the huge Black Prison family? The changing public opinion of Kanglin Star was naturally seen by Lin Yuan. This Black Prison Chelsea is really suppressing Kanglin Star in trade and throwing all the public pressure towards me. Lin Yuan browsed the virtual world and thought in his heart. Nowadays, on the Kanglin planet, public opinion was oriented in such a way that it was already beginning to blame Lin Yuan. Blame Lin Yuan for why he refused the invitation of the Black Prison Keylating Young Master? Blame Lin Yuan for why he dragged Kanglin Star into this? Blame Lin Yuan for why he didn't apologize to the Black Prison Key later until now? The pressure of many remarks landed on Lin Yuan's head. The world scorns. Thousands of people. It doesn't even begin to describe it. That Black Prison Chelsea. Thinking that I'm young and in a poor state of mind and can't carry the pressure of public opinion from tens of billions of people? And finally beg for mercy from him? A hint of sarcasm surfaced on Lin Yuan's face. As a matter of fact, it was indeed possible that an ordinary person, or even a fourth-stage evolver, would not be able to carry this kind of massive pressure. But Lin Yuan was not an ordinary person, after four shuttles and the passage of seven to eight hundred years, if Lin Yuan could not even withstand this pressure, then it would really be a white shuttle. Breaking the game is easy, too. Just use the influence of the Chikuan lineage. But then, I'll have to travel to the Red Koan main star early, and the secret of cultivating the martial progression pathway may be exposed. Lin Yuan's face was calm as his thoughts flowed. In addition, the best way, naturally, was to ignore the external pressure, as long as one waited for one's breakthrough to the sixth rank, all the difficult dilemmas would naturally be solved. Kanglin Star Virtual World Consul Song Wuyang took the lead, discussing with the heads of many current group companies about the countermeasures regarding the Black Prison family's disconnection from trade. Say it. What's the status now? Song Wuyang sat on the main seat and looked at the people involved in the meeting. Consul Song, the Black Prison Group took the initiative to cut off contact, and although the standard liquidated damages were compensated in accordance with the contract, these liquidated damages can only solve a temporary emergency. The most important thing now is to find a new trade object, but the Black Prison family has too much influence, he would rather pay a breach of contract to cut ties with Kanglin Star. This scene has made other forces not dare to come close to us. The planet where the Black Hell family abandoned trade. Are the other powers taking over planning to make enemies of the Black Hell family? It was out of this concern that even if the group forces on the Kanglin Star side quoted a lower price and gave up most of their profits, no force would come over to take over. In the Red Koan Star region, the Black Prison family was one of the five giant forces, and even had a tendency to faintly stand above the other four. What I'm worried about is that as time passes, the other powers that trade with us on Kanglin Star will also gradually withdraw. 
an old man spoke up and voiced his concerns. The saying that the walls are falling down has been true for ages. Once this really happened, Kanglin Planet's trade channels were blocked, and if it went on for a long time, it was feared that it might fall to a lower life planet. I know. And your solution is? Song Wuyang let out a light breath and continued to speak. The simplest solution is naturally to have that Lin Yuan take the initiative to admit his mistake to the black prison chelating young master. A participant whispered. This statement was made. The others nodded immediately. Only Lin Yuan from the black prison chelating young master. The crisis in Kanglin Star naturally ceased to exist, and trade with the black prison family, too, would be resumed. Since Mr. Lin doesn't want to, what am I going to force? Tell me about other methods. Song Wuyang shook his head, this method was indeed the simplest, yet the most difficult. Lin Yuan was a fourth-order revolver and the champion of the ring, such a genius, in case he was forced to emigrate directly to other planets, wouldn't Kanglin Planet have lost its fortune? The other way. That is to continue to look for new trading partners, Shiku and Starfield. There are always forces that are not afraid of the Black Hell family. Someone sighed. Just how easy is this method? Is it possible to find a trade partner just by saying you can find one? And since Kanglin Star was now blacklisted by the Black Prison family, wanting other forces to risk offending the Black Prison family to come over and cooperate would definitely require hemorrhaging a few times. Mid-Continent Manor Lin Yuan sat cross-legged, glancing outside the main building. Although he wasn't affected by the public opinion, his parents and his sister, Lin Yi, were obviously a bit downhearted, presumably because they had seen the comments against Lin Yuan on the internet. Cutting off someone's money is like killing their parents. Even if Lin Yuan was a fourth-stage evolver, even if Lin Yuan was the champion of the ring. As usual, there were also people who dared to rage against Lin Yuan on the internet. Sure. This is also limited to the internet. So far, Lin Yuan had yet to find a glimpse of unknown citizens in the vicinity of the manor. With Lin Yuan's position of strength, they only dared to curse on the internet, as for a real-life confrontation? Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a fourth-order genius evolver? That would have to be at least fifth-order evolver strength. And it was impossible for a fifth-order evolver to offend Lin Yuan because of this matter. Wait a little longer. Lin Yuan closed his eyes, as long as he waited until he crossed the sixth rank, everything would be over. Just as Lin Yuan was planning to close his door, the intelligent assistant suddenly reminded Lin Yuan. Master, someone is looking for you. Who? Lin Yuan raised his eyebrows. It's Fong Qing. Virtual worlds. Personal space. Lin Yuan's figure appeared. Spin up and click the agree to application button. Not much longer. Fong Qing then appeared in front of him. It was just that Fong Qing's figure was not yet completely clear. The angry curses then came. That shit black prison shell, how dare you take advantage of my absence to come and suppress Kanglin Star? Who gave him the courage to do that? End of chapter. Chapter 9 The Gate of 10,000 Realms has finished storing energy, 5th shuttle? Requesting subscription. Personal space. Fong Qing cursed. Filled with contemptuous disdain for the black prison shell. Using his family's power to oppress such an evolved person like Lin Yuan. He even implicated the entire Kanglin Star to force Lin Yuan to submit. This, in Fang Qing's opinion, was beneath his dignity and was a disgrace to the Black Prison family. Brother Lin, don't worry, I've probably already understood things. Fang Cheng looked at Lin Yuan and spoke. Ever since he had passed the Seven Star Cave Test, Fang Cheng had taken the Red Coin lineage's airship and traveled to the Red Coin Main Star. Once there, Fang Cheng needed to do a lot of things, and even his communication with Lin Yuan became less frequent. After all, joining the Chikuan lineage was not the same as resting on one's laurels. Becoming a member of the Red Coin lineage, Fang Qing needed to face all sorts of competition and had little free time. I really don't want to be under the command of the Black Hell Cheeks. Lin Yuan shook his head and said. I know. Fang Cheng nodded. Leave this matter to me. Fang Cheng's tone was confident. Now he was a member of the Red Coin lineage. As for the Chikuan lineage, it was the undisputed master of the Chikuan Starfield. And any evolver with some connection to the Chikuan lineage would be able to soar to the heavens. Not to mention that Fang Qing belonged to the official members of the Red Kuan lineage? Let's be polite first. Meet with the Black Prison Key later before you do. Fang Qing calmly said. If through his own intervention, the Black Prison Shell gave up targeting Kanglin Star, then naturally everyone would be happy. If the Black Prison Shell was unwilling, Fang Qing also had a solution. Thanks a lot. Lin Yuan was slightly moved and said. In the face of the Black Prison family's suppression, Lin Yuan stooped without fear because he knew his true bottom card. But Fang Qing wasn't aware of that. Under the current pressure of the huge public opinion of Kanglin Star, Fang Qing still did not hesitate to stand on his side, which was indeed considered righteous enough. Next. Fang Chang was in front of Lin Yuan. Dialed the contact information for Black Prison Shell. A few moments later. The silhouette of the Black Hell Shell then appeared in front of release screen. Brother Fang, long time no see. The Black Hell Shell looked at Fang Qing, a smile appearing on his face. 
This session of the seven star cave test, the evolvers who passed were just over 300, and the black prison family, as the power of the red coin lineage, naturally remembered these 300 people very well. Even at the original 13 peak master celebration ceremony, Fang Cheng and the other 300 or so new members of the red coin lineage had come into contact with the black prison family and other forces, and at that time, black prison Chelsea had chatted with Fang Cheng for a few moments. I'll cut to the chase, black prison shell. Fang Cheng went straight to the point, do you know, which planet do I come from? What does brother Fang mean? Black Hell Shell's smile quickly tightened. He naturally knew that Fang Qing came from the Tsonglan star, but so what? What he was targeting was only Lin Yuan, and as long as Lin Yuan bowed to him, the suppression of Kanglin star would be suspended. Overall, Kanglin star lost some economy at most, and it was not harmful to the whole. Big Brother Lin, is my best friend brother, Tsonglan star, is also my home planet, your little means, better take it back. Fang Qing opened his mouth. Oh? Black Hell Shell's expression remained unchanged, what means, why am I not clear? Still pretending there? Fang Qing sneered, you let the black prison family executives interrupt the trade with Kanglin Star and spread the word that this is all because Brother Lin didn't accept your solicitation, that little trick, do you really think I can't see it? Brother Fang has misunderstood, interrupting the trade with Kanglin Star is the decision of the family's senior management, they believe that it is not suitable for Kanglin Star to continue their cooperation, what does it have to do with me? Black Hell Shell is dead on arrival. No matter what, one couldn't leave anything behind, Fang Qing came from the Red Coin lineage, even if he was just an ordinary member, it wouldn't be good for him or her to directly clash with the other party. Anyway, interrupting the trade with Kanglin Star was legal and compliant, even the Goddess of Wisdom couldn't pick any faults, and Fang Qing couldn't possibly catch him in the act. Black Prison Shell, are you sure you want to make an enemy of me? Fang Qing stared at the Black Prison Chelsea and said word for word. Brother Fang, what for enemy or not, I don't have that ability either. Black Hell Shell said, shaking his head. Very good. Fang Qing directly closed the call with the black prison shell. This black prison shella, oil, and salt. Fang Qing rolled his eyes. It seems that big brother Lin's charm is just too great, causing the black prison shell to risk offending the Chikuan lineage and not be willing to give in. But it's not a big problem. Fang Qing got up, looked at Lin Yuan and said, Brother Lin, just wait for my good news. Having said that, Fang Qing then disappeared into thin air. Witness Fang Qing leaving. Lin Yuan's face fell into deep thought. He had instead ignored Fang Qing's presence. It could be said that anyone from the Red Coin lineage stepped in to help Lin Yuan resolve the Black Prison family's suppression. All of them would attract the attention of many forces and make Lin Yuan face the risk of having his identity exposed. But only Fang Chang won't. Because Fang Qing was also from the Tsang Lan Star and had participated in the ring tournament with Lin Yuan, the two of them were quite friendly. Now that Lin Yuan was being targeted by the Black Prison family, Fang Qing had joined the Red Coin lineage and had the ability to resolve this matter, and he had stepped in to help, even the top divination masters could not project anything, but only felt that it was very normal and reasonable. Inside the gorgeous palace. The black hellcutter sits on his throne. Young master, is it right to give that Fang Qing so little face? Bei Xiao witnessed the entire process just now, and a worried look appeared on his face. Don't worry. That Fang Qing, but an ordinary member of the Red Kuan lineage, can't represent the Red Kuan lineage. Black prison shell shook his head and said, and it's not like I directly contradicted him, there's nothing to hold on to, what can be done to me? If it was a core member of the Chikuan lineage, he, black prison shell, might have to swallow his breath and obediently give in, but just an ordinary member? or an ordinary member who had just joined the Red Cohen clan. Black Hell Shell didn't think there would be any hidden dangers, as long as he was able to return to the clan successfully and sit on the Patriarch's throne, then everything would be worth it. Chikuan's main planet virtual world. Inside a temporarily opened manor world. Fang Cheng and the other 300 or so figures were seated in front of a huge round table. These 300 or so figures were all evolvers who had joined the Red Cohen lineage in the same batch as Fang Cheng. It was the same group of orators who had passed the 7-star cave test. In the Chikuan lineage, the 13 peak masters stood tall, and among the members underneath them, their backgrounds and origins were all different. So members who join in the same batch tend to be a bit closer, after all, they belong to the same class. Fang Qing, call us over, something's up. Good, between us, we have something to say. At the round table, an evolved person spoke. Most of the evolved people, however, remained silent and did not take a stand. Among them were the silver-haired woman Silver Spirit, the man from the Three-Eyed Clan, and the burly man who was nearly three meters tall. As Red Stripes in the Seven Star Cave Ordeal, these three had a not so low status even after joining the Red Coin lineage. Being invited at this time was purely for the sake of joining the Red Coin lineage in the same batch. Guys. Fang Qing looked at the crowd and said in a deep voice, My hometown, Kanglin Star is being suppressed by the Black Prison family. He interrupted trade with Kanglin Star and imposed despicable economic sanctions, and I implore you all to convince the forces behind this to trade with Kanglin Star. Fang Qing said sincerely. The worst effect of the Black Hell family's interruption of trade with Kanglin Star was not the loss of the Black Hell family as a collaborator. Rather, it is a series of negative impacts afterward. Other forces might follow the trend when they saw the Black Prison family withdraw. 
The only way to stifle this scene is to quickly re-establish trade channels with other powers. The first thing the other forces here did was not to fear the Black Hell family. Only a re-stabilized trade relationship will be able to pluck Lin Yuan out of the center of public opinion. The many evolvers on the field were all official members of the Red Kuan lineage, and the forces behind them naturally didn't care too much about the Black Prison family. So it is. The vile Black Hell family. Bullying the weak all over the place based on their size. Brother Fong Ching, I'll do this favor. In front of the round table, many evolvers were on the same page and immediately beat their chests in commitment. Sure. The reason why these evolvers were saying this was purely for Fong Ching's sake. Promising Fong Ching at this moment was tantamount to the latter owing them a favor, and in the future, if he had something to do, Fong Ching could only try his best to help. Canyon Star? At this time, that man from the Three-Eyed Clan spoke, if I remember correctly, the cause of this incident was something that was triggered by the Black Prison family's Black Prison key later, who wanted to recruit that Lin Yuan, and as a result, the latter refused? Fong Ching you only need to wait for a while, as long as that Lin Yuan takes the initiative to bow down, the trade suppression against Kanglin Star, will disappear, are you sure you want to use so many favors to help that friend of yours? The Three-Eyed Clan man looked at Fong Ching with interest. The other revolvers in front of the round table similarly looked at Fong Ching. They didn't care if the Black Prison family bullied the weak. The reason why so many evolvers went along with Fong Ching's words was purely for the sake of favors. This whole thing is nothing to them anyway, it's just an additional trade line. With everyone watching. Fong Ching frowned slightly. He couldn't help but recall, in his mind, the advice of that teacher of his, the old white-bearded man, when he first learned of what had happened to Kanglin Star. Help, definitely. Bankruptcy is all about helping. The white-bearded old man couldn't help but growl as he understood the cause and effect. Ha! Huh? Fong Ching froze. He did think about helping, and even began to think of a way back for Lin Yuan. But to be as excited as the white-bearded old man was a bit puzzling. Stupid. The white-bearded old man glanced at Fong Cheng. Let me ask you, if you hadn't joined the Chikuan lineage and were faced with the solicitation of the black prison shell, would you have answered? The white-bearded old man asked rhetorically. I think. I think I'll say yes. Fong Cheng thought carefully and nodded. Not joining the Red Coin lineage was tantamount to him not having any background, and in the face of a behemoth like the Black Prison family, he simply did not have the backbone to resist or refuse. Unless he stayed within the planet for the rest of his life and didn't go out, he would have to guard against the Black Prison family laying their hands on him whenever he went out to explore and travel. Then tell me, is your big brother Lin, stupid? The white-bearded old man continued to ask. Big brother Lin is naturally not stupid. Fong Ching said without hesitation. What do you mean? Fong Ching instantly reacted. Your brother Lin is not stupid. Yet he made a seemingly stupid decision, what do you think is the reason? The old man with the white beard guided. Big brother Lin has other cards and didn't put the black prison family, no, didn't put the black prison shell in his eyes. Fong Ching said cheerfully. Still got some brains. The white bearded old man said in relief, you're helping your big brother Lin now, that's sending charcoal in the snow, you know? I'm sure. In front of the round table, Fang Qing looked at the many evolvers and nodded his head, everyone who helps me today, I will promise a favor, and if there is anything in the future, just look for me directly. Poof. Seeing this, the three-eyed clan man let out a cold snort and his figure directly disappeared. He was too lazy to get involved in these trivial matters, and Fang Qing's favor was even less in his eyes. Only. Aside from a few people such as the man from the three-eyed race, most of the evolvers still sold Fang Qing's face. Even that silver-haired woman, Silver Spirit, promised to go talk to the forces behind her. After all, this matter had no difficulty for them, and even if they helped, it wouldn't take much effort. Virtual world, personal space. The black hell shell looked gloomy. Damn it, the black prison key later's eyes narrowed, I didn't expect that Fong Ching, who willingly gave so many favors for Lin Yuan, to ask so many of his fellow disciples to establish trade relations with Kanglin Star. Black hell shell was somewhat helpless. At that time, he originally thought that Fong Ching was just talking for fun and doing it for Lin Yuan. I didn't expect to really intend to stand up for Lin Yuan and pay so much. And that Red Kuan lineage, is it really so united that they follow Fong Ching and work against my black prison family? Black Hellshell's face grew more and more somber. Young master. What now? Down in the Great Hall. Northcall asked tentatively. What to do? What else? Could it be that I still dare to follow the Great Chikuan lineage against me? The Black Hellshell waved his hand, if I dared to do that, I would have directly been forcibly taken back by the clan. Playing dumb in front of Fong Ching was not considered a serious consequence, and it had nothing to do with the Red Koan lineage. But now, if he dared to continue meddling, he would truly be an enemy of the Chikuan lineage, and with so many official members of the Chikuan lineage having stepped forward, he, Black Prison Shell, naturally knew what to do. Time passes. A large part of the year has passed. Mid-Continent Manor. Lin Yuan ended his cultivation and scanned the internet. Eh, the influence of the Black Prison family has basically been eliminated. Lin Yuan walked out of the underground training ground. For the past half year, as many members of the Red Kuan lineage stepped forward and talked the forces behind them into establishing trade with Kanglin Star. 
Naturally there wasn't much left regarding the influence of the Black Hell family. As for the curses for Lin Yuan on the internet, they had long since died down to a relic. The whole thing was as if nothing had happened. It's just human nature. Lin Yuan shook his head slightly, he didn't care, but his parents and sister's recent mood had improved at a rate visible to the naked eye. Half a year of soul fit. Lin Yuan's eyes closed slightly as he began to feel how high or low his soul fit was. Half a year ago, his soul fit reached 20%. Now after 7 or 8 months of continuously perfecting the pathway of martial evolution, Lin Yuan had already vaguely felt that his soul fit was about to reach perfection. 85%. Lin Yuan opened his eyes and a smile appeared on his face. With an 85% soul fit. He had already reached the late stage of transformation, and was close to crossing over to the sixth stage. Just as Lin Yuan was planning to continue cultivating, perfecting the martial Dao progression system and improving his soul fit. Suddenly. Lin Yuan's face changed slightly. Because. The depths of the mind. The edge area of that lofty, magnificent gate of the 10,000 realms had been completely lit up. Don't curse don't curse. The episode ended quickly. The pace of this book has been very fast, less than half a million words sixth order, equal to a book of immortal cultivation, less than half a million words, the protagonist has been refined. Lastly, I'm begging for a monthly pass. Quill. End of chapter. Chapter 10, Rejected, Request for Subscription. The moment the outer area of the gate of all worlds was illuminated. Lin Yuan then knew. Shuttling is possible? Lin Yuan's mind came to the depths of his mind and looked at the lofty, magnificent gate of 10,000 realms. Just for now. Lin Yuan frowned slightly. At this time, he was in the critical period from the 5th to the 6th rank. The soul fit had reached 85%, and it was close to the perfection of the fit. The increase in soul fit required Lin Yuan to inject all of his energy into enlightenment as well as perfecting the pathway of martial arts advancement. If one were to make a shuttle now, the descent of consciousness into other worlds would be tantamount to aborting the process of soul metamorphosis. After the aftermath shuttle ended, Lin Yuan crossed the 6th rank in the other world and returned to the main world after. It still takes time and energy to walk through the last leg of the soul fit. What Lin Yuan was really worried about was not all of the above. Rather, aborting the soul metamorphosis hastily would cause certain bad results. For example, the soul fit is not advancing, but regressing? Or a sudden slowdown in the speed of attunement, etc. In the long years of human civilization in the universe, there have been some fifth-order revolvers who were interrupted by various accidents when they were engaged in the process of attuning their souls to their own evolutionary pathways. When he finally restarted the metamorphosis fit, he found that the speed and efficiency of the soul fit were all affected to a certain extent. Just. Let's wait to shuttle after completing the soul fit metamorphosis and stepping into the sixth order. Lin Yuan's face appeared in brief contemplation, and finally a decision was made in his heart. Delaying the shuttle would not be a loss to Lin Yuan, and the gate of all worlds would still continue to build up its charge. It was like a 10-liter water cup that was dripping water into it every moment, and when the water in the cup reached 1 liter, Lin Yuan could perform a shuttle. The moment of the shuttle consumes this liter of water. But if you don't choose to shuttle, this liter of water doesn't disappear, it remains in the water glass and doesn't affect the subsequent increase of water in the glass. Theoretically, Lin Yuan could wait for several years for uninterrupted shuttling. Or try other features of the gate of all worlds, such as what happens when you light up the core area? Outside the Kanglin Star. A ship slowed to a stop and was subjected to a star station security check. Boss, Kanglin Star is here, we've arrived at our destination. Inside the airship, a green-haired youth said excitedly, this is the first time I've left my home planet, this Kanglin Star, there should be many interesting places. Fun? A middle-aged man with green hair opened his eyes and sighed. Wait until next. And you'll see just how painful it is to be stationed on a medium-life planet like this for an extended period of time. The green-haired middle-aged man glanced at the green-haired youth. Ha! Huh? Pain? The green-haired youth froze slightly. Is it hard to be good? The green-haired middle-aged man snorted, the various recreational activities, welfare benefits, and the supply of cosmic energy on a medium-life planet can compare to a high-life planet? This time, if it wasn't for Missy's order to establish a trade stronghold in Kanglin Star, I wouldn't be willing to come over. The green-haired middle-aged man sighed again. Yes, it is said that one of the evolutionary geniuses of this Kanglin Star, Lin Yuan, refused the Black Prison chelating recruitment and even dragged the entire Kanglin Star into being targeted and suppressed. Fortunately, another evolutionary genius from Kanglin Star, Fang Qing, joined the Chikuan lineage, Fang Qing and Lin Yuan, the two of them had a very close relationship, so Fang Qing begged for Lin Yuan, for the sake of Missy and other evolutions of the Chikuan lineage, wanting to rebuild the trade channels. The green-haired youth had obviously inquired a lot before coming. It's natural to be a little more prepared when you leave your home planet for the first time. Lord Fang Qing is also too kind. The green-haired youth said with some envy. Who wouldn't wish they had a friend like that? To stand up for themselves when they are being suppressed and bullied. Indeed. Lord Fang Cheng is righteous enough, but that Lin Yuan, he doesn't know any better. 
The green-haired middle-aged man shook his head and said, What kind of status is the young master of the black prison shell, personally soliciting and courteous, that Ling Yuan still dares to refuse, at the risk of dragging the entire Kanglin planet into it? This kind of person's character falls into the category of extreme selfishness. And if he doesn't have Lord Fong Ching to look after him, he will definitely end up in a miserable situation in the future. The green-haired middle-aged man said slowly. This view of his was also the view of most of the people, especially those who had been transferred to established trade garrisons, who more or less had opinions about Lin Yuan in their hearts. That's true. The green-haired youth nodded slightly. He had been educated by his family since he was young to give everything for his family when necessary, and if he stood in Lin Yuan's position, it was bound to be impossible for him to make such an egoistic move. It doesn't really need to be later. Lord Fang Ching just entered the Red Kuan Vein, mindful of his friendship with that Lin Yuan, but as time passed, Lord Fang Ching soared through the sky with the help of the Red Kuan Vein, stepping into the fifth and sixth stages. But that Lin Yuan, even if he's an evolutionary genius that doesn't come across Kanglin Star for hundreds of thousands of years, he pretty much stops at the fifth rank. In the future, when the gap between their strengths grows wider and wider, is it possible that the friendship can still be maintained? How could a giant dragon be friends with an ant? The green-haired middle-aged man spoke out. After a hundred years and a thousand years, Lord Fang Ching's friendship with this Lin Yuan will naturally fade. The green-haired middle-aged man said calmly. Indeed. You can't be friends if you're not at the same level of power, the green-haired youth nodded in recognition. Mid-continent manor, main building. It is better to make the soul metamorphosis fit complete as soon as possible. Since the gate of 10,000 realms was ready for shuttling at any time, Lin Yuan thought about increasing the speed of his soul fit. Maybe cross paths with other powerful evolutions? Lin Yuan looked thoughtful. Jostling with evolvers of different evolutionary paths had a not so low increase in Lin Yuan's enlightenment efficiency. Especially in terms of perfecting the Martial Dao, since Lin Yuan intended for the Martial Dao to no longer be limited to the Taiin Taiin, but to accommodate all the paths of the world. That fighting with many evolvers and sensing each other's Dao and path clearly had a certain propulsive effect. Idle anyway. Lin Yuan's consciousness connected to the virtual world and entered the ring area. The virtual world exists in many areas, the living area, the trading area, the central plaza area, and the ring area. The ring area is specifically for evolved people to fight and spar with each other. The Universe Human League's ring tournament is held every session in the ring area. Of course, the ring tournament was only open to evolvers who were under a hundred years old. As for over a hundred years old, those really powerful evolvers, fifth and sixth order? If they had the idea thought of sparring, they would all choose the ring area. Register. Strength. Fifth order, twelfth stage, beginning soul fit metamorphosis. Identity. Concealment. Lin Yuan entered the ring area, disguised himself as a wandering evolver traveling the universe, and began to pick his opponent. And, this person has been soul fit for metamorphosis for more than 200 years, and has almost completed 90% of the fit, applying for a challenge. And this person, from the Wan Yan lineage. He is a core saint's son, which is not inferior to the Chikuan lineage's peak master, apply apply apply. Special physique, noble bloodline. You're about to enter the sixth order? Hurry up and apply for the challenge. Or you won't be able to apply when you reach the sixth rank. Lin Yuan spent a small half day picking over a hundred opponents. These hundred or so opponents were carefully selected by Lin Yuan, and their strengths were not much different even if they were not as good as his. It was completely capable of putting pressure on Lin Yuan. And the evolutionary pathways of these people were extremely rare and special, which had a nice touch for Lin Yuan. Apply for challenges one by one to finish. Lin Yuan then began to wait. Just then, the voice of the intelligent assistant rang out, Master, Consul Song Wuyang wants to see you. Virtual world, personal space. Lin Yuan's figure appeared. Not much longer. Song Wuyang also appeared in front of him. This crisis has finally passed without any danger. A hint of relief appeared on Song Wuyang's face. As a planetary consul, if Kanglin Planet found negative and bad effects such as economic regression during his reign, it would also be a disastrous blow to his political performance. Fortunately it's all over. Under Fang Qing's leadership, many forces began to reopen trade with Kanglin Star, and even Kanglin Star could take advantage of this contact with these forces to usher in an unexpected great development. It can be a blessing in disguise. If we didn't have Lord Fang Qing this time, it would really be a problem. Consul Song Wuyang said. Yes. Lin Yuan nodded his head. Actually, Lin Yuan didn't feel anything, even if the curses outside were high, he could still ignore them all. But the parents and sister would have to endure some cyber violence, so Fang Qing was able to come forward. Even if it didn't bring substantial help to Lin Yuan, it at least eased the psychological pressure on his family. This was something that Lin Yuan was still quite thankful for. Lord Fang Ching stepped forward solely on the basis of his friendship with you, Mr. Lin, and in the future, I still hope that you will have more exchanges. Ruler Song Wuyang said with intent. The implication was that he hoped Lin Yuan would get closer to Fang Ching, or else if Fang Ching was willing to step in this time, the next time would not necessarily be the same. Lin Yuan's face was calm. He knew that Song Wuyang didn't have any malice in what he said, and was completely thinking from his own point of view. 
It was so hard to hold on to a big leg, naturally one had to hold it to death, especially if it was a member of the Red Kuan lineage such as Fang Qing, who would come to say that he would become a big shot in the entire starfield. Song Wuyang chatted with Lin Yuan for a few moments before getting up to take his leave. Now that the Kanglin Star Trade Channel had just been rebuilt, there were too many things that required him, the consul, to step in. The consciousness disconnects from the virtual world. Lin Yuan walked out of the main building and went outside to the grass field. Brother. Her younger sister, Lin Yi, stepped on a shield-like weapon and flew over, using her Nianli to imperialize it. That black prison Chelsea, really is a villain, brother you are not willing to accept the solicitation, so you deliberately suppress Kanglin Star, now can be good, eat a defeat? Lin Yi couldn't help but spit. But luckily, my brother has a powerful friend, and many of my girlfriends, are envious of my brother for making such a good friend. Rin Yi continued to count. Yes? Lin Yuan's face was calm. During this period of time, along with public opinion subsiding, Lin Yi was also able to get out of the way. Virtual worlds. Fong Cheng and Lin Yuan sat facing each other. There's pretty much nothing going on. There's nothing moving in the black prison Chelsea at the moment, so I guess they don't dare to have any ideas. When Fang Qing said this, he gazed at Lin Yuan and continued, Brother Lin, are you interested in joining the Red Kuan lineage? I will, after a while, have an insider slot that I can give you then. The channel to join the Red Kuan lineage was not the only one for the Seven Star Cave Test, there were many other ways to join on the surface. The inward push is the simplest one. The very members of the Chikuan lineage, every hundred years, had a chance to push within. It is to recommend other evolvers to join the Red Kuan lineage. Of course, the evolvers who joined the Chikuan lineage through internal promotion were only the lowest level peripheral members. One needed to complete many tests in order to remain in the Chikuan lineage. Of course, even an internal push is unattainable for the vast majority of evolvers. That was the Chikuan lineage, the supreme master of the Chikuan starfield. Even if it's just a couple years in there, that's a lot of credentials to brag about. Inward thrust. Lin Yuan fell into deep thought. He's the master of the 13 peaks of Chikuan, why does he need to be pushed from within? Brother Lin, what do you think? Although Fang Qing did not know what kind of backbone Lin Yuan had to refuse the solicitation of the Black Prison Key later. But with the relationship between the two, Fang Qing still wanted to pull Lin Yuan's leg. In the direction of Big Brother Lin, after joining the Red Kuan lineage, even though you're only a peripheral member, with me taking care of you, with Big Brother Lin's talent. It won't be hard for you to become a full member in the future. Fang Qing thought thoroughly for Lin Yuan. Until then. Lin Yuan said with a smile. Good. Fang Cheng nodded. Young master. The 222 evolvers you are trying to recruit have all agreed and signed contracts as well. The old man, Bei Zhao, who was wearing a black dress, respectfully said towards the black hellshell who was sitting on the throne. Then, according to the next step of the plan, for these 222 evolvers, they will undergo specialized training and cultivation, so that their strength will be increased by at least 40% before the start of the next ring tournament. Black hellshell said. Yes. North Recall responded, and immediately disappeared into thin air. 222 evolvers. Black Hellshell was silent, originally it was supposed to be 223 evolvers. It was only that Lin Yuan, who had refused the solicitation, that the Black Prison Shell had originally planned to use the cutting off of trade to force the other party to bow. But a Fang Qing suddenly jumped out in the middle. Just wait, as long as I'm able to pass the family test, return to the family, and sit as the patriarch, all of you will have to pay the price. Black Hellshell muttered. Kanglin Star Middle Continent, Manor. Ground Floor Training Area of the Main Building. Lin Yuan's consciousness connected to the virtual world and entered the ring area. Let's see if anyone comes through with an application. A few hours ago, Lin Yuan had selected a large push of evolvers of the same level of strength, wanting to challenge them and then accelerate the soul fit conversion. Eh? Opening the list of applications, Lin Yuan's brows suddenly furrowed. Because he found that his applications, all of them, were rejected. Denial. 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 Or refused. More than a hundred applications were made, more than seventy were rejected, and the remaining thirty or forty, though not rejected, were not agreed to, and were not far from being rejected. All rejected me? Lin Yuan blinked. He applied for his first challenge and this is the result? End of chapter. Chapter 11 Shock of the Chikuan Starfield, Request for Subscription. Reject me? Why would you reject me? Lin Yuan thought carefully for a while and probably surmised the reason. The evolvers he selected were all either extremely famous, had deep backgrounds, or had talent and qualifications that surpassed a star field. Such an evolver was already equivalent to a star evolver. I don't know how much attention is being paid to it. If one accepts the challenge of any random evolved person, then don't practice and challenge them from the beginning to the end. Plus, casually accepting challenges from strange evolvers. Winning is par for the course. But in case you lose, it's humiliating. So, unless it's an evolver of the same level and status. Otherwise those star evolvers wouldn't have accepted the challenge so easily. In that case, 
Lin Yuan's thoughts churned, then apply for the challenge with your real identity. The so-called true identity was naturally not the identity of Lin Yuan. Rather, it was the identity of the 13 peak masters of the Red Koan lineage. If we take the degree of attention, the mysterious 13 peak masters of the Chi Koan lineage. There was probably no evolved person who wasn't curious. And the status of the 13 peak masters was also high enough, and I'm afraid that not many evolvers would refuse a challenge initiated by the 13 peak masters. Even if I lose, there is an original reason for that, that's the 13 peaks master. Isn't it normal for me to lose? If we could win, it would be a win for the 13 peaks lord. Thinking of this, Lin Yuan immediately switched identities. Chikuan's lineage virtual world. 13th main peak. Lin Yuan's figure appeared on the summit hall. Since he had yet to cross over to the 6th rank, Lin Yuan had not recruited any disciple servants to come to the main peak, so the main hall appeared to be empty. As long as the identity of Lin Yuan isn't exposed, there won't be any repercussions for doing some behaviors in the capacity of the 13 peak master. Lin Yuan thought about it over and over again before he began to enter the ring area and choose the opponent he wanted to apply for a challenge. Ring area. A certain ring. A dark-skinned man appeared. I didn't expect that the 13 peak master of the hall's red coin vein would choose to challenge me. The dark-skinned man was somewhat flattered. He looked at a figure that appeared in the distance, his posture slightly respectful. As an existence whose soul metamorphosis had reached 90% and was about to cross into the sixth rank. The dark-skinned man had long since stopped accepting any challenges, and his most important task at the moment was to make every effort to push his soul fit to perfection. Then step into the sixth order peacefully and say. The dark-skinned man had originally done the same. Until. Receiving the challenge application from the 13 peak masters of the Red Koan lineage. Oh, my god. This was the 13 peak masters, the future high-ranking person of a star domain. Even if the dark-skinned man stepped into the sixth rank, his status was far inferior to the 13 peak master. So. After receiving the challenge application. The dark-skinned man chose to agree without hesitation. It's just a challenge anyway. It doesn't take much time. Being able to meet the legendary and mysterious 13 peak masters was worth it, win or lose. Begin. Lin Yuan looked at the dark-skinned man. Good. The dark-skinned man finished. The figure disappeared into thin air. 13 peak master, the evolutionary pathway I practice, called the shadow evolutionary pathway, can hide in any. The dark-skinned man had not yet finished his words. Lin Yuan then took a step out and came to a shade and raised his hand to grab it. Only a nearly invisible shadow was caught. Immediately this hidden shadow quickly gazed and transformed into a dark-skinned man. How how is that possible? The dark-skinned man's eyes widened in disbelief. His method of hiding was extremely secretive, even a sixth-order revolver would overlook it if they didn't pay attention, and the dark-skinned man had once dodged a number of killings by virtue of his means of hiding. However, in front of the 13 peak master, it was seen through at a glance. Not bad. Lin Yuan commented. Then it crushed the dark-skinned man's neck. Your perception is unbelievable, watching the shadow hiding method and deepening your understanding of the rules of shadows. Your perception is unbelievable, watching the shadow hiding method and deepening your understanding of the rules of shadows. Your perception is unbelievable, watching the shadow hiding method and deepening your understanding of the rules of shadows. Lin Yuan slightly closed his eyes, and under the heaven-defying enlightenment, the many means of the dark-skinned man just now were all transformed into gains that were integrated within the martial Dao progression system. Eh? Lin Yuan vaguely felt that the speed of his own soul fit transformation was slightly increased by that much. It wasn't much. But it was so much better than the usual enlightenment. This is not to say that there is nothing efficient about enlightenment, but occasionally a different way of cultivation can have unexpected effects. And under the counterintuitive enlightenment, whether Lin Yuan sat down to enlightenment or battle enlightenment, they all belonged to a kind of enlightenment. Next. Lin Yuan continuously challenged one evolver after another. These evolvers were not just limited to the Chikuan starfield or other nearby starfields, but all the named fifth order extreme evolvers within the entire human civilization's boundaries. Some evolvers had terrifying physical bodies and formed a huge field just by virtue of their thick qi and blood, and Lin Yuan also relied on his own outbursts to hold up the qi and blood field for a short period of time before pointing at the other party to kill them. There were also evolvers who were good at speed, a thought appeared in any part of the ring, they could attack from any corner, the faster the speed, the stronger the attack, Lin Yuan really had to go through some means to stomp on his opponent. As Lin Yuan fought and wrestled with different evolvers, his sense of enlightenment increased, and in just half a month, it was as much as two months of sitting in meditation and hard training. And amidst Lin Yuan's constant challenges, more and more evolvers, especially those from the Red Koan star region, noticed Lin Yuan. Our heavens, the peak master of our star field is actually going around challenging other evolvers? 13 peak master, ah, didn't he say that he was extremely mysterious and had never made a move? All of you go and watch, go, and see what the 13 peak masters of the Red Koan star region are capable of. Many evolvers, as well as high-ranking citizens, had converged on the ring area, specifically guarding the ring that Lin Yuan usually challenged. Hello everyone. I'm your little cat cat, today we'll take a look to see, the legendary Chikuan 13 peak masters. 
a sweet-looking young girl with a pair of cat ears appeared in front of the ring. She was a popular and beautiful anchorwoman in the Chikuin Starfield and dozens of nearby starfields, broadcasting live challenges of certain powerful evolvers from time to time. The 13 peak masters of Chikuin, although they hadn't reached the sixth rank, with their fame and status, they were very suitable for use as live broadcast fodder. Well well well. The challenge is on. That one is the 13th peak master, even though I know that the appearance has been adjusted, it looks too handsome. The young girl knew very well how to pull the atmosphere of the live broadcast room, and with her few words, the atmosphere of the live broadcast immediately rose. Our 13 peak master's opponent is Lattisa, who is known as the soul artist. The camera pans out. Only a withered youth in a black robe appeared. Most of the body of this withered youth was shrouded in black robes, appearing extremely eerie and horrifying. The soul magician, Lattisa, follows the soul class evolutionary path and is best at bizarre soul attacks. Soul together, treacherous to the extreme, Lattisa once had a battle record that made a group of fifth order extreme evolvers not dare to come close, and I don't know that the 13 peak master. The young girl described soul magician Lattisa's past battles in detail. If it was in reality, Lattisa would definitely not be a match for the 13 peak master, after all, the 13 peak master in reality must have numerous soul defense weapons to defend himself. But in the virtual world, especially in the ring, where all external forces can't be brought in. I think the 13th peak master might be a bit dangerous. The young girl continued her introduction. A few moments later. The battle between the lord of the 13 peaks and Lattisa begins. Buzz. Strange fluctuations began to fill the air. The young girl was about to introduce herself to the live screen. Next moment. Souljammer Lattice's form began to crumble. Starting from the feet, the torso, the hands crumbled up as much as they could. Your soul. It's strong. Finally, Lattisa, who had only his head left, finished the sentence and his head began to crumble. In front of the ring. The young girl blinked. Damn. Forgetting that Lattisa is a soul class evolutionary pathway evolutionary. The battles of such evolvers had always been known for their speed. The 13th peak master is too strong, able to block Lattice's soul attack without any damage, the 13th peak master, at least, has already begun to undergo the soul metamorphosis fitting. The young girl had once lectured but quite a few battles of high-level evolvers, and had no less research on the strength of the soul aspect. It seems that our 13th peak master, is about to cross over to the 6th order ah, I wonder which is the true identity of the 13th peak master. The young girl continued to finish, a hint of curiosity dripping from her tone. The identity of the 13 peak masters of the Red Cohen lineage was exceptionally mysterious, and there was no telling how many evolvers wanted to know. Okay. The next challenger of the 13 peak master is here. The young girl turned her attention to the next challenge. Awesome. The peak master is too strong, the unusual fifth rank limit is like an ant. This is the peak master of my Red Cohen lineage, isn't it proper to be strong? Inside a certain box in the ring, many members of the Red Cohen lineage were gathered here. Admiring the many tactics of the 13 peak masters. This is the 13 peak master? Fang Qing was among them, and he looked down at the battle below with some shock. At the moment, the arena was simulated as a withered continent, but as the 13 peak masters kept exchanging blows with their opponents. The continents were torn apart, the plates were pierced, and for a time magma erupted in a scene of doom. Too strong. Fang Qing's heart trembled a little. The battle in the ring, but whenever it happened on a living planet, at this time, I'm afraid that this planet had already been reduced to a dead planet, with no living beings surviving. We evolvers should be like the peak master, destroying the heavens and the earth with our hands raised. Not far away, the three-eyed man sat there, clenching his fists. Instead of wasting time and resources by being righteous and helping your friends like some people do. The three-eyed clan man glanced at Fang Cheng. Meant to be said. Some time ago, Fang Cheng had called out to his friends to help Kanglin star tide over its difficulties, which made the three-eyed clan man feel a little uncomfortable in his heart. In his opinion, everything had its own destiny, and forcing his hand to help in this way was undoubtedly changing the destiny. Fang Cheng sniffed, not daring to speak. In terms of status, the man from the Three-Eyed Clan was a red stripe in the Seven Star Cave Test, and by joining the Red Cohen lineage, he would surely become a core disciple in less than a hundred years. One is far from being able to offend such a character. Inside the other box. Twelve figures were leisurely watching. It was none other than the twelve peak masters of the Red Cohen lineage. With their status, they rarely watched ring matches below the sixth rank. Not even bothering to watch the ring match of the Sixth Order Revolvers. The twelve peak masters of the Red Cohen lineage, excluding the three in front of them who exceeded the sixth order, and the nine behind them, none of them were peaks in the peak of the sixth order. But with Lin Yuan's challenge ring, they were naturally willing to come over. This young master of ours. The second elder brother sighed and carefully surveyed his eyes, it should have already begun the soul metamorphosis fit, it's only been a few years, and you've cultivated to such a level? The remaining few senior brothers were equally deeply in agreement. Some time ago, they were still joking that Lin Yuan was expected to cross over to the sixth rank within a few decades. Just now? How long has it only been? Lin Yuan had already reached the fifth stage extreme, and had even begun to undergo a soul fit transformation? 
Though that said, there is no shortage of certain evolutions where soul fit transformations take hundreds and thousands of years. However, those evolvers, who were evolvers without backgrounds, did not receive guidance from strong people before stepping into the fifth stage, all of them chose an evolutionary pathway that did not fit well with themselves for soul fitting. Evolvers like those from the Chikuan lineage, before the fifth rank, would let their teachers help pick the evolution path. Such an evolutionary pathway in their own fit, soul fit transformation is naturally very fast, a few years and ten years can be a perfect fit. In the eyes of the twelve senior brothers, Lin Yuan was the disciple of the Red Kuan Star Lord. Now that the soul fit transformation is carried out, it must have already let the Star Lord pass through. And I'm afraid that the soul metamorphosis can be completed in three or four years. And then become a sixth order evolutionary. This was a difference of ten times dozens of times from when they had said that they would step into the sixth rank in a few decades. A sixth rank under a hundred years old, this kind of genius really makes it impossible to even be jealous? Twelfth brother sighed. Let's prepare for the next few years, as junior senior brother stepped into the sixth order, he will surely arrive at the main star in person, and will have to welcome the following then. A senior brother suggested so. That's natural. Twelfth brother nodded. He looked down at the ring once more. That little guy who was at the fourth rank at the beginning has grown to such heights in the blink of an eye? The twelfth senior brother looked dazed. He remembered that during the seven-star cave test, he had hesitated to accept Lin Yuan as his disciple. The Crimson Palace. Star Lord Chikuan was playing chess with a man in a white robe. Brother Chikuan, you have taken in a good disciple. The white-robed man finished landing a word inside with emotion. Hey. The Red Koan Star Lord smiled and did not say much. My new little disciple lost badly at the hands of your good disciple. The white-robed man finished landing another piece. Oh. The Red Koan Star Lord's heart fluttered. The vast consciousness immediately began to search for it. It was soon discovered that Lin Yuan had specifically challenged many evolvers in the ring area. My disciple, although he has some talent, wants to defeat your disciple. The Red Koan Star Lord was a bit puzzled. He remembered that the white-robed man's young disciple, as early as a hundred years ago, was already at the extreme end of the fifth rank, and now he was afraid that he was only a hair's breadth away from the sixth rank. And his soul fit was estimated to be 90%. Still pretending? The white-robed man glanced at the Red Koan Star Lord. Aha! Uh-huh. The Red Koan Star Lord's face was as normal, but doubts rose in his heart. Immediately, he separated a sliver of his consciousness and carefully watched the scene on Lin Yuan's ring challenge. This. The Red Kuan Star Lord's face changed slightly, his expression flushed with surprise. End of chapter. Chapter 12, 10,000 Yangs in the Same Sky, Request for Subscription. How huge was the Red Kuan Star Lord's consciousness, in just an instant, he had watched all of Lin Yuan's challenge videos in recent times. This disciple of mine. The Red Kuan Star Lord was stunned. Beginning Soul Fit Metamorphosis? Everyone else, including the Twelve Peak Masters, thought that Lin Yuan had such a speed of cultivation because he, the Red Koan Star Lord, had instructed him well. However, the Red Koan Star Lord knew his own family's business, and he had hardly given any instructions to Lin Yuan. When he learned that Lin Yuan had crossed into the fifth stage, the Red Koan Star Lord gave up the cultivation plan for Lin Yuan that he had formulated at the very beginning. He intended to show one of the rule crystals to Lin Yuan first, to sense the senses and try out the effects before saying anything else. Just now? He was still waiting for Lin Yuan's feedback to sense the effects of the rule crystallization, and the other party had already finished the fifth stage, started the soul fit metamorphosis, and was about to step into the sixth stage? 80%, no, at least 90, 95%. Although the Red Kuan Star Lord was only observing Lin Yuan through the virtual world, with his eyesight, he was roughly able to tell the level he was at. Through Lin Yuan's engagement with other evolvers of the same level. He was almost certain that his soul fit metamorphosis had reached at least 95%. You seem to be in a good mood lately. Just as the Red Koan Star Lord was lost in thought, the white-robed man across from him, who was playing chess, glanced at the former and said in surprise. With his understanding of the Red Koan Star Lord, after learning that his young disciple, had bested his young disciple, he would surely not be able to avoid mocking and congratulating himself. Ha 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 ha. My disciple is not comparable to your disciple? He was beaten and cried, right? Looking for you to complain, right? Ha 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 ha. The Red Koan Star Lord reacted and immediately burst out laughing. Although he knew that he might have underestimated Lin Yuan's true talent again, but what the heck, it was not easy to be able to crush his friend once again, so the Red Koan Star Lord naturally seized the opportunity. You guys, I just thought you had changed. The white-robed man was quite helpless, but he had also seen the video of his disciple's battle with Lin Yuan, and there was no question that that disciple of the Red Koan Star Lord's strength had indeed crushed his disciple. Exactly on which living planet did you pick up such an excellent disciple? The white-robed man couldn't help but ask. The Thirteen Peak Lords of the Chikuan Lineage It was claimed to the public that it was discovered on a certain planet by the Red Kuan Star Lord when he traveled the universe. Of course, this statement was not very credible, but after all, it was the Red Kuan Star Lord himself who said it, so even if the white-robed man didn't believe it, he had to ask along with the topic. This this is a secret. The Red Kuan Star Lord smiled mysteriously, when my disciple, crosses into the sixth rank, won't you know? 
You old man. Still playing mysterious with me. The white-robed man snickered and didn't continue to ask more questions. He naturally knew that 10,000 years ago, one of the new disciples of the Red Kuan Star Lord had died under the assassination of a foreign race because his identity had been leaked. Because of this matter, the Red Kuan Star Lord directly descended into the alien battlefield and killed madly against that alien race for a period of time before returning to the Red Kuan main planet. Virtual Worlds Ring Area Every time it was almost time for Lin Yuan's daily challenge, there were countless spectators who came over early, waiting with anticipation for the battle to begin. It should be known that Lin Yuan not only had the aura of the 13 peak masters of the Red Kuan Vein, but in the dozens and hundreds of battles in front of him, he had displayed an almost crushing strength, which had similarly attracted a large number of fans. These fans were not just limited to the Chikuan Starfield and the surrounding starfields, but came from other frontiers of the distant human civilization. Therefore, the 13 peak master status didn't have much of an added effect on this part of the fans, and what they valued more was Lin Yuan's fighting style as well as his strength. Inside the box. The pinnacle of the Black Prison family, the Seventh Order Evolutionist Black Prison Desert sat in his seat. Beside Black Hell Desert, there were other figures sitting, obviously close friends of Black Hell Desert or something like that. How's that? The strength of the 13 peak masters of my Red Kuan Star region is not bad, right? Black Prison Desert said casually. Indeed, I had heard that the Red Kuan Star Lord was very good at teaching his disciples, and now it seems that his name is truly true. The first figure seated to the right of the Black Hell Desert nodded and said. Have you noticed? This 13th peak master's strength, after each ring, will refine a bit, he is using other revolvers of the same level, as his stepping stone, to ascend to the realm of the Sixth Order Ah. A figure on the left spoke. He carefully watched every battle of the 13 peak masters. If not for that, why would so many people come to watch? The popularity of the ring where the 13th peak master is located is much more than the 6th order ring. When Black Hell Desert said this, he paused for a moment and continued. Throughout the history of my human civilization, the evolvers who were able to perceive breakthroughs in the midst of constant battles were all top geniuses of astonishing talent. The potential of the 13 peak masters is completely immeasurable. Black Hell Desert opened his mouth. Indeed. But what exactly is the future? Who knows? A few figures nearby looked at each other. Potential and strength, two completely different concepts. They were able to discover the potential of the 13 peak masters, and it was only natural that other people, even those of the hostile foreign races, would be able to discover it as well. The future. Good. No one knows what the future looks like. Even those top divination masters, the future they deduce is only an imagined future, not unchangeable. Black Hell Desert looked down at the ring arena below, not knowing what he was thinking. Mid-continent manor, outside the main building. Lin Yuan and his parents and sister, in a rare gathering, were having dinner. With Lin Yuan's strength, he had long since reached the stage of incapacitation and was able to devour the energy that existed in the universe all the time to make up for the depletion. However, there is no need to give up the custom of dinner. Eating dinner is not only about food, but also about communicating with family members. I'm full. Her sister, Lin Yi, finished her bowl of food quickly and stood up with a whoosh, about to go back to her room. Stop. Mother Lu Chiong frowned. What do you want to go and do after eating in such a hurry? Lu Chiong directly inquired. I'm going to go go watch the 13 peak masters fight in the ring. Ring Yi said with a straight face. Although she was only an uninitiated evolver, she had also turned on her virtual world privileges and could enter the ring area to watch the two evolvers fight. And recently, in the Red Koan Star region ring area, the hottest thing was undoubtedly the 13 peak masters of the Red Koan lineage personally coming down to challenge the major evolvers. 13 peak masters. Lu Chiang nodded without paying much attention. She had also heard of the 13 peak masters, which were the pride of the entire Chikuan star region. Brother, I've told you several times to go together to see the battle ring of the 13 peak masters. The 13th peak master is powerful, if you learn more from him, you might be able to become stronger as well. Lin Yi looked at Lin Yuan and couldn't help but say. She was among the first group of Iron fans to pay attention to the 13 peak master's opening of the challenge, and often, among her friends, publicized for the 13 peak master. It was only when it came to settling the 13 peak lord to his brother that he was hindered. Lin Yi realized that her own brother, towards the 13 peak lord, didn't seem to have much interest. This caused Lin Yi to be a little disappointed, although Lin Yuan was also an evolutionary genius, one encountered in hundreds of thousands of years in Kanglin Star, but that depended on who it was compared to. Compared to ordinary people, Lin Yuan was a genius, that was right. But compared to the 13 peak masters, it was as ordinary as it could get. Although Lin Yuan wasn't interested, Lin Yi was still trying to make an effort. From time to time, she would invite Lin Yuan and go with her to watch the 13 peak masters ring matches. But every time the time for the match was almost up, Lin Yuan left with various excuses. It was as if it was specifically against her. There's a meeting with a close friend, so just go and watch. Lin Yuan made a random excuse and perfunctorily said. Okay. Lin Yi was disappointed for a moment, then turned her eyes to excitement. Because after a while, she would be able to see the 13 peak masters ring match again. Virtual world, ring area. Lin Yuan appeared in the ring. 
At once, horrible cheers came from all directions. What's with all the people this time? Lin Yuan was a bit surprised, usually when he fought with other revolvers, the spectators who watched, although there were many of them, were nowhere near as many as now. Is it because of my opponent this time? Lin Yuan's heart moved slightly, guessing the reason. The Ten Thousand Sons Lineage. Holy Sun? Lin Yuan scanned his opponent's information. The Wan Yang lineage is the absolute dominator of the Wan Yang starfield, and the power strength of the Wan Yang lineage exceeds that of the Red Kuan lineage by a small amount. As for the Holy Son of the Ten Thousand Sons lineage, his status was not in any way lower than the current Lin Yuan. It was said that this Wan Yang Saint son, with his special physique, had even been cultivated by the Wan Yang Star Lord's devoted efforts, and had an incredibly strong background. On the field, the space changes. Lin Yuan arrived on a dead planet. A figure similarly appeared on the opposite side, wearing a long shirt and looking ordinary. The 13 Peak Masters of the Red Kuan Lineage I never thought that I would be able to fight an evolver of the Red Kuan Lineage before crossing over to the Sixth Order. The Holy Son of Ten Thousand Suns revealed a smile, radiating warmth and warmth. The Ten Thousand Suns Lineage was the ultimate fire lineage, and the Red Kuan Lineage also favored the fire lineage, but focused more on the space aspect. The Red Kuan Star Lord's original body, the Star Sea Yokuan, was originally a space rule being, and the Red Kuan Star Lord's fire and space went hand in hand. Me too. Lin Yuan's expression was grave. Although he had not exchanged blows, he detected a hint of pressure on the Wan Yang Saint Sun that he had not felt before. In that case, let's get started then. The Holy Son of Ten Thousand Suns collected his smile. The words just fell. The two terrifying auras then collided together. Ten minutes or so later, Lin Yuan's figure was burned into nothingness by the omnipresent Ten Thousand Young True Flame. Lost? The Thirteenth Peak Master lost? It's still the Holy Son of Ten Thousand Suns that's a bit stronger. Nonsense, do you guys know what the origin of the Saint Son of Ten Thousand Sons is? The Saint Son of Ten Thousand Sons, a rare Nine Sons divine vein of my human race, was taken away by the Ten Thousand Sons Star Lord after his birth. The Wan Yang Star Lord spent a large price to seal the Wan Yang Saint Son into the Ten Thousand Flames True Crystal and then threw it into the core of the star. For a hundred years after that, the Holy Son of Ten Thousand Sons absorbed the terrifyingly hot energy within the star all the time. By the time the Ten Thousand Sons Saint Son breaks the seal, he'll be directly at the fifth rank of strength. Saint son of ten thousand suns, he doesn't need to cultivate at all, with the terrifyingly hot energy in his body. He can crush everything. Countless spectators began to exchange heated words. The underlying nature of the saint son of ten thousand suns was simply not something that a normal evolver could possess. Originally, the nine young divine vein was already rare enough, and an evolver with this type of physique could be said to be a solid sixth order seed. Coupled with the fact that within the core of the star, after being nurtured for a hundred years, after breaking the seal, the saint son of ten thousand suns, could it not be strong? Pure firepower, burning the sky and boiling the earth, truly terrifying. Lin Yuan appeared in his personal space, his mind repeatedly recalling the battle he had just fought in. When Saint Son of Ten Thousand Suns raised his hand, it was like a star falling into the world, even though Lin Yuan Tong followed the way of the Tainan Sun, and had gained a great deal of resistance to the scorching heat of the fire system. However, under such extreme power, it still did not last long. Only. Lin Yuan lost though. But there was no hint of frustration. For one, when he fought with the Ten Thousand Suns Saint Sun, he didn't use all of his means. For example, the Yin God Yang God did not come out. If Lin Yuan had gone out of the Yang God and gone to the Yin God, his strength would have skyrocketed at least several times. Only, in this way, it would be possible to reveal that one was cultivating the Martial Way Advancement Pathway. Although it was said that in the vast sea of evolutionary pathways of human civilization, there was no lack of evolutionary pathways that could condense bilocations. But that's mostly only possible when you get to the Sixth and Seventh Orders. As for those below the sixth rank, they condensed a similar split body. Definitely very, very few. Not to mention that the Yin God Yang God is not an entity. So Yin God Yang God. It is better not to use it if you can. Of course, as long as Lin Yuan crossed into the sixth stage and the Yin God Yang God nearly condensed into substance, as long as they didn't appear at the same time, it wouldn't be a big problem. Secondly, the opponent was strong, and it was too late for Lin Yuan to rejoice. At least in this battle, Lin Yuan had gained far more enlightenment from the Ten Thousand Suns Saint Sun than those evolvers before him. Ten Thousand Suns in the same sky. Lin Yuan whispered to himself. This was just now, the secret technique used by the Ten Thousand Suns Saint Sun, without this secret technique, Lin Yuan would have been able to hold on for a while longer. The edge of the frontier of human civilization. Several terrifying wills penetrated through. What to do? That thirteenth disciple that the Red Kuan Star Lord has taken in has a frighteningly high potential, and absolutely cannot still be allowed to continue growing. The first will emitted a mental fluctuation, flaring with anxiety. When they first learned about the Thirteen Peak Master, they thought that their qualifications were just a bit better, and that they were expected to surpass the Sixth Order in the future. But now, it seemed that it was more than just a little better? If it wasn't stopped, in the future, on the alien battlefield, it was estimated that there would be one more god of murder. What can be done about it? It's not like we know the true identity of the Thirteen Peak Master. 
The mental fluctuations emitted by the second will were rather helpless. He also wanted to strangle the Thirteen Peaks Lord in advance. However, the Red Cohen Star Lord had suffered a loss once, and this time, the secrecy surrounding the Thirteen Peak Lord was completely extreme. Senior General Pan Yong, if you have any ideas, you can just say them, and we, the several clans, will definitely support them even if we can't help. The third will send out a mental fluctuation, questioning the consciousness that had spoken first. Yes, Senior General Pan Yong, we have the strength to contribute and the people to contribute, we will definitely not sit back and do nothing. The last will spoke likewise. End of chapter. Chapter 13, The Art of Spell Killing, 100% Fit, Requesting Subscription. If you guys say so, then I won't beat around the bush. Grand Admiral Pan Yong said. Immediately, a curtain of light appeared in the void. Lines and lines of fonts appeared on it, which were the names of the ten evolvers as well as their appearance. These ten evolvers are the most likely evolvers to be the true identities of the thirteen peak masters, as deduced by our clan based on many pieces of information. Grand Admiral Pan Yong said. Several other wills looked at the light screen. The ten evolvers on the light screen were all members of the Red Cohen lineage. The last of them was clearly a three-eyed man. As for the first nine, they were the evolvers who had performed more outstandingly in the past few Chikuan Star Lord tests. The main focus was on the Red Stripe evolvers. Grand Admiral Panyon, you're not doing any good just showing us these lists. Not bad, most of these evolvers, they are hiding in the main planet of Chikuan, how can we do it? Even if one is killed regardless, the other few are bound to be wary and even worse. The remaining few wills frowned. Somewhat puzzled. No need for you to do it. Grand Admiral Pan Yong's tone was unchanged. A powerful person of my clan who specializes in spell killing is willing to give a thousand years of his life to perform the spell killing technique. Grand Admiral Pan Yong said. The art of spell killing is a certain special application of the rules of cause and effect. The rules of cause and effect, on the other hand, were extremely difficult to perceive, let alone realize the relevant secret arts from the rules of cause and effect. And the spell killing technique, which was very restrictive, needed to be cast across at least two great realms, and each time it was used, it would require a massive amount of lifespan to be consumed. If it wasn't a last resort, no strong person would take the initiative to cast a spell killing technique. Of course, using the spell killing technique was far more complete than assassination, no matter how far apart, as long as there was a karmic connection, one could just spell it. Spell kill? Rather a good idea. Direct spell kill, these ten evolvers can't react at all. That's right, nowadays, that thirteen peak master is only of the fifth rank, and is yet to cross over to the sixth rank, and to cast a spell killing on him, one only needs to be a strong person of the seventh rank of the spell killing Dao. If we wait for him to advance to the sixth rank and then try to spell kill him, we will have to pay a huge price for an eighth rank spell killing powerhouse, and in the end, it may not even be possible. Several wills conferred with each other and agreed with Grand Admiral Pan Yong's method. With the potential shown by the thirteen peak master, it would be best to snuff him out before the sixth order. Once to the sixth order, the sky is high and the sea is wide, many life preservation means enabled. Even if the eighth order spell killing a strong person is willing to pay thousands of years thousands of years of lifespan, but also not necessarily can spell kill. I need you to pay. Immediately, Grand Admiral Pan Yong and a few other consciousnesses negotiated a deal. Half a day later, tiny spatial fluctuations rippled up in this starry sky. Only a humanoid creature, covered in scales and armor, stepped out. This is the medium. Grand Admiral Pan Yong's mind moved slightly, and ten items appeared. These ten items, from the ten evolvers on the list, were sent by Grand Admiral Pan Yong and collected from the other party who had lived on the planet. There had been contact with these ten evolvers, residual some of each other's scent. Although the spell-killing technique was bizarre and unpredictable and could not be defended against, it needed to be cast through a medium. Cause leads to effect. Locking the cause by the effect. Pan Yong, remember your promise. This humanoid creature covered in scales and armor stared at Grand Admiral Pan Yong for a while before swallowing the ten pieces of medium in one gulp. Buzz. Invisible fluctuations spread out. Only to see this humanoid creature, covered in scales and armor, seemingly suffer some sort of backlash and begin to crumble. Okay. Grand Admiral Pan Yong saw this and nodded slightly. Don't worry, when you die, your people, all of them, will be treated well. Grand Admiral Pan Yong looked towards the gradually collapsing humanoid figure and spoke. The scaly humanoid creature had only a thousand years of life left, and this time, in order to kill the thirteen peak master, he volunteered to help, wanting to use his remaining thousand years of life to pave the way for his clan. For the scaly humanoid creature. The remaining thousand years of lifespan was far from enough to allow him to go further. Now. Just wait. Grand Admiral Pan Yong looked at several other wills. Paying the thousand-year lifespan of a peak seventh order, rare spell killing one direction powerhouse in exchange for the small lives of ten fourth and fifth order little ones. Definitely a big loss. But as long as one of these ten little ones is the thirteen peak master. Then you've made a profit, and not just a profit, but a big profit. Chikuan's main star. The three-eyed man ended his cultivation. Poof. Stupid. The three-eyed man glanced down. Only Fang Qing was seen leaving in a hurry, obviously having something to do. 
The man from the Three-Eyed Clan looked at Fong Ching in a very unfavorable light, not only because Fong Ching was only a silver stripe in the first place, but also because he had paid a large amount of favors to other fellow disciples for his friend, Lin Yuan. From this, Fong Ching had a good image in the Red Coin lineage. Truly strong people are lonely and don't need any friends, and asking for friends only shows that they are not strong enough. The Three-Eyed Man's gaze was firm. Me. The Three-Eyed Man breathed a light sigh of relief and was about to get up. Just then. An invisible fluctuation descended. No. The Three-Eyed Clan man's eyes widened, the line of blood on his brow opening. But it was all pointless, and as the fluctuations emanated, the Three-Eyed Man's soul quickly died out. Same time. On Chikuan's main planet. The other nine evolvers died inexplicably. Virtual worlds. Personal space. Fang Ching sat in front of Lin Yuan, his face full of indignation. Despicable foreigners, even using the spell killing technique. Fang Ching blurted out the inexplicable deaths of the three eyed man and the other ten evolvers. This matter was not a secret in the Red Coin Master Planet, and it was only after the three peak masters finally stepped down and ruled that the spell killing technique came from a foreign race that it was gradually calmed down. The spell of killing? Lin Yuan's heart moved slightly. As the thirteen peak master, he naturally knew of such bizarre and unpredictable means. The spell killing technique was a special application of the rules of cause and effect, and it was even more obscure than a soul attack. Of course, the price to be paid for using the spell killing technique was also extremely high, and one had to cross at least two great realms to have any effect. And every time it was performed, it needed to consume a hundred years of longevity. What do the Fae do when they use the spell killing technique? Lin Yuan had a guess in his heart, but he asked anyway. The others said that the alien race was seeing the thirteen peak masters' performance in the ring area, and that the ten evolvers that were cursed to death this time. It's looking for the thirteen peak master. Fong Chang lowered his voice and said. So it is. Lin Yuan nodded his head. At this point he was somewhat glad that he had not revealed his identity. If earlier, because of the black prison shell suppression, Lin Yuan couldn't help but expose his identity. Even if he safely hid back on the Red Coin main star, as long as the identity of Lin Yuan was exposed, he would be able to allow the foreigners to lock themselves in. Lin Yuan had lived in Kanglin Star for so many years, he did not dare to guarantee that he had not left behind a trace of medium. If the foreigners found the medium and then cast the spell-killing technique Lin Yuan was not sure if he could survive. Although as a junior disciple of the Red Kuan Star Lord, he might have the means to block karmic killing moves, but in case he didn't. Low profile. It's better to keep a low profile. Lin Yuan thought secretly. Luckily, he ended up enduring in the face of the Black Prison Shell Suppression. That three-eyed man. Lin Yuan felt that this man of the three-eyed clan should have taken the disaster for himself. In the Seven Star Cave World, there were three red stripes, over a hundred gold stripes, and over a million silver stripes. The one who resembled the Thirteen Peak Master who was currently slaying in the ring area the most was probably this Three-Eyed Clan man. After all, the other two red stripes, their personal characteristics were too obvious, the Silver-Haired Woman, Silver Spirit, specialized in spatial attacks, and Brute Force, who was nearly three meters tall, specialized in power attacks. Not quite the same as any of the Thirteen Peak Masters. As for the gold and silver patterns underneath. There are so many that it's not even easy to determine. Only the Three-Eyed Man, the Red Stripe. I don't know if the Thirteen Peak Masters are in trouble or not. Fang Qing's tone suddenly lowered, since the foreigners dared to make a spell killing, there must be a certain certainty, a spell killing at an infinite distance apart, but it needs to pay a huge price. We won't know tomorrow. Lin Yuan comforted. And rightly so. Fang Chang was slightly stunned. Every morning and afternoon, the Thirteen Peak Masters would challenge the evolvers in the ring area. If the Thirteen Peak Master is fine, he will definitely show up again tomorrow. I hope it's okay. Fong Cheng whispered. If the Thirteen Peak Masters died again at the hands of a foreign race as they did 10,000 years ago. The Red Koan Star Lord didn't know what kind of crazy actions he would make. Day 2. Virtual Worlds. Ring Area. Inside a box. Several figures converged here. Whether or not there is a spell to kill the Thirteen Peak Master depends on now. These several figures, naturally, were made of foreign races, and the virtual world network was unable to completely block out the foreign races. Certain alien races that excelled in disguise were able to perfectly disguise the scent of the human race, and as long as they had the correct identity, they were able to enter the virtual world without any problems. As long as today, the Thirteen Peak Master didn't show up, then the odds are that he was cursed. Several figures glanced at each other, looking down at the arena below with anticipation. This time, in order to curse the Thirteen Peak Lord, the price they paid was much higher than 10,000 years ago, when they assassinated the junior disciple of the Red Kuan Star Lord. Assassinating that little disciple simply paid some sixth order powerhouse. But this time, it directly cost a thousand years of lifespan of a peak seventh ranked powerhouse who specialized in spell killing. One must know that peak seventh ranked powerhouses who excelled in the spell killing method were even rarer than eighth ranked powerhouses. This time, if this strong person had not volunteered, they would not have been able to order such a strong person to make a sacrifice of his own accord. Thirteen Peak Master. You must die. If you don't die, won't we have paid for nothing? 
The several foreigners thought quickly in their hearts, staring down at the arena below without taking their eyes off the ground. Soon, a figure appeared on the field. That was the opponent of the Thirteen Peaks Master. Hasn't come by now. Should. Several foreigners' hearts welled up with joy. Yet the next moment, the figure of the Thirteen Peak Master then appeared on the other side of the ring. Dead silence. Dead silence fell within the box. The faces of several foreigners were ugly as they stared straight down at the figure of the Thirteen Peak Masters below. Wrong spell? The Thirteen Peak Master is still alive? Finished. The several foreigners took a deep breath, and a bitter expression appeared on their faces. Go. There's no need to look. Go back and report back. Several fade disconnect from the virtual world. The moment they saw the figure of the Thirteen Peak Master, they realized that there was no way to stop the rise of the Thirteen Peak Master. What's to stop it? Spell it again? Let's not talk about whether or not they would be able to find, once again, a Peak Seventh Order spell slaying Dato Powerhouse who was willing to cooperate with them. Even if we could find it, what would happen? How are goals selected? The ten evolvers they selected earlier. It was the most likely target of the Thirteen Peaks Lord. Now it's all failed and needs to be chosen from an even larger base of evolved people. The likelihood of failing another spell is much higher than the first. Virtual worlds. Personal space. Lin Yuan's eyes were slightly closed. Evolvers through a large number of challenges of different evolutionary paths. The perfection of Lin Yuan's martial arts pathway of evolution continued to increase. Someone wants to visit me? Lin Yuan scanned the list of visits. Since being suppressed by the Black Prison Keylating, there have been very few people who have come over to visit him specifically. Even if Fang Cheng appeared and resolved the situation of Kanglin Star's trade being cut off. However, this person, Lin Yuan, was still pulled into the blacklist by many forces. Too arrogant and too much of a troublemaker. Offending the Black Prison Shell today, I don't know who I'll offend tomorrow. Mr. Lin, I'm sure Kai, a director from the Huiin Group. A hawk nosed man said with a smile on his face. Hello. Lin Yuan nodded his head. We are hoping that Mr. Lin can take the lead and help us contact Lord Fang Cheng. The hawk nosed man said what he came for. Don't worry, Mr. Lin, we, the Huiin Group, will definitely be thankful afterwards. The hawk nosed man promised. No need. I can't promise this. Lin Yuan shook his head and refused. So these people wanted to get to know Fong Qing through themselves? In that case. Then excuse me. The hawk-nosed man maintained his smile. Directly exit Lin Yuan's personal space. Only when he returned to reality did a hint of gloom emerge on the hawk-nosed man's face. And don't look at where you are now? And so arrogant. The hawk-nosed man sneered. In his opinion, Lin Yuan was currently completely relying on Lord Fong Qing to be able to live so well. Not taking advantage of the fact that Lord Fong Qing now valued camaraderie and befriending more other forces was a complete waste of resources. Wait. I'll see what happens to you later. The man with the hawk hook nose sat in his seat, Lord Fong Qing can protect you for a while, is it possible that he can still protect you for a lifetime? In the future, when we lose the shelter of Lord Fong Qing, what will we face the Black Prison family with? Mid-Continent Manor. Ground floor training area of the main building. Lin Yuan sat cross-legged. In front of him, a crimson stone lay. Under the counter heavenly enlightenment, the inspiration that erupted from watching the Crimson Stone comma. And the gains that arose from sparring with many evolvers were constantly combined. Rapidly perfecting the pathways of martial evolution, as well as improving the efficiency of soul fit transformation. Until a certain tipping point is reached. I don't know how much time has passed. One hour. Ten hours. Or a day. Lin Yuan opened his eyes silently. Me. Lin Yuan only felt that his entire body, or to be precise, from the depths of his soul, a sense of completeness surged out. Soul fit. Lin Yuan immediately began to feel the degree of his own soul fit transformation. A few moments later, a smile appeared on Lin Yuan's face. Because of the degree of transformation of his soul fit in this life, Hershey has reached 100%. Two shifts of 8,000 words complete. Crossing over to the sixth order tomorrow. Lastly, I'm begging for a monthly pass. End of chapter. Chapter 14, Storming the Saint Son of 10,000 Sons, Request for Subscription. The soul fit has reached 100%? Lin Yuan's mind was delighted. As early as that consummation intention surged out from the depths of his soul, Lin Yuan had a suspicion in this regard. Now that it was confirmed, the mood was naturally good. My current strength. Lin Yuan's eyes were slightly closed as he felt himself carefully. As opposed to not reaching 100% soul fit. Lin Yuan had barely changed at all. Flesh, strength, speed and everything else. There is little difference between before and after. But Lin Yuan just had a feeling similar to absolute control. For example, the same sliver of power, before the soul fit transformation reaches 100%. Lin Yuan could only use it to destroy a city. But now, 
Lin Yuan could use it to destroy ten or a hundred cities. No wonder they say. As long as the soul fit reaches 100%. Crossing over to the sixth rank is as simple as eating and drinking water, without the slightest risk. Lin Yuan looked enlightened. He was a little confused about it before. Even if it's a breakthrough from the first order to the second order, you have to take some risks, right? How come there's no risk when you get to the fifth rank to break through to the sixth rank? It turns out that when the soul is 100% attuned to its own fundamental evolutionary pathway, the evolver has, in terms of realm, stepped into the sixth order. On the basis of having a sixth order realm, crossing over to the sixth order was naturally not difficult, and the mastery belonging to a sixth order evolver made the breakthrough exceptionally simple. And. Budo. Lin Yuan's gaze was slightly hot. Using the martial way as his fundamental evolutionary path, Lin Yuan was, at this moment, as if he had fused with the martial way into one. I am Budo. Lin Yuan's consciousness connected to the virtual world. Entering the specialized training ground, the surrounding space is automatically simulated to create an asteroid environment. Lin Yuan stood over the asteroid, where there was no air and the gravity was extremely low, completely aligned with the star coefficient. Lin Yuan looked down low, raised his right hand, and threw a punch towards the asteroid below. Rumble. Terrifying pressure erupted. Only to see that on the surface of the asteroid, an additional fist marked tens of kilometers in size had appeared right where Lin Yuan had thrown that punch. The power of this fist print ran through a small half of the planet, and the residual power triggered earthquakes, set off tsunamis, and volcanic eruptions on the surface of the planet, and eventually the asteroid directly disintegrated into countless fragments of meteorites that flew off in all directions. I'm infinitely close to a sixth order evolutionary now, right? It can even be treated as a weakened version of the sixth order? Lin Yuan breathed a light sigh of relief and was radiant. Although asteroids are not as large as normal living planets. But Lin Yuan's full strength strike caused such an effect. Indeed, it was already no different from a sixth order starfaller. It was at least almost at the threshold of the sixth order, barely belonging to the same level. As a matter of fact, even if the soul fit reaches 100%, there is a difference in the magnitude of the enhancement to the evangelist's strength, depending on the evolutionary path. Like me, directly allowing strength to skyrocket to the sixth order threshold degree is considered extremely rare, or incomparably rare? Lin Yuan thought secretly as his consciousness disconnected from the virtual world and returned to reality. You have to know that Lin Yuan isn't even at the sixth rank yet. Waiting for the breakthrough to usher in a drastic metamorphosis of the fleshly body and soul. The strength would also rise by a large margin, possibly directly reaching a stronger level within the sixth order. Pathways of martial evolution. Lin Yuan's mind was slightly fixed, at this moment, his soul was perfectly aligned with the martial way evolutionary pathway, and when he raised his hands and threw his feet, it was the true meaning of this evolutionary pathway that was manifested. It is by virtue of this state of being one with the pathway of martial evolution that the it was only then that Lin Yuan was able to disintegrate the asteroid with a single punch, erupting with an extreme power that far exceeded that of a fifth stage evolver. The red spirit liquid won't be shipped over for a few more days, so when it arrives, you'll be able to cross over to the sixth order. Lin Yuan thought. When the fifth rank breaks through to the sixth rank, the physical body and soul will be transformed. So naturally, it needs to consume a lot of pure energy? Although it is true that the cosmic stars are filled with infinite energy. But those energies are disorganized and of very low concentration. How long would it take to wait for a slow absorption of cosmic energy to break through to the sixth rank? As an exclusive resource of the Red Koan lineage, the Red Spirit Liquid was most suitable for use as an accumulation of one's own energy. It was more than appropriate to use it to break through to the sixth rank. When you reach the sixth rank and make your identity public, you should be able to make many forces believe it. Lin Yuan didn't need to think about it, he knew that his true identity would cause great ripples in the Red Koan star realm, and would even spread towards other star realms. Sixth rank evolvers under the age of a hundred were not yet like the Wan Yang Saint Sun, who had enjoyed the devoted cultivation of the Wan Yang Star Lord shortly after his birth. Lin Yuan's crossing over to the sixth rank was entirely due to his own qualification and talent. Several years ago, he was still a fourth stage evolver participating in the seven star cave test. From the fourth rank to the sixth rank in just a few years? Throughout the boundaries of human civilization, there weren't many countless geniuses born within 100,000 years who could have this cultivation speed, right? Sixth order evolvers, the essence of life has been metamorphosed, spend some time to integrate their own life imprint into the cosmic stars, so that even if they fall in the future, they will be able to be resurrected by the supreme beings of the human race by virtue of this thread of life imprint. Why is it that when you reach the sixth order, you can disclose your identity without fear of assassination by the Fae? As long as the foreign race was willing to pay enough, not to mention the sixth order. Even the seventh order couldn't stop it. The reason for this is that at the sixth level, they are already qualified to be resurrected. Below the sixth rank, the essence of life was too weak to leave a mark, and death was really death. The reason why the alien race was unwilling to assassinate evolvers of the sixth rank and above was because even if they paid a huge price and finished assassinating a certain genius evolver, they might still be resurrected afterward. It's a total loss. Of course, even for human civilization, resurrecting a certain evolved person is something that requires a lot of pressure. Many sixth and seventh order evolvers, even if they can be resurrected, will not be resurrected. 
A few days before the Red Spirit Liquid is delivered, you can play out the rest of the challenge applications. Lin Yuan glanced at the many evolvers he had applied to fight against in the ring area. There wasn't much to do right now anyway, and battling against these talented evolvers from the human frontier was a rewarding experience. Especially that one Yang Sacred Sun, since he had lost once at the hands of the other party, Lin Yuan had applied again within a few days, and the other party had agreed. Day 2. It's still that time. A large number of spectators gathered around the ring where Lin Yuan was about to appear. This 13th peak master, why is he sparring with the 10,000 Sun Saint Sun again? Didn't they just fight before? There's a big difference in strength between the two. Not bad, can it be that the 13th peak master likes to be abused? Around the ring, countless spectators were talking. Although they enjoyed watching the 13 peak master's ring, it was because they wanted to see the 13 peak master go and crush and hang his opponents. Instead of being crushed and hung. In particular, some of the spectators from the Red Cohen Star region were somewhat afraid to continue watching. Watching one's idol being burned into nothingness by the Saint Son of 10,000 Suns with one's own eyes was tantamount to torture. Ha ha ha, go Saint Son, keep crushing your opponents. The defeated men are just that, not an enemy of my family's Saint Son in a single strike. People of the Red Cohen Star realm listen, next you will see the strength of our Saint Son to crush everything. Compared to the low spirits of the audience in the Red Cohen Star region, the audience on the Wan Yang Star region side was extremely excited. No matter what, the 13 Peak Masters had a high status in the Red Cohen Star region, and even if they had already lost to the Wan Yang Saint Sun once, it would still be a pleasing thing to see if they could lose again. Delighted with what? The people of the Wan Yang Star region are so unqualified. Saint Sun of 10,000 Suns is strong, but the 13 Peak Masters aren't weak either, is there a need to say that? Although the spectators on the side of the Red Cohen Star realm were holding back, they didn't know how to reply, strength was the basis of everything, and the previous battle between the 13 Peak Master and the 10,000 Suns Sacred Sun was indeed inferior to the latter. Without that changing, they didn't know how to counter those viewers in the Wan Yang Starfield, as if they were inferior. The ring is located against the east side of the arena. Ringy sat with a few of her best friends and waited until the game started. Brothers stood me up again. Linny looked left and right and realized that Lin Yuan hadn't come until now, and her face suddenly crossed. Ee, -e, I heard that your brother is also an evolutionary genius, and has won a ring championship on your planet? Sitting next to Linny. A girl with a double ponytail curiously asked. She was from another planet and had met Linny in the virtual world as well. That's. Linny sniffed and a self-satisfied look appeared on her face. She looked at the lower field and thought of the 13 peak masters who were about to appear, shaking her head, but compared to the 13 peak masters, my brother is too far behind. Not only was it too far off, but he was also unwilling to come over to watch and learn Linny was furious, thinking that Lin Yuan was getting together with whichever of his buddies again. There aren't many evolvers who can be compared to the 13 peak masters. The other little sister beside her opened her mouth, obviously extremely adoring of the 13 peak master. The ring. This time, the simulated environment was a withered planet, several times larger than Kanglin Star, large enough for two fifth order extreme evolutionaries to exchange blows. Whoosh. Lin Yuan's figure appeared at the top of a mountain. Not much longer. At the top of another mountain in the distance, the Holy Son of 10,000 Suns appeared. The Holy Son of 10,000 Suns had a calm face and emitted a warm and genial aura. 13 Peak Master. The Wan Yang Saint Sun looked at Lin Yuan in the distance, and doubts inevitably rose in his heart. Not long ago, this 13th Peak Master had only fought with himself, and should have realized the disparity in strength between the two seas, so how is it that he still intends to strike a rock with an egg now? One must know that the stronger one is, the more one cares about face. Losing to the Holy Son of 10,000 Suns once is not enough, but twice? This 13th Peak Master, after every battle, his strength becomes a little stronger, is it possible that he is using me as a whetstone? A smile appeared on the face of Saint Sun of 10,000 Suns. A whetstone? That's when the strength is similar, or about the same. What sharpening can one do by going all out and ending the fight in the shortest time possible? A few minutes later. Game on. Lin Yuan and Saint Sun of 10,000 Suns looked at each other. 13th Peak Master, you have to be careful this time. The Sacred Son of 10,000 Suns' mind moved slightly, and a sizzling aura began to fill the air. You too. Lin Yuan smiled faintly. The figure then disappeared into thin air. Eh? The Holy Son of 10,000 Suns was shocked in his heart. Surprisingly, he hadn't been able to tell at all when Lin Yuan had disappeared? How did it get so fast? The face of the Holy Son of 10,000 Suns changed slightly. At this moment, the Wan Yang Saint Sun only vaguely sensed that Lin Yuan still existed with the arena, but it was indeed impossible to lock in exactly where he was. You can't win against me with speed alone. The Saint Son of 10,000 Suns snorted coldly, instantly releasing his own 10,000 Suns domain. Shasta. Centered on the Holy Son of Wan Yang. A radius of ten miles and hundreds of miles was filled with terrifying scorching heat. Wan Yang. Tong Tian. The Saint Sun of Ten Thousand Suns was like incarnating a star, and the range of the domain and such, constantly condensed a miniature star, releasing infinite scorching heat, and then exploded. 
Since he couldn't lock Lin Yuan's location, he would directly destroy an area as much as he could. Lin Yuan was definitely in this area anyway. Buzz. Just then. A figure emerged a thousand meters away from the Saint Sun of Ten Thousand Suns. It was Lin Yuan. Faced the scorching heat and burning all around. Lin Yuan did not flinch in the slightest, and towards the Wan Yang Saint Sun. He then extended his right hand and slapped. Boom. A terrifying power enveloped. Contact with the domain of Ten Thousand Suns and the secret art Ten Thousand Suns in the same sky. However, what made the Saint Sun of Ten Thousand Suns feel unbelievable was that the power of Lin Yuan's slap had instantly penetrated the Ten Thousand Suns domain. Not good. The Ten Thousand Suns Saint Sun's complexion changed drastically, and his figure began to retreat violently. Only for Lin Yuan to take another step and appear a hundred meters away from the Wan Yang Saint Sun and continue to slap. Rumble. The air was torn apart, Lin Yuan's attack was too fierce, although it was just a simple slap, it vaguely did envelop the surroundings, covering all positions, the Wan Yang Saint Sun could not even dodge. Thumbs up. The Wan Yang Saint Sun could only harden his head and take this slap from Lin Yuan. Next moment. The Ten Thousand Suns Saint Sun's body exploded. Phew. Countless hot flames converged. Several miles away, the figure of the Ten Thousand Suns Saint Sun coalesced once again. My Ten Thousand Suns indestructible body. There was incredulity on the face of the Saint Sun of Ten Thousand Suns, the Nine Suns Divine Bane plus the Ten Thousand Fires True Crystal, along with the infinite power from the depths of the stars, had allowed the Saint Sun of Ten Thousand Suns to practice the Ten Thousand Suns indestructible body. The Ten Thousand Young indestructible body, which was able to energize the physical body for a short period of time, was similar to the Thunder God's incarnation of thunder, but the Ten Thousand Young indestructible body was even more esoteric and high-end. Possesses a scapegoat effect. If there was no Ten Thousand Suns indestructible body, the Ten Thousand Suns Saint Sun would have died directly from Lin Yuan's slap just now and would not have survived at all. I concede. The Ten Thousand Suns Saint Sun did not hesitate to apply for admitting defeat, even though he was not dead right now, and the Ten Thousand Suns indestructible body was still capable of substituting for death several times. However, after seeing the terrifying strength displayed by Lin Yuan, the Wan Yang Saint Sun was unwilling to continue wasting time. Even if one relied on the Ten Thousand Suns indestructible body to drag on, what could one do? It was nothing more than continuing to receive a few slaps, with no face or dignity to speak of. You should, be able to step into the sixth rank at any time. I'll see you at the sixth order. The Wan Yang Saint Sun looked deeply at Lin Yuan and his figure disappeared. Lin Yuan's strength was too different from before and after, the only possibility was that the soul metamorphosis had reached perfection. Just win? Lin Yuan also felt that he had won too easily, using the martial way evolution pathway as the fundamental evolution pathway, with the soul fit transformation reaching 100%, it was too much of a boost to his strength. What's going on? Lin Yuan looked around. Noticed that it was quiet all around. On the stands of the ring match, there were countless spectators, whether they were on the side of the Red Kuan Star Realm, or the side of the Wan Yang Star Realm, or the neutral spectators from other star realms. At this point all jaws were dropped and mouths grew. End of chapter. Chapter 15, Breaking Through the Sixth Order, Request for Subscription. Only a few breaths have passed. Around the ring, countless spectators reacted one after another with deafening cheers. The cheers seemed like a tsunami, especially from the spectators of the Red Kuan Star Realm. Which almost caused a riot. What just happened? Saint Son of Ten Thousand Sons was slapped by the Thirteen Peak Masters, two slaps on the wrist, and he voluntarily admitted defeat? That's the Holy Son of Ten Thousand Sons? What's going on, can't it be that he's volunteering to give in? Xiang let your whole family, didn't you see the two slaps that the Thirteenth Peak Master slapped out, directly shattering the body of the Wan Yang Saint Sun? Although I don't know exactly what means the Wan Yang Saint Sun used to survive, it's obviously easy to see that the Wan Yang Saint Sun is not a match for the Thirteenth Peak Master at all. What exactly happened, wasn't the Thirteenth Peak Master unable to defeat the Ten Thousand Sun Saint Sun earlier? How come now? A few days have passed and the strength has reversed? Too terrifying, the thirteenth peak master is too terrifying, two slaps shattering the physical body of the ten thousand sun saint sun, with this kind of battle power, it is estimated that he has already reached the threshold of the sixth order. What did those human dogs from the ten thousand sun star region bark at just now? What did they say about being defeated? Now go on. Countless murmurs exploded. If only the Wan Yang Saint Sun had been defeated, it wouldn't have produced such a great reaction, there were countless geniuses in human civilization, and the Wan Yang Saint Sun was certainly called the first sequence, but he was definitely not invincible. It was just that the one who defeated the Saint Sun of Ten Thousand Suns was the Thirteen Peak Master who had just lost at the hands of the Saint Sun not long ago. Such a back and forth contrast, coupled with the Thirteen Peak Master's relaxed stance when he defeated the Ten Thousand Sun Saint Sun, triggered the emotions of countless spectators in one fell swoop. Wow! The Thirteenth Peak Master is awesome. Linny stood up with the same excitement. That's terrifying, that's the saint son of ten thousand sons, and he was directly crushed. A few of Linny's friends beside him had looks of awe welling up on their faces. That's for sure. Linny suddenly remembered her brother again. My brother, it would be nice to learn from the thirteen peak master. 
Lin Yi sighed, it wasn't that she disliked Lin Yuan, but for such a long time, Lin Yuan had never accompanied him to watch the 13 Peak Masters match. With such uninterested behavior towards the strong, Lin Yi didn't know what to say. Our little master. Inside a box, the 12 Peak Masters of the Red Koan lineage looked at each other. Originally, they were still wondering why Junior Brother had to challenge the 10,000 Sun Saint Sun, only now, everyone understood. It's sick. In the hearts of all the Peak Masters, this thought surfaced unanimously. They were aware of part of their youngest senior brother's true identity, and so far, they hadn't even passed the age of a hundred. But now, with the strength displayed by Junior Brother, it was clear that the soul fit had reached completion. That is to say, Junior Brother will be able to step into the sixth order at any time. Such a cultivation speed made the nine senior brothers behind them who were still at the sixth rank somewhat ashamed. I originally thought that there were still decades to go, but I didn't expect to be able to go back so soon. Inside all the Peak Masters, the eldest brother's expression was even more odd. In order to make good friends with his junior brother, he specifically sent out an alter ego to sit on Kanglin Star to prevent that black prison shell from jumping over the wall in a hurry. This alter ego. Eldest brother intends to wait until junior brother crosses into the sixth order. Big brother estimated that it would take at least a couple decades to stay. Yet now it seems like it's probably just this month. This is the top genius of my human alliance. On the other stand, Zhong Bai, Lu Shiguang, and Xiao Rong were filled with shock. The most talented evolver they had ever seen was none other than Lin Yuan. When the ring was a team competition, several people were still on the same team as Lin Yuan. In the end, Lin Yuan's performance lived up to the hype and he managed to take the ring title. Only, Lin Yuan was not at a level at all compared to the 13 peak masters in the ring. One of the future masters of the Red Koan star region. Black Prison Shell was likewise watching, the current performance of the 13 peak master made it impossible for him to even look up, perhaps in the future, he would only have the opportunity to meet this 13 peak master when he sat on the Black Prison family patriarch's throne. Jikuan, you old man, you really picked up a treasure. In the Crimson Palace, the white-robed man watched the footage of the ring match and was a little shocked when he saw Lin Yuan smashing the saint's son of 10,000 sons with two slaps. So quickly went through the soul fit consummation, and after the fit consummation, the strength gained such a boost, you in the end gave him to cultivate which kind of evolutionary pathway? The white-robed man had seen a lot and was clear that to be able to reach a perfect soul fit and have his strength skyrocket so much meant that Lin Yuan was extremely compatible with his fundamental evolutionary path and that this evolutionary path had great potential. Won't you know when the time comes? The smile on the Red Koan Star Lord's face remained unchanged, but in fact, he was also very curious in his heart. The two slaps that Lin Yuan had just given. It seemed that they were not the path of the Xianhuang evolutionary pathway? Could it be that he had also practiced other evolutionary paths? Jikuan, tell me honestly, how old is this young disciple you've taken in? Over a hundred years old yet? The white-robed man was clear that it was impossible for the Red Koan Star Lord to tell him the true identity of the Thirteen Peak Master, so he didn't ask about this aspect, and instead inquired about age. By age, one could probably judge the level of genius of an evolved person. If the true age of the 13 peak master was already 4 or 500 years old, 5 or 600 years old, it would just be the normal genius category. If it's less than 100 years old. That. One could only say that the Red Koan Star Lord had truly received a supreme genius this time. Less than 100. The Red Koan Star Lord hesitated for a moment and spoke. More than less than 100 years old? If Lin Yuan's information profile is correct. Probably not even 30? The Red Koan Star Lord himself was a bit incredulous, he had been sitting in the Red Koan Star realm for nearly 200,000 years, and he didn't know how many times he had opened the Seven Star Cave Ordeal. However, it was the first time that he had seen an evolver with a talent qualification like Lin Yuan's. In the past, the Red Koan Star Lord had at most only heard rumors of these types of genius evolvers, but he didn't expect that this time he would become his disciple. Really less than a hundred years old? The white-robed man took a light breath, that disciple of mine, he didn't lose unfairly. The white-robed man thought of the young disciple who had been hanged by Lin Yuan some time ago. What a monster. The white-robed man couldn't help but say. There's no need to say that, after stepping into the sixth order, there are more difficult problems waiting for him, my human civilization. It's not unheard of for evolvers who go well in the early stages and display horrifying qualifications, and then stop when they reach the sixth and seventh orders. The Red Koan Star Lord shook his head and said, don't give little thirteen too much expectation, the higher you stand, the harder you fall. Still pretending at this point? The white-robed man rolled his eyes, the words were this right, but how did he hear it so unappetizing? Why don't I trade a hundred disciples for this one disciple of yours? The white-robed man said. No exchange. The Red Koan Star Lord didn't even think about it, it's your turn to land. A few days later. Mid-Continent Manor. Lin Yuan ended his last match and came outside the manor. Mr. Lin, here are your belongings. A man in a black uniform stood outside the manor, and behind him, there was a several meter high box. Drop. With identity authorization. Lin Yuan had the butler robot carry the box to the underground training ground of the main building. As he passed by the pasture, Lin Yuan saw his parents chatting with his younger sister, Lin Yi. 
Mom and Dad, you guys are unaware of how powerful the 13th Peak Master is, he just slapped the 10,000 Sun Sacred Sun with two slaps, 10,000 Sun Sacred Sun, do you guys know that he is the undisputed number one under the sixth order of the 10,000 Sun's astral domain? Linny was raising her eyebrows and popularizing the glorious battle record of the 13 Peak Masters with her own parents. Awesome. 13 Peak Master is really powerful. The parents kept nodding their heads beside them, and without Linny saying it, this was the topic they had heard the most recently when they entered the virtual world. I also wonder when our Kanglin star will produce a character like the 13 Peak Master. Mother Lu Chiong lamented. Mom, what are you thinking? That's the 13 Peak Masters. There's only that one in over a million living planets in the Chikuan starfield, Kanglin star is already lucky enough to produce one like my brother, to produce 13 Peak Masters? Absolutely impossible. Lenny shook her head and explained to Lu Chiong. Although Lu Chiong was also an evolver, she didn't know much about anything in the evolver circle, and was only clear that the 13 Peak Masters were powerful. But just how powerful it was, it was unknown, which was why it was delusional to think that Kanglin Star could also produce an evolver like the 13 Peak Master. Linny wanted to laugh inside. With such a shallow pool like Kanglin Star, you also want to come up with a true dragon like the 13 Peak Master? Ground floor training area of the main building. Lin Yuan sat on his knees and looked at the box in front of him. What was contained inside the box was precisely the red spirit liquid that Lin Yuan had applied for. In order to ensure that his breakthrough to the sixth rank went smoothly, Lin Yuan had applied for a large pot of red spirit liquid this time. It's okay to break through. Lin Yuan fixed his mind and made a decision in his heart. Inner conditions, soul fit transformation has reached 100%. The external condition, a large pot of red spirit liquid, fulfills all consumption during the breakthrough. Ho Ming. Lin Yuan thought for a moment and called for Ho Ming, the head of the escort. For the rest of the day, as long as I'm not out, no matter what happens, don't let anyone get close. Lin Yuan opened his mouth and said. Yes. The head of the escort, Ho Ming. Said respectfully. Lin Yuan once again returned to the underground training ground. Begin. Lin Yuan looked at the large basin of red spirit liquid in front of him and gently inhaled it. Only to see a large amount of red spirit liquid evaporate out of thin air and integrate into Lin Yuan's body. Under the influx of huge pure energy, Lin Yuan began to let go of the control of his physical soul. Wow. The red spirit liquid decreased at a rate visible to the naked eye. Lin Yuan's fleshly soul, on the other hand, was rapidly growing. Why are sixth order revolvers called falling star level? It is because the body and soul are so powerful that it is unimaginable, and between breaths, they can gulp in the energy of the outside universe and dissolve many star radiation, without relying on the internal environment of the planet. For sixth order revolvers, medium low life planets, which already imposed limitations on them, were like trapping a shark inside a small pool of water. The battlefield of the sixth order revolvers was in the starry sky. Buzz off. As Lin Yuan's physical body and soul continued to metamorphose and sublimate, they gradually began to have an impact on the surrounding area, and the magnetic field of life that belongs solely to the sixth stage evolver gradually took shape. Of course, this kind of influence can't be detected by ordinary evolvers, and even fourth order and fifth order evolvers can't feel it. Only. Eh? Junior brother is starting to break through? The bald big man was walking slowly, seemingly sensing something, his gaze instantly looked in the direction of the middle continent. Protect the young master. The bald big man's figure disappeared and instantly appeared at the edge of the middle continent. Although it's unlikely, at this time, if there's a group of 7th ranked foreigners killing, I'll be able to completely block it and buy time for my little senior brother to break through. If an 8th order foreigner kills me, I'll have enough time to run with my little senior brother. The bald man thought darkly. Theoretically, the foreign race should not know Lin Yuan's true identity right now, or else they would have already sent strong men to kill over. The other side of the Kanglin star. A demon rat who was only 1 meter 5 lay on the bed. Several strong males sweating next to him were massaging him. A little more strength, you guys have this much strength, didn't you eat last night? Bigger, I tell you, money is not a problem as long as the press is comfortable. This demon rat is enjoying himself. Suddenly. The demon mouse clan powerhouse was abruptly jolted. Eh? The demon mouse race powerhouse looked in the direction of the middle continent, his small eyes snapping open. Is this a breakthrough to the sixth rank? The demon mouse clan powerhouse was dumbstruck. He remembered that the Lin Yuan that he had obeyed the goddess of wisdom and was protecting was only at the fourth rank of strength, uh, How did they all get to the sixth rank all of a sudden? How long has it been now? The demon mouse clan powerhouse almost thought that time was confused, but with his mind running, he determined that he had just come to Kanglin Star not long ago, less than a year. What a demon! The demon mouse clan powerhouse blinked. Even if he knew that the Lin Yuan who was able to make the goddess of wisdom step in and transfer him to this planet as a bodyguard was definitely not a simple person. But this enumeration of time, to cross two great realms in a row, was too scary. Mid-Continent Manor. Ground floor training area of the main building. This is the sixth order. Lin Yuan slowly opened his eyes. At this moment, 
He felt that everything in front of him had changed, and the many cosmic energies that pervaded the sky and the earth were clear and distinct in his eyes, especially the power of the Tyene and the sun, but also the reverse palm view pattern, which appeared in minute detail. It finally worked. A smile appeared on Lin Yuan's face. In the main world, no matter if it was a human civilization, or any other alien civilization, the sixth order was a demarcation point, it was the demarcation point between planetary life and astral life. Before the sixth order, life was extremely fragile, and once you left the planet, you basically couldn't survive without the help of other tools. But by the sixth order, the cosmic stars were more like home instead. Whoosh. Lin Yuan's figure disappeared. Next moment. Lin Yuan appeared outside the Tsan Lan star. Deep and vast under the stars of the universe. Lin Yuan took a light breath. The originally messy and violent cosmic energy was as well behaved as a cat, and was sucked into the body. Kanglin star. Lin Yuan twisted his head and looked at the distant Son Lan star. At this moment, the huge Son Lan star, in front of him, was a bit strong on the outside, even with the planetary defense system, as long as Lin Yuan was willing, he could penetrate the planet in a short period of time. The lives of the 50 billion citizens of Kanglin star were at Lin Yuan's mercy. The planetary defense system could only slow down Lin Yuan for a while, as for blocking, it was hard to do. Eh? Lin Yuan seemed to have discovered something and looked to the left front. Only the figure of a big bald man emerged, junior brother. Eldest brother? Lin Yuan instantly recognized the big bald man as his own eldest senior brother. The two cents were almost identical. And? Lin Yuan's gaze turned slightly and looked at another location. Only a midget man of only 1 meter 5 appeared. Take it easy for now. This dwarf man immediately spoke, it was the goddess of wisdom, who told me to come here. Goddess of wisdom. Lin Yuan connected to the goddess of wisdom and nodded slightly after making sure. Is it really the goddess of wisdom? The bald man was a bit staggered, just now when he was protecting Lin Yuan, he had detected the midget man's aura. The two almost started a fight until the midget man decided that the bald big man was not an enemy and took the initiative to state that he had been ordered by the goddess of wisdom to come over to protect Lin Yuan. When the bald man heard this, although he was half convinced, he aborted the idea of striking out, after all, he didn't detect any killing intent from the midget man. And he hadn't expected the midget man to make a move since he had been protecting Lin Yuan all this time. If the latter really had a killing intent, he could not have waited until Lin Yuan had broken through to the sixth rank before showing himself. Mr. Lin is 13 peak master of the Chikuan lineage? The midget man took a closer look at Lin Yuan's to Mr. Demon Rat for protecting me all this time. From the goddess of wisdom, Lin Yuan learned the general idea and immediately thanked him. That's not necessary, I'm just following orders. The midget man shook his head, I've also been curious about the identity of the 13 peak masters of the Red Kuan, I just didn't expect it to be the Mr. Lin that I'm protecting. The midget man looked awestruck. He had a premonition that soon, the entire Chikuan starfield, and even other surrounding starfields, would be shaken more than just by the true identity of the Chikuan 13 peak masters. Two shifts of 8,000 words complete. I'm begging for a monthly ticket. Quill. End of chapter. Chapter 16 Identity Made Public, Subscription Required. Since Mr. Lin has already crossed over to the sixth rank, I'll leave first. The midget man bowed slightly towards Lin Yuan and disappeared in place. He was ordered by the goddess of wisdom to protect until Lin Yuan reached the sixth rank. Now that Lin Yuan had crossed into the sixth rank, it was considered mission accomplished. And the bald man and Lin Yuan, the two master brothers, obviously had something to say, so he was asking for trouble if he didn't go. So it's one of the kings of the demon rat clan? Eldest brother glanced at the midget man who had already left and whispered. The demon rats? King? Lin Yuan's heart moved slightly. The devil mouse clan he knew, having submitted to the human clan for a million years time, had long been assimilated. The goddess of wisdom had allowed the dwarf man to protect herself, obviously trusting the other party absolutely. As a matter of fact, these foreign races that had been integrated into human civilization for a long time might be even more loyal to human civilization than some human races. Their loved ones, members of their packs, are all within the boundaries of human civilization. Once they dared to choose betrayal, all of their kindred would be implicated. As for the king, that's the name of a peak 7th order revolver. Compared to the 1st to the 6th order, each stage is divided into 12 segments. 7th order revolvers, there are only 3 stages. From weak to strong, general, marquee, and king. A king rank in the 7th order would already be the peak of the 7th order, and even in the alien battlefield, a king would be enough to sit on one side. Many thanks to eldest brother for his protection during this time. Lin Yuan said solemnly, just moments ago when he sought his eldest senior brother, he realized that when he asked his eldest senior brother for help on how to guard against the black prison ah. Why was eldest senior brother confident at that time that Lin Yuan would feel free to cultivate on the Kanglin star? We're all brothers and sisters, what are you thanking me for? Eldest brother waved his hand. Go. Senior brother, while the news of your breakthrough to the sixth rank hasn't gotten out, hurry back to the Red Kuan main planet with me. The eldest senior brother seemed to think of something and immediately said. That demon mouse race dwarf man knew that Lin Yuan had crossed over to the sixth rank, 
but there was absolutely no way he could spread it outside. So far. The others did not know about Lin Yuan's breakthrough to the sixth rank. Even on Kanglin Star, those few fifth order revolvers couldn't feel the subtle fluctuations of a fifth order breakthrough to a sixth order. Good. Lin Yuan nodded his head and looked at Kanglin Star, we. You want to ask how to get to Chikuan's main planet. Don't you? Eldest brother smiled slightly, if it were myself, I would definitely take a slow ride back on the airship. But there's junior brother here, so to avoid a long night's sleep, just teleport back directly. Big brother finished. A five-colored transparent crystal then appeared in front of him. The crystal was in the shape of a Rubik's cube, faintly emitting a faint spatial fluctuation. The cube. Lin Yuan felt that the Rubik's cube was very similar to the huge Rubik's cube that represented the evolutionary pathway beyond the sixth order within the seven star cave world. Both should come from the same source. This is called the crystal magic cube, given by the teacher, and once it is crushed, a spatial passage will be formed, and on the other side will be the Chikuan master planet. Eldest brother said with a smile. Click. Eldest brother held the crystal cube and gave it a gentle squeeze. The crystal Rubik's cube was instantly divided into pieces. The spatial power within the countless powders began to converge. In front of the eldest brother, a door of space was formed. Go inside young master. Eldest brother closed his eyes and gently felt it, the spatial passageway is solid, enough for a sixth order being to pass through. Eldest brother. Lin Yuan looked down at the Tsan Lan star. Are you worried about your family? Eldest senior brother laughed dumbly, don't worry, when you return to the main star, we will, at the first opportunity, announce your identity as junior senior brother to the morning star, before the morning star makes an announcement to the public. The moment the morning sun master planet gets the news, it will send a specialized escort to Kanglin planet to protect junior senior brother's family. When eldest senior brother said this, he paused for a moment and continued, actually, junior senior brother. You don't need to worry about the safety of your family. The foreigners like to assassinate my human race's talented evolvers, but they don't really have much interest in the talented evolver's families. Eldest brother said with intent. Not much interest? Lin Yuan was surprised. For example, I said for example. Eldest brother smiled and said, if your family, junior brother, were assassinated by a foreign race, would you be devastated, junior brother? No. Lin Yuan shook his head. So it is. Lin Yuan drifted off. High-level evolvers had the power to destroy the heavens and the earth, and their own state of mind was naturally close to perfection. If the death of a loved one's family member caused a high-priced evangelist's mind to collapse, then it would really be a waste of so many years of cultivation. The death of a family member's loved one only makes the evolved hate the alien race even more. Especially for genius-level evolvers, the passing of a loved one might be some sort of catalyst to break through faster. As for taking family members and loved ones alive and threatening them? Human civilization has been around for a long time, and no evolver would accept the threat of a foreign race. Therefore, unless the situation was special, the Fae basically wouldn't think much of the family members of the human geniuses, there was little practical significance. Get in. Lin Yuan took one last look at the Tsan Lan star under his feet and followed his eldest senior brother into the spatial passage before him. What chaotic spatial power. Lin Yuan was a little surprised, even with the spatial channel blocking him. He could still feel the incomparably violent spatial force. This level of chaotic frenzy far exceeded the spatial force that Lin Yuan had perceived when he finally entered that spatial rift when he was in the Divine Soldier world. Only now. All of the violent and disorderly spatial forces were blocked by the spatial channel transformed by the crystal magic cube. The rules of space, it's amazing. Lin Yuan followed behind his eldest senior brother, walking step by step within the spatial passage. With every step he took, Lin Yuan vaguely sensed that a long distance had been spanned, only that under some sort of compression within the spatial channel, several light years and tens of light years were hardened into a few steps. Lin Yuan had also delved a little into the rules of space, and within the seven star sky world, that huge Rubik's cube, which represented a certain spatial evolution pathway beyond the sixth order, had already been comprehended by Lin Yuan to the seventh order chapter. Only, compared to the space rule wonders contacted at the moment, it was like the light of a glowing fire compared to the white moon. Soon. Just walked dozens of steps. Lin Yuan then came to the other side of the spatial passage. A planet that was far more massive than Kanglin Star by hundreds and hundreds of times appeared in the distance. That's Chikuan's main planet. A smile appeared on eldest brother's face. It was not until this moment that eldest brother felt that he and junior brother were completely safe. Even if there was a peak 8th order revolver killing now, so close to the Red Cohen Master Star, the teacher Red Cohen Star Master could strike with a single thought. So many powerful people. Lin Yuan vaguely sensed that many high level evolver scents lurked on the Chikuan main planet, and in the Chikuan main planet, 6th level starfallers were no longer rare. I have now crossed over to the 6th rank. And my soul fit transformation is complete, merging with the pathway of martial evolution. Even as strong as a teacher, I can't see through which evolutionary pathway I'm practicing. Lin Yuan thought secretly. After becoming the 13 peak master of the Red Koen lineage, the reason why Lin Yuan was unwilling to return to the Red Koen main star. It was the fear that the pathway of martial evolution that he cultivated would be seen through by other high-level evolvers. 
It was important to know that the potential that the Marshall Dao evolutionary pathway was currently displaying was expected to advance to the Eighth Order evolutionary pathway. As the founder of that evolutionary pathway, Ling Yuan was, in a way, the seat of the great scholar of evolution. This status far exceeded the 13 peak masters of the Chikuan lineage, after all, any evolutionary great scholar was the true backbone of human civilization. An evolutionary great scholars start at the eighth rank, the civic rank is even higher incredibly high, the influence is much greater than a single powerful evolutionary. Follow me. The eldest brother's mind moved slightly. The space around them was vaguely distorted. Isolating his appearance and breath from Lin Yuan's. Whoosh. The eldest senior brother brought Lin Yuan and entered the Red Coin main star. Countless fluctuations came during the period, seemingly confirming identity permissions. Soon. The two of them then arrived at the center of the planet, on a continent consisting of more than a dozen peaks. Lin Yuan took a glance and saw that there were a total of 14 peaks, and the main peak in the center that was the most massive belonged to his teacher, the Red Kuan Star Lord. The 13 peaks next to them were the 13 peak lords such as Lin Yuan. As he walked, eldest senior brother spoke, since junior senior brother has already arrived at the main star. Then next, my Red Kuan lineage will be updating the information of the 13 peak masters. Junior senior brother comes from Kanglin Star, and Kanglin Star is a living planet in the Morning Glory Galaxy, so the first target of the Chikuan lineage to announce is the Morning Glory Galaxy, which will then spread outward from the main Morning Glory Star. Good. Lin Yuan nodded. With his strength reaching the sixth rank, he was completely able to withstand the identity of the thirteen peak masters of the Chikuan lineage, and would not be in a virtue not worthy of the position situation. Apart from the eldest, second, and third senior brothers, the rest of the senior brothers, too, were all at the sixth rank. Back then, the Red Koan Star Lord had taken over the Star Sea Yokoan, the reason why he had meticulously reached the seventh rank before he dared to return to the Alliance of Human Civilizations. That was because the Red Koan Star Lord was not a genius in the conventional sense of the word, and the Star Sea Yokoan pups that he had seized were very easy to pull hatred. Like the parents of the original Star Ocean Yukuan? And special life groups like the Star Ocean Yukans? The number of Star Sea Yukans was indeed rare, but there were some, and the probability of a powerful bloodline giving birth to a strong person was much higher. That's exactly why. The Red Cohen Star Lord hid until the seventh rank before he dared to show his face and return to human civilization. I don't know how happy that guy, Morning Sun, will be when he learns that his galaxy has given birth to such a supreme genius as Junior Brother. Eldest Brother's tone was somewhat emotional. As the thirteen peak master of the Red Cohen lineage, Lin Yuan was the one who truly held the power of life and death of a starfield. Lin Yuan was from the Morning Star Galaxy. And the odds were that he would have some good feelings about the Morning Star Galaxy. This good feeling is certainly not great, but it certainly favors the Morning Star Galaxy over other galaxies that are completely foreign to it. Under such conditions, as long as the Morning Glory Galaxy did not commit suicide on its own, it was tantamount to having a backer, and all of its words in the Red Koan Star region would be greater. This was still only the impact that Lin Yuan had come to have on the vast Morning Glory Galaxy, as for Tsong Lan Star. As long as Lin Yuan was willing, Tsong Lan Star would even be promoted to a higher life planet because of Lin Yuan. Medium life planets to high life planets. There are various aspects involved, such as the level of cosmic energy the planet holds, the number of powerful people, and so on. Normally, most of the higher life planets were born, and very few medium life planets were promoted to higher life planets. Because the price paid in the meantime was too great. However, as long as there was the tacit support of Lin Yuan, the 13 peak master, it was only a matter of time before Kanglin Star was promoted to a higher life planet. Eldest brother, we're going to see the teacher now? Lin Yuan asked. Meet the teacher? Eldest brother shook his head, there's no need for that. When you entered the Chikuan Master Star, the teacher already knew about it, and seeing or not seeing it doesn't matter. Eldest senior brother looked at Lin Yuan with a slightly gloomy expression and said, Junior brother, the most important thing for you to do right now is not to meet your teacher, much less to continue your cultivation. Rather, take the essence of one's life, form an imprint, and then brand it into the universe. Eldest brother said solemnly. The Sixth Order Revolver Life Essence was powerful enough to leave a mark on the universe. This kind of imprint was also known as the life imprint, as long as the imprint was there, even if Lin Yuan fell, the supreme person of the human race could be resurrected by using this point of the life imprint as an anchor point in reversing time. As for those below the sixth rank, the essence of life was not strong enough, and when they died, they really died, and there was no way for anyone to save them. Understood. Lin Yuan nodded his head. Branding a life mark into the universe was the first thing all evolvers would do when they first stepped into the sixth stage. It was related to whether or not one could be resurrected in the future, even those sixth order revolvers who were not qualified to be resurrected would do so. Maybe some years in the future, one's heir will have great achievements and pray for the most powerful to bring him back to life? Morning Star in Chief The Chikuan Starfield had eight major galaxies and over a million living planets. Among them, the Morning Star Galaxy was not the weakest among the eight galaxies, but it also had nothing to do with the strongest, ranking in the fifth or sixth place all year round. Morning Star Prime, inside one of the sectors. This department was one of the core departments of the Morning Star, responsible for docking with the Chikuan Master Star and conveying the many orders sent from the Chikuan Master Star at all times. 
Hey, I don't know when the 13th Peak Master will cross over to the 6th Order, and the real identity of the 13th Peak Master. Could it be from our Morning Sun Galaxy? Inside the department, a female employee is a little bored, chatting with her co-workers. In the virtual world ring area, those last few battles of the 13 Peak Masters. Especially the two slaps that shattered the 10,000 Sun Saint Sun, caused the many strong people in the outside world to determine that the 13 Peak Master soul fit had reached 100%. Stepping into the 6th Order from this would be a matter of the near future. And once he became a 6th rank, the identity of the 13 Peak Masters was not as important to keep secret and could be made public. And according to the Red Cohen Master Star's style of doing things, whichever galaxy the 13 Peak Masters came from, they would let the main star of that galaxy be responsible for spreading the word. If the 13 Peak Masters did not come from the 8 galaxies, it would have been made public by the Red Cohen Lord Star himself. I don't think it's very likely that the 13 Peak Masters are from the Morning Glory Galaxy, in my Morning Glory Galaxy, there are only a hundred or so higher life planets, and in other powerful galaxies, there are hundreds of higher life planets to start with. A genius like the 13 Peak Master has a high probability of being born on a higher life planet. Another department employee spoke up. Among the many differences between a high life planet and a medium or low life planet, there is the difference in the probability of giving birth to a genius. The former is much higher than the latter. Higher life planets that hold cosmic energy of higher quality, living under cosmic energy of this quality for a long period of time, even a mediocre talent is comparable to a genius on a medium life planet. What's the news from the other galaxies? A third department employee inquired. If the 13 Peak Masters came from another galaxy, the Red Cohen Master Star would definitely notify that galaxy and the news would be made public at the first opportunity. Not yet. I'm paying attention. The female employee who had first spoken spoke up. After such a long time, the 13th Peak Master should have broken through Ah, it should be made public will be made public, it is hard to believe that the 13th Peak Master is really from outside the Chikuan planet domain, it is picked up by the Star Lord when he traveled the universe? A department employee wondered. Just as everyone was chatting away. Drip drip drip. The entire sector suddenly lit up in red. Receiving file from Chikuan's main planet. The true identity of the 13th Peak Master is from the Morning Star Galaxy. End of chapter. Chapter 17, Changes in the Gate of 10,000 Realms, Request for Subscription. What? Lord 13 Peak Master. Is it really from our Morning Star Galaxy? Inside the department, all the members were dumbfounded, they did have fantasies about it. After all, if the Morning Glory Galaxy was truly the home galaxy of the 13th Peak Master, then in the future, the entire Morning Glory Galaxy would benefit from the 13th Peak Master Lord. Not to say that it gets any kind of resource tilt, but at least it won't be tilted out as such. But it was clear to everyone that it was just fantasy. It's like almost every citizen who has ever bought a lottery ticket before the results are announced fantasizes about whether or not they're going to win the jackpot. But in reality, there is only that one winning slot, and the so-called fantasies are nothing more than unrealistic fantasies. Yet now. Did someone tell them that fantasy became reality? Lord 13 Peak Master. Everyone's hearts were pounding. And they immediately began to browse through the real information file about the 13 Peak Lord Lord sent over by the Red Cohen main planet, by the Red Cohen main planet, by the Red Cohen main planet, by the Red Cohen main planet. Lord Peak Master 13, real name Lin Yuan, from the Tsang Lan Star, is the previous Tsang Lan Star Ring Champion, participated in the Seven Star Cave Test. Lord 13 Peak Master, actually born on a medium life planet? A mere medium life planet could give birth to a supreme genius like the 13th Peak Lord? It's unbelievable, the documents said that the 13th Peak Master Lord was only at the 4th rank when he participated in the last tournament, and now he's at the 6th rank? I see, before participating in the ring match, Lord 13 Peak Master should have cultivated on his own, in a backward environment such as a medium life planet, cultivating to the 4th rank, then entering the 7 star cave world, receiving the Star Lord's guidance and test, and spiraling into the sky. The many members of the department looked at the information about the 13 Peak Masters and floated around for a while. President. Just then, one of the members looked up to see a burly man appear. President. When the others heard this, they immediately raised their heads and said respectfully towards the lanky man. The only person who could be addressed as president in the Morning Glory main star was that sovereign of the Morning Glory Society. The Morning Glory Society is the most powerful force in the Morning Glory Galaxy, and even the Morning Glory Galaxy is named after it. Of course, no matter how powerful the Morning Glory Society was, it was a subordinate force of the Chikuan lineage, and the only thing it did was follow the orders of the Chikuan lineage. Ha 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 ha, the 13 Peak Masters are really from my Morning Star Galaxy? Ecstasy surfaced on the face of the Morning Glory Society's president, without the slightest hint of the usual president's lofty stance. President, what should we do now? The department head couldn't help but speak up. Theoretically, at the moment, regarding the true identity of the 13 Peak Masters, other than the bigwigs of the Chikuan Master Planet, only those of them were aware of it. What to do? Let me think about it. The president of the Morning Glory Society was certain of his mind. He had just been so focused on his excitement that he had neglected for a moment how to face this matter. There was no doubt that the 13 Peak Masters came from the Morning Glory Galaxy, and this was a great chance for the Morning Glory Galaxy. 
but even if it was a great opportunity, it had to be caught, and the Morning Glory Galaxy had to seize this opportunity, especially without letting other forces get there first. This way. I'll personally make a trip to the Red Kuan main planet to show my face in front of the 13 Peak Masters and congratulate the Peak Masters on crossing over to the Sixth Order. The president of the Morning Glory Society spoke up. Since on the side of the Red Kuan main star, information on the true identity of the 13 Peak Masters had been transmitted, it meant that the 13 Peak Masters were already in the Red Kuan main star. Secondly, the 13th Peak Master should still have parents with a younger sister in Kanglin Star. After knowing the true identity of the 13th Peak Master, the Morning Glory Society president immediately connected his consciousness to the virtual world and found out the basic information of Lin Yuan. Now, you take my escort and head to the Kanglin planet as fast as you can to protect the Peak Master's parents. The president of the Morningside Club looked over at the supervisor. He would have to plan with both hands. And there was quasi nothing wrong with keeping the Peak Master's loved ones protected anyway. All right, we can now announce the true identity of the 13 Peak Masters. President Morning Sun didn't dare to delay, after receiving the documents conveyed by the Chikuan lineage, Morning Sun Lord Star was going to do it as fast as he could. Of course, as the purveyor of the identity announcement, President Morning Star was the first to know the news and could set it up in advance. Morning Star Galaxy Black Hell Family Resident Planet As the five top forces of the Red Coen Starfield, the Black Prison family had station planets in all eight galaxies. The so-called station planet is the entire planet belongs to the Black Prison family, and it is also the Black Prison family subfamily station in that galaxy. A general overview of all matters of the Black Prison family in the Morningside Galaxy. The Morning Glory Galaxy possessed 120,000 living planets, and such a huge number of planets basically had more or less trade and economic dealings with the Black Prison family. And at this point, the matter of the true identity of the 13 Peak Masters was transmitted here by the Morning Lord Star. Inside a garden. The man in the baggy coat was lounging there. The two beautiful women next to him were gently massaging him. The man in the loose coat, named Black Prison Chin, was the second uncle of Black Prison Shell. Previously, the Black Hell Chelsea cut off all trade between the Black Hell Clan and Kanglin Star through the Black Hell Chin. It's far from the heart of family power, but at least it's free and there aren't many people who can control me. Black Prison Chin was in a good mood, not every member of the Black Prison family had the ambition to move up the ladder. Black Prison Chin was content with the status quo. Just as Black Hell Chin was enjoying himself. A low voice sounded steeply in his ears. Black Prison Chin, get your ass over here. The voice had little rise or fall in tone, but it was clearly suppressing some sort of anger. As well as panic. The clan elder called me? Black Hell Chin had a steep jolt. Coming right up. Although he didn't know what the clan elder had called him for, Black Prison Chin knew that he could never disobey the clan elder. Soon. Black Hell Chin came before the clan elder. Clan elder. Black Prison Green bowed, his posture lowered. Black Prison Chin, I have sent you a document, you take a good look at it. The clan elder took a deep breath, then, give me an explanation. Ha! Huh? Good. Black Prison Chin sniffed and immediately began to receive a document from the clan elder. The true identity of the Red Koan lineage, the 13 Peak Master, is an evolver named Lin Yuan from the Morning Sun Galaxy, Sun Lan Star. The more Black Prison Chin looked at his heart, the more panicked he was, his heart and soul trembled, his legs were soft, and he couldn't even control himself, sitting on his butt on the ground. Lin Yuan? Some time ago, that nephew of his, the Black Prison Key Leader, had asked him to cut off the trade of the Kanglin Star, and wasn't it for this Lin Yuan? And now. This Lin Yuan's identity, the 13th Peak Master? Black Prison Chin only felt the sky spinning, and even breathing was incomparably difficult. He knew exactly what he had done and what it really meant, he had personally stepped in, cut off trade, and put out the word that it was all because Lin Yuan did not know how to behave. Nowadays. Lin Yuan had become the 13th Peak Master of the Chikuan lineage, one of the high position holders of the Chikuan Star Realm, not to mention himself. Even if it was the Black Prison Clan C defining god, Black Prison Desert, he had to be respectful when he saw Lin Yuan. And he, in fact, had suppressed Lin Yuan? Black Prison Shell, Black Prison Shell you've victimized me ah, you've brought me to my doom ah. Black Prison Chin crawled to the Clan Elder and hugged his thighs, Clan Elder, none of this has anything to do with me, it's all because of that Black Prison Chelsea, it's that Black Prison Chelsea who did this ah. I have no grudge against that Lin. I don't have any grudges with Lord 13 Peak Master ah, it's all because Black Prison Chelsea asked me to do it ah. Black Helchin cried out in pain. He understood that he was finished, regardless of whether this matter was something he wanted to do or was instructed by someone else, as the person who directly suppressed the 13 Peak Master, there was definitely no good end to it. But even death makes a difference, and the Black Hell family has ways of making life worse than death for sinners. Black Prison Shell? The clan elder closed his eyes, I will go speak with the clan on this matter. As for you. The clan elder looked over at Black Prison Chin, who was crying out in pain. At once. A guard stepped forward and pinned Black Jail Chin down. Only when Black Hell Chin disappeared did the clan elder turn and look at the others behind him. All of these people were the senior members of the Black Prison family stationed in the Morning Star Galaxy, and all of them were looking heavy at this moment. They arrived before Black Hell Chin came over and got things pretty much figured out. Gentlemen, the time has come for us. 
as well as the entire Black Prison clan to live or die. The clan elder spoke in a low tone and said slowly. Life and death. Other people's hearts and minds shuddered slightly. It is indeed a matter of life and death. The Black Hell family had offended the Thirteen Peak Masters viciously? As one of the five major forces in the Red Cohen Star region, the Black Prison family had deep roots and far-reaching influence. Even if he offended the Thirteen Peak Masters, nothing would go wrong in a short period of time. But over time, it would certainly weaken extremely quickly, and after hundreds or thousands of years perhaps it would die out completely. Therefore, what the Black Prison family was facing at this moment really counted as life and death. If I had known, I shouldn't have given Black Prison Shin the power to disconnect the entire trade of a living planet in the first place, although it's not considered a big deal, it's not a small thing either, if we had vetted it, it probably wouldn't have happened like that. It's also just possible that the Black Prison Shell is a direct descendant of the family, if he begged us and said that he wanted to cut off the trade of Kanglin Star, would you not agree? This matter is wrong in that a medium life planet like Song Lan Star would give birth to such a great person like the Thirteen Peak Lord, and that Black Prison Shell has even bumped into Lord Thirteen Peak Lord. Since it's already happened, it's pointless to discuss this, what's crucial now is how to dissolve the Thirteen Peak Master's animosity towards my Black Prison family. The Black Jail Chin must be turned in, but the culprit is the Black Jail Shell, and the Black Jail Shell. The people on the field were talking, for the Black Prison Chin, they had the power of how to dispose of it, but the Black Prison Chelsea, after all, was the son of the Black Prison Desert. How to dispose of the Black Prison Keeley? Or have to inquire to ask the opinion of the Black Prison Desert? I'll go and talk about this. When it comes to the family legacy, no matter who it is, those who should be sacrificed must be sacrificed, as long as they can redeem the 13th Peak Master. As long as we can eliminate the 13th Peak Master's hostility towards the family, paying a greater price is worth it. The clan elder stood up, looked at the crowd, and said decisively. Chikuan's main star. A place for full members to practice. Fang Ching sat cross-legged, visualizing the appearance of a certain ancient god in his mind. The evolution of the ancient god evolutionary pathway, the way of cultivation was simple to say the least and difficult to say the least. That is to visualize that ancient god that corresponds to one's own evolutionary path and imitate the other as much as possible. The reason why it is difficult is because, if you make the slightest mistake, you may suffer a backlash and die on the spot. Phew. Fang Qing ended his cultivation, a look of relief appearing on his face. Just then. Fang boy, look at the papers, go look at the papers. A growl came from none other than the old man with the white beard. What can be so great about panicking? Fang Qing frowned slightly, feeling that this teacher of his, was making a bit of a fuss, as if he had never seen the world. Do you see it or not? The white-bearded old man raised his voice a few notches. Look, I look, but I sure as hell don't look like you. Fang Qing immediately browsed through the document, and while looking at it, he couldn't help but speak. Until. The true identity of the 13th Peak Master is the evolutionist named Lin Yuan from the Kanglin Star in the Morning Sun Galaxy. Crap. Fang Chang was dumbfounded. Big Brother Lin is the 13th Peak Master? Fang Cheng was a little confused. And after rereading the document a few times to confirm that the Lin Yuan on it was exactly the Big Brother Lin that he knew, and it wasn't some kind of renaming, his mind turned even more into a mush. Until a few moments later. Fang Cheng just barely changed his mind. This this this. Fang Cheng's eyes widened, although with the white-bearded old man's reminder, he knew that Lin Yuan should have some kind of undercard. Otherwise, it would be impossible to foolishly and directly reject the solicitation of the Black Hell Shell. But that's too big of an undercard, isn't it? The 13 masters of the Chikuan line? Is that a fucking card? So it is. I was just wondering how it's possible that with your big brother Lin's talent, he couldn't even pass the seven-star cave test, it doesn't make sense that even a waste like you would pass it. So it is. So it is. The white-bearded old man's voice of dawning realization kept ringing in his ears. The corners of Fang Qing's mouth twitched, he had some issues with the white-bearded old man's left sentence of waste, but as soon as he thought that this was compared to Big Brother Lin, he immediately didn't dare to say anything more. 13 Peak Masters Fang Qing couldn't help but raise his head and look towards the 14 peaks that stood in the distance, located in the center of the main star. Inside the palace Lin Yuan sat cross-legged. The essence of life, imprinted, integrated into the universe? Lin Yuan thought carefully while feeling everything within his body. After stepping into the sixth stage, his fleshly body and soul had undergone a substantial metamorphosis, and Lin Yuan could vaguely feel that there was a deeper layer of space in the cosmic starry sky. It was not known whether it was real or unreal there. But Lin Yuan had a feeling that it was a place that could never be reached by a physical body. According to the Red Coin lineage's description of that layer of space, it should be the origin space of this cosmic starry sky. That was the very core of the universe, and only something as illusory as a life mark could be integrated into it. As for life? Even the most powerful life could not possibly enter the origin space. The essence of life. Lin Yuan slowly operated the power in his body, vaguely echoing with that layer of space. Feel it. It should blend in soon. Lin Yuan's spirit was shaken, incorporating a life mark did not require much skill, otherwise it would not have been possible for a sixth stage evolver to do it. After feeling that layer of parasitic life mark space, the final integration was fast approaching. 
As the life imprints continued to integrate, Lin Yuan was also much more relaxed and was able to detach a piece of his consciousness to focus on other things. The gate of all worlds. A piece of Lin Yuan's consciousness came to the depths of his mind. This was the first time he had come here after crossing over to the sixth rank. It is? Lin Yuan's consciousness had just arrived here when he noticed the changes in the gate of 10,000 realms. Compared to before he had broken through to the sixth rank, the gate of 10,000 realms had become even more lofty, magnificent, and unreadable, and was not even illusory, but more like some sort of physical object. One must know that ever since Lin Yuan felt the gate of 10,000 realms, this giant door had always been illusory, and even if the outer area was lit up, its illusory nature could still be seen. But now, the gate of 10,000 realms was actually giving Lin Yuan a real touch. Also, the moment Lin Yuan looked at the gate of 10,000 realms, a huge amount of information poured into Lin Yuan's soul from the gate of 10,000 realms. Two more shifts are over. Almost approaching the fifth shuttle. I'm begging for a monthly ticket. Quill. End of chapter. Chapter 18, The Desperate Black Prison Key Later. This information. Lin Yuan rubbed his brow, even the act of integrating his life mark into the universe was suspended, obviously the information received was exceptionally vast and incredibly important. It turns out that the gate of the 10,000 realms in the depths of my mind is just a projection of the rail gate of the 10,000 realms. Lin Yuan's thoughts collected and he thought silently. The true gate of the 10,000 realms was simply not something that a weak and small being like Lin Yuan could carry, even if the former had recognized Lin Yuan as his master, the difference in levels between the two was so great that it was difficult to be in the same layer of space. With Lin Yuan's previous strength when he had not stepped into the sixth order, carrying a projection of the gate of 10,000 realms was already the limit. Even now, Lin Yuan was already a sixth order evolutionary, and his life essence had gained a metamorphosis that was enough to leave a mark on the main world. However, it still couldn't carry the true gate of the 10,000 realms, but of course, stepping into the sixth order wasn't all change. The essence contained in the projection of the gate of 10,000 realms that Lin Yuan carried nowadays was much elevated. This could be illustrated by the fact that Lin Yuan had obtained more information about the gate of 10,000 realms. Boundary breaking source power? Lin Yuan's expression was slightly gloomy. According to the information he had just obtained from the projection of the Gate of 10,000 Realms, he knew that the boundary-breaking source power was one of the core energy sources of the Gate of 10,000 Realms. The Gate of 10,000 Realms projected that every 333 days, a strand of boundary-breaking source power could be accumulated from the void. The specific manifestation of this is the lighting up of the outer regions of the Gate of All Worlds. In a nutshell, a strand of boundary-breaking source power would allow Lin Yuan to travel once. There were many uses for boundary-breaking source power. Ten strands of boundary-breaking source power would be able to allow Lin Yuan to return once more to the world he had already traveled through previously. That's not bad Lin Yuan thought secretly. Although it was said that the four shuttles carried out so far had ended with Lin Yuan being invincible in the world. But as the number of shuttles continues to increase, the layers of the world's shuttle increase. On the premise that the gate of 10,000 realms would limit the residence time, Lin Yuan could not guarantee that he would definitely be able to penetrate the world he was traveling through every time. If a certain important treasure or thing in the shuttle world was not enjoyed to the fullest, it was possible to return to that realm to continue enjoying it through this method. However, the prerequisite was that this type of treasure or chance was important enough, 10 strands of boundary-breaking source power was already enough for Lin Yuan to travel 10 times. 50 strands of boundary-breaking source power that allows for physical body shuttling. Lin Yuan had long known that the gate of 10,000 realms was not limited to the descent of consciousness, but was even more capable of physical body shuttling. Just this kind of shuttleway certainly can establish a huge advantage in the early stage, without a little bit of cultivation, but the same risk is also big. Once you fall in the shuttle world, you are expected to be really dead, far less so than if the consciousness descends to the shuttleway to have a chance to start over. 100 strands of boundary-breaking source power to select worlds to travel through at your own request. In other words, Lin Yuan could control the direction of the type of world he traveled through according to his needs. This kind of usefulness made Lin Yuan quite satisfied. The current shuttles performed by the gate of all worlds are all random shuttles. This type of shuttling was not harmful in the early stages, but as Lin Yuan's realm of strength continued to rise, some of the shuttling worlds could not bring too much help to Lin Yuan. This is when the effect of customizing the shuttle comes into play. Lin Yuan could completely customize a world that was in line with his own cultivation system and that could be of great help to him. 100 strands of boundary-breaking source power is too expensive. According to the efficiency of the gate of 10,000 realms in projecting 333 days and accumulating a strand of boundary-breaking source power. 100 strands is estimated to take 90 years. 1,000 strands of boundary-breaking source power can arbitrarily bring back one item from the world it traveled through. Lin Yuan sighed. 100 strands of boundary-breaking source power would have to wait for more than 90 years. 1,000 strands of boundary-breaking source power, wouldn't one have to wait nearly a 1,000 years? This kind of utilization of boundary-breaking source power would not have been considered by Lin Yuan at all if it was not for that particular kind of world-origin treasure. 10,000 strands of boundary-breaking source power. 
Lin Yuan not see the specific effects of the 10,000 strands of boundary breaking source power, with the information he was currently receiving, there should be a use for the 10,000 strands of boundary breaking source power. The boundary breaking source power accumulated by the projection of the gate of 10,000 realms, now? Lin Yuan sensed slightly and realized that the boundary breaking source power that he currently possessed was at a little more than one strand. The time to accumulate boundary breaking source power should be standardized by the main world. Lin Yuan thought about it and continued to begin to incorporate a little bit of his life brand into the universe. Kanglin Star. Consul Song Woyang stretched his back. Lord Consul, all matters, for the moment, have been dealt with, and the next will be your private break. The voice of the intelligent assistant came. Private break? A smile appeared on Song Woyang's face. Suddenly. Just then. The intelligent assistant voice came again. Lord Consul, Nolan Asterisk Morning Sun requests a call. Nolan Asterisk Morning Sun? Song Woyang had a steep jolt. The last name, Morningstar, comes from the most powerful force in the Morningstar Galaxy, the Morningstar Society. Nolan Morning Sun, on the other hand, was the vice president of the Morning Sun Society, a big shot second only to the president in the entire Morning Sun Galaxy. Agree to call. Song Woyang took a deep breath to calm himself down. Immediately commanded. He was a little apprehensive in his heart. Wondering what on earth such a great man was doing by contacting him personally. Now Kanglin Star had just slowed down from the Black Prison family's suppression. Let's not have any more accidents. Buzz. On the imaginary screen in front of them. Nolan Asterisk Morningstar's figure emerges. Greetings Lord Nolan. Song Woyang's tone was a bit formal. What adults don't. Nolan Asterisk Morning Sun appeared to be very amiable, not at all as majestic and unapproachable as Song Woyang remembered. The Kanglin planet that you rule is very remarkable to have given birth to such a great evolver. Nolan Asterisk Morning said with a smile. What? Song Woyang blinked. He understood every word Nolan Asterisk Morning Sun said, but together, Song Woyang didn't know what was going on. What do you mean by very impressive? Nolan Asterisk Morning Sun is the vice president of the Morning Sun Society, even the higher life planets may not be able to enter his eyes, let alone Kanglin Star. Only now, this big shot of the Morning Star system was taking the initiative to say that Kanglin Star was marvelous? And? The birth of such a great evolver? Song Woyang still didn't react. He was roughly aware of the current number of evolvers on Kanglin planet, as well as the specifics, and there were simply no great evolvers as Nolan Morningside had said, right? Lord Nolan. I wonder what exactly you mean. Song Woyang carefully inquired. Forget that this matter hasn't reached Kanglin star yet. Nolan asterisk Morning Sun's smile didn't tighten, and his gaze towards Song Woyang became more and more kind, you should know, Lord Thirteen Peak Master, right? Thirteen Peak Masters? Song Woyang froze. He naturally knew Lord Thirteen Peaks. This was the pride of the Red Cohen Star Region, not long ago. The Thirteen Peak Master Lords challenged the genius evolvers of the major star regions. Even that peerless saint son of the Wanyang Star Realm was slapped twice by the Thirteen Peak Lord Lord and bowed his head to admit defeat. Not only did Song Woyang know about the Thirteen Peak Masters, he had also seen every challenge of the Thirteen Peak Masters and had almost become a fan. But. What does the Thirteen Peak Master have to do with him? If the Morning Star Galaxy still dared to fantasize some, the Thirteen Peak Masters came from their own galaxy. Song Woyang, on the other hand, didn't even dare to fantasize about it, because the probability was too low, so low that it was nearly impossible to happen. The Chikuan Starfield had more than a million life planets, including higher life planets, as well as major main stars and so on. Why would the Great Thirteen Peak Master come from a backward and remote planet like Kanglin Star? That's just not scientific at all. Lord Nolan, this Thirteen Peak Master Lord. Song Woyang asked suspiciously. Exactly. Nolan Chansey nodded and said, the true identity of the great Lord Thirteen Peak Master is you, Kanglin Star, an evolved person named Lin Yuan. By the way, the Thirteenth Peak Master also participated in the ring and got the championship, you should have an impression. Nolan Morningside said in a kind tone. Lord Thirteen Peak Master's true identity is Lin Yuan. Song Woyang was dumbfounded and didn't even react for a moment. Almost a breath later, Song Woyang's eyes rolled in surprise and he almost lost his temper on the spot. The Thirteenth Peak Master is Lin Yuan? Lin Yuan is the Thirteenth Peak Master? Song Woyang only felt his head spinning, with the flavor of being knocked out by a pie. Nope. It's more than pie. The true identity of the Thirteen Peak Masters will be announced by my Morning Star, and you, Kanglin Star. We'll soon learn of this news as well, so I'm informing you in advance so that you can be prepared. Nolan Chensi said, also, soon, our chairman's escort will be coming over and will be responsible for protecting the Thirteen Peak Masters family, so you should know what to do then. Nolan Morning Star reminded. Don't worry, Lord Nolan, before the arrival of the President's escort, Kanglin Planet's defense system will be completely closed, forbidding any forces from coming in. Song Woyang took a deep breath and immediately spoke. Then it will be hard on the console. Nolan Morningside nodded slightly, a look of satisfaction appearing on his face. Though he thought that no one should be able to get to Lord Thirteen Peak Master's parents faster than he, Morning Sun, would. But fear not, fear not. 
There's nothing wrong with having an extra hand to prepare. Now you can go down and make the arrangements, remember, the most important task for Kanglinstar at the moment is to protect Lord 13 Peak Master's family until the President's escort comes over. After Nolan Chensi finished speaking, he disconnected the call. Poof. Song Wuyang sat on his butt. Lord Lin Yuan. Lord 13 Peaks. Song Wuyang's mind spun rapidly. In a flash, he thought of how Lin Yuan had been oppressed by Kanglin Star's public opinion before because of the Black Prison family's suppression. Organize the list. From the moment the Black Prison family disconnected from the Kanglin Star trade, all citizens who have, on the internet, verbally abused and blamed Lord Lin Yuan, regardless of their status, will be put on the list. Song Wuyang immediately began to set things up. He couldn't let the 13 Peak Master Lord produce the thought thought of being aggrieved in the slightest on the Pale Blue Planet. Black Prison Shell's motivation is high, with the business map given by the family think tank. He just needs to do it step by step. Young master. All is well with the training, and the increase in strength of all the evolvers is as expected. North Call, an old man in a black tuxedo, respectfully reported the results. Eh? I know. The black hellshell was pleasantly distracted. If the plan went well, in the next ring tournament, those evolvers that he, black prison shell, had cultivated would shine. Evolvers who practice the divination class are too terrifying, able to capture any subtle information and thus make decisions that are most favorable to themselves. The black hellshell was slightly emotional. If it wasn't for the list given by the family think tank, how could he know that these evolvers still had such great potential for advancement? With a little cultivation, their strength would have risen by a large margin? Just then. Father wants me? Black hellshell's mind tightened. He was subjected to a video of a call from his father. This left the black prison shell a bit overwhelmed. The father of black prison shell was the black prison family's linchpin, the seventh order evolutionary black prison desert. As the youngest son of Black Prison Desert, the number of times Black Prison Chelsea had seen Black Prison Desert could be counted on two hands. Not to mention calling him personally for a call video. Is it hard to believe that father found out what I've accomplished out there? Black Helchel guessed in his mind and quickly agreed to his father's call. On the virtual screen in front of you. Soon appeared the figure of the Black Prison Desert. The Black Prison Desert was tall and exuded a certain dark and ghostly aura. Black Prison Shell. Black Prison Desert's tone was icy, I've already sent someone to pick you up there's no need to resist later. Having said that. Black Hellmouth then disconnected the call. Ha! Huh? Black Hellshell was a bit overwhelmed. His own father, the pinnacle of the Black Prison family, personally video calls himself just to talk about this? Pick me up and take me back to the family? Black Hellshell was silent. He dreamed of returning to the family. However, the words of his father, Black Prison Desert, were a bit disturbing to him. What the hell happened? Black Hellshell frowned in agonizing thought. Young master. At this moment, the old man Bei Zhao, dressed in a black dress, suddenly walked in. Morning Star Lord, announced the identity of the Thirteen Peak Masters. Oh! The spirit of the black prison shell was shaken, immediately connecting to the virtual world and starting to receive the relevant documents. The true identity of the Thirteenth Peak Master is Lin Yuan of the Kanglin Star. Black Hell Shell froze as he disconnected from the virtual world and shook his head to clear it completely before re-entering it. It was just that the document about the true identity of the Thirteen Peak Master was still Lin Yuan. Kanglin Star Lin Yuan. How could this be? Black Hellshell was incredulous, why would the great 13 Peak Master come from a backward medium life planet? The fact that the 13 Peak Masters came from the Kanglin planet was shocking, but that was all. What the Black Hellshell couldn't believe was that the evolver he had casually targeted would be the 13 Peak Master? Why? Why am I so unlucky? The document comes from the official Morningstar Lords, and its authenticity is unquestionable. This, coupled with the attitude of his own father, Black Prison Desert, just now, made Black Prison Shell realize what a great crime he had committed. Done. Black Hellshell's face was ashen. He knew very well what would happen if he offended the 13 Peak Masters. Even if the 13 Peak Master didn't pursue the matter. With his father's Black Prison Desert's character, there was no way he would let himself go. Just as Black Hell trembled in fear. A figure in a black coat appeared silently. He stood behind Black Prison Shell and said in an icy tone, Young Master Black Prison Shell, follow me. End of chapter. Chapter 19, Updating the Path of Martial Way Advancement. The Black Hell Family. Black Hell Desert sat on the throne of the Great Hall. He looked deep into the cosmic stars. Instead, some sort of extremely secretive fluctuation was ringing in his ears. Black Hell Desert, you've been lurking around human civilization for hundreds of thousands of years. You've been doing a great job, except today, you're needed for one last thing. Kill the Thirteen Peak Master. That Thirteen Peak Master, who has just stepped into the Sixth Order, the Great Diviner of the Clan, confirmed that his life imprint has not yet fully integrated into the universe. At this time, if you kill him, the other party will be completely dead, with no possibility of being revived. If it was someone else, even if they were an 8th rank powerhouse, it would be impossible for them to break into the Red Kuen main star and kill that 13 peak master. 
But you, Black Hell Desert, are different, you are originally under the Red Kuan Star Lord's command, you are qualified to enter the Red Kuan Main Star. Secondly, your youngest son, who once suppressed the 13 Peak Masters, you take your youngest son and head to the Red Kuan Master Planet to apologize for your crimes, with the hope of meeting the 13 Peak Masters. At that time, you will then make your move, and after the clan's great diviner's projection, you will have 10% certainty of killing the 13 Peak Master. An extremely obscure and subtle fluctuation was transmitted into Black Hell Desert's ears. Transforming into a message that Black Hell Desert understood. Kill the 13 Peak Masters. The Black Hellmouth was silent. He naturally knew that there was very little hope of killing the 13 Star Lords under the Red Kuan Star Lord's nose. And in the end, whether it is killed or not, he, Black Prison Desert, and even the entire Black Prison family, would be annihilated. Black Prison Desert, that 13 Peak Masters displayed talent qualifications, in the future, he is expected to become a king of the 7th Order, or even cross into the 8th Order. For hundreds of thousands of years, you've been stuck at the 7th rank marquee level, so as long as you can kill the 13 Peak Master, it'll all be worth it. As for the Black Prison family you run? With your youngest son's suppression of the 13 Peak Masters, it's only a matter of time before the Black Prison family falls. That obscure fluctuation continued to come. I'm not sure I can kill the 13 Peak Masters within the Star Lord's range of perception. Black Hell Desert replied. Hidden Fluctuation said he had a 10% hope of killing the 13 Peak Master. However, Black Hell Desert felt that 10% hope was too high, with his understanding of the Star Lord, as long as he was on the main star, he would be able to appear in any location in an instant. In this regard, the great diviner of the clan has prepared for this, this secret art, which is capable of allowing you to instantly possess the strength of the 8th rank, so as long as that Red Kuan Star Lord doesn't have a constant defense against you, you will be expected to kill the 13 Peak Lord. Hidden Fluctuations transmitted a secret art. Secret Techniques the Black Prison Desert swept in. This secret art required him to burn everything he had. Flesh soul longevity potential for an instantaneous surge in strength. Using this secret art, he did have the hope of killing the 13 Peak Masters, but the end result would be that he himself would not survive. There was no need for the people of the Red Kuan lineage to make much of a move afterward, as he himself died from the backlash of the secret art. The Black Hellmouth was silent. Black Hell Desert, as long as you do as I say, afterward, regardless of success, your pack, your people, will be given 10 star systems to call home. I, the Insect Clan, will send a large amount of resources and treasures to cultivate your clan's horde. The cryptic fluctuations continue to come. I know. Black Hell Desert replied in a low voice. Not much longer. The Black Hell Shell was then brought inside the palace. Father. Black Prison Shell's hands and feet were weak, and his lips were trembling as he looked at Black Prison Desert, who was seated on the throne. With a calm expression on his face, Black Prison Desert looked down on this youngest son of his. The matter of the Black Hell Chelsea suppressing Lin Yuan was not known to be reviled by many clansmen of the Black Hell Clan, but in the eyes of the Fae, it was an opportunity. It was because of Black Prison Shell's recklessness that Black Prison Desert brought Black Prison Shell and begged to see the 13 Peak Masters. Without this matter, Black Prison Desert would simply have no excuse reason to go and pay homage to the 13 Peak Master. If one were to forcefully go and pay a visit to seek an audience, it was highly likely that the divination type evolvers on the Red Kuan main planet would notice the abnormality. Everything has its natural law of development. Under normal circumstances, Black Prison Desert did not need to be so eager to seek an audience with the 13 Peak Masters, if he had to do so or not. He would be abnormal and would be subjected to deeper deductions by divination-type evolvers. But with the Black Prison Keylator, it's a different story. My son once suppressed you, and now he's brought here to apologize. This is then very reasonable and normal. No one can pick fault with it. My people. Black Hell Desert was calm on the surface, but his heart was unusually complicated. He came from the depths of the stars, from some weak tribe. The war between the human civilization and the insect race spilled over to the community where Black Hell Desert was located. As a last resort, the Black Prison Desert could only follow the horde and defect to the bug race. Because Black Hell Desert's evolutionary qualifications were gifted, it was arranged by the bug race to enter the frontiers of human civilization. It was common for members of weak communities like the Black Prison Desert to occasionally wander into the frontiers of human civilization and settle down ever since. Human civilization didn't take much precaution against this type of life, which is why the Black Prison Desert was able to defect to the Red Kuan Star Lord and establish the prestigious Black Prison family. Of course, due to the birth of the Black Prison Desert tribe, it was destined to be impossible to become a high-ranking member of the human civilization, and the establishment of the Black Prison family was already the limit. Father. Auntie. Black Hell Desert thoughts scattered, as if back hundreds of thousands of years ago, he was still in his infancy, running with his father and mother on the grassland. What a carefree life it was then. If there hadn't been a war between the two demons, the human race and the insect race, one would have been very happy now, staying by the side of one's father and mother. Not having to think about anything or do anything. Dad's shoulders were broad enough to support their family. It's been so many years. A father and mother are long dead. The black prison desert thoughts returned to reality. Although Adad and Amam are dead, the other clansmen, even if these clansmen Black Hell Desert can no longer be named, are still clansmen. In the heart of Black Prison Desert, 
these clansmen of the Black Prison family are nothing more than tools used to conceal their true identity. Ever since lurking into human civilization, Black Hell Desert had not relaxed for a moment. Father and mother, I'll see you soon. Black Prison Desert stood up, walked over to the trembling Black Prison shell, picked him up, and opened his mouth, go, follow me to make amends to the Thirteen Peak Master. Chikuan's main star. On the Central Continental Square. Black Prison Desert brought Black Prison Chelsea and wanted to ask to see the Thirteen Peak Master. Brother Black Prison Desert, this young son of yours, the steward of the Red Coin lineage looked at Black Prison Desert, a trace of pity appearing on his face. Ever since the identity of the Thirteen Peak Master had been made public, every bit of information about Lin Yuan had been raked out. Among them was the matter of the Thirteen Peak Masters experiencing suppression from the Black Prison Key later. In the eyes of the others, Black Prison Desert was just too unlucky, staying well in the family, and out of nowhere, because of his young son, he offended the Thirteen Peak Master. What kind of injustice is this? In fact, the Black Prison Shalars are also unlucky. It was perfectly normal for a direct descendant of a big family like him to use the power in his hands to suppress an evolver with no background. In the alliance of human civilizations, the three goddesses rule from on high. And it's rare for anything to go against the law. But suppression, however, cannot be avoided. Let's say I own this company, and I look at you with displeasure and have the company fire you. With three goddesses overseeing the payment of the full amount of the default at most, the goddesses will not force the necessity of hiring someone. Take a message to the Thirteen Peaks Master. Let's say that I, Black Hell Desert, have a heavy treasure to offer. Black Prison Desert looked at the steward and whispered. It was also meant to tickle the curiosity of the Thirteen Peak Masters. It's just a way to lure him out for a meeting. Black Hell Desert was a Seventh Order revolver, and the heavy treasure in his mouth might be at the Seventh Order King level. Treasures at such a level would be valued even by the Great Peak Master, the Second Peak Master, and the Third Peak Master, Lin Yuan had just become the Thirteenth Peak Master, his status had come up, but he definitely did not have much in the way of treasures. Understood. The steward of the Chikuan lineage nodded his head. Didn't really think there was anything strange about it. And you can't come here empty-handed to ask for forgiveness. Witness the steward leaving. The black prison desert settled down. Currently all he could do was wait. Waiting for the 13th peak master to summon him and then activate that secret art to strangle this human genius at the 6th rank level. In exchange for a better environment for the community as well as resources. Inside the peak palace. Lin Yuan received the news that Black Prison Desert had brought Black Prison Shell over to ask for forgiveness. Just. Lin Yuan didn't have the slightest intention of meeting. Before the life seal was integrated into the universe, Lin Yuan was a little uneasy about even cultivating. Let alone going out to meet people. And Big Brother made it very clear. Currently, for Lin Yuan, the most important thing was to integrate the life seal to the universe. As for other matters? Even meeting his teacher, the Red Coin Star Lord, could be postponed, let alone the Black Prison Desert. Almost there. Lin Yuan breathed a light sigh of relief, his eyes glowing. Incorporating the life imprint, although it was not difficult and any sixth order revolver could do it, was a water milling technique that could not be rushed. Kanglin Star. Resident at Continental Manor. Little Yuan has been in seclusion for quite a long time this time. Mother Lu Chiong had a worried look on her face. It's not a regular thing? Father Lin Shoucheng has long been used to it. After all, my son, is a genius that hasn't come out in hundreds of thousands of years from Kanglin Star. What's a few months of seclusion? I've heard that those high-level evolvers, a random retreat would take decades and centuries. Lin Shoucheng said. Right. Daughter. Lin Shoucheng glanced at Lin Yi who was not far away. At this moment, Lin Yi was repeatedly watching videos of the Thirteen Peak Masters battles. Yes yes yes. Lin Yi casually perfumed. Just then. Instead, the smart butler was alerted that someone was coming to visit. Consul Song is coming over? Lu Qiong immediately got up, intending to greet him personally. Because of Lin Yuan's ring championship, Song Wuyang came over from time to time to say hello. So at this time, Song Wuyang's visit didn't attract attention. Soon. Song Wuyang then walked in. Consul Song, Xia Yuan, he's in seclusion right now, he can't come out for a while, I'm sorry. Lu Qiong was full of apologies. She naturally knew that Song Wuyang had come over only possibly to look for Lin Yuan, as for them. Where were they qualified to make Consul Song make a personal trip? I'll inform Jen to go. Lin Shoucheng got up, intending to inform Lin Yuan. Of course, this kind of notification was similar to a phone message that could not be seen until Lin Yuan was done. No no no. Song Wuyang hurriedly waved his hands, right now, Mr. Lin Yuan should be busy at the Red Kuan main star, so I just made a trip over to take a look, where would I dare to disturb Mr. Lin Yuan? Lu Qiong and Lin Shoucheng sniffed. The god looked slightly stunned. What did Song Wuyang say just now? Xiao Yuan is on Qi Kuan's main planet? Consul Song, you're wrong, brother was still in seclusion in the main building a few days ago. Lin Yi Du sensed the mistake in Song Wuyang's words and couldn't help but remind him. Yui. Lu Qiong glared at Lin Yi. Even if Song Wuyang was wrong, he shouldn't just point it out. That's too rude. 
Ha ha ha, console song don't mind too much, he is just this character, but the console is working hard day and night, he should also pay attention to rest ah. Lin Shouqing took the opportunity to say. Mr. Lin, Ms. Lu, and Ms. Lin. Song Wuyun's complexion slightly corrected, I was right, Mr. Lin is, right now, supposed to be on the Red Kuan main planet. Song Wuyang said this, paused, and continued, there's another big happy event that I need to talk about. Your son, Mr. Lin Yuan, is none other than the 13 peak master of the Red Kuan lineage. Song Wuyang said. This statement was made. Lin Shouchun, Lu Qiong, and Lin Yi looked at Song Wuyang. It seems that the consul has indeed overworked himself recently. Lin Shouchang stepped forward to round off the conversation. However, Lord Consul, the 13 peak master's joke cannot be taken lightly, that is, Lin Shouchang reminded cryptically. With his status, he was naturally not qualified to speak up in front of a planetary consul. But this matter can be big or small, maybe even involve their own family, Lin Shouqing just to drum up the courage to say. Ha 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 ha. Song Wuyan did not look surprised when he saw this. At that time, he was no better when he learned that the true identity of the 13th peak master was Lin Yuan. Mr. Lin, Ms. Lu, and Ms. Lin. I, Song Wuyan, am sober, and your son, is the 13th peak master. Soon, there will be an escort from the Morning Star's main planet coming to protect you. Song Wuyan solemnly said. Ha! Huh? Lu Qiong and Lin Shouchen looked at each other. It was only at this time that they vaguely realized that Song Wuyan wasn't joking anymore. It can't be. My brother he's only at the fourth rank, the thirteenth peak master is at the sixth rank. Lin Yi couldn't help but say. That's because the thirteenth peak master's qualification talent is too terrifying, if he exposes his true identity, those foreign races are bound to keep assassinating and stabbing. Song Wuyang said nothing. The identity disclosure document from Morningstar Prime was passed directly to several people. This. Lu Chong Lin Shouchun looked confused. They didn't react for half a day after seeing the document, which was imprinted with the exclusive seal of the Morning Lord Star. I'll leave you to it then. Feel free to let me know if anything happens. Seeing this, Song Wuyang immediately got up to take his leave. He came over just to tell Lu Chong Lin Shouqing about this. In order to gain favor with both. Now that the goal has been reached, and Lin Shouqing Lu Chong and others, there should be a lot to say. And it would be somewhat inappropriate for them to continue to stay. Chi Kuan's main star. 13 Peaked Palaces. Finally. Lin Yuan opened his eyes and a smile appeared on his face. Ever since he came to the Red Koan main planet, he hadn't rested, and had been branding his life and integrating it into the universe. Now it's finally done. Right. Before stepping into the Sixth Order. The pathway of martial evolution is then almost perfected. Lin Yuan had a sudden movement in his heart. After the perfection of the Wudo evolution pathway, is not limited to the Taiyin Sun Taiji, the world all kinds of energy rules, are able to incorporate the Wudo system, are able to follow the Wudo cultivation system cultivation. Upload it. Lin Yuan thought secretly. After crossing into the sixth rank, he had been busy, only the changes in the gate of 10,000 realms had distracted Lin Yuan, and at this time, he had finally freed up his time to upload the martial way advancement pathway. The cultivation threshold of the perfected martial Dao evolution pathway had been lowered by a large margin, and Lin Yuan was somewhat looking forward to what the three goddesses would say about it. Two more shifts are over. I'm begging for a monthly ticket. Quill. End of chapter. Chapter 20 Starfield Ranking, Request for Subscription. Pathways of Martial Evolution. Lin Yuan's thoughts fizzled out and his face appeared briefly thoughtful. The potential to gain a substantial increase in the perfected pathway of martial evolution. In addition to the Taiji Way composed of Taiyin and Sun, evolvers were able to choose the paths they excelled in and then combine them with each other to form many branch paths. In addition, the lower limit of the martial Dao advancement pathway, the cultivation threshold to be exact, was also lowered by a large margin. In layman's terms, it means that the degree of adaptation is broader, and evolvers who cultivate the martial arts have a greater hope of advancing to the third, fourth, or fifth order. Spreading evolutionary pathways related to oneself, the more beings that cultivate, the more they can enhance certain aspects of their heritage, which will have a driving effect on the ultimate leap in the future. Lin Yuan thought secretly. The relating to oneself here can be the ancient god evolutionary pathway that imitates everything the ancient god does. It is also possible to create a certain evolutionary pathway, as Lin Yuan did, and then spread it. Goddess of Wisdom Lin Yuan took the initiative to connect to the Goddess of Wisdom. Dear Level 5 Citizen Lin Yuan, Goddess of Wisdom is pleased to serve you. The solemn, cool voice of the Goddess of Wisdom came. I need to update the martial arts evolution pathway. Lin Yuan opened his mouth and said. Lin Yuan had yet to create the sixth order chapter of the Martial Dao Progression Pathway, so it was a bit inaccurate to say that the upload was a bit inaccurate. It is more appropriate to refer to it as renewal by merely refining the previous second order, third order, fourth order, and fifth order chapters. Next. Lin Yuan then synchronized the perfected pathways of martial evolution to the Goddess of Wisdom as much as he could. Right after the Goddess of Wisdom had received the pathway of martial evolution. Buzz. Somewhere in a mysterious space unknown how far away from the Red Kuan main planet. 
A huge screen of light was rapidly flickering, and it was frantically dissecting and deducing the latest pathways of martial Dao advancement. This evolutionary pathway is expected to advance to the eighth order, restart the determination. Preliminary determination, the latest pathway of martial evolution, the threshold of cultivation has been drastically lowered. And the limit potential has risen. Depth determination initiated. In depth determination, since the beginning of the second stage of the martial evolution pathway, the difficulty of cultivation has shown a significant decrease, analyzing the reasons. This evolutionary pathway incorporates many energies into the system. Deep judgment. The fusion of different energies will produce unanticipated variables that could be worse or better. Depth judgment. Evaluation of the pathway of martial arts advancement has increased, and the overall potential has increased. Depth determination. Founder of this evolutionary path, personal secret level rises to nine stars. Contact liberty, justice, reopen judgment in progress. Shikuan's main star. On the central square. Black Hell Desert's face remained unchanged, but inwardly, he was anxious. This 13 peak master, what exactly does it mean? I've said I have a great treasure to offer, and he won't even see me? Black Hellmouth's eyebrows quivered. He thought that what he had done was seamless, that he had come over to make amends and begged to see the 13 peak master, and that all of it made sense. Couldn't find anything halfway out of the ordinary. Even if the 13 peaks master doesn't forgive him. We have to meet and ask him what kind of heavy treasure he has to offer, right? Just for now. One's own negative pleas were not met with any semblance of a response at all. If we wait any longer, the 13 peak master is estimated to have completed the integration of the life brand. Black Hell Desert settled down and suppressed the restlessness in his heart. Once the 13 peak master's life brand was successfully integrated, even if he succeeded in killing, the other party would be smoothly resurrected in the future. Admittedly, that powerhouse of the insect race had said that it didn't matter if he could completely kill the 13 peak master or not. His clan community, all of them, will be given ample favorable treatment, as well as the corresponding inclination of resources. But completely killing the 13 peak lords, versus not completely killing the 13 peak lords, as well as not killing the 13 peak lords, will definitely affect the final treatment of the pack. Since he was going to die no matter what afterward, Black Prison Desert naturally hoped that his death would be worthwhile for a bit. There's no rush. Take your time. I can't show anything unusual right now. Black Hell Desert understood that he was in the Red Cohen lineage and didn't know how many gazes he was being watched. Be sure to maintain a stance befitting your status. I just don't believe that the 13 Peak Master will not come out. The Black Hellmouth breathed a light sigh of relief. Counting the time, the 13 Peak Masters were estimated to have already completed the integration of their life brand. Black Hell Desert was clear that there was little hope of completely killing the 13 Peak Master. Nowadays, one could only consider killing the 13 Peak Masters, and even if they were to be resurrected by the human race's most powerful one afterward, it would still be many years from now. And if the human race wanted to resurrect the 13 Peak Master, they would need to pay a huge price, and that powerhouse of the insect race had allowed the Black Hell Desert to assassinate the 13 Peak Master with his life. And Black Hell Desert had never even thought of using this as a way to make the insect race's most powerful one resurrect himself. Because there's no way in hell the bugs are going to say yes. Even if the bugs agreed. The Black Hell Desert wouldn't believe it. 13 Peaks Top Palace. Lin Yuan waited for a while and realized that the Goddess of Wisdom was still determining the path of martial arts advancement, so his consciousness connected to the virtual world and came within his personal space. Eh? Lin Yuan glanced at the list of requests to visit. It was found to be densely packed, at least tens of thousands of citizens at a cursory glance, wanting to pay themselves a visit. And that number, it's still rising every moment. The identity of the 13th Peak Master is indeed a bit too much in the spotlight. Lin Yuan shook his head slightly and set the visit limit to 6th order revolvers, or his own relatives and friends. At once. The visit list is empty. Mom and dad left me a message. Lin Yuan scanned the message list. The so-called message is not a call request and will not disturb Lin Yuan. It's time to meet, too. Lin Yuan invited his parents, as well as his sister into his personal space. Less than a moment. Lin Xiaocheng, Lu Qiong, as well as Lin Yi then appeared in the personal space. Brother. Lin Yi's gaze towards Lin Yuan was flooded with adoration. The one standing in front of her now was not just her brother, but the 13 Peak Master, and the Red Kuan Star Region did not know how many fans wanted to meet the 13 Peak Master without being able to do so. Little Yuan, you've been on the Chikuan main planet for the past few days, Kanglin Planet is just like a festival, Consul Song personally came out to congratulate you on becoming the 13 Peak Lord with all the citizens, and numerous group companies, even more so, spent huge sums of money, outside the planet. To put up a huge banner. Lu Qiong said with a smile. Lin Yuan smiled without saying anything. Becoming the 13 Peak Master himself had indeed claimed a profound impact on Kanglin Star. Without mentioning the many other benefits, let's just mention that in the future, Kanglin Star might become the punch card mecca of the entire Chikuan Star region. Every year, I don't know how many tourists from all the major star domains would come to Kanglin Star specifically to observe and watch the planet where the 13 Peak Masters once resided. I'm afraid that Kanglin Star could make a fortune on tourism revenue alone. So, 
The entire Kanglin star had to thank Lin Yuan. Little Yuan ah. Lin Shouqing, on the other hand, was beaming, this time my old Lin family, can be considered a glorious ancestor this is not the usual glorious ancestor, I don't know how many good things I did in my past life. As the ancients say, when one man wins, all his men rise. We're more than ascending here, those big shots are close to kneeling at the door. Lin Shoucheng was quite emotional these days. Previously, Lin Yuan's identity was that of a ring champion. But in the eyes of those top decision-making bigwigs of the Kanglin planet, at most, they would only have a high opinion of them, after all, what they valued was only Lin Yuan himself. Yet now, these big shots treated their family with more warmth and respect than their own parents. Lin Yuan smiled as he listened to his parents' sister's confidences. As the 13 peak master himself, his power and influence in the Red Kuan Star region was terrifyingly large, not to mention the group forces of Song Lan Star, even if one of the five major forces of the star region such as the Black Prison family. They would have to try their best to flatter themselves. And Lin Yuan's parents and relatives would surely receive all kinds of bragging rights. Right Jen. Lu Chong seemed to remember something, took out a list and said, Consul Song gave me a list that he said he wanted to give to you, and ought it were people who had insulted you on the internet some time ago because of the Black Prison family thing. In the age of interstellar civilization, every citizen enjoys freedom of speech. But freedom of speech here is in the context of not endangering other citizens. Verbal abuse on the internet is technically actionable by the person being abused. Punish the leading few, and forget the rest. Lin Yuan glanced at it and said casually. With the intensity of the Black Prison family's suppression at the time, and their guidance of public opinion, there is no telling how many citizens were led astray. If they were all pursued, Kanglin Star estimated that one-tenth of its citizens would be out of luck. Had a little chat with the family. Lin Yuan then disconnected the virtual world connection. Almost done adjudicating. Lin Yuan waited for the Goddess of Wisdom's reply. A few moments later. Came the solemn voice of the Goddess of Wisdom. Dear Level 5 Citizen Lin Yuan, according to the final judgment, the threshold of your updated martial evolution pathway has been drastically lowered, and its potential has been substantially increased, removing the original value of the evolution pathway, you will be given 500,000 merit points back. Half a million merit points. Lin Yuan was a bit surprised. This time, he only updated the martial way advancement pathway and did not upload any follow-up content for the martial way advancement pathway. I originally thought that rewarding 100,000 to 200,000 merit points would be about right, but I didn't expect it to be 500,000 merit points? One had to know that even if one added up the previous Martial Dao Progression Pathways first order pieces to the fifth order pieces, it would still fall far short of half a million merit points. The likelihood of the Martial Way Evolution Pathway advancing to the sixth order is 95%. The likelihood of advancing to the seventh order is 30%, and the likelihood of advancing to the eighth order evolutionary pathway is 10%. Lin Yuan meanwhile glanced at the latest information on the Martial Dao Advancement Pathway. And, the likelihood of advancing to the sixth order evolutionary pathway hasn't changed, it's still 95%. Lin Yuan nodded slightly and did not find anything strange. 95% might advance to the 6th order, this probability was already high enough, the vast majority of 5th order evolutionary pathways advance to the 6th order, just 30 or 40%. More than 50% is considered extremely good, let alone 95%. The possibility of advancing to the 7th rank has increased by 10%, and the possibility of advancing to the 8th rank has increased by half a percent. Lin Yuan speculated that the reason why the possibility of the Martial Dao evolutionary pathway being promoted to the 7th and 8th orders was elevated was entirely because the incorporation of multiple energy systems had performed some sort of metamorphosis and sublimation on the Martial Dao evolutionary system as a whole. Take a look at the latest rankings of the pathways of Martial Evolution. Lin Yuan continued to check the updated information of the Martial Dao advancement pathway and looked at the ranking column. Ranked number 1 on the Kanglin Evolution list. Ranked 12th on the Red Kuan Evolution ranking. Lin Yuan's face changed slightly, if he remembered correctly. The previous ranking of the Martial Way Evolution Pathway was the 53rd on the Red Coin Evolution Ranking? 12th place. Lin Yuan breathed a light sigh of relief. If it was just ordinary evolvers, they might not know what it meant. However, Lin Yuan, as the 13 Peak Master, naturally knew what the gold content of the evolutionary pathways that ranked in the top 50 on the Red Coin Evolutionary Ranking was. The Chi Kuan Evolution List is divided into two levels. Top 50. The next 50. The top 50 evolutionary pathways were all 7th or even 8th order evolutionary pathways. As for the bottom 50, there are 7th order evolutionary pathways and 6th order evolutionary pathways. It was already inconceivable enough that the Martial Dao evolutionary pathway had previously been able to kill its way into the 53rd place of the Red Kuan evolutionary ranking with a 5th order evolutionary pathway. After all, the 50th to 100th of the Red Kuan evolutionary rankings were either 6th order evolutionary pathways or 7th order evolutionary pathways. But now, the Martial progression had unexpectedly killed its way into the top 50. And it's still a forward position in the top 50, 12th place. It is important to realize that the Martial Way Evolutionary Pathway is still a 5th Order Evolutionary Pathway. A mere 5th Order Evolutionary Pathway, killing the evolutionary list that was preceded and followed by 7th and 8th Order Evolutionary Pathways? Chikuan's Main Planet Virtual World. Central Plaza Area. 
numerous evolvers had converged on the higher citizens. In twos and threes, talking in low voices. Even after more than a year has passed. The main topic of conversation among the many evolved people in the square. It is still a pathway of martial arts evolution. No way. The martial arts evolution pathway is too exaggerated and special. The first hundred evolutionary pathways on the Chikuan evolutionary list were all 6th, 7th, and 8th order evolutionary pathways. The only thing that could keep people from taking a second look was mixing up a 5th order evolutionary pathway. I bet that when the Martial Dao Progression Pathway 6th order chapter is uploaded, the rankings of the Martial Dao Progression Pathway will definitely rise another notch and kill the top 50. Nonsense, now the Martial Arts Evolution Pathway, it's ranked in the top 53, then upload the 6th order chapter, the overall rank rises, as long as the 6th order chapter plays steadily, it is estimated to be able to kill the top 30 top 20. The top 50 evolutionary pathways on the Red Coin Evolutionary Ranking are all 7th and 8th order evolutionary pathways, and if the Martial Dao Evolutionary Pathway is able to kill its way in with a 6th order evolutionary pathway, TSK TSK. The many evolvers talked quickly. Just then. The Chikuan Evolution List began to refresh. Buzz. The hundred evolution pathways on the evolution list blurred in unison. All the evolvers in the square stared at the evolution list with anticipation. Several breaths later. The Chikuan Evolution List was refreshed. Crap. The Martial Progression Pathway has killed its way into the top 50. What do you mean top 50? That's 12th. Almost killed the top 10. What's going on? Originally, after I uploaded the 6th order chapter later on. I was almost able to kill my way into the top 20 or 30. It seems that the great scholar who developed this evolutionary pathway was still underestimated. Let me see what subtlety the 6th order chapter of the Martial Dao Progression Pathway has, that it was able to make the Martial Dao Progression Pathway, as a whole, go from 53rd place to 12th place. With anticipation and exhilaration, countless evolvers entered the purchase interface of the Martial Dao Evolution Pathway, wanting to purchase the 6th order chapter. Immediately everyone realized a shocking scene. Pathways of Budo Advancement. There is no 6th order chapter. End of chapter. Chapter 21, beginning the 5th shuttle, end of volume, subscription requested. What's the situation? What about the 6th order chapter? What about the 6th order chapter of my Martial Way Evolution Pathway? The virtual world isn't updating? Or is it a network problem? Countless evolvers exploded. In everyone's opinion, this martial arts evolution pathway was able to cross more than 40 places, killing from the original 53 to 12. The only possibility is the uploaded 6th order chapter. Without the 6th order chapter's enhancement of the entire evolutionary pathway, what would the Martial Dao evolutionary pathway take to kill its way into the 12th place of the Red Coin evolutionary ranking? In fact, even if the Martial Dao evolution pathway had uploaded the 6th order chapter, the ranking on the evolution ranking list, which had risen so much in one go, was still incredible. But even more unbelievable, it is also understandable, after all, there is an additional 6th order chapter, the martial arts evolutionary pathway is the 6th order evolutionary pathway, there is such a large room for improvement, when you think about it, it is also logical. But now? No 6th order chapter? You killed the 12th place for me without the 6th order chapter? The many evolvers, at first, thought it was a delay in updating the virtual world, or a delay in the network where they were. It's what caused him to not see the 6th order chapter. It was only when they realized through their communication that the others had similarly not seen the 6th order chapter that they froze. If it's just one two evolutionary, there's no 6th order chapter to be found. There could also be other factors that could be the cause, an isolated case, perhaps a network delay. But everyone didn't see the 6th order chapter. Then there's only one possibility. That is, there is no 6th order chapter in the Martial Way Evolution Pathway. This possibility, however, gives rise to another matter. An even more incredible thing. How did he kill his way into the 12th place of the Red Coin Evolution ranking without the 6th order chapter's pathway of martial evolution? If one were to say that a mere 5th order martial evolution pathway that killed its way into the 53rd place of the Red Coin Evolution ranking belonged to a group of college students with an elementary school student mixed in between them. Extremely conspicuous. Then still only a 5th order pathway of martial evolution, killing the top 50, killing the top 12. Is it the same as mixing a baby with a pacifier in a group of PhDs? How the fuck is that possible? What the hell is going on? Without uploading the 6th order chapter, how come the Martial Way Evolution Pathway is the 12th? Eh? It seems that the Pathway of Martial Evolution has been modified a bit, and the number of words in the length of the 2nd order chapter to the 5th order chapter has been changed? Modification is normal, the evolutionary pathway on the evolutionary list is not set in stone, occasionally will modify some of the content. But it is not yet possible to explain, Martial Arts Evolutionary Pathway how 12 names? Perhaps the reason lies within the content of the modifications? Numerous evolvers, as well as high-ranking citizens, gradually realized that the length of the contents of the second-order chapters to the fifth-order chapters that they had previously purchased, had changed. So everyone subconsciously rewatched it. How is this 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 possible? The martial evolution pathway can take any energy system and incorporate it? It's unbelievable, no wonder it would drastically increase its ranking on the charts, such qualitative changes that allow the potential of the martial way to evolve pathways. 
A certain sixth-order revolutionary's complexion changed slightly. With his eyesight, he could barely tell what the impact of the alterations to this aspect of the martial Dao evolution pathway would actually be. If the martial evolution pathway was no longer limited to the Taiyin Sun, then the many evolvers of the human civilization who practiced the martial evolution pathway would benefit from it, and could follow the path they were good at, which would be a qualitative breakthrough in the probability of giving birth to a high-level evolver. It was no wonder that the martial Dao evolutionary pathway, which had yet to be uploaded at the sixth order, was able to kill its way into the top 12 of the Red Kuan evolutionary ranking. It was no wonder that the same great scholar who had created the pathway of martial advancement was dedicated to updating the pathway of martial advancement. Because it's too important for martial arts evangelists. Worthy of being an evolutionary great scholar, to have opened up the pathway of martial evolution to such heights. No, in the past, I had a rough perception of the Taiyin Sun, that's why I didn't take the martial Dao evolutionary pathway. Now the martial Dao evolutionary pathway doesn't perceive the Taiyin Sun, and I can still cultivate on, I'm going to change the evolutionary pathway. Me too, this is the work of a certain great scholar of evolution, anyway, it's definitely right to follow the practice. Numerous evolvers left the central plaza area in droves, apparently to pass the news to the family forces behind them. Chikuan's main star, the palace at the top of 13 mountain peaks. Lin Yuan sat cross-legged. Half a million merit points. It's possible to upgrade to a sixth-class citizen. A smile appeared on Lin Yuan's face. The goddess of wisdom gave a huge reward of half a million merit points for the perfected pathway of martial evolution. You know, there are only a few ways to get merit points. None of them need to contribute to human civilization in order to be bestowed. In addition to creating and perfecting entirely new evolutionary pathways, as Lin Yuan did or perhaps develop other technological inventions that will benefit human civilization. The main channel was to go to the alien battlefield and kill the aliens in exchange for merit points. According to Lin Yuan's knowledge, by killing a strong foreigner, he would be able to obtain a corresponding number of merit points. A sixth-order alien powerhouse is worth a thousand merit points. A seventh-order alien powerhouse was worth 10,000 merit points to 100,000 merit points. An eighth-order alien powerhouse is worth over a million merit points. The half a million merit points that Lin Yuan had gained was equivalent to half an 8th order foreigner powerhouse? Or dozens of 7th order foreigner powerhouses? Of course, killing foreign powerhouses was only one of the ways to obtain merit points. On the alien battlefield, if he could lead the army of evolved people and win a localized war with the alien race. Even if an alien powerhouse was not killed. It would still be able to earn the corresponding merit points. It's too dangerous. Lin Yuan shook his head slightly. Merit points sound easy on the alien battlefield. 1,000 for killing a 6th order alien powerhouse. But the truth was, a 6th rank alien powerhouse wouldn't wait for you to kill them. That's something that requires an evolved person to fight for their life. A 6th order evolutionary trying to kill a 6th order fey powerhouse. It would really take a great price to pay, and that fey 6th ranked powerhouse wasn't a fool, and would run away after it became clear that he wasn't an opponent. Defeating a 6th order alien is easy. Hitting is harder. And the fey powerhouse tends not to be alone either. Instead, they come in groups. This situation is really hard to kill. The 6th order Fey are all the same. Not to mention the 7th and 8th orders. 10,000 years ago, the Red Kuan Star Lord was assassinated because of the assassination of his youngest disciple. Descend on the alien battlefield and make a killing. But most of the kills were of foreign races below the 6th rank. A.K.A. Cannon Fodder. A truly powerful alien race would have run away long ago if they could. And after the Red Kuan Star Lord had killed for a while, he was blocked by a foreign powerhouse of the same level. The alien races that were able to fight with the human civilization and hold a stalemate were all extremely powerful alien races, even if they were not as good as the insect race, they were not far off. Let's move up to 6th class citizenship. Lin Yuan's mind moved slightly. One's own civic rank, at once, was raised from a 5th level citizen, to a 6th level citizen. A level 5 citizen to a level 6 citizen required half a million merit points. And Lin Yuan had already saved enough by perfecting the martial way advancement pathway. Buzz. A few moments later. Lin Yuan successfully became a 6th level citizen. In the meantime, an email from the Human Civilization Alliance was sent to Lin Yuan's mailbox. The content of the email, in general, describes some of the many privileges of a level 6 citizen. Most of the privileges of a level 6 citizen are upgraded versions of the privileges of a level 5 citizen. Also, a level 6 citizen has one more benefit, one more qualification, than a level 5 citizen. The perk was that upon promotion to a level 6 citizen, one would be given a bottle of evolutionary potion distributed by the human civilization. Sixth Order Evolutionary Potion The function of this evolutionary potion was to forcibly raise an evolved person's physical body and soul to the sixth level. Of course, it was only the physical body and soul that were upgraded, as for the perception of the rules and the understanding of the evolutionary pathways, nothing would change, and this was not something that could be upgraded by external objects. The reason for this benefit is for the consideration of those scientists and researchers and developers who are not good at the evolutionary path. These scientists and researchers and developers may have made great contributions to human civilization, but they have little evolutionary talent and are only second and third order evolvers. 
As for taking genetic agents, etc., there is a risk of death. Therefore, as long as a citizen's level reaches the sixth rank, he or she will be able to obtain a sixth rank evolutionary potion. Sixth order evolutionary potion, no risk after taking it, perfect metamorphosis of flesh and soul. Of course, the human civilization bestowed such benefits on level six citizens. Essentially to allow level six citizens to live thousands and tens of thousands of years longer. It's just a way to continue contributing to human civilization. Sixth order evolutionary potion. Lin Yuan looked in awe, this kind of strange treasure that could make an ordinary person rise to the heavens in one step and become a sixth order revolver, one did not need to think about it to know that there was a price for it. At least Lin Yuan hadn't seen such goods from the mall app when he was a level 5 citizen, so he obviously didn't have enough permissions. It's just that an evolver who crosses over to the sixth order by taking a sixth order evolutionary potion is estimated to be at the bottom of the sixth order in terms of battle power. Lin Yuan had something in mind. The battle power of a sixth order revolver consists of several aspects. One is the base power of the sixth order level. The second was the secret art that was mastered to catalyze it. The third is the degree of perception of the rules. The fourth is the strength of one's own cultivation and evolutionary pathway. An evolver who took a sixth order evolutionary potion was grasping nothing more than the basic power of the sixth order level. The second privilege, or qualification, of a level six citizen was the ability to participate in the once in a century star alliance assembly. The so called star alliance is an alliance of multiple star fields. The current Chikuan star realm was under the Anon star alliance. The Star Alliance Assembly, on the other hand, was officially sponsored by the Anon Star Alliance, and only citizens of the 6th level and above could participate. At the Star Alliance Convention, all citizens who participate, can make their own suggestions. The advice here can be small or large. Smaller words are for your own welfare. For example, a certain level 6 citizen, suggesting that he lacked a substitute worship, applied to the Anon Star League. The odds are that the Anon Star League will allocate a battleship to the 6th level citizen. In the case of the big ones, it would be to change a certain statute within the Anon Star League, such as a certain level 6 citizen who felt that the death penalty was not humane enough and wanted to abolish it. Star Alliance Anon will consider this recommendation and eventually give three responses, yes, no, and reservation. The regulations here, of course, refer only to the internal regulations of the Star League. As for the Charter Act issued by the Universal Humanity Alliance, it would not be up to a level 6 citizen to question it. A Star League convention? Lin Yuan looked pensive. This kind of assembly symbolized the highest power of a star alliance, and only level 6 citizens who had made significant contributions to human civilization were qualified to participate. Take a closer look at the many privileges of a 6th grade citizen. Lin Yuan then got up and walked out of the palace. Take me to the teacher. Lin Yuan looked at the steward outside the palace. Yes. Lord Peak Master, please follow me. This steward had a respectful attitude and led Lin Yuan towards the most gigantic peak in the center. Greetings, Sensei. Inside the Crimson Palace. Lin Yuan bowed slightly towards the Red Kuan Star Lord sitting on top of the throne. Ha 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 ha. Good disciple get up quickly. The Red Kuan Star Lord immediately said. The gaze that looked at Lin Yuan became more and more satisfied. Lin Yuan was too competitive, he didn't know how much face he had earned for him during this period of time, and although those old guys didn't say anything on their lips, their tone was sour and they couldn't wait to snatch Lin Yuan over to receive it themselves. How does it feel? Still fit? The Red Kuan Star Lord asked with concern. Lin Yuan might be a bit uncomfortable when he came to the Red Kuan main star for the first time. Not bad. Lin Yuan nodded his head. That'll do. A smile appeared on the Red Kuan Star Lord's face. If you have any questions, talk directly to your teacher. The Red Kuan Star Lord said. Next. Lin Yuan spoke with the Red Kuan Star Lord for a while longer before he got up and left. Thirteen peaks up. Lin Yuan met up with the twelve senior brothers. Congratulations young master. Ha ha ha, finally I've met junior brother in person. The twelve senior brothers were extremely enthusiastic. That's right young master. The third elder brother opened his mouth and asked, that black prison desert, do you intend to see it or not? This statement was made. The rest of the senior brothers fell silent. They all looked at Lin Yuan. Black hell desert? Lin Yuan thought for a while, it's better to not see it, there's nothing to say. Lin Yuan had no intention of meeting the black prison desert at all. Understood. The third senior brother nodded at his words. If Lin Yuan is willing to sword the Black Hell Desert, it shows that there is room for detente between the two. It's nothing more than how much the Black Desert pays. But the meaning is clear when you don't even want to meet. This Black Prison family, it's time to check it out. The second elder brother said with intent. That's just leave it to me, the Black Prison family stops all business activities, all members are not allowed to leave their planet and are subject to the surveillance of the Red Kuan lineage. The third senior brother opened his mouth. Those words also announced the end of the Black Hell family. The Black Prison family had far-reaching influence in the Red Kuan Star region. And directly suppressing it would not have a good impact. 
However, to order its suspension of all activities in a situation of monitoring is tantamount to cutting the flesh with a slow knife. It was only a matter of time before the demise of the to the Chikuan lineage, the black prison family was just a dog kept outside. This dog doesn't listen anymore, just get another dog. Now that this dog has actually bitten its owner, it can't be kept. Thank you, brothers. Lin Yuan said with a straight face. Thanks for nothing. You and I, master and brother, will have to support each other in the future. Yeah, it's nothing. The twelve senior brothers said smilingly. Half a day later. Lin Yuan once again returned to the palace where he was in seclusion. Things are basically about the same. Shuttling is possible. Lin Yuan's thoughts collected in his mind sank into his mind as he came to the lofty, magnificent gate of the Ten Thousand Realms. Let's start by looking at some of the information on this shuttle. Lin Yuan detached a sliver of his mind and merged into the gate of Ten Thousand Realms. Trance. Lin Yuan arrived in front of a huge, vast world. This world. In a shocking moment, Lin Yuan saw an immortal mountain surrounded by immortal aura, a wilderness filled with ghostly aura, and a giant nest with deep demonic power. This world. Outside the gate of the Ten Thousand Realms, Lin Yuan's expression was gloomy. Viewing through a trace of his mind, he knew that for the shuttle, the residence time was at 500 years, and that the passage of time in the main world would probably pass through three or four months. Begin. Lin Yuan's mind returned, and after a little preparation, he declared to the public that he had begun his seclusion. Finally, the mind once again came to the gate of Ten Thousand Realms, and with a slight movement of the mind. The gate of Ten Thousand Realms sent out suction and sucked Lin Yuan's consciousness into it. Two more shifts are over. End of this volume. Tomorrow begins the next volume, The Battle of the Avenue. I'm begging for a monthly ticket. End of chapter. Chapter 1, Virtue Immortal Sect, Request for Subscription. Name, Jun Wuji, Lin Yuan. Identity, the ruler of the gate of all worlds. Bound talent, unbelievable enlightenment. Current status, consciousness descending. Remaining residence time, 500 years. The clouds are misty. Immortal aura. A slightly frail teenager, lying on a reclining chair, with two maids beside him, gently pressing the mojo for him. I didn't realize this time the consciousness descended, it would be in this capacity. The frail teenager, also known as Lin Yuan, surveyed the surroundings without leaving any traces. The two maids that were massaging him looked soft and weak, but Lin Yuan vaguely felt, if anything, a spiritual pressure from the other party. Jean Dan stage female cultivator. Lin Yuan closed his eyes and rubbed his eyebrows. Through receiving the memories of his original body, Lin Yuan understood that this time, the shuttle world was a party of immortal Tao worlds. It wasn't really accurate to say that it was an immortal Tao world, it was more like a great world that was dominated by the immortal Tao. My father, the most talented contemporary disciple of the moral immortal sect, with mutated heavenly spirit root qualifications, is being cultivated as the next generation of immortal sect patriarchs. My mother, is the personal daughter of the Taoist immortal sect's patriarch, the star of the stars, the daughter of the heavens. My grandfather is the 30th generation patriarch of the Tao Te Immortal Sect, a refined void ancient sage who mightily suppressed the Middle Earth Divine Region. With a strength that could squeeze into the top three in the history of the Immortal Sect. My big brother, who also has a heavenly spirit root qualification, is expected to transform into a god in the future. My second sister, on the other hand, is a mutant earth spiritual root, and with the clan's resources to cultivate her, the possibility of crossing over into the transformation spirit stage is also high. As for me, I'm a loser with no spiritual root qualifications? Lin Yuan thought secretly. In this world, the spiritual root was vital, it was the bridge that communicated with heaven and earth. Spiritual roots are categorized into heavenly spiritual roots, earthly spiritual roots, double spiritual roots, triple spiritual roots, four spiritual roots, and five spiritual roots. The five spirit roots were also called waste spirit roots. With Lin Yuan's background, even if he possessed a waste spirit root like the five spirit roots, it was also able to rely on a large amount of resources to become a foundation establishment stage, or even Jin Dan stage cultivator but there was no spiritual root qualification on the side. Without a spiritual root, one cannot gulp down the spiritual chi of heaven and earth. Even if one forcibly relied on resources to step into chi refining and foundation building, it will also fall in realms at a very fast rate and eventually become mortal again. It's like a bamboo basket, even though it holds more water. There's not much point in it either, it'll leak out quickly. The basket is empty. Aura of heaven and earth? Lin Yuan carefully sensed for a while. It was found that this heaven and earth was filled with wisps and strands of clear, pure energy. Although it was far inferior to the red spirit liquid of the main world's Chikuan lineage. It was superior in terms of quantity and was almost ubiquitous. Pity. Lin Yuan shook his head slightly. Without a spiritual root, there was no way to come into contact with the aura of heaven and earth. He could not even feel it, Lin Yuan could detect the aura of heaven and earth, relying solely on the powerful perception brought about by the descent of his own consciousness. My lord, are you alright? Just as Lin Yuan was pondering, the two maids beside him asked with concern. It's okay. Lin Yuan shook his head slightly. Even though he was a waste with no spiritual root qualification. 
but as an immortal third generation, the status is still there. Even the maidservants who served close to him were at the Jean Dan stage. It should be known that in the outside world, Jean Dan stage cultivators were all big shots on one side, and Jean Dan stage female cultivators were even more sought after. And at this moment, the high and mighty Jean Dan stage female cultivator was only Lin Yuan's maid. As long as Lin Yuan was willing, he could make them go to bed and warm up the comforter anytime he wanted. You guys go ahead and go down. Lin Yuan waved his hand. Yes. The two maids nodded and respectfully retreated. Lin Yuan watched the two women leave. These two Jean Dan stage maids were arranged by Lin Yuan's mother, and apart from serving Lin Yuan, they were more of a protection. This side of the world. Lin Yuan's face flushed with thought. This world is vast and boundless, and the virtue immortal sect occupies the resource-rich Middle-earth divine state, which is the most powerful and has produced void-refining ancient saints for generations. Beyond the Middle-earth divine prefecture, to the west was the land of barbaric demonic beasts, those great demons in disguise, who were eyeing the Middle-earth divine prefecture, and had been suppressed several times by the virtue immortal sect. The south of the Middle-earth divine prefecture is the land of the underworld ghost cultivators, where the eerie ghostly aura permeates the area, not a place where normal cultivators can stay for a long period of time. The north of the Middle-earth Divine Prefecture is the place where devil cultivators gather, the strongest is the Lord of Blood Devil, cultivating the Blood Sea Devil Scripture, claiming that if the Blood Sea is not withered, it is immortal. Moral Immortal Sect, Savage Demon Beasts, Underworld Ghost Cultivators, and Devil Cultivators in the north are the four main forces, and in the overseas islands in the east, it is said that there are some side sects that have taken root, but they are far from being on a large scale. Undoubtedly, among the many forces, the Virtue Immortal Sect is undisputedly the strongest, with the power of a single sect, it sits on the most resource-rich Middle-earth Divine Prefecture, driving the remaining three major forces to the periphery. Lin Yuan thought silently in his heart. Through his memories, Lin Yuan knew that although the Virtue Immortal Sect was known by the name Virtue, it acted in an extremely overbearing manner. In the Middle-earth Divine Prefecture, there were originally several other great immortal sects besides the Virtue Immortal Sect, but in the end, they were all obliterated by the Virtue Immortal Sect. In the end, the entire Middle Kingdom would be the sole possession of the Taoist Immortal Sect. No matter what side of the world you're in, it's strength that determines everything. Lin Yuan thought in his heart. The Human Civilization Alliance of the Main World, which was expanding externally every minute of every day, fighting with alien races and occupying a large number of galaxies, was not much different from the Moral Immortal Sect. For this residency, there are 500 years. So you can take your time. Lin Yuan swept his eyes at the remaining residency time and let out a light sigh of relief. This is not the moral immortal sect? Lin Yuan got up, at this time, the place where he was was a paradise in the world, with abundant spiritual energy, but naturally far inferior when compared to the weather of the magnificent Taoist immortal mountain in his memories. So he couldn't take the blow and took the initiative to have his parents send him out of the moral immortal mountain. Immediately, Lin Yuan figured out the original reason from his memory. The original body was unable to cultivate, although with a heavenly background, those true disciples and sequence disciples of the virtue immortal sect did not dare to bully him. Just being in the moral immortal sect, facing those flying immortal sect disciples all day long, one can't help but feel a little depressed. The immortal sect disciple who groveled before himself possessed means of strength that surpassed his own by an unknown amount. After spending a long time in such an extremely contrasting environment, Jun Wuji simply asked his parents to send him out. The reason why Taoist Immortal Mountain was called Immortal Mountain was because of the abundance of aura that was almost substantial. Cultivating there had immeasurable benefits for any immortal cultivator. It was just that Jun Wuji didn't really need any aura, without a spiritual root, any more aura would be of little use. So the moral immortal mountain wasn't as important to Jun Wuji as he thought. That's fine. Lin Yuan nodded slightly, quite satisfied. If he was still in the doubt immortal mountain, under the eyes of a refined void ancient saint, Lin Yuan would have had to be careful in the early stages. The refined void ancient sage was the strongest existence in this heaven and earth, lifting the stars and taking the moon with his hands and feet. And in terms of the main world's rank, it was equivalent to a sixth stage evolver. Moreover, the Taoist immortal sect's immortal weapon of suppression was even more powerful in destroying the heavens and destroying the earth. A refined void ancient saint, holding the immortal sect's immortal weapon of suppression, was an invincible existence. This was also the reason why the Tao deity immortal sect was able to occupy the Middle Earth Divine Kingdom, as long as the immortal sect didn't have a refined void ancient sage generation break. It is the strongest force in the world, bar none. This should be the cloud mist blessed land, right? Lin Yuan carefully observed his eyes, although his original body could not cultivate immortality, he usually knew something about some common sense in the immortal cultivation world. In the Middle Kingdom, there are 72 caves and 108 blessed places. All of them were second only to the Taoist Immortal Mountain, a first-class holy place of cultivation. Among them, the Cloud and Mist Blessed Land was one of the 108 blessed lands, and the internal heaven and earth were full of spiritual qi, which could supply Yuaning cultivators with daily cultivation as well as breakthroughs. When Jun Wuji was unwilling to continue staying at the Virtue Immortal Mountain, his parents dedicated one of the 108 blessed lands, the Cloud Mist Blessed Land, to be vacated for him to reside in, obviously doting on the sun extremely. The Cloud Mist Blessed Land, which was closer to the Taoist Immortal Mountain, if something really happened, the immortal sect cultivators would be able to come quickly. 
Affinity. Jun Wuji was on good terms with his parents, his elder brother and sister, and even the grandfather of that immortal sex sovereign had met him more than once. If Jun Wuji possessed the spiritual root qualification, logically speaking, he should have a boundless future. Unfortunately, there are no ifs. In the Middle Kingdom, there are countless heavenly treasures. However, it is able to make up for the spiritual roots or even generate new ones. Yet there are very few of them, and each one is extremely rare and important. Beyond the cloud mist blessed land. The two men and women whose bodies were shrouded in clouds and mist were silently looking down at the blessed land below. Wuji. The woman cultivator standing on the left, with a lost expression, looked at Jun Wuji within the blessed land and muttered. Mercy, don't be sad. It can't be helped that Wuji doesn't have a spiritual root. The man cultivator next to him spoke in a low voice. Normally, spiritual roots would be passed on to the next generation with the bloodline. With parents possessing spiritual roots, the likelihood of the next generation possessing spiritual roots is greatly increased. But there are no absolutes. It still happens that parents with high spiritual root qualifications give birth to heirs with three spiritual roots and four spiritual roots. However, such as Jun Wuji, whose parents were both heavenly spiritual roots, but had given birth to a son with no spiritual root qualifications, the probability was rare. Like Jun Wuji's elder brother and second sister, it was only normal to have one heavenly spiritual root and one mutated earth spiritual root. Albe the man cultivator next to him spoke in a low voice. Normally, spiritual roots would be passed on to the next generation with the bloodline. With parents possessing spiritual roots, the likelihood of the next generation possessing spiritual roots is greatly increased. But there are no absolutes. It still happens that parents with high spiritual root qualifications give birth to heirs with three spiritual roots and four spiritual roots. However, such as Jun Wuji, whose parents were both heavenly spiritual roots, but had given birth to a son with no spiritual root qualifications, the probability was rare. Like Jun Wuji's elder brother and second sister, it was only normal to have one heavenly spiritual root and one mutated earth spiritual root. I'll beg father to bring out the nine heavenly glazed water for Wuji to take. The woman cultivator spoke. Nine heavenly glazed water, the most precious treasure of the middle kingdom, is said to have the effect of transforming bones and regenerating spiritual roots when taken by mortals. Of course, no mortal had taken the nine heavenly glazed water so far. Because the latter was so precious that the refining void ancient saints would have gone out of their way greatly for it to be taken by mortals? Mercy. This matter must not be said in front of the patriarch. Nine heavenly glazed water, the main ingredient for refining the ancient void pill. And the ancient void pill, it belongs to the key pills for the breakthrough from transformation spirit to refine void. In my virtue immortal sect, the refined void ancient sage fault must never occur. The man cultivator next to him solemnly said. He also wanted to help his son. But the nine heavenly glazed water, which is related to the immortal sex inheritance, can't be a child's play? Not to mention Jun Wuji, even if it was him, he wouldn't be able to use the nine heavens glazed water until he was at the peak of God transformation. Every 10,000 years, the Tao deity immortal sect could only collect one strand of nine heavenly glazed water, which happened to be used to refine the ancient void pill. The woman monk was silent. She knew this too. But seeing his own son, so depressed and unhappy, was also exceptionally hard on his heart. Since we can't grow a tree, what we can do? The man cultivator sighed softly, it's just time to let him be so quiet and live out his life. Cloudy bliss. Lin Yuan glanced in a certain direction. Finally gone. Lin Yuan thought secretly. Since his consciousness descended. Then he vaguely sensed some kind of prying feeling. This sense of voyeurism is not accompanied by malicious killing intent. It should be the parents who just dropped themselves off. And I wonder what I'm counting now. Reincarnation? Or reincarnation? Lin Yuan picked up the jade teacup next to him and gently took a sip. The tea went down his throat and turned into silk aura, nourishing Lin Yuan's physical body. Worthy of being an immortal third generation. This kind of immortal tea, when placed outside, would probably make a bunch of gene dance stage cultivators go out to grab it, right? Lin Yuan took a few more sips. It shouldn't be part of a takeover. Lin Yuan judged in his heart. The essence of seizing a body is that the soul of the Caesar enters the body of the seized. But now, Jun Wuji's body and soul were both unchanged, only his consciousness had been replaced with Lin Yuan. Besides, it's not uncommon for this side of the world to take away the body. If Lin Yuan had seized Jun Wuji, he would have said that he had long crossed over to the Yuaning level as a parent. Just the two Jin Dan stage maids serving him alone were able to detect it. Perhaps my consciousness was released into this realm a long time ago, only to encounter the fetus in the womb and not awaken my memories until now? Lin Yuan thought in his heart. It was also able to explain why one's consciousness awoke at a different time each time one traveled. Forget it. None of this matters. Lin Yuan shook his head. Reincarnation or not. So much for the descent of consciousness. Anyway, now he was Jun Wuji. The cultivation system of this world is mainly based on the immortal Tao, while the other demon beast Tao, ghost Tao, and devil Tao are all similar in nature. Although Jun Wuji did not have a spiritual root, he had attempted a variety of cultivation methods that covered an extremely wide range of areas, which was why Lin Yuan was only now aware of it. 
Lin Yuan thought as he arrived at the deepest part of the cloud mist blessed land. This was the core of the entire blessed land. And it was also the place with the most abundant spiritual chi. Carrying around this environment for a long period of time will prolong the life of even a mere mortal. I'm going to rest. No need to focus on me. Lin Yuan suddenly spoke. Yes. Two female voices came from outside, and they were none other than Lin Yuan's two Jin Dan stage maids. Spring flowers. Autumn moon. As Lin Yuan's maid and bodyguard. Spring flower, Autumn moon had been paying attention to Lin Yuan with their divine thoughts at all times. Prevent any accidents. With those words just now, Lin Yuan was telling Spring Flower, Autumn Moon to withdraw their divine thoughts. This was also the habit of the original Jun Wu Ji. Even though he was an ordinary person, he didn't like being enveloped by divine thoughts. Even if he couldn't feel the shroud of divine thoughts at all. Noticing the departure of Spring Flower, Autumn Moon's divine thoughts. Lin Yuan's mind moved slightly and took out a few array disks. Then put in the spirit stone and activate it directly. At once. A misty, illusory barrier enveloped the surroundings. This array disc is capable of blocking the divine thoughts of immortal cultivators from probing in. Even when facing cultivators at the level of Yuaning and Huashan, who could not be blocked, they were able to show the alarm in advance. Sure. It was not these external objects that Ling Yuan relied on. Array disc or not, other means as well. It was all laid out in plain sight by Ling Yuan for others to see. Ling Yuan's true reliance was his own sixth stage evangelist's perception. The perception of a sixth stage evolver was equivalent to the level of a refined void ancient saint, and even if that patriarch of the Tao deity immortal sect had secretly probed Lin Yuan with his divine thoughts, he would have been discovered immediately. Almost. Do it all. Lin Yuan was slightly relieved. Next. All he needed to do was to cultivate and recover to his full strength as much as possible. Without strength, even if his background was heavenly and no one dared to mess with him, Lin Yuan did not feel safe. End of chapter. Chapter 2 20 years later, request for subscription. The cultivation system in this realm, from weak to strong, is divided into Qi refining, foundation building, Jin Dan, Yuanying, transformation of God, and refining void. Lin Yuan did not have a spiritual root and was unable to gulp down the spiritual Qi of heaven and earth. It was naturally impossible to follow the immortal way cultivation system. But with the martial arts cultivation system, it wasn't a matter of having to have a spiritual root. The martial Dao cultivation system created by Lin Yuan had a very low threshold, especially for a founder like Lin Yuan, who had already deduced the martial Dao to the sixth rank. It's even easier. Phew. Suck. Lin Yuan sat cross-legged. Essence runs in the body. A few moments later. Lin Yuan opened his eyes and took out a bottle of pills. Pour out a capsule and swallow it. When the elixir entered the body, it immediately transformed into a monstrous blood qi. Constantly forming the internal qi of the early stages of martial arts. The difference between the immortal way and the pre-martial way. It is the immortal way that requires refining the essence of heaven and earth into one's own qi. The essence of heaven and earth here refers to the aura of heaven and earth. Wu Dao, on the other hand, is about refining one's own essence and transforming one's own qi. In terms of efficiency, it was naturally the immortal path's refinement of the essence of heaven and earth that was faster. After all, the aura of heaven and earth is endless and refining. Of course the shortcomings are obvious. That is to rely too much on the aura of heaven and earth. If you lose the aura of heaven and earth, or go to a place where there is no aura of heaven and earth, it is estimated that the immortal way cultivation system is going to be cut off. As for the martial arts cultivation system, the preliminary stage is to refine one's own essence. Regardless of where in the world one was, as long as one still possessed qi and blood, one would be able to cultivate martial arts. And when martial arts cultivation reaches a deeper stage, it is equally capable of forcibly gulping heaven and earth aura. The so-called heaven and earth aura is nothing more than a type of energy. It's just that immortal Tao practitioners use the spiritual roots in their bodies to cause attraction to the aura of heaven and earth, while martial Tao practitioners, on the other hand, forcefully devour the aura of heaven and earth. Half a day later, Lin Yuan took dozens of qi and blood enhancing pills and crossed over to the second stage. The second stage of the martial Tao was equivalent to the foundation stage of the immortal Tao. Almost. Lin Yuan collected his qi and blood, covering up the aura of the second stage of the martial Tao. This world is a great world of the immortal way, if one suddenly shows previously unavailable talents or means. Even if there were no traces of being taken over, it would still be noticed by others, especially if one's background was too deep. There was a grandfather who was at the level of a refined void ancient saint. It's better to act with caution. Lin Yuan didn't want to see that due to his abnormal behavior, he was brought to grandpa's place by his parents to be examined, and in the end, he might be left by this ancient saint's side. We have to create a secret art that shields the perception of divine thoughts. Lin Yuan fell into a deep thought. The means of probing in the immortal Tao world were basically based on divine thoughts. As long as one was able to cloud the perception of divine thoughts, it was equivalent to outsiders finding it difficult to actively detect Lin Yuan's true strength. Divine thought. Lin Yuan thought about it repeatedly. 
Divine thought was a certain use of the power of the soul, and the only way to shield divine thought perception was to similarly prevent it with the power of the soul. Lin Yuan's enlightenment was heaven-defying, plus he possessed the many evolutionary pathways of the main world, not the least of which were soul-type evolutionary pathways. So it only took a few days. Then he created a secret art that specialized in divine mind probing. This secret art was to use the power of one's own soul to condense into a special barrier that would quickly assimilate the moment other immortal cultivators' divine thoughts probed over, thus achieving the purpose of shielding. Nice nice. Lin Yuan nodded slightly. By activating the secret art and matching one's own realm, unless the refined void ancient saint personally arrived and repeatedly examined Lin Yuan, he would not be able to discover the abnormality. If he waited until Lin Yuan had recovered to fourth and fifth order strength, even if it was a refined void ancient sage, as long as he checked himself inside and outside, there would be no problem. Two months later. Lin Yuan was in closed door cultivation. Suddenly. Right about this time. The maid, Spring Flower, came outside in a hurry. My lord, the second young lady of the Grand Duke has come over to see you. I see. Lin Yuan stopped cultivating and walked out. The second lady of the Grand Duke. As Spring Flower called him. Naturally, they were Lin Yuan's elder brother and sister. The three of them were on good terms, and the eldest brother and second sister took very good care of Lin Yuan. The reason why no one dared to mess with Lin Yuan when he resided in the virtuous immortal mountain earlier. Except because of the background of my parents' grandfather. It was because, all the immortal sect disciples who had messed with Lin Yuan. Both have been beaten up a few times by their big brother and two sisters who have found ways to beat them up. As this went on, the immortal sect disciples could not help but tremble when they saw Lin Yuan, fearing that they would be beaten up in a bad way. After all. Let the other disciples beat it up. There's still some reasoning to be done, but the big deal is to go to the immortal sect's law enforcement hall and talk about it. Just let Lin Yuan's big brother and second sister beat him up, then he can only swallow it himself. After all, people's backgrounds are there. It was hard to believe that the immortal sex law enforcement hall cultivators dared to truly punish the grandson of the patriarch who was already at the refined void ancient sage level? Even if the immortal sect patriarch had emphasized many times that the law enforcement hall cultivators must work impartially and not show any favoritism. But who dares to be truly impartial? Little brother. Little brother. Lin Yuan hadn't even made it to the outside hall yet. Then he heard the voices of his elder brother and sister calling him. Big brother, second sister. Lin Yuan snorted. Ah, little brother you look good. Tell me who the hell flew in your face and I'll go back and make him fly for a year. One year is not enough, at least three. Big brother and second sister said with a smile. Ah, it's fine. Don't bother. Lin Yuan waved his hand. The original Jun Wuji was, to put it mildly, not a bad person, and would not hold on to one thing. Otherwise, they wouldn't have voluntarily asked their parents to send themselves out. Lin Yuan looked at his big brother and two sisters in front of him. The older brother was a tall, lanky man with an affable smile. It is said that the elder brother is metallic heavenly spiritual root qualification, take the sword cultivation path, killing power in the moral immortal sect Yuaning level can rank the top three. Every time those barbaric demonic beasts rioted in the west, it was big brother who took the lead in suppressing them, and I don't know how many demon king's blood was on his hands. The second sister, on the other hand, was a mutant thunder attribute earth spirit root, and appeared to be gentle and introverted, but that was in front of her family. Outside, second sister was known as the fairy of the divine heavens. If my little brother says he won't pursue it, then he won't pursue it. It's cheap for those people. Big brother second order said with a smile. They could also see that Lin Yuan seemed to be in a good mood right now. Little brother, let me tell you, this cloud missed blessed land, but it has the name of life extension blessed land. Of the 108 blessed lands in the middle kingdom, each has a unique effect, and the effect of the cloud missed blessed land is to prolong life. If you stay here for a long period of time and occasionally take life extending pills, even if you don't cultivate, it's very possible for you to live for hundreds or thousands of years. The older brother spoke up. The second sister next to her nodded in agreement. When father and mother vacated the cloud mist blessed land as a place for you to live, it was questioned by several elders of the clan. But in the end, it was father who forcefully took this cloud mist blessed land. The second sister said. Trouble for mom and dad. Lin Yuan sighed. One could imagine what kind of emotions were in the hearts of those elder sect of the immortal sect when they heard that the cloud mist blessed land, one of the 108 blessed lands of the hall, was going to be inhabited by a waste with no spiritual roots. But there's no way. Although Lin Yuan didn't have a spiritual root. But there's a background. Others can only question it even if they do. No substantive decisions can be made at all. This is the third generation of immortals. This day, Lin Yuan's mind was delighted. After the fourth shuttle, the first twenty years of darkness and the suppression of the Great Abyss. This shuttle opens at the top of the heap and is good everywhere except for not being able to practice. Even the only drawback of not being able to cultivate was only the inability to cultivate in the eyes of outsiders. In fact, Lin Yuan could still cultivate and even refine extremely fast. Right little brother. You live here, what are your needs? Feel free to tell big brother. 
The three of them chatted idly for a while before the elder brother opened his mouth and asked. Demand? Lin Yuan considered for a moment. I want to try to experiment with cultivation again, and I need some immortal Tao techniques, as well as techniques in physical cultivation. Lin Yuan opened his mouth and said. The reason why he made such a request was because Lin Yuan wanted to enlighten himself on the cultivation system of this world. Without a spiritual route, Lin Yuan could not follow the path of immortal cultivation. However, it did not mean that Lin Yuan was unable to comprehend and learn from the immortal Tao cultivation system. Some of the concepts and visions of the immortal Tao cultivation system were still able to provide Lin Yuan with some inspiration. And these inspirations, under the counterintuitive enlightenment, were able to achieve the effect of citing one against the other, citing one against the other. As for the physical cultivation techniques in the back. Physical cultivation belonged to a lineage derived from the immortal Tao cultivation system. Only the physical body is forged, so there is no restriction in terms of spiritual roots. Only if one wanted to attempt physical cultivation, one had to undergo endless pain. Coupled with the longevity of a body cultivator, there was no difference between it and a normal person, so the original Jun Wuji had not made much of an attempt at this cultivation method. After all, Jun Wuji, who had a heavenly background, did not need that little bit of strength from the physical cultivator at all. Little brother. The older brother and sister sighed inwardly. They understood that this was Jun Wuji still not giving up on the idea of cultivation. Since the beginning of time, it had not happened that someone without a spiritual root could still walk the path of immortal cultivation. But once upon a time, Jun Wuji firmly believed that just because there was none in the past, it did not mean there would be none in the future. Therefore, from time to time, Jun Wuji collected some immortal Tao techniques, as well as secret arts and techniques from the side paths, and used them to try to cultivate. These older brothers and sisters, as well as their parents, saw it all. Although it was clear that what Jun Wuji was doing would not come to anything. But no one could bear to stop it. Physical Cultivation Technique Little brother. The lineage of physical cultivation is one that needs to endure great pain, so you must be prepared in your heart. Big brother couldn't help but warn. For those mortals, embarking on a lineage of physical cultivation can be justified. After all, even if they couldn't increase their lifespan, at least their strength gained a boost. But for Jun Wuji, it would not mean much, instead it would be a bit of a chicken rib. After all, the level of Jun Wuji's strength was basically of little consequence, and there would be no chance for him to make a move. I want to see how the principles of physical cultivation techniques work. Lin Yuan stated his reasons. In reality, Lin Yuan, on the other hand, was curious about the details of the forging of the physical body by the physical cultivation technique. Generally speaking, no immortal cultivator would only cultivate body cultivation techniques, it was those who were already Jindan or Yuaning cultivators who turned their heads and cultivated body cultivation techniques, which were used to enhance the strength of their own fleshly bodies and increase their ability to preserve their lives. No problem. Big Brother nodded. Those magic artifacts and treasures of the moral immortal sect, taking them out would require an application. Go through the various procedural steps. However, in addition to the few secret techniques, the other secret techniques, as long as you write down and then reproduce to the Jade Brief, how much you want to bring out how much you want to bring out how much. The three chatted a little more. The eldest brother and second sister then got up to take their leave. Is big brother up to something? Lin Yuan acutely noticed that his big brother was emotionally off. According to the previous habits of big brother, coming over to see Lin Yuan would stay for at least half a day. Nothing major. It's those savage demonic beasts in the West that have been a bit restless again recently. I need to make a trip over there and kill a few dozen demon kings to deter deterrence. The older brother shook his head, unconcerned. The demon king corresponded to a Yuaning stage great cultivator, but as a result, when it came to the mouth of his big brother, it was no different from a domestic animal waiting to be slaughtered. Better be careful. I heard that a new demon saint weather has appeared in the demon saint nest. The second sister glanced at her big brother and reminded him. Demon saint's nest. It is a barbaric demonic beast sanctuary, said to be from a certain demon saint. The demon saint, on the other hand, corresponded to the refined void ancient saint level. Don't worry, if there really is a demon saint aura, I will definitely run. The older brother nodded and said. Demon saint's nest, Lin Yuan was lost in thought. The virtuous immortal sect sat in the middle kingdom and enjoyed the richest resources. It seemed like the scenery was limitless, but the demonic beasts in the west, the ghost cultivators in the south, and the blood devils in the north were all staring at the virtue immortal sect. Only the Taoist immortal sect is powerful and unrivaled, that side does not listen to suppress that side, these years have been peaceful. Ha ha ha, second sister, I told you a long time ago not to talk about these things in front of little brother. The elder brother immediately laughed out loud when he saw Lin Yuan's expression. Don't worry. The life-preserving means bestowed by the patriarch, even if we do encounter a demon saint, we will still be able to save our lives. When the elder brother finished speaking, he turned around and left. Little brother. Be sure to talk to your sister if you have any questions. The second sister admonished Lin Yuan for a few moments and similarly got up to leave. One time. The cloud mist blessed land was once again quiet. A few days later. The virtuous immortal sect disciples sent over dozens of jade slips. 
Dozens of profound immortal cultivation techniques were recorded inside. The three jade slips at the bottom recorded the three most powerful body cultivation techniques that the Virtue Immortal sect had included. Physical Training Lin Yuan's eyes glowed. Browse up immediately. Physical cultivation was famous for forging physical bodies. And the pathway of martial advancement, the forging of the physical body, was likewise highly valued. The foundation of the Wudo evolution system is the physical body, qi, and blood, and on the basis of the physical body, the spirit is contained and the Yuan Shin is evolved. The lineage of physical cultivation in this realm can continuously explore the potential of the physical body and simply enhance the strength of the physical body, and when the physical body is at the limit of its strength, there will be a certain probability of the birth of flesh body divine power? Lin Yuan looked thoughtful. The so-called fleshly aptitude was a certain ability inscribed deep within the fleshly bloodline. This ability, by definition, had no possibility of manifesting itself at all, as it was too weak, but with physical cultivation techniques, it was indeed possible to rekindle this ability. Of course, it's only possible. The birth of a fleshly aptitude was a legendary means even for the lineage of physical cultivators. The vast majority of immortal cultivators who had brought their physical cultivation to an end were unable to give birth to a fleshly aptitude. Flesh Avatar Lin Yuan was glowing with energy. With the means of the reverse gnosis, he could completely improve and perfect the body cultivation technique, making the possibility of giving birth to a fleshly aptitude greatly increase. From that day onwards, Lin Yuan hid in the cloud mist blessed land, secretly recovering his strength while at the same time comprehending the essence of this realm's cultivation system. Time passes silently. Twenty years have passed in the blink of an eye. Two more shifts are over. I'm begging for a monthly ticket. Quill. End of chapter. Chapter 3 A Centennial Plan, Request for Subscription. Cloudy Bliss. Immortality. In the mountaintop attic, Lin Yuan was lying on a reclining chair, slowly gobbling up the innate purple chi that only appeared in the early morning. The innate purple chi is a kind of heaven and earth aura, capable of eliminating dark wounds and nourishing the physical body, and is of great help to the lineage of physical cultivation. Compared to 20 years ago, Lin Yuan looked much better and his body was much stronger. Your Excellency, this is the Brood Cloud Mist Immortal Tea. The two Jin Dan stage female cultivators, Spring Flower and Autumn Moon, respectfully stepped forward. After placing the Cloud Mist Immortal Tea in front of Lin Yuan, the two women came to the side familiarly and stretched out their slender hands to massage. Gongzi, you've worked too hard cultivating the body cultivation technique, do you need to rest and take a break? Autumn Moon whispered. No need. Go down, both of you. Lin Yuan said casually without raising his eyes. Yes. Autumn Moon's expression was a bit disappointed as she respectfully saluted and then left the mountaintop pavilion. The mountain path. Spring Flower and Autumn Moon whispered. Your Excellency is too persistent to have cultivated the body cultivation lineage to the gene dance stage. How much pain did you have to endure? Haruka said in a tone of awe. The lineage of physical cultivation did not rely on spiritual roots though. However, during the period of cultivation, one needs to endure endless pain. And the consumption on resources is much higher than the same period of immortal cultivators. Lin Yuan, as a famous immortal third generation of the Dao Te immortal sect, would definitely not lack in resources. However, having been clothed in fine clothes since childhood, being able to withstand the pain when practicing physical cultivation techniques was also a surprise to the others. Gene Dan stage body cultivator, qi and blood is volatile, body is powerful, flesh is matchless, outside I don't know how many female cultivators, longing to have a Taoist couple whose attainments in body cultivation are not low. Autumn Moon couldn't help but whisper. Just don't flirt. Spring Flower glanced at Autumn Moon, what kind of character is the duke? Even if he doesn't have a spiritual root qualification, it's not something you can think about. Sister Spring Flower, I'm just in awe of Gongzi, I definitely don't mean that. Autumn Moon immediately said. What exactly does it mean, just know it in your own heart. Spring Flower shook her head. Although, when they were sent to serve Jun Wuji, they had the preparation to offer their bodies. But that would only work if Jun Wuji was willing. As for forcing it? Spring Flower, Autumn Moon naturally wouldn't dare. However, when Gongzi cultivates his body cultivation technique to the Jin Dan stage, it's almost at the top, and the rest of the Yuaning stage body cultivators have not appeared much in my Middle Earth Divine Prefecture. Autumn Moon whispered. Physical cultivation lineage, although the battle power is unrivaled, but the cost effectiveness is too low, the need for resources is great not to mention. But also can not prolong life. The most crucial thing was that the extreme pain that needed to be endured to break through from the Jin Dan stage to the Yuaning stage was something that no cultivator could carry. Or maybe. After all, before us, who would have thought that Gongzi would be so accomplished in the physical cultivation Dao? Maybe in the future, Gongzi will cross over into the Yuaning stage physical cultivation. Spring Flower spoke up. Yuaning stage physical cultivator, even in the Virtue Immortal sect, is not considered a weak person, placed in the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture all over the world, that is the old monsters on the free side. The physical cultivation lineage has cultivated to the God Transformation stage, and still no fleshly aptitude has been born? At the mountaintop pavilion, Lin Yuan finished gulping down the innate purple chi and shook his head slightly in thought. 
The physical cultivation technique that I cultivate is based on the 73 topmost physical cultivation techniques, blended and enlightened, can it be that the so-called flesh body avatar is really just a legend? Lin Yuan's brows furrowed. But even without the birth of a fleshly aptitude, the physical cultivation technique has brought me a lot of help, and in terms of battle power, a transformation stage physical cultivator is almost capable of sweeping across the same rank. Lin Yuan thought secretly. Over the years, Lin Yuan had intentionally displayed his talent in the lineage of physical cultivation, and some time ago, he had even made public his strength as a Jin Dan stage physical cultivator. It was to ask for cultivation resources from his elder brother and sister, as well as his parents. If Lin Yuan was just an ordinary person who appeared to have a large demand for cultivation resources, the probability was that he would attract the attention of others. But if Lin Yuan is addicted to physical cultivation, it was well known that the cultivation of the physical cultivation lineage consumed far more resources than that of an immortal cultivator of the same rank. Coupled with Lin Yuanxian third generation status, a resource can break through the realm, in order to be safe, will have to be on the 10 copies of 100 copies, to prevent accidents. As well as going out for the occasional hit. Putting it all together. Nowadays, in addition to his physical cultivation lineage reaching the god transformation stage, Lin Yuan's martial realm had even recovered to the peak of the fifth rank. The soul fit transformation had already begun, and it was just a matter of the near future before he stepped into the sixth order and returned to the top. Lin Yuan chose to disclose his physical cultivation talent in addition to obtaining resources. More importantly, it was used to conceal one's martial aura. Budo. Unlike Sento. The two belong to completely different cultivation systems. It's similar to the demon path in the west, the devil path in the north, and the ghost path in the south. For the Taoist immortal sect, the martial arts path or the devil's path, the ghost path and the demon path, all belong to the evil and foreign paths. Once discovered, it can be suppressed directly. This is the battle of the great Tao, not about right or wrong, good or bad. Taking Jun Wuji as an example, without a spiritual root one could not cultivate immortality, but one could follow the ghost path, or cultivate the devil path. Both can avoid the issue of spiritual roots. However, since the beginning, no matter it was that grandfather of Jun Wuji or his parents, they would rather think of utilizing the nine heavens glazed water. Neither had they considered allowing Jun Wuji to switch to the ghost Tao. Taoist immortal sect has been suppressing the middle kingdom for hundreds of thousands of years, and if it were to spread the word that their disciples are ghost and devil cultivators, it is estimated that their ancestors would be angry and come alive. Moreover, Jun Wuji himself had never thought of switching to the ghost Tao devil Tao. The virtuous immortal sect disciples were proud and had always looked down on the ghost way demon way devil way, and even if Jun Wuji did not have a spiritual root, he did not care to follow a cultivation path other than the immortal way. This is the battle of the great Tao. Lin Yuan's expression was slightly gloomy. This side of the world, is the world of the immortal way, the immortal cultivators are the mainstream, as for the other demonic path devil path ghost path, all scattered, if you dare to riot, directly be suppressed. It's been that way for hundreds of thousands of years. If Lin Yuan's martial arts strength had been discovered, there was only one possibility. That's being beaten and killed. Of course, with Lin Yuan's background. It might survive, but it's also a waste of martial arts cultivation. Captive and waiting to die. You want martial arts and immortality to coexist? You can. But it's not by mouth. Nor is it by affectionate charity. Rather, it's about absolute strength. If one day, the martial way could barely stand up to the immortal way. At least under the suppression of the virtue immortal sect, no inheritance was broken. Then it will be able to survive like the demon path, the ghost path. And the devil path. If one was able to fight against the virtue immortal sect and not fall behind. Then they would be able to share the resource-rich middle kingdom with the virtue immortal sect. But the latter is difficult. For hundreds of thousands of years, the demon Dao, devil Dao, and ghost Dao would join forces more than once, but they were all crushed by the Dao Day immortal sect with absolute power. I want to spread the path of martial evolution. It's bound to face the moral immortal sect. Lin Yuan thought silently in his heart. The pathway of martial arts advancement to gain a foothold in this world, the Dao Deity immortal sect was a hurdle that could not be crossed. As for the Dao Deity Immortal Sect Patriarch, he was a void refining ancient saint, holding a sect suppressing immortal artifact, and was able to exert a peak 6th rank, or even a half-step 7th rank, battle power. This kind of terrifying strength was also quite stressful for Lin Yuan. Take your time. There are 480 years of residency left. As long as I can cultivate to the peak of the 6th rank, I will be able to counteract the strongest battle force of the Virtue Immortal Sect. Lin Yuan thought secretly. As for breaking through to the 7th rank. Lin Yuan didn't have a bottom in his heart, 500 years of time, wanting to open up the martial way evolutionary pathway to the seventh rank was not a simple matter. This is not cultivating to the seventh order, but opening up the evolutionary pathway to the seventh order. The difficulty of the two differed by an unknown number of times, and even if Lin Yuan's enlightenment was heaven defying, he did not have much certainty. Which of those seventh order evolutionary pathways in the main world hadn't taken thousands, tens of thousands, or even hundreds of thousands of years to create? These were eighth order revolvers and ninth order revolvers, so the difficulty would plummet a lot under the high roof. Let's not worry about the moral immortal sect first. 
Lin Yuan's thoughts collected, he wanted to spread martial arts in this world to prepare for the ultimate leap in the future. First the foundation had to be laid for the spread of the martial arts path of evolution. The rise to prosperity of a cultivation system could never occur in a short period of time. If Lin Yuan waited until his strength reached the peak of the sixth rank, it was estimated that it would be hundreds of years later. At that time, even if they were able to counteract the strongest fighting force of the Tao deity immortal sect, with only one or two hundred years left, what would they take to spread the martial way? In a couple hundred years, I'm afraid that not even a single martial Tao third order fourth order would be born. By the time Lin Yuan left, facing the counterattack of the Tao deity immortal sect, the martial arts path would probably not even have the qualifications to resist and would easily be crushed. So, trying to spread martial arts, it would have to be laid out in advance. Take four or five hundred years to develop. In this way, even after leaving Lin Yuan, Budo can survive too. As for how long it will actually survive, it would be beyond Lin Yuan's ability to intervene. Lin Yuan could only do as much as he could within the 500 years of residing in the world. The world consciousness of this heaven and earth. Lin Yuan felt it carefully for a while. The suppression for other cultivation systems is not very serious Lin Yuan speculated in his heart. There is also a difference between world consciousness and world consciousness. The world consciousness of that heaven and earth that Lin Yuan wore for the fourth time was extremely stingy and could not tolerate other cultivation systems. As for the immortal Tao world that Lin Yuan was currently living in, it was alright, otherwise it wouldn't be the case that the demon Tao, ghost Tao, and devil Tao would stand side by side. 20 years of hibernation. Now you can start to drop the layout. Lin Yuan's eyes were calm. The layout of the drop is also based on strength. If Lin Yuan only recovered to the second stage and third stage strength, it would be equivalent to the Jin Dan stage of the foundation establishment stage in this side of the world. Facing a group of Yuaning and Shenzhen stage bigwigs, saving your life is enough, but also talk about is it layout? Just for now. Lin Yuan was already at the peak of the fifth rank. Equivalent to the peak of the god of transformation, with his own many means, he was estimated to be able to fight with the refined void ancient saint. Nature qualifies for the layout. If you want to spread the path of martial evolution, you first have to establish a power, a power that has purely martial practitioners. And to establish power, you need to have land. Lin Yuan's mind moved slightly. A map came into view. In the center of the map was the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture, which was the sphere of influence of the Virtue Immortal Sect. The north side, on the other hand, was a bloody black color, the land of the Lord of Blood Demons, and likewise the Holy Land of the Demonic Cultivators. To the west, on the other hand, was the area of the Savage Demon Beasts. And it was said that the Demon Saint Nest protected by the Savage Demon Beasts was capable of breeding Demon Saints comparable to the Ancient Saints of Refined Void. And to the south, the ghostly atmosphere was eerie, belonging to the underworld ghost cultivation, which was rumored to originate from the mysterious underworld ghost palace, where it was connected to the underworld of hell. Lin Yuan's gaze continuously traced over the map. It doesn't matter if it's the Middle Kingdom, or the North, West, or South. All of them already had forces entrenched, and it was difficult to choose any of these three places if the martial arts path wanted to develop. East. Lin Yuan looked towards the eastern region of the map. The soldiers there are at the East China Sea, which is a place for sidewalks. Simply put, it belongs to the unregulated zone, filled with numerous unidentified cultivators. Many cultivators fled to the East China Sea Islands after offending the Virtue Immortal sect, and as long as they didn't make a fool of themselves, they lived comfortably. You can start with the East Sea. Lin Yuan thought secretly. At least in the East Sea Islands, the sources of power were complex, and the martial arts were not prominent when mixed in. You go to the East Sea, spread the martial arts and establish a force. Lin Yuan's mind moved slightly, and an illusory figure stepped out from within his body. This illusory figure quickly solidified when it came into contact with the outside world, emanating the power of the sun, with bright eyes as it stood there silently. It was none other than Lin Yuan's young god. It is also known as the Solar Genesis. The fifth stage of the Martial Dao allows for the birth of a corresponding Martial Dao Yuan Shen. The Martial Yuan Shen was equivalent to a bilocation comma. Sharing a consciousness with the main body. And the strength won't be too much weaker than the honored one. Currently, Lin Yuan's young god, when it exploded at full strength, there should not be many opponents under the refined void ancient saints. Whoosh. The Yang Shen figure disappeared. Following Lin Yuan's instructions, he traveled to the distant East Sea. In fact, Lin Yuan and the Yang Shen, the consciousness shared, the perspective that the Yang Shen saw, Lin Yuan could also see, chatting with the Yang Shen was similar to talking to himself. Buzz. Lin Yuan Yang Shen, transforming the real into the imaginary, easily passed through the many prohibitions of the cloud mist blessed land and came to the outside world. I don't expect to be back for a while this time. Lin Yuan muttered and turned around to fly towards the east. Cloudy Peak Penthouse. Lin Yuan was still sitting on his knees. Sending out the Yang Shen was originally one of Lin Yuan's plans. Even at the back, Lin Yuan would continue to send out in gods. The two great martial Dao Yuan Shen were equivalent to Lin Yuan's two great bilocations. One body and three, consciousness shared. Also, the genesis is outside. There's another benefit. 
That was even if Ling Yuan's original body fell. Nor is it completely dead. The Taiyin gives birth to the sun. The sun gives birth to the Taiyin. Yin and Yang give birth to Tai Chi. Tai Chi gives birth to all things. As long as the Yin God and Yang God are present, they can regenerate their physical bodies. By the same token, as long as the physical body is there, even if the Yin God and Yang God fall outside. It is also able to condense a new Yin God Yang God with its physical body. The Honored One, the Yin God, and the Yang God. As long as one of them was alive. Lin Yuan couldn't die. Consequently, Lin Yuan sent out the Yang God Yin God to also increase his ability to save his own life. Half a month later, it's about to return to sixth order strength. Lin Yuan felt it carefully for a while and thought in his heart. Physical training. Lin Yuan's face was thoughtful. In the lineage of physical cultivation, it was harder than heaven to break through to the realm of refined void. Almost impossible to do. The Middle Kingdom has been hundreds of thousands of years. There hasn't been a single refined void body cultivator born. Just as Lin Yuan pondered over the refined void realm of the physical cultivation lineage and tried to deduce it with his heaven defying enlightenment, suddenly his face changed slightly. Looking up beyond the cloud mist blessed land. End of chapter. Chapter 4 The sky hangs two days, revenge doesn't come overnight, requesting subscription. With Lin Yuan's current strength, one can easily perceive dots and dashes hundreds and thousands of miles away. This was still perception, if one were to open up the Taiji domain recklessly. Tens of thousands of miles, hundreds of thousands of miles are under control. How did they get here? Lin Yuan rubbed his chin. At this moment, it was 200 miles away from the cloud mist blessed land. Two recluse lights appeared. It was none other than Lin Yuan's elder brother and second sister. Over the years, the elder brother and second sister would visit Lin Yuan every half a year. It was now less than two months since the last visit of the elder brother and sister. Something should have happened to the immortal sect. Lin Yuan guessed in his heart. Not much longer. The two reclining lights then arrived outside the cloud mist blessed land. Lin Yuan also revealed a hint of surprise in time. And hurriedly opened the forbidden formation of the blessed land to welcome his big brother and two sisters in. Lin Yuan's elder brother, named Jun Easy, was called Easy Sun by his Taoist name. The second sister, on the other hand, was Jun Jilan, with the Taoist name Fairy Jilan, though other cultivators preferred to call Jun Jilan Fairy of the Divine Heavens. Junior brother, the patriarch has broken through to the cave void realm, and the immortal sect is holding a celebration, so we'll take you there now. Big brother Jun Easy immediately explained the original reason. Cave realm? Lin Yuan was instantly enlightened. The immortal Tao refining realm is divided into three stages. Into the realm of the void. Cave realm. Refining realm. The Taoist immortal sect patriarch crossing into the cave void realm meant that his strength was considered strong amongst the ancient saints, noting that most ancient saints of all generations had stopped at the entering the void realm. He he, little brother, grandpa also specifically mentioned you, this celebration, no need to publicize it, just some people within our immortal sect will participate. Jun Jilan was not as rigid as Jun Zongi, who still addressed her maternal grandfather as patriarch in front of her loved ones. Good. Lin Yuan nodded his head. But big brother and second sister, I'll go to the treasury first and pick out a gift for grandpa. Lin Yuan explained. Even a close relative cannot leave empty-handed. Good thing too. The eldest brother and second sister nodded. Witnessing Lin Yuan leaving. The eldest brother and second sister also waited in place. Little brother has changed a lot over the years. Second sister Jun Jilan said with some emotion in her tone. In the lineage of physical cultivation, one needs to endure immense pain in order to refine. How can my little brother still be the same as before when he is cultivated to the gene dance stage of physical cultivation? Big brother Jun Easy felt it was only right. Even he, faced with the pain of breaking through to a gene dance stage body cultivator, had a numb scalp. For Jun Wuji to be able to achieve what he did now, his state of mind was no longer below that of other gene dance stage cultivators. As to why Jun Wuji was able to have such a drastic transformation, Jun Prowler was not surprised. Twenty years ago, Jun Wuji was dealt a blow and moved out of the morally immortal mountain and came to the cloud mist blessed land. Knowing the shame, it wasn't strange to take on the difficult lineage of physical cultivation and achieve something. Cloudy blessed treasure trove. Lin Yuan walked in. Pick a treasure at random. For the patriarch of the virtue immortal sect, no matter what gifts Lin Yuan sent, it made no difference, the main thing was that the intention was there. Gel. Lin Yuan stood in place. Converting all of his own aura related to martial arts, he hid it in the depths of his physical body. This time, when he traveled to the virtue immortal sect, he needed to meet that immortal sect patriarch who had already crossed over into the cave void realm, so naturally, Lin Yuan had to make all the preparations. Almost ready. Lin Yuan nodded slightly. At this time, his breath was converged as much as possible, and even the strength of his physical body had briefly fallen to the level of a gene dance stage physical cultivator. Not to mention that the immortal sect patriarch was at the cave void realm, even if he was at the refined void stage refined void realm, it would be impossible to tell the slightest bit. The reason why Lin Yuan had such a means of astering his breath. 
One reason was because Lin Yuan himself was also a sixth order powerhouse, which was the void refining stage. The second was that Lin Yuan had come to the autonomous world and had seen many evolutionary pathways, and in the aspect of converging his breath, compared to the living beings of this world, it was tantamount to a dimensional blow. It's better to leave the Yin God behind. Lin Yuan considered for a moment, and with a slight movement of his mind, an illusory figure stepped out from within himself before disappearing inside the treasure trove. The Yin God's aura was certainly almost void, but it was kind of a hidden danger to carry around. Plus, leave the Yin God in the cloudy blessed land. It was also a backhand that Lin Yuan had prepared. In case something does happen. The Yin God and the Yang God are out there. Lin Yuan would also use more means and would not actually die. Ready for anything. Lin Yuan brought gifts and came to his big brother and two sisters. Go. Second sister Jun Jilan extended her right hand. Just see a cloud patterned colorful handkerchief magic treasure, in the air Su unfolded, transformed into hundreds of feet of auspicious clouds. The elder brother and second sister came by flying through the transported light, because the transported light is the fastest. But going back naturally couldn't be a recluse flying away, after all, Lin Yuan was beside him. Jindal stage physical cultivators certainly had the means to fly. However, its speed was far inferior to the two senior Yuaning stage of the elder brother and second sister. Therefore, the second sister urged her magic treasure and took the trio one to the virtue immortal sect. Come up. Jun Prowler took a step on the auspicious cloud magic treasure, and Lin Yuan followed suit. Little more than half a day later. The virtuous immortal sect appeared in Lin Yuan's field of vision. Only to see that above the sea of clouds, an immortal mountain stood. Like a giant pillar holding up the sky, majestic and grand. The mountain of moral immortality. Lin Yuan gazed at the distant immortal mountain. The virtue immortal sect was built on top of the virtue immortal mountain. The Taoist immortal mountain is the place where the largest spiritual veins and earth veins converge in the middle kingdom. It was likewise the immortal holy land that all immortal cultivators immensely desired. There are 72 caves and 108 blessed places and other important places of cultivation in the middle kingdom. The interior was full of aura and had many incredible cultivation effects. But compared to the Taoist immortal mountain, even if you add up the 72 caves and 108 blessed places, it's also nowhere near as good as Mount Moral Immortality. Whoosh! The auspicious cloud phallic treasure flew in front of the immortal sect. An invisible wave swept in. Only to see a large formation in front of them, an entrance appeared. Dozens of immortal sect disciples saluted in unison. Greetings to Master Uncle Easy. Greetings to Fairy Zhilun. Soon. A few people then arrived at the top of the main peak of the Virtue Immortal Sect. There was a large hall situated here, and the rich heaven and earth spiritual chi was even transformed into spiritual rain and sprinkled down. This place was a completely different world from the outside world, as if it was a true fairyland. Lin Yuan followed Jun Yizi and Jun Jilan into the Grand Hall. At this time the Great Hall was already seated with some people. Wu Ji. A woman cultivator with a beautiful face revealed a smile towards Lin Yuan. It was none other than Jun Wuji's mother, the dear daughter of the current Taoist immortal sex patriarch, Mu Runner. The man sitting next to Mu Runner was Jun Wuji's father. Jun Dongjin. Jun Dongjin is a mutated heavenly spirit root, and is the most talented person in this generation of the Tao immortal sect, and is expected to impact the refined void stage, and is one of the popular candidates for the future sect leader of the current immortal sect. Ha ha ha, this is Wuji, right? I'm sure he's got a lot of talent, without a spiritual root, he's taking the physical cultivation lineage. He only saw a man with a majestic figure walk over and glanced at Lin Yuan, then he looked at Jun Dongjin and smiled. This man with a majestic figure had an invisible pressure permeating him just by standing there. Mu Mountain. Lin Yuan recognized this man with a majestic figure. Mu Mengting is the outstanding son of the Mu family of the Dao De Immortal Sect, and the Mu family is the family of the current Dao De Immortal Sect patriarch, and his mother, Mu Runner, is also from this family. Mu Mengting was also a heavenly spirit root cultivator, and his qualifications were certainly half a degree weaker than Jun Dongjin's, but due to his status as a member of the Mu family. The same was one of the favorites to be the future immortal sex patriarch. Mu Mengting and Jun Dongjin are in a competitive relationship. Of course, the position of patriarch of the virtue immortal sect was not a matter of spelling out backgrounds. Rather, whoever could be the first to step into the void refining stage would be the patriarch. Brother Meng Ting overpraised, Wuji is just a small fight, it's nothing, in the lineage of physical cultivation, the Jin Dan stage is the limit. Jun Dong Jin responded with a smile. Poof. Mu Meng Ting sniffed, didn't say anything more, and returned to his seat. Lin Yuan was sitting next to Jun Dong Jin, just now Mu Meng Ting had vaguely shown unkind intentions towards him, if Jun Dong Jin had not spoken up in time. I was afraid that his own state of mind would have been affected. The old guy. Lin Yuan's eyes narrowed slightly. Twenty years ago, Lin Yuan was no different from an invalid. Mu Mengting didn't put Lin Yuan in his eyes at all and didn't even bother to target him. Only now, Lin Yuan was quite accomplished in the lineage of physical cultivation. Even if this build is equally insignificant to him. However, he was commended by the immortal sect patriarch, that is, that grandfather of Lin Yuan. 
This made Mu Mengting feel a little uncomfortable in his heart. That's what led to that scene just now. In Mu Mengting's opinion, the position of the sect head of the Virtue Immortal sect should be his Mu families. As a result, he killed out Jun Wuji, a foreigner. Even if Jun Dongjin married Mu Renner, it was still a foreign surname. How dare you get your hands on the patriarch's throne? Just then. Inside the Great Hall. The Qi is vaguely beginning to change. Lin Yuan's heart fluttered. Looking in the direction of the main seat. Only to see a middle-aged man with a majestic posture, who appeared at an unknown time, was currently sitting there. Greetings, Sovereign. The others in the Great Hall had also noticed something. Immediately rising, he saluted towards the middle-aged man with the imposing posture. Sit down, all of you. The middle-aged man with a majestic posture slowly spoke. Yes. All sit down in turn. That's the immortal sect patriarch? Refinement stage cave realm? Lin Yuan secretly observed a glance. In terms of realms, Lin Yuan was at the beginning of the sixth stage and was considered to be in the entering the void realm. This aspect was inferior to this immortal sect patriarch. After everyone sat down, there were soon female cultivators carrying many spiritual fruits to the table in front of everyone. Those who were able to participate in the Taoist Immortal Sect Patriarch's Cavern Hall were basically high-ranking Immortal Sect cultivators with high positions of authority. How's it going over at the Underworld Ghost Palace? The Immortal Sect Patriarch spoke in a calm tone and asked. The Taoist Immortal Sect occupied the Middle-Earth Divine Realm and, with absolute strength, hung on to the Devil's Way, the Demon's Way, and the Ghost's Way. However, the latter three are extremely tenacious and are able to slow down no matter what blows they receive. So, in order to prevent these three paths from making a mess, Every once in a while, the Virtue Immortal Sect would send out disciples and go over to sweep the area. Sovereign. Those ghost cultivators, having been killed by my Immortal Sect, have been emboldened, and now they don't even dare to take a step forward in the Middle Earth. A curly-haired old man with golden lion hair got up and said proudly. Those ghost cultivators in the south, it was him who was in charge of sweeping the area, the task was accomplished well, the bottom line is naturally very full. Nice. The Immortal Sect Patriarch nodded slightly. That underworld ghost palace, with its mysterious origins, even if it's me, it's hard to find, on the ghost cultivator's side, one must be cautious. The immortal sect patriarch spoke. It wasn't that the virtue immortal sect didn't want to completely overthrow the ghost cultivators. Rather, it can't be done. Whenever the patriarch of the virtue immortal sect, holding the immortal weapon of the sect, traveled to the south to sweep the area. All ghost cultivators hid in the underworld ghost palace, and even strong as the refined void ancient saints. They could not find the underworld ghost palace that was completely hidden. Therefore, the treatment of ghost cultivators in the south can only be based on the suppression of sweeping, stifling the rise of its power, it will not be a big problem. How's it going, blood demon to the north? The immortal sect patriarch continued to open his mouth and asked. Patriarch, those blood god sons of the blood demon lord have lost 60% of them, ha 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 now they don't even dare to walk through the blood demon sea. Another man rose and said. The lord of the blood demon, who is one with the blood sea, although nearly immortal, is unable to leave the confines of the blood demon sea. The immortal sect patriarch nodded his head. The Lord of Blood Demons was a very special existence. Even successive generations of immortal sect patriarchs, armed with immortal weapons of suppression, were unable to completely kill the Lord of Blood Demons. If the Blood Demon Sea does not wither, the Blood Demon Lord will not die. What about the Eastern Sea Islands? The immortal sect patriarch continued to ask. Sovereign. At this time, Mu Mengting got up and spoke, the East Sea Islands are a mixed bag of fish and dragons, and they extremely reject foreign forces. But over the years, I have worked hard and finally secretly established a party to occupy the Black Vale Islands. With me around, the East Sea Islands can only remain chaotic. Numantine said confidently. For the East Sea Islands, the Virtue Immortal Sect did not directly suppress them like they did the Demon, Ghost, and Devil Paths. The situation in the East Sea Islands was extremely complicated, with infighting at all times, and the Virtue Immortal Sect only needed to ensure that the East Sea Islands would not appear as a unified force. You can rest on your laurels. That's why Mu Mengting secretly built up his forces. And as long as there were signs of unification in the East Sea Islands, he would step in to stop it. This side, this side of the force, not yet Mu Mengting secretly collect many cultivation resources, the importance of the degree can be called the right arm and left arm. Nice. The immortal sect patriarch nodded once again. The Black Veil vale Islands? Lin Yuan sat beside Jun Dong Jin, his heart slightly stirring. Since he intended to use the Eastern Sea Islands as the initial location for spreading the pathway of martial arts advancement, Lin Yuan naturally had a not solo level of research on the Eastern Sea Islands. And the location of the Black Veil vale Islands is probably clear. East China Sea. Lin Yuan Yangshan suddenly stopped. The cloud mist blessed land was extremely far from the East Sea. It was just that the Yang God was not a solid entity, and I'm afraid that its flight speed was not even comparable to that of the refined void ancient saints. After half a month of speeding, Lin Yuan Yangshan finally arrived at the range of the East Sea. In fact, the Virtue Immortal Sect had a specialized teleportation array that was able to instantly reach the Eastern Sea range. 
Only Lin Yuan Yang God intends to stroll along the way, anyway, spreading the path of martial arts advancement is a hundred years of planning, there is no hurry for the time being. The Black Veil Islands? Lin Yuan Yang Shen shared a single consciousness with his own. Both have the same memories and what they know and feel is communicated instantly. So when Lin Yuan heard that Mu Mengting had established his power in the Black Veil Islands in the East Sea, the Yangshan also knew instantly. That would be the Black Veil Islands. Lin Yuan Yangshan reversed his direction and flew towards the Black Veil Islands. A few moments later, the Black Veil Islands then appeared before them. Twelve transformation spirits, fifty-six Yuaning. Lin Yuan Yangshan sked and then lifted his right hand. At this moment, the sun that hung high in the sky all seemed to dim down. The endless sun power, as if it had been given an imperial order, even if some of the sun power seemed to not listen to advice and was unusually reluctant, it obediently rushed over and ultimately kept converging on Lin Yuan's Yang God's right hand. One time. The sky hangs two days. In the end, Lin Yuan weighed the sun on his right hand and felt that it was a fair weight, so he threw it towards the Black Veil Islands not far away. Two more shifts are over. The new volume is a little hard to write, so it's a little late. Lastly, I'd like to ask for some monthly tickets. Quill. End of chapter. Chapter 5 Jinzong Immortal Artifact, Taihao Immortal Mirror, Begs for Subscription. Black Veil Islands. Main Island Council Hall. Twelve God Transformation Stage Heavenly Monarchs and 56 Yuanying Stage True Monarchs gathered here. Even in the East Sea Islands where the forces are mixed and varied. The twelve Heavenly Monarchs and 56 True Monarchs were also a force that could not be ignored. Put in 800 side door 3000 left way, also enough to rank into the top 10. More importantly, this force, the Black Veil Islands, had completely integrated into the East Sea Islands. Other than the three strongest god transformation stage heavenly monarchs, no one knew that the Black Veil Islands were secretly controlled and driven by the morally mortal sex Mu Mengting. The 800 side sex and 3000 left paths of the East Sea Islands, although there is more than just constant infighting. However, it is exceptionally xenophobic, if you learn that your own territory, mixed in the secret sons of the morally mortal sect. Even if they didn't dare to strike at them, they would subconsciously stop infighting and instinctively unite. This would go against the basic policy of the moral immortal sect in dealing with the East Sea Islands. For the Taoist immortal sect, the chaotic infighting of the East Sea's 800 side sects and 3000 left paths is the best situation, as for unity? What's the difference between that and the demon path, ghost path, or devil path? Mu Mengting secretly controlled the Black Veil Islands, stirring up the situation in the East Sea and collecting a large amount of resources and wealth in the process, his methods were very high. Compared to the other complexes of the immortal sect that suppressed the Devil Dao in the north, the Demon Dao in the west, and the Ghost Dao in the south, the Black Veil Archipelago that Mu Mengting had mastered was definitely a fat one. This was also the favoritism that the Dao De Immortal Sex Patriarch had towards Mu Mengting. After some more time, it's time to make a trip to the Middle Earth Divine Kingdom and hand over the harvest from this hundred years. In the Council Hall, a God Transformation Stage Heavenly Monarch sitting on the main seat secretly thought. He looked at the many Yuaning Stage True Lords below, as well as the other Heavenly Monarchs sitting to the left and right and was about to speak. Just then, this god transformation stage heavenly monarch's face changed slightly. He suddenly felt that the air around him suddenly became hot. Not good. More than a dozen god transformation stage heavenly monarchs changed greatly, subconsciously rushing up to the sky, the aura that belonged uniquely to god transformation stage cultivators, the pressure of overlooking the heavens and dominating the floating and sinking of the heavens violently erupted. However, next moment. Instead, a hint of despair surfaced on the faces of the ten or so god transformation stage heavenly monarchs. Because. They saw a sun. Crashing down towards the Black Veil Islands. Above the clouds. Lin Yuan withdrew his right hand and glanced at the Black Veil Islands below. At this time, the Black Veil Islands had already turned into a sea of fire, with a true lord and heavenly monarch's aura constantly erupting, only to quickly collapse. The secret technique of the Ten Thousand Suns lineage really does have a shocking killing power. Lin Yuan nodded slightly when he saw this. The theory of the sun that he had just dropped was a simplified version of the secret art that the Holy Sun of Ten Thousand Suns had activated in the past, Ten Thousand Suns in the same sky. Having fought with the Saint Sun of Ten Thousand Suns twice, Lin Yuan had long ago used his heaven-defying enlightenment to learn all of the top-notch means on him. If it was in the main world, Lin Yuan would naturally not randomly activate such secret killing moves related to the Ten Thousand Suns lineage. Because it was easy to be seen by other high-level evolvers, it would be easy to cause a copyright dispute. The main world human alliance has a sound legal system and is well protected for many secret killing techniques, you are not a disciple of this lineage and did not purchase this lineage of secret techniques. Yet you used them. That's stealing lessons. Regardless of the star field or star alliance, it is an offense. But in the shuttle world, there's no need to hide. Especially since the current Lin Yuan was a young god split, there was even less need to be careful. The Black Veil Islands. Lin Yuan looked down low to make sure there were no leaks. There were two main reasons why he had taken on the Black Veil Islands. One is because of taking the heat for himself as well as Jun Dongjin. His father, Jun Dongjin, had the qualifications of a mutated heavenly spirit root, and his talent was the best of the younger generation of the Dao De Immortal sect. 
However, due to his status, he could only endure in the face of Mu Mengting's provocation. Now that he had a chance to get back with a vengeance, Lin Yuan naturally would not let it go. Secondly, he wanted to spread the path of martial evolution in the East Sea Islands, and he would inevitably end up bumping into the Black Vale Islands. Instead of being thwarted and disgusted by the Black Vale Islands in the future, it would be better to do nothing now and directly destroy the Black Vale Islands. Eh? Gather! Lin Yuan looked down on the Black Vale Islands below and took a light breath. In an instant, a large amount of pure to the core spiritual chi came pouring in. The Black Vale Archipelago, as the top power of the Eastern Sea Islands, naturally contained a large amount of treasures and resources. In particular, the collection of numerous resources for Mu Mengtang, which had not yet been handed over, existed in the treasure trove on the island, as well as within the storage ring of the God Transformation Heavenly Monarch at the head of the group. Now that the Black Vale Archipelago was reduced to a sea of fire, everything was burned clean, and those treasures and resources, under the burning of the sun's true flame, were transformed into the purest aura spirituality. All of them were swallowed into Lin Yuan's stomach. Quite a lot. A smile appeared on Lin Yuan's face as he finished swallowing it in one gulp. The spiritual aura he had devoured just now was enough to push a heavenly monarch at the early stage of God transformation to the mid or even late stage of God transformation. Moral Immortal Sect Mu Mengting stood up and was heading towards the Immortal Sect Patriarch to report on the results of the battles over the years, how the Black Vale Islands under his control had stirred up the situation in the East Sea. Suddenly, Mu Mengting's expression changed drastically. How can it be? Numantii's face was ugly. There was even a hint of trepidation. It was because he sensed that the fate cards of the group of transformation god heavenly monarchs and Yuaning true monarchs from the Black Vale Archipelago had unexpectedly shattered in unison at the same moment. What does that mean? It meant that all the heavenly monarchs of transformation and Yuaning true monarchs had already fallen. And the fall was near identical. Also, it also meant that the Black Vale Archipelago, which he had worked so hard to build, had ceased to exist, and that even the harmonized divine heavenly monarchs and the first infant true monarchs had fallen, not to mention other cultivators' hands. What happened? Sitting in the main seat, the Daobei Immortal Sect Patriarch opened his mouth. Sovereign. The Black Vale Islands transformation spirits and Yuan Ing, just a moment ago, have all fallen. Mu Mengting didn't dare to hide it and immediately said. What? The Dao Dao Immortal Sect Patriarch's gaze was icy cold. Unbridled. The Taoist Immortal Sect Patriarch stood up abruptly. In the meantime. The head of the Taoist Immortal Sect Patriarch. A wheel of mirrors emanating infinite light and infinite culpa emerged. Buzz. A mirror light seemed to penetrate through space and time as it shot out from the highest point of the Daobei Immortal Sect, landing in front of the Black Vale Islands in the East China Sea in just a few instantaneous moments. Eh? Above the clouds, Lin Yuan, who was reminiscing, changed his expression slightly and looked up at the terrifying mirror light that had carried out from the direction of the Dao Deity Immortal Sect. The figure disappeared silently. The next moment. Mirror light descends. It turned into a shadow. Looking closely, it was precisely the appearance of the Taoist Immortal Sect's patriarch. The silhouette looked down at the Black Vale Islands below which had been turned into a sea of fire, swept its icy gaze around, and disappeared with a cold snort. Hundreds of thousands of miles away. Lin Yuan Yangshan appeared. That's the Dao Deity Immortal Sect's immortal weapon, the Taihao Immortal Mirror? Lin Yuan's expression was slightly gloomy as he thought in his heart. With his Yang God body, it took him half a month to fly from the cloud mist blessed land to the East Sea. But that Taoist Immortal Sect Master, with the help of the Taihao Immortal Mirror, descended to the East Sea in just a few moments? Is the Taoist Immortal Sect sect leader too strong? Naturally not. The Taoist Immortal Sect Patriarch was only at the refined Void Cave Realm, which was equivalent to the main world's sixth order, fourth to ninth stage level. It's impossible to have such a terrifying speed. This was all because of the Virtue Immortal Sect's Jinzong Immortal Weapon. Taihao Immortal Realm. This immortal artifact has unlimited power. And the light of the mirror can illuminate any corner of the Middle Kingdom. No wonder 120,000 years ago, the Lord of the Blood Demon in the North, the King of Ghost Cultivators in the South, and the Savage Demon Sage in the East, gathered the power of three refined Void Ancient Saints to start a duel, but in the end, they were still hung up and crushed by the Daodei Immortal Sect. Lin Yuan's thoughts turned over. Only, the one who descended just now should not be the Immortal Sect Sovereign's main body, but an Immortal Mirror Incarnation, and descending across such a long distance is also a not-solo exertion. Lin Yuan analyzed it in his mind. Moral Immortal Sect. Inside the Great Hall. The immortal mirror above the head of the Taoist Immortal Sect Patriarch, who stood up, slowly disappeared. The Taoist Immortal Sect Patriarch, too, resumed his seat. Sovereign? Numantin couldn't help but ask. At this time he was unusually heartbroken, the Black Vale Islands is his years of hard work to operate. Those ten or so God Transformation Stage Heavenly Monarchs and dozens of Yuaning Stage True Monarchs were not only his own subordinates that he had cultivated for many years and had nothing to do with the Daodei Immortal Sect, but their usefulness in the East Sea Islands was irreplaceable. The Virtue Immortal Sect did not look at the East Sea Islands because of its lack of resources and there was no need to occupy them. 
However, the lack of resources was relative to the virtue immortal sect, for a certain cultivator, if he could hold the East Sea Islands in his hands, even if it was only a small portion of it, the gains would still be exceptionally considerable. This is something that Numantine has learned the hard way in recent years. Just for now. Everything's gone. They didn't know how much they had paid to barely cultivate more than a dozen heavenly monarchs at the god transformation stage. And all of a sudden, they had all gone down the drain. The man ran away. The Taoist immortal sect patriarch shook his head slightly. This statement was made. The crowd on the field all showed shocked colors. Even Mu Mengting, who was unusually heartbroken, had his pupils shrink. The patriarch had activated the Xunzong immortal mirror, the Taihao immortal mirror, with its infinite and unparalleled power, and would let the one who had exterminated the Black Veil Islands escape? You see. The Taoist immortal sect patriarch's mind moved slightly. A scene of illusory images floated above the Great Hall. Just now, although he hadn't caught the culprit, he had retraced part of the picture based on the scent that remained on the field. The crowd in the Great Hall looked toward the screen. The Black Veil Islands, with their swirling waters. The Black Veil Islands are calm in the picture. Just then, above the clouds, a figure appeared at an unknown time. The figure was hazy, unable to see the exact figure in appearance, just quietly looking down at the Black Mountain Islands below. With everyone watching. The hazy figure above the clouds slowly stretched out his right hand. In an instant, the image began to distort, and endless firepower continued to converge on top of the hazy figure's right hand, forming a small sun made up of a large amount of true fire of the sun, made up of a large amount of true fire of the sun. The small sun was so bright and hot that it almost ranked with the great sun in the sky. The scene that happened next sent even more chills down everyone's spine. The person on the cloud, with a mere flick of his hand, threw the round of small suns in his hand, towards the Black Veil Islands. End of screen. What a terrifying fire dow. The curly-haired old man with golden lion hair couldn't help but marvel. In just a few breaths. It condensed that huge sun true flame, which was not only the reason for the realm of strength, but also its own terrifying control of the power of the sun. When did such a strong person appear in the East Sea? Above the high seat, the Tao deity immortal sect patriarch frowned and said. With the strength displayed by that hazy figure, it was already at the extreme end of the transformation god, and was even beginning to infinitely approach the refined void ancient saint level. You pay more attention to this man. The Taoist immortal sect patriarch opened his mouth and said. Yes. The crowd below spoke in unison. Easy Jilan, you stay within the sect and don't go out in the near future. Mu Runner glanced at Jun Easy Jun Jilan and transmitted, if you encounter this person, don't think of resisting, just use life-preserving means to run. After Mu Runner finished her instructions, her gaze looked towards Lin Yuan who was sitting next to her, looking extremely well behaved. You too, learn more from Wuji, don't think about going out all day, how dangerous is it outside? Wuji is just fine, staying in the cloud mist blessed land all day long, not going anywhere. Mu Runner looked at her youngest son with relief. Although Jun Wuji did not have a spirit root, the person was also much more stable, at least it did not cause her to worry or anything like that. Little more than half a day later. The cave ceremony is over. Lin Yuan was then escorted by Jun Yizi and Jun Jilun. Back in the cloud mist blessed land. Little brother, we'll go back first. Jun Yizi and Jun Jilun exchanged greetings and left in a hurry. Apparently the appearance of a mysterious powerhouse who specialized in fire Dao in the East Sea had attracted the attention of the Virtue Immortal sect. And they needed to go back to discuss how to deal with this powerhouse. The Virtue Immortal sect acted in an overbearing manner to the extreme, and absolutely did not allow the appearance of strong individuals who exceeded their control. One month later. News came from the East Sea. White Jade Island is about to appear. White Jade Island is a very special island, he is equivalent to the East Sea's blessed cave, filled with rich spiritual chi inside, belongs to the holy land of cultivation. Only, the White Jade Island is not stationary, it sinks to the bottom of the deep sea every 2000 years. The bottom of the deep sea was extremely dangerous, where ancient demonic beasts and ferocious beasts that had survived hundreds of thousands of years ago were entrenched. So every time the White Jade Island sank, the cultivators staying on the island could only leave, and even the heavenly monarchs at the god realization stage didn't dare to sink along with the White Jade Island. At the bottom of the deep sea, there was a terrifying sea pressure, even if it was a heavenly monarch at the god transformation stage, their strength would be limited, plus those unfathomable ancient ferocious beasts and demonic beasts. A heavenly monarch at the god transformation stage would also have his scalp numb. It has been 2000 years since the White Jade Island once sank to the bottom of the deep sea, and counting the time, the White Jade Island is going to refloat up in the near future. At that time, the White Jade Island would return to the East Sea, carrying the rich aura that had been accumulated for 2000 years. You have to know that the East China Sea is not a high concentration of aura, and there are only those dozens of places suitable for cultivation, and most of them are occupied by the 800 side doors and 3000 left paths. Now that the White Jade Island is about to come into existence, I don't know how many East China Sea cultivators are rubbing their fists and feet, wanting to occupy a cultivation cave on the White Jade Island. Cloudy Bliss. Inside the Cultivation Chamber. Lin Yuan sat cross-legged, and the breath in his body was slowly changing, seemingly metamorphosing a little. Finally. As if reaching some sort of boundary. Lin Yuan's entire aura was violently drawn up, and then quickly converged again. 
Sixth Order. Lin Yuan opened his eyes and a smile appeared on his face. End of chapter. Chapter 6 Yes or No, 5000 Word Super Large Chapter, Requesting Subscription. Full Strength Restored. Lin Yuan's smile tightened and his eyes were calm. Sixth rank, equivalent to the void refining ancient saints of this realm. It had almost been called the strongest in the world, even though the Tao deity immortal sect patriarch who held the Jinzong immortal mirror. It was also very difficult to completely kill a refined void ancient saint, at most, it would only limit the suppression of the latter, the means of the ancient saints had already been called unimaginable. The first order to the sixth order is nothing to me, it's just a retracing of the steps, the next path of cultivation in the sixth order is the focus. Lin Yuan thought secretly. To open up the sixth order chapter of the martial Tao, even if one relied on heaven-defying enlightenment, it was not something that could be done overnight. It is necessary to keep trying, to open up and choose the one that suits you best from among the many directions. This shuttle. Lin Yuan has two goals. One is to open up the sixth order chapter of the martial way progression system as much as possible. Cultivate to at least the sixth order extreme level. 500 years of residency time, Lin Yuan didn't think it was much of a problem. The second was to spread the system of martial evolution and to root his path, as much as possible, in this world. Facilitating the ultimate leap into the future. This realm's immortal Tao cultivation system is something to learn from. Lin Yuan pondered in his heart, the pathway of martial Tao advancement that he had created had originally used the many other evolutionary pathways as flesh and blood sustenance. Nowadays, it was a natural matter to draw on the immortal way cultivation system. Of course, Lin Yuan was also aware of the importance of things, and his borrowing of the immortal Tao's evolutionary pathways was just that, borrowing. No matter how many kinds of cultivation system, evolutionary pathway, martial arts cultivation system still has its own core, primary and secondary, otherwise the future of martial arts evolutionary pathway can still be called martial arts evolutionary pathway? The martial Tao evolution pathway was created by Lin Yuan after exhausting all his efforts, and it contained Lin Yuan's strong personal life imprint. It's like a big tree, you can trim and cut its branches and leaves, but the roots of the trunk of the tree can't be moved. Next, you can spare some energy to raise your physical cultivation realm to the refined void level. Lin Yuan had a decision in his heart. The lineage of physical cultivation is an extension of the immortal way cultivation system, but it is more compatible with the path of martial arts evolution. Both have the same thing. That is the discovery of the flesh. Of course, in hundreds of thousands of years in the Middle Earth Divine Kingdom, there had been no birth of a body cultivator at the refined void level. But Lin Yuan was different, what countless proud sons of heaven in the past of this realm could not do, Lin Yuan believed that he could do it. And now that Lin Yuan had already recovered to the sixth rank of martial arts strength, with his powerful and incomparable physical body and flesh, he would definitely soar in practicing physical cultivation techniques. Coupled with the heaven-defying enlightenment to control the direction and open up the path behind, it should only be a matter of time before one becomes an unprecedented body cultivation refinement void. The reason why he had to separate his energy to focus on physical cultivation was because after Lin Yuan's deduction, a physical cultivator at the level of void refinement was almost bound to give birth to a fleshly aptitude. This kind of means that could greatly enhance one's ability in a certain aspect, Lin Yuan was still quite curious. And sharpening the sword was not a bad idea, comprehending the body cultivation lineage of Gongfu would also be of considerable help to Lin Yuan's own path of martial arts evolution. Just as Lin Yuan was hiding in the cloud mist blessed land to cultivate and realize the Tao. The East China Sea Islands, however, are constantly stirring up a furor. There are two main things. The first thing is that the appearance of the White Jade Island is imminent. After 2000 years of nurturing at the bottom of the deep sea, this time the White Jade Island comes out, not only will it bring a holy place of cultivation that is comparable to the Middle Kingdom Divine Kingdom's Cave of Heaven and Blessings in general. Those spiritual medicine immortal roots that grew on the island were even more thoroughly mature. White Jade Island 2000 years of sinking, has formed a law, so 2000 years ago, White Jade Island sinking occasion, there were many cultivators at that time, in advance on the island to plant the spirit medicine immortal root. So after 2000 years of growth, most of it had matured and with no one at the bottom of the deep sea to disturb it, the growth was superb. So, for East Sea cultivators, whether it was the 800 side sects, the 3000 left paths, or other idle cultivators, the White Jade Island was a great opportunity. There is no one who is not concerned. Even the blood demon lord in the north and the king of ghost cultivators in the south had their eyes on the white jade island. Except for the fact that white jade island is about to come out. The other matter that was discussed with the greatest fervor by the many cultivators of the East Sea Islands was the destruction of the Black Vale Islands. There are two sides to this story. One was the mysterious powerhouse who had burned the Black Vale archipelago to nothingness in one fell swoop with his fire Tao. The outside world almost believed that this mysterious strong man, with the refined void ancient saint level, was only a hair's breadth away, or was already infinitely close to the ancient saint level. Otherwise, how could there be such a heavenly means to make more than a dozen heavenly monarchs and dozens of true monarchs of the Black Vale Archipelago, who couldn't even do anything to resist, directly die in the Tao? On the other hand, it was that mysterious strong man, after burning up the Black Vale Islands, the vast mirror light from the sect supporting immortal weapon of the Taoist immortal sect in the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture descended to the front of the Black Vale Islands. 
The Taihao Immortal Mirror was the only immortal artifact in this realm, and its mirror light represented the infinite light and infinite jihad, and its power was so vast that it was difficult to conceal the movement from the immortal sect running through to the East Sea. And as that mysterious powerhouse had just overthrown the Black Veil Archipelago and the vast mirror light of the Virtue Immortal Sect arrived, it was hard not to connect the two. That mysterious strongman, what exactly is his origin? Regardless of what it came from, that mysterious strongman. He definitely doesn't have a good relationship with the Moral Immortal Sect. Indeed, otherwise the Virtue Immortal Sect wouldn't resort to using a Jinzong Immortal Weapon, and urging a Jinzong Immortal Weapon once is consuming even for the Refined Void Ancient Saints. This kind of strong person who is about to cross into the level of the Refined Void Ancient Sage can't reasonably appear out of thin air, ah? Uh? Could it be a strong person cultivated by the King of Ghost Cultivators in the South? King of Ghost Cultivators? The King of Ghost Cultivators is very strong, an ancient saint-level powerhouse, but asking him to cultivate a transformation god extreme who is the most rigid and the most masculine, who is in charge of the sun's true flame, is a bit too strong, isn't it? Not bad, that mysterious powerhouse specializes in the true fire of the sun, which is the nemesis of ghost cultivators and blood devils, so it definitely isn't from the south versus the north. Can't it be that it's the handiwork of the western barbarian demon sage? It doesn't look like it either, besides, the western demon road, separated from the east sea by a moral immortal sect, is hard to cross not to mention, what does it want to do when it comes? The many cultivators in the East Sea were talking. Constantly discussing the origin of that mysterious strong man. After all, the East Sea Islands, although the fish and dragons are mixed, but so close to the refined void level of the transformation god Heavenly Monarch, or extremely rare, each more than one, are able to affect the current situation of the East Sea Islands. The Sea of Blood and Magic. Bright red, blood-like waters swirled. Deep within the Blood Demon Sea, on top of a small island, a man wearing a blood-colored robe sat cross-legged. In front of him, there were illusory images suspended. Precisely the scene not long ago when Ling Yuan Yang Shen overthrew the Black Veil Islands. True fire of the sun? How long has it been since there has been a heavenly monarch who has mastered the true flame of the sun? The corners of the blood-colored robed man's mouth lifted as a smile emerged. The true fire of the sun is the world's most masculine fire, claiming to burn everything. It doesn't seem to be someone from the moral immortal sect. The man in the blood-colored robes fell into thought and immediately spoke, someone come. Master. The sea of blood rolled around and coalesced into a figure that bowed towards the blood-colored robed man. Go and check this person out for me, don't offend him, the enemy of the immortal sect is the friend of this seat, do you understand? The blood-colored robed man said indifferently. The underworld ghost palace. On a dark, dark throne sat the man with the withered face. This level of the sun's true flame. This withered man frowned slightly. As a ghost cultivator, even if one has reached the level of refined void. However, there was still an instinctive rejection of the sun true flame and other supreme young flames. However, the withered man was also clear that this mysterious powerhouse who had mastered the true flame of the sun should have a grudge against the virtue immortal sect. Is. Whatever power it wields. All are allies of the underworld ghost palace. Little six. The withered man spoke. A soft woman appeared. If one looked closely, one would realize that the soft woman's figure, which was somewhat transparent, was a ghost cultivator. Take a trip to the East China Sea. Pry as much as you can about this man. After the withered man finished, he instructed again, remember, he may be our ally. So don't make any rash moves. Time passes. Five years have passed. Cloudy bliss. Cultivation chamber. Lin Yuan sat there alone with his knees crossed, the blood in his body flowed like a great river, a hot chi and blood caused the temperature of the entire chamber to soar and the air to distort. Physical cultivation is at the peak of transformation god. It's still a little bit short of trying to break through to refine void. Lin Yuan opened his eyes and calmed his chi and blood. Now I vaguely feel that deep within my body's bloodline, there is some sort of power awakening, is that the flesh body avatar? A look of anticipation appeared on Lin Yuan's face. The fleshly aptitude, which was different for everyone, came from the power latent deep within the bloodline of the body. No one knew what kind of fleshly body aptitude they would have until it was completely awakened. Of course, no matter which kind of fleshly aptitude, it was of great use to the cultivator, who was a power independent of the immortal Tao system. Take your time. I'm in no hurry. Lin Yuan stopped cultivating. In these five years, other than in the lineage of physical cultivation, he had reached the peak of transformation spirit from the early stage of transformation spirit. Lin Yuan had similarly opened up the martial Dao cultivation system from the first stage of the sixth order to the third stage of the sixth order. If we follow the immortal Dao cultivation system of this realm, Lin Yuan was now at the peak of the void refining stage into the void realm. Count the hours. The white jade island should be coming out. Lin Yuan's heart moved slightly as he looked in the direction of the East Sea. Five or six years ago, there were rumors that White Jade Island was about to come out. However, in reality, it would take a short period of time for the White Jade Island to go from being about to come out to being fully out. After all, the process of rising from the bottom of the deep to the surface of the sea cannot be done overnight. But even if it's any slower, it's almost surfaced now. It just so happens that if martial arts want to spread and establish power, they must have territory. 
The Taoist Immortal Sect has the Taoist Immortal Mountain, the Lord of Blood Demons occupies the North, the King of Ghost Cultivators occupies the South, and the Savage Demon Saint occupies the West. Then my martial path will start with this White Jade Island. Lin Yuan thought in his heart. First, the White Jade Island will be in his hands, then he will recruit disciples and practice martial arts, according to Lin Yuan's planning, at most 200 years, it will sweep through the East Sea Islands, and in 300 years, the martial arts will be alongside the demon, ghost, and devil paths, just like the Dao De Immortal Sect. As for how far the martial Dao could go in the end, it depended on what realm Lin Yuan was able to cultivate to. East China Sea Islands. Lin Yuan Yangshan stood in the clouds. White Jade Island. Lin Yuan looked distantly into the distance, at this moment, the aura there was flourishing, as if it was the source of the aura of the East China Sea, continuously spewing out vast aura in all directions. On the other hand, it was a sign that the White Jade Island was about to come out completely. Go. Lin Yuan's figure disappeared. Deep in the East Sea. Vast aura pressure swept around. A huge island slowly floated up from beneath the surface of the sea. It was said to be an island, but in reality, the area of this island was several times the size of the Kanglin Star, but compared to the vastness of the ocean in the Middle Kingdom. It was indeed just an island. The White Jade Island is out. Hurry up, if you're late, the chances are all shot. Yeah, make it quick. Tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of East Sea cultivators had been waiting for a long time. The moment the White Jade Island appeared, it was going to swarm to it. However, just then, a heavy heavenly might enveloped. The figures of dozens of God Transformation Stage Heavenly Monarchs stood proudly beneath the sky. It's the Celestial Monarch. Damn it, the Heavenly Monarchs of the 800 side sects and 3000 left paths have joined forces, they want to overrun White Jade Island. Damn it, why don't we have a Heavenly Monarch to rely on? Countless East Sea casual cultivators were angry and helpless. In the East Sea Islands, the strongest are honored. This is the rule, the Iron Law. Fellow Taoists, we will not let everyone return without accomplishing something. Later on, the outer area of White Jade Island will be open to everyone. Beneath the dome of the sky, a female heavenly monarch opened her mouth, her voice resounding in the ears of every cultivator. Outer regions? It's okay, although the aura is far inferior to the inner circle of White Jade Island, it's still better than outside. Who called us weak? The many scattered cultivators of the Eastern Sea were slightly relieved in their hearts when they heard this. At least this time they hadn't made the trip in vain. The White Jade Island is empty. Beneath the vault of heaven. Dozens of God Transformation Stage Heavenly Monarchs confronted each other. This time, when White Jade Island comes out, my White Bone Sect will occupy 50% of the core area. A Heavenly Monarch with a body as white as bone slowly said. This Heavenly Monarch was named White Bone Heavenly Monarch. And was the Lord of the White Bone Sect in the 800 Side Sects. The White Bone Sect was considered extremely powerful in the 800 Side Sects and was able to rank in the top 5. 50% of the area at the core of White Jade Island, White Bone Heavenly Monarch, are you crazy? The other heavenly monarch, who exuded a shadowy aura, frowned. His name was Een Mountain Heavenly Monarch, and he was the lord of the 800 side sect, Een Mountain Sect. Although the Een Mountain Heavenly Monarch was not as strong as the White Bone Heavenly Monarch, there were dozens of heavenly monarchs on the field, and no matter how strong the White Bone Heavenly Monarch was, would he dare to go against everyone? Nice. White Bone, you're too greedy. The core area is up to 10% of your share. The female heavenly monarch who had spoken at the very beginning opened her mouth. She was the master of the 800 side sect Divine Trigram sect, also known as Divine Trigram Heavenly Monarch. Ha 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 ha. I have reached transformation god perfection and am only half a step away from impacting the refined void ancient saint realm. Not to mention asking for 50% of the core area, even if it's 10% of the core area, what are you going to do with me? The white bone heavenly monarch let out a cold smile, and an aura that had nearly reached the extreme of a transfiguration heavenly monarch began to permeate. The hearts of the dozens of heavenly monarchs on the field tightened. Although they were all heavenly monarchs at the god transformation stage, it was just that most of them were at the early stage of god transformation, with a few reaching the middle stage, and very few at the later stage. As for the white bone heavenly monarch's transformation god extreme, there was even none. In the East Sea Islands, the strongest is honored, since I am the strongest. I naturally enjoy the best resources, what objections do you have? The white bone heavenly monarch's tone was extremely domineering as he glanced at the other heavenly monarchs. The strongest? White Bone Heavenly Monarch, you're not the strongest in the East Sea, have you forgotten about the mysterious powerhouse who burned down the Black Veil Islands several years ago? A Heavenly Monarch was unconvinced. That one. The White Bone Heavenly Monarch remained arrogant, with my strength, even if that mysterious powerhouse shows up, what can I do? The White Bone Heavenly Monarch was confident in his bottom line. According to the scent that remained in the Black Veil Archipelago back then, the outside world's judgment of that mysterious powerhouse was that it was at the extreme level of the Transformation God. It definitely didn't touch the refined void ancient sage realm. Since this was the case, the White Bone Heavenly Monarch stooped down without fear. You're a transformation god extreme. I'm also a transformation god extreme. Who's afraid of who? Even if I can't beat you. And you're not going to beat me. Okay. 
Anyone else of you have an opinion? The white bone heavenly king didn't want to talk nonsense. He had already planned to go down as soon as possible and enjoy the rich spiritual chi of White Jade Island. The surrounding transformation god heavenly monarchs looked at each other, and in the end, they still didn't have the vigor to go against the white bone heavenly monarch. After all, this was a transformation god extreme powerhouse. Hoof. The white bone heavenly monarch glanced at the crowd, snorted coldly, and was about to enter the white jade island. Just then. Only to see the white jade island below. Slowly a figure flew out. Someone went to white jade island first? The heavenly monarchs on the field were a bit confused. They've been guarding the outside of white jade island. How could anyone get in under their noses? The Eam Mountain heavenly monarch's expression changed when he felt the arrival's aura. It's that mysterious strongman. Yes, the scent can't be wrong. The numerous heavenly monarchs stood in strict anticipation, and the figure that walked out from the white jade island had the power of the sun flowing through its body. Watching this figure was like looking directly at the sun overhead. Mysteriously strong? The white bone heavenly monarch looked solemn. Even though he had thought that one day, he would face off against this mysterious powerhouse who was also at the extreme level of transformation god. But it wasn't expected so soon. Under the watchful eyes of dozens of god-transforming heavenly monarchs, Lin Yuan ascended to the sky and walked to a height alongside the heavenly monarchs. The white bone heavenly monarch's face changed, and he finally held back the thought of striking out. Before understanding the purpose of this mysterious strongman, it was better to make peace. When the other heavenly monarchs saw that the white bone heavenly monarch had endured, they naturally dared even more not to make a move. Lin Yuan looked at the many god transformation stage heavenly monarchs with a calm expression. 800 side sex, 3000 left paths, I am the lord of the white jade island. Lin Yuan said softly with a smile on his lips, yes or no? The voice was not loud, but it reached the ears of every heavenly monarch, and even the many scattered cultivators of the eastern sea who were watching from below heard these two words. Dozens of heavenly monarchs looked at each other and did not speak. But their gazes were glancing at the white bone heavenly monarch. The white bone heavenly monarch only needed 50% of the core area of white jade island. This mysterious powerhouse was good and directly intended to take the entire white jade island. The white bone heavenly monarch looked at Lin Yuan, a huff of anger spreading across his face, what a big mouth, did he really think that he, the white bone heavenly monarch, was one of those ordinary transformation god heavenly monarchs? If you want to be the master of white jade island, have you asked him about white bone heavenly king? Seeing that no one responded, Lin Yuan swept his gaze over the heavenly monarch once again, and his complexion gradually turned cold, no and yes. Boom. This statement was made. As if giving an edict. The white bone heavenly monarch's expression changed wildly, and the other heavenly monarchs around him also showed fear. Greetings to the White Jade Island Master. The White Bone Heavenly Monarch immediately bowed and made a deep bow towards Lin Yuan. The remaining dozens of Heavenly Monarchs did the same, bowing down towards Lin Yuan in unison. Greetings to the White Jade Island Master. Two more shifts are over. I'm a little late writing this chapter with more words. I'm begging for a monthly ticket. Quill. End of chapter. Chapter 7 Establishing the Dao, Flesh Body Extreme, Request for Subscription. The White Jade Island is empty. Lin Yuan stood with his hands behind his back, his face calm. The dozens of God Transformation Stage Heavenly Monarchs, led by the White Bone Heavenly Monarch, all bowed and bowed in a respectful manner. Get up! Lin Yuan was in a good mood. Just now, he entered the interior of the White Jade Island and slipped around, realizing that the environment was not bad. Very suitable as a starting point for spreading the martial arts. Using the White Jade Island as the origin of martial arts, at least in the beginning stages, had been the best choice. Yes. The White Bone Heavenly Monarch and the other Transformation God Heavenly Monarchs were unanimously relieved in their hearts. Compared to Lin Yuan's good mood, the shock in the hearts of them, the Heavenly Monarchs of the God Transformation stage, could only be described as skyrocketing. In particular, the White Bone Heavenly Monarch at the head of the group had waves of shock in his heart. Just as Lin Yuan had just uttered the words, not and also, the White Bone Heavenly Monarch had already prepared to strike. Are you kidding me? The White Jade Island is a once in a millennium opportunity in the East China Sea. By what right did Lin Yuan surrender this precious island with the phrase, I am the White Jade Island Master? Just before the White Bone Heavenly Monarch made his move, he felt an ocean like pressure enveloping him. In this instant, it was as if the White Bone Heavenly Monarch had gone back to when he was still at the foundation establishment stage and saw two Yuaning stage true lords fighting and slaying. That kind of overwhelming pressure caused the White Bone Heavenly Monarch's heart and soul to tremble, and without hesitation, he chose to recognize Lin Yuan as the White Jade Island Lord. Because the White Bone Heavenly Monarch realized that if he didn't do that, he would end up in a very, very bad place. Maybe it's time to die. Compared to his own little life, what was the White Jade Island? The White Bone Heavenly Monarch gazed at the other White Face Transformation God Stage Heavenly Monarchs, knowing that they were presumably experiencing the same thing as himself. This mysterious strongman is not some transformation god extreme at all, he has at least. At least touched the threshold of refined void, perhaps a half step refined void ancient saint. The White Bone Heavenly Monarch was helpless in his heart. The transformation stage to the refining void stage required stepping through many great stages. 
To be at the extreme of the transformation spirit is simply to state that one has gone to the peak and the extreme at the transformation spirit stage. As for the distance to the refined void realm, it was still far out of reach. This was also the reason why void refining ancient saints were so rare in this realm. Specifically, after the god transformation extreme, there were still three or four more stages to go. They are touching the threshold of refinement, half a foot crossing the threshold of refinement, one foot crossing the threshold of refinement, and the greater part of one's body among the refinement and so on. In fact, in the main world, the fifth order to the sixth order, which was similarly similar, needed to undergo a soul fit transformation. For each additional point of transformation, the strength is increased by a fraction of a point. When Lin Yuan's soul transformation fit reached 100%, his battle power even reached the threshold of the sixth rank. Sure. This statement makes little sense to the vast majority of cultivators. In the eyes of a Yuaning stage true lord, the extreme of transformation of God and a large portion of one's body being amongst the refined void were both about the same. And at the moment. For the white bone heavenly monarch who had deeply felt the pressure emanating from Lin Yuan, he felt that Lin Yuan already had the strength of at least a half-step refined void ancient saint. Otherwise, it was impossible to give him such an irresistible feeling just by his breath. Come back wherever you are. Lin Yuan glanced at the dozens of trembling heavenly monarchs at the god transformation stage who didn't know whether they should leave or stay, and said indifferently. Then, White Jade Island Master, we will go back first. Dozens of god-transforming heavenly monarchs were like amnesty, turning into recluse light to stay away, just like a mouse seeing a cat. Lin Yuan watched the many god transformation stage heavenly monarchs leave. And didn't make a move. With his strength, he could certainly leave all of these dozens of god transformation stage heavenly monarchs behind. But there's not much point. The East Sea was vast, and although the cultivation environment was far inferior to that of the Middle Kingdom Divine Realm, the area was not much inferior. If Lin Yuan killed all the god transformation stage heavenly monarchs, the entire Eastern Sea Islands would definitely be plunged into even greater chaos. And it would attract the attention of the Virtue Immortal Sect, and the Blood Demon Sea and the Underworld Ghost Palace might also take the opportunity to extend their hands into the East Sea. As far as Lin Yuan was concerned, these god transformation stage heavenly monarchs in the East Sea, alive, could create no impact on him. Being dead would make the situation even more chaotic, which is why he didn't get up to kill. Above the sea. Countless East Sea casual cultivators watched as dozens of heavenly monarchs, who were originally like heavenly might, discussed how to divide White Jade Island. Then from within the White Jade Island, a figure walked out, and before he could say a few words, he called himself the White Jade Islander. What was even more unbelievable was that the White Bone Heavenly Monarch and the other heavenly monarchs did not have any opinions and directly bowed down to pay their respects. It's a no-brainer. And now, the White Bone Heavenly Monarch's group of transformation god stage people, even more so, did not hesitate to leave the White Jade Island, as if the current White Jade Island was no longer some kind of meat and potatoes, but a place of nightmares. What the hell happened? Why are the Heavenly Monarchs gone? What is the origin of that person who came out from within the White Jade Island? Saying that he is the White Jade Island Lord is the White Jade Island Lord? Countless East Sea casual cultivators whispered, this scene was too unbelievable, a heavenly monarch at the god transformation stage that looked like the heavens was so amiable? I remember, this person, should be the mysterious powerhouse who burned down the Black Veil Islands several years ago, I have been to the Black Veil Islands before, that kind of supremely sunny sun true flame aura, I can't forget it even now. So it's that strong man. It shouldn't be, didn't that powerhouse say that he only had the transformation god extreme? Why was he able to make the white bone heavenly monarch and a bunch of other heavenly monarchs retreat? It's not very simple, the East Sea Islands, the strongest is honored. The white bone heavenly monarch, who is also a transformation god extreme, only dares to ask for 50% of the core area of White Jade Island. And this strong man, who directly took the entire White Jade Island for himself, can only be said to have strength far beyond the transformation god extreme. The many scattered cultivators of the East Sea spoke one sentence after another, and surprisingly, they speculated about most of the matter. In fact, it wasn't hard to think that whether it was in the East Sea or the Middle Kingdom, strength determined everything. It seemed inconceivable that the White Bone Heavenly Monarch and the other god transformation stages would retreat, but after careful consideration, they understood the reason. Beneath the Vault of Heaven. Lin Yuan gazed down at the countless scattered cultivators of the Eastern Sea Islands below. I am Yuan Yang, I am the White Jade Islands Island Master, today I established the White Jade Pavilion and widely accept disciples, anyone who passes the test and worships in the White Jade Pavilion will be qualified to enter the White Jade Islands inner, core area to cultivate. Lin Yuan opened his mouth, his voice was gentle, but it resounded in the ears of every cultivator. Yuan Yang, on the other hand, was the name that Lin Yuan had given to this Yang God doppelganger, while the White Jade Pavilion was the force that Lin Yuan intended to establish to spread the path of martial arts advancement. Lin Yuan disappeared into the air over the White Jade Island after saying these words. And the countless East Sea cultivators below exploded. Yuan Yang, so this mysterious powerhouse is called Yuan Yang? Did you guys hear that, as long as you pass the test and worship the White Jade Pavilion, you'll be able to enter the inner area of White Jade Island to cultivate. I'm going to apply to worship the White Jade Pavilion, it's good to ride at the foot of a big tree, the Yuan Yang Island Master is powering over dozens of heavenly monarchs, it's definitely right to follow him. The many casual cultivators were quite moved. 
Of course, everyone knew very well that since Yuan Yang had mentioned passing the test, it meant that the White Jade Pavilion wasn't something that everyone could join. But anyway, it's always right to try. It's not like you have anything to lose. The fact that Lin Yuan had occupied the White Jade Island, established the power White Jade Pavilion, and widely collected disciples and disciples had not only caused shockwaves in the East Sea Islands, it was also noticed by the Taoist Immortal Sect, which was entrenched in the Middle Earth Divine Kingdom. Moral Fairy Mountain. The Great Hall at the top. The top level cultivators of the Immortal Sect gathered together. Buzz. High above the main seat in the Great Hall. Immortal Sect Patriarch Mu Qingliu's figure appeared. Sovereign. All rose to worship. Straight up. Patriarch Mu Qinglu opened his mouth. That mysterious powerhouse who made a move against the Black Veil Islands has appeared again, calling himself Yuan Yang, occupying the White Jade Island, establishing the power White Jade Pavilion, and widely accepting disciples. Mu Montin said immediately. Over the years, he was most concerned about this matter, after all, the Black Veil Islands, but his years of hard work, once destroyed, the blow can be imagined. Oh? That group of transformation gods in the East Sea, letting him do this? Immortal sect patriarch Mu Qinglu frowned. That's not true. Mu Mengting hesitated for a moment, at the time of the White Jade Islands' emergence, the 800 side sects and 3,000 left path heavenly monarchs of the Eastern Sea likewise had some thoughts about the White Jade Island, but in the end, they all voluntarily gave up. Patriarch, that Yuan Yang, his strength shouldn't be as simple as the transformation god extreme, it's estimated to be at the half-step refined void level. The curly-haired old man with golden lion hair stood up and spoke. Half-step refining void? Immortal sect patriarch Mu Qinglu was lost in thought. What do you think? How to treat this Yuan Yang is estimated to be at the half-step refined void level. The curly-haired old man with golden lion hair stood up and spoke. Half-step refining void? Immortal sect patriarch Mu Qinglu was lost in thought. What do you think? How to treat this Yuan Yang and the White Jade Pavilion? Mu Qinglu inquired. Patriarch, such a strong person, unless the refined void ancient sage makes a move, it will be difficult to deal with him. Jun Dongjin said. A half-step refined void ancient sage, whose strength had almost exceeded the level of the transformation god, and an ancient sage who didn't go out, was fearless. Even with the help of the immortal artifact Tai Hao Immortal Mirror, which descended from hundreds of millions of miles away to the immortal mirror incarnation, it couldn't help a half-step ancient saint. The immortal mirror incarnation, whose strength was far inferior to that of the original, possessed at most a power close to that of an ancient saint. It was just that the Yuan Yang Islander was a half-step ancient saint, and only a true ancient saint could pose a threat to him. However, the virtue immortal sect, only the patriarch of a refining the ancient saint, although there are many backhanded reserves, but are biased towards defense and guardianship and so on. Unless that Yuan Yang Islander took the initiative to step into the Middle Kingdom, the Taoist immortal sect could not do much about the vastness of the East Sea. As for having patriarch Mu Qing Lu holding a Jinzong immortal artifact, heading to the East Sea to kill the other side the moral immortal sect was not without its enemies. The Blood Demon Sea in the north of the Divine State, the Underworld Ghost Palace in the south of the Divine State, and the Savage Demon Saint's Nest in the west of the Divine State. As long as Patriarch Mu Qinglu dares to leave the Immortal Sect with the Sect Suppressor Immortal Artifact. Moral Immortal Mountain is then at risk of a sneak attack. For the sake of a mere half-step refined void, placing one's own Immortal Mountain in a dangerous place, even if it was only a very low possibility, was not worth it at all. Let's wait and see for now. Immortal Sect Patriarch Mu Qinglu spoke. As a matter of fact, with the depth of the doubt Immortal Sect, even if Mu Qinglu left with the Sect Suppressing Immortal Artifact, the Underworld Ghost Palace, the Blood Demon Sea, and the Savage Demon Sage Nest poured out their efforts, and they couldn't break down the Moral Immortal Mountain in a short period of time, but there was no need for that. Resisting the Siege of Three Refined Void Ancient Saints and not having an Ancient Saint of the same level sitting on the ground, the Dao Dei Immortal Sect would also need to pay a not so low price. That Yuan Yang Islander was merely a half-step Refined Void Ancient Sage, and it wasn't enough for the Dao Dei Immortal Sect to go to the expense of dealing with it. For hundreds of thousands of years, it wasn't like the Middle Earth Divine Kingdom hadn't given birth to such characters, and without the need for the Immortal Sect to make a move, the other party would have disappeared into history. Time passes. Another decade has passed. White Jade Island in the East China Sea. Within the core cave. Lin Yuan Yang God sat cross-legged. At the sixth stage, Lin Yuan's Yang God in God had almost coalesced into substance, and unless one went all out, one could not tell that it was a Yuan God at all. Little more than half a day later. Lin Yuan ended his cultivation. Walking out of the cave, he looked at the entire White Jade Island. Ten years, the White Jade Pavilion has grown quite a bit, and with Lin Yuan such a strong man sitting in the town, many loose cultivators in the East Sea are incomparably eager to worship in the White Jade Pavilion. Of course, the White Jade Pavilion's worship requirements, that is, no matter what kind of kung fu practiced before worship, after worship, must be abolished. Switch to cultivate martial arts. This requirement dissuaded many casual cultivators, but there were still many cultivators who willingly went to convert to the martial arts. As of today, there were more than 100,000 martial arts practitioners in Bayou Jing. Among them, there were 12 people of the third rank of martial Dao, 5,730 people of the second rank of martial Dao, and over 90,000 people of the first rank of martial Dao. 
The White Jade Island is full of spiritual energy, comparable to the Middle Kingdom Divine Kingdom Cave Heavenly Blessing, although martial arts does not rely on the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, but it is better than nothing. Master. Just as Lin Yuan walked out of the cave, a young girl with a clear face walked over and said respectfully towards Lin Yuan. This young girl, named Li Qing, was a disciple that Lin Yuan had taken in during the past 10 years, her martial arts qualifications were good, and now she had already stepped into the third stage of martial arts. How is the spreading of martial arts techniques going? Lin Yuan inquired. Li Qing not only has good qualifications, but also reliable, mature and sophisticated means, when Lin Yuan was in seclusion, most of the things in the White Jade Pavilion were handed over to the other party. Master, the Martial Dao beginning chapter technique has already spread throughout the East Sea Islands, and some of it has already flowed into the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture, as well as over at the Blood Demon Sea and the Underworld Ghosts. Li Qing responded. Nice. Lin Yuan nodded his head. If one wanted to spread the path of martial evolution, relying on just one White Jade Island White Jade Pavilion was naturally far from enough. Rather, it allows the martial arts system to circulate in this world, and in the future. Even if the White Jade Island White Jade Pavilion is destroyed and disappears, the martial arts system will still exist. That was Lin Yuan's purpose. The world consciousness of this heaven and earth, unlike the world consciousness of the Five Realms world, would not target a certain cultivation system. Cloudy Bliss. Cultivation Chamber. Lin Yuan sat there quietly, his breath flowing within his body. Suddenly. The aura emanating from Lin Yuan was violently raised by a fraction. Sixth Order, Fifth Stage. Lin Yuan opened his eyes and the aura he emitted quickly converged, just like an ordinary person. After ten years of cultivation, Lin Yuan had opened up the sixth stage chapter of the Martial Dao progression system to the fifth stage level. However, Lin Yuan also sensed that the further back he went, the more difficult it would be to open up, because the paths that Lin Yuan had opened up for the pathways of martial evolution were as perfect as possible. If he had just created an ordinary sixth order evolutionary pathway, Lin Yuan would not have had to put in so much effort at all. But, the physical cultivation side can break through to the refined void level instead. A smile spread out on Lin Yuan's face, for 10 years, in addition to opening up the pathways of martial arts evolution, Lin Yuan did not stop his drilling on the lineage of body cultivation. Nowadays, Lin Yuan's attainments in the lineage of physical cultivation were already beyond advancement, and he was just short of taking the final step. End of chapter. Chapter 8, Stepping on the Demon Saint's Nest, Request for Subscription. The body cultivation refining void level is almost enlightened. Lin Yuan thought in his heart. As long as he was willing, he could step into refined void on the lineage of physical cultivation right now. Becoming the first ancient sage of physical cultivation in the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture for hundreds of thousands of years. But, Lin Yuan's face fell into brief contemplation. Not the same as rejoining the Sixth Order. The lineage of physical cultivation was Lin Yuan's first contact. If one breaks through to body cultivation refinement void, it would be difficult to perfectly astringe all of one's own aura as if one were to return to the Sixth Order. Lin Yuan rejoined the sixth rank, focusing on the word rejoin, having long ago walked through the main world. Therefore, when he stepped into the sixth order again in this immortal Tao world, it was as simple as eating and drinking water, and the Taoist immortal sex Jinzong immortal artifact, the Taihao immortal mirror, which was always monitoring all the breaths in the divine state, froze and didn't discover that Lin Yuan had stepped into the sixth order. And if he were to break through to refine void in the physical cultivation lineage, Lin Yuan did not have the certainty of controlling his own breath, after all, he had not traveled this path before. You can't break through in the cloud mist blessed land. Lin Yuan thought secretly. The moral immortal sect is right next to it. This place belongs under the eyes of Tai Hao Immortal Mirror. Any hint of breath that was out of place would draw the attention of the Tai Hao Immortal Mirror, which in turn would draw the gaze of the immortal sect patriarch. For hundreds of thousands of years, the virtue immortal sect had sat in the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture, so why did the Blood Demon Sea, the Underworld Palace, and the Demon Saint's Nest not dare to invade easily? It was because of the Tai Hao Immortal Mirror. This immortal artifact of Jinzong, when activated on its own, was able to cover the Middle Kingdom. And if activated by an ancient saint, it could even form an immortal mirror incarnation and descend to any location in this realm. Of course, the farther the distance, the weaker the immortal mirror incarnation would be. Where is the breakthrough? In front of Lin Yuan, a heavy curtain of light appeared, which was the map of this heaven and earth. Lin Yuan's gaze first landed on the East Sea Islands region, after Yang Shen had sat on the scene all these years, the White Jade Pavilion had already become the first of the 800 side sects and 3,000 left paths in the East Sea. No. Lin Yuan considered for a moment and shook his head slightly. The East Sea was certainly the White Jade Pavilion's sphere of influence, and it was likewise an area of key concern for the Moral Immortal Sect, the Blood Demon Sea, and the Underworld Ghost Palace. Especially with the growth of the White Jade Pavilion's power over the years, the Virtue Immortal Sect had even invested some of their attention into it. Choosing to make a breakthrough in the East Sea was not a good thing, the Immortal Mirror incarnation of the Tao Dei Immortal Sect's Patriarch could descend at any time, there was no need to take the risk of this. Except for the East China Sea. Lin Yuan could only choose the North, the South, and the West. In fact, there is almost no difference between these three places, although they are often encountered by the moral immortal sect sweeping and suppressing, but the more so, on the contrary, the safer, after all, it is the darkness of the lamp. 
Choose the West. Lin Yuan had a decision in his heart. The western part of the divine state was the territory of savage demonic beasts. The demon saint's nest was the holy land of the savage demonic beasts, possessing demon saints that were comparable to the level of the refined void ancient saints. The savage demon sacred nest, on the other hand, belonged to Jun Wuji's father, Jun Dongjin, who was responsible for suppressing the sweep. Over the years, Lin Yuan had roughly figured out the layout of the manpower of the immortal sex disciples in suppressing the savage demonic beasts as well as their regularity. With this understanding, Lin Yuan was completely capable of completing his breakthrough unknowingly without being disturbed by any external forces. Even if during the breakthrough, some breakthrough visions were caused, it would be very difficult to be discovered in a short period of time, and by the time it caught the attention of other powerhouses, Lin Yuan would have long since left. Identified breakout locations. Lin Yuan then walked out of the cultivation chamber. My lord. Spring flower, autumn moon greeted them up with full cordiality. Eh? Lin Yuan nodded his head. A few days later. Lin Yuan instructed Spring Flower and Autumn Moon, I'm planning to go into seclusion lately, anyone who looks for me, put it off, big brother, second sister, father and mother as well. Yes. Spring Flower, Autumn Moon immediately responded. This isn't the first time this has happened either. Ever since Jun Wuji moved into the cloud mist blessed land decades ago, he had started cultivating like crazy, spending most of his time in seclusion. And in the meantime, it's not good enough for anyone. After instructing the Spring Flowers and the Fall Moon, Lin Yuan then entered the cultivation chamber once again. It's time to go. Lin Yuan stood within the secret room, leaving behind an aura of his own. This aura is able to take the place of oneself and be perceived by the spring flowers of the outside world. At the same time, as soon as someone breaks into this cultivation chamber, Lin Yuan could sense it no matter how far apart he was. As long as he was within this realm. Do it all. Lin Yuan then secretly left the cloud mist blessed land. This was the second time Lin Yuan had left since he moved into the cloud mist blessed land. The first time he left was when that immortal sect patriarch's grandfather cave ceremony was held. The edge of Middle Earth. An ordinary valley. At some point, a figure appeared. It's nice here. Lin Yuan looked towards the valley and nodded slightly. This valley is not within the boundaries of the Middle Kingdom. Nor was it in the savage demon beast territory, but rather belonged to the rushing slow zone between the two. Here, the Tao deity immortal sex Tai How Immortal Mirror was unable to monitor on its own unless the immortal sect patriarch took the initiative to activate it and specifically perceive towards this location. But the likelihood of this was very low, why would the immortal sect master do this for no reason? The reason why the immortal sect patriarch had mobilized the Tai How Immortal Mirror and descended to the East Sea in the first place was because Lin Yuan had made a move against the Black Veil Islands, destroying the immortal sect's layout. This is it. Lin Yuan came to the valley and sat cross-legged inside a certain cave. Phew. An illusory silhouette walked out from within Lin Yuan's body. It's none other than the Yin God. This breakthrough was a breakthrough in the physical body, so the Yin God Yang God was able to free up his hands to protect Lin Yuan. Ever since Lin Yuan had broken through to the sixth rank, the strength of the Yin God Yang God had also risen, and even if it was weaker than his own body, he still possessed a battle power at the level of the refined void ancient saint. With an ancient saint battle force protecting his path, Lin Yuan had chosen to make his breakthrough this time and chose to be in this kind of rushing and slowing area. So no matter what happened, he would have plenty of time to face it even if you take a step back. During the breakthrough, the immortal sect patriarch came to kill with a Xunzong immortal weapon in hand. The Yin God could also take Lin Yuan's original body and leave, it was nothing more than a failed breakthrough. For Lin Yuan, there were ways to make up for it, it was not considered a loss. Begin. Lin Yuan closed his eyes. The majestic qi and blood in his body began to slowly boil. East China Sea. White Jade Island. Just as Lin Yuan made his breakthrough, the Yanshan opened his eyes and looked in the direction where Lin Yuan was. I hope nothing happens. Lin Yuan Yangshan secretly thought to himself, but he stopped his seclusion and always paid attention to Lin Yuan's movements when he broke through the breakthrough. If some kind of extreme situation really happened and a strong person at the ancient saint level killed them. At the moment of necessity, this Yang God detachment could quickly disintegrate and then coalesce within the Yin God. That is, he crossed an infinite distance out of thin air and appeared beside Lin Yuan. Yang God Yin God is originally two sides of the same body, after the collapse of the Yang God, the Yin God pays a certain price, you can quickly give birth to the power of the sun, and then form the Yang God. The Yin God and Yang God fused and transformed into the Taiji Yuanshan, and his battle power was not weaker than Lin Yuan's original self at all. Of course, such means, for the Yang God Yin God, would cause some loss, but as long as it was able to ensure that the Honored One's breakthrough went smoothly, it was worth paying some price. On the other side of the slowdown zone between the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture and the forces of the Savage Demon Beasts. Jun Easy and Jun Jilan stood in the void. Commanding a large number of the immortal sex disciples as they slaughtered the savage demonic beasts. Just then. Jun Prowler's face changed slightly. He reached out and took out a disc mana. At the moment the pointer on it was constantly trembling. This disc magic treasure is called the Demon Sensing Disc. 
Being able to sense the number of movements of demonic beasts as well as their strength within a radius of tens of thousands of miles and tens of thousands of miles. And just then. The demon sensing disc, however, vibrated more than once. It should be that great prince of the demon Saint Nest who has risen from his awakening. June Prowler said gruffly. The Grand Prince? Jun Jilan's expression sank. The demon saint's nest was the holy land of savage demonic beasts, and within it, there were demon saints that were comparable to the ancient saints sleeping. If it wasn't for the demon saint's nest, the savage demon beasts would have long since been exterminated by the virtuous immortal sect, so how could they have existed until now? And the grand emperor was the first son of that demon saint in the demon saint's nest. The great prince's strength could be said to be the strongest under the ancient saints, and with his own demon saint bloodline, he was even able to erupt into a true ancient saint level of battle power in a short period of time. In that case, let all the disciples, for the time being, retreat into the divine state. Jun Jilan spoke. The savage demon beast's grand prince's strength was too terrifying, and the moral immortal sect did have the means to counteract it, but it was just unnecessary. The great prince's bloodline was special, and he spent most of his time in slumber, and only occasionally when he awoke would he come out and wander around. It could be said that as long as one avoided the period of time during which the grand prince awakened, the virtue immortal sect would not need to face such a terrifying opponent. Good. Jun Easy nodded his head. Give the order immediately. Countless virtue immortal sect disciples who were slaughtering demonic beasts. Stopping quickly as a way to get back to the Middle Kingdom range. In the meantime. The depths of the savage wilderness. A terrifying aura was reviving. Countless demonic beasts, great demons or demon kings, were shivering and creeping in place, not daring to move. Rumble. Only to see a figure of a thousand feet walking slowly, every step taken, the ground shook, and the ancient and barbaric atmosphere came out. Looking closely, the thousand-foot figure was a giant ape. What is the concept of a thousand feet, converted into the unit meter, that is three or four thousand meters, towering? Finally woke up again. Mother is really something too, she had to let me cultivate that kind of demonic decision, every hundred years, ninety of them have to fall asleep. The thousand foot giant ape walked in large strides, not paying the slightest attention to the countless demonic beasts that were trampled to death. To it, those demonic beasts were no different from mole crickets, who would care if they trampled a few mole crickets to death. What fresh air! Too bad it's only good for ten years. The thousand foot giant ape sighed, and in ten years it would have to proceed to sleep until it awoke again in a hundred years. Boom boom boom. The thousand foot giant ape took it in stride. The barbaric zone that was soon left came to the area that was gently rushing with the Middle Earth Divine Kingdom. Poof. Those immortal sect disciples, they are smart, they all ran away without a trace. The thousand foot giant ape glanced in the direction of the Earth and Divine State and had no intention of killing its way in. Although after nearly a hundred years of slumber. The thousand foot great ape's brain was a bit unsteady, but it wasn't a fool. Entering the Middle Earth Divine Region was tantamount to exposing oneself to that Tai How Immortal Mirror, and at any moment, one could face the Immortal Sect Leader's spaced out strike. Just hang out over here for a bit. The thousand foot giant ape intended to move his muscles. Just then, the thousand foot giant ape seemed to sense something and sniffed its nose. This breath. The thousand foot giant ape's eyes glowed as he vaguely sensed that there was a huge heaven and earth aura that was converging towards a certain location. It's the spiritual roots of heaven and earth coming out? Or is the world's great medicine ripe? The gigantic mouth of the thousand-foot giant ape split open. Mine, all mine. The thousand-foot giant ape immediately took a big step in the direction it sensed. Inside the valley. Lin Yuan opened his eyes. Alchemy body cultivator. Feeling the huge chi and blood in his body, Lin Yuan's mind was delighted. Flesh avatar. Lin Yuan could already feel that deep within his bloodline, a certain kind of aura had already been conceived and completed, and it could take shape at any time. Eh? Just as Lin Yuan was planning to check which fleshly body aptitude it was. The sound of rumbling and shaking came from the earth steeply. Next moment. Lin Yuan left the cave. Came above the valley. That? Lin Yuan looked towards the distance. Only a thousand foot giant ape was seen, running wildly towards this side. The demon sacred nest's grand prince? Lin Yuan immediately recognized the other party. After all, this demon was extremely famous, claiming to be able to call on the refined void ancient saint, and when it exploded, it even possessed ancient saint-level battle power. Rumble. The thousand-foot giant ape took big strides. Where is my heaven and earth spiritual root? Where is my worldly medicine? The thousand-foot giant ape stopped and looked around. With its size, it didn't notice the valley at its feet in the slightest. The so-called valley was a small mound of dirt in front of the thousand-foot giant ape. Eh? You're the one who stole my heaven and earth spiritual roots, and the world's great medicine? The thousand-foot giant ape looked closely and soon spotted a silhouette that was like dust. Far away. Several demonic beasts carefully sized up the thousand-foot giant ape. The Grand Emperor seems to be in a good mood? A wolf demon whispered. He was also a demon king at the god transformation stage, but in front of a thousand-foot giant ape, he was no different from those yuaning great demons. 
I can't believe someone from the clan didn't leave? A demon king next to him seemed to have discovered something and looked towards the tiny silhouette above the valley at the foot of the thousand-foot giant ape. Shouldn't have noticed, it's a pity to die at the feet of the grand prince. The third demon king whispered, his tone revealing gloating. The grand imperial prince had trampled to death an unknown number of demonic beasts along the way, and now that he had trampled a human, they only felt much more balanced. This human, who still doesn't run when he sees the grand imperial prince, may have a few points of strength. The demon king again couldn't help but say. Poof. What's the point of having a few strengths? In front of the grand imperial prince. Anything less than an ancient saint is all but a mole. The wolf demon that spoke at the very beginning let out a cold laugh. The grand prince of the demon saint nest was the strongest battle force under the demon saint. And rightly so. The rest of the demonic beasts nodded their heads. There aren't any spirit root herbs here. Lin Yuan stood at the top of the valley and said calmly. Lying. I clearly feel the aura of the spirit root pill. Did you steal my spirit root pill? The thousand-foot giant ape became furious, his voice buzzing like heavenly thunder rolling, go to hell. Immediately after that, the thousand-foot giant ape raised its right foot and directly stomped down towards Lin Yuan as well as the valley, wanting to crush it into pieces. Far away. Several demonic beasts saw this and looked at Lin Yuan as if they were looking at a dead person. To be precise, there was no demonic beast whose gaze lingered on Lin Yuan, because the next moment Lin Yuan would die at the feet of the Grand Imperial Prince. This kick of the Grand Prince, it involves the power of heaven and earth, it involves the wonders of space, even if one has even more speed, one can't avoid it, one can only resist it. Hardly resisting a kick from the Great Prince? This is not something that a human god transformation stage heavenly monarch can do, unless an ancient saint strikes, or ancient saint level talismans and treasures and other means of preserving one's life, one will surely die. Several demonic beasts discussed it quickly. Their gazes were likewise observing this kick of the Grand Emperor, wanting to learn something from it. Yet the next moment. All the demonic beasts froze. Only to see the incomparably lofty thousand-foot giant ape in their eyes, he steeply stumbled and couldn't help but take a few steps back, and the earth shook and tore open a few huge cracks. In the next moment again. The thousand-foot giant ape was plunged into the ground by a human foot. Under their incredulous gazes. Lin Yuan, who was originally as small as dust, at this moment seemed to have transformed into a giant that stood on top of the sky, directly stepping on the thousand-foot giant ape under his feet. With another kick, the thousand-foot giant ape that tried to resist was once again stomped deep into the ground. With another kick, the thousand-foot giant ape was spitting out blood, and the bones in its body made the sound of crumbling, only to see it covered in blood and dying. If it was before. However, Lin Yuan looked down at the thousand-foot giant ape as if he was looking at a mole cricket and calmly said, I have already gone to the depths of the savage wasteland and stepped on the demon saint's nest. Two more shifts are over. Guys don't raise the book ah, chase subscription off the heart. Lastly, I'm begging for a monthly pass. Quill. End of chapter. Chapter 9, Flesh Body Avatar, Mu Qingliu's Decision, Request for Subscription. The thousand foot giant ape was strong. This mighty was not limited to the physical body. Rather, it's more of a mastery of space and other rule arcana. If anyone thought that the thousand foot giant ape was just a silly big man with a huge body size, that would be a big mistake. Being able to harden against an ancient saint, the great emperor of the savage demon beast clan. How is it possible to be only a brute force? But it's a shame. The thousand foot giant ape met Lin Yuan. With the strength of a thousand foot giant ape, even if it did run into a certain ancient saint. There is also the ability to save your life. After all, the demon saint's nest was just far away. As long as the thousand foot giant ape holds out for a while. That demon saint from the demon saint's nest would then arrive. However, in front of Lin Yuan who had already crossed over into body cultivation refining void. The thousand-foot giant ape did not even hold on for a single breath before it was stomped by Lin Yuan's four feet and was dying of serious injuries. This is the physical cultivation of refining emptiness. In the Middle Kingdom, there had never been born an extreme power of the physical cultivation lineage. After crossing into the body cultivation refining void, Lin Yuan vaguely felt that he could suppress the surrounding void with a single punch or kick. One force breaks all laws. It is said to be a physical practice. If you're going to die anyway, you might as well. Lin Yuan looked down at the thousand-foot giant ape that was spitting out blood in a big mouth, and a decision was made in his heart. Far away. The several demonic beasts that were watching. At this point the crows were silent and staring. What do they see? The selfsame Grand Imperial Prince had not even the slightest resistance in front of that human race that was as small as dust. That's the Grand Prince. A great prince who was strong enough to call out to the ancient sage. How in front of Lin Yuan? Several demonic beasts looked at each other. They subconsciously felt that the great prince was not too weak. But in an instant. These few demonic beasts then recognized. How can the grand prince be weak? Along the way, the great prince was ferocious and powerful. They are in the heart. Since it's not the great prince who is weak. That is, that human being is too strong. It was so strong that it didn't even have the ability to resist the grand emperor. In the end. 
Exactly which ancient sage is it? Aren't you afraid of causing chaos in the world? The hearts and minds of these few demonic beasts trembled. That tiny human. Since he was able to make the Grand Imperial Prince lose his power of resistance with several kicks. It meant that this person was definitely at the ancient saint level. In today's world, the Virtue Immortal sect occupies the Middle Kingdom of China, while the Underworld Ghost Palace, the Blood Demon Sea, and the Demon Saint's Nest are located in the south, north, and west of the Divine State respectively. However, these four major powers had an unspoken rule. That is, ancient saints at the refined void level do not need to make a move unless it is absolutely necessary. Even though more than ten years ago, the Black Veil Archipelago in the East China Sea, where the Tao Deity Immortal Sect was laid out, was overthrown. The Patriarch of the Virtue Immortal Sect also descended an Immortal Mirror Incarnation at that time, and as for the main body, it was still sitting on the Virtue Immortal Mountain. Look, you guys, that guy, what's that guy doing? Several demonic beasts' thoughts were jumbled, and their pupils abruptly shrunk. Because. They see. That tiny human race. Toward the thousand-foot giant ape, he opened his mouth and sucked. Shasta. Originally still gasping for breath, the thousand-foot giant ape, the body's chi and blood vitality, as much as possible, began to flow madly. Less than a moment. Then he was turned into a withered bone. Nice nice. It's almost equivalent to dozens of quasi-sixth-ranked great medicines. A smile appeared on Lin Yuan's face. He had just broken through to body cultivation refinement void, and although his battle power had skyrocketed a notch, his body was falling into weakness due to the breakthrough. This thousand-foot giant ape came just in time and directly became Lin Yuan's sustenance to make up for his weakness. Just then. Accompanied by the complete fall of the thousand-foot giant ape. Deep in the barbaric wilderness. A huge aura began to revive. That demon saint? Lin Yuan glanced at it. It was no secret that the savage demon saint nest had a demon saint sitting in it. This demon saint, however, was in a state of slumber most of the time. Go. Lin Yuan had no intention of fighting that demon saint. It wasn't that Lin Yuan wasn't that demon saint's opponent, but it didn't make much sense. Nowadays, Lin Yuan had not yet reached the strength of invincibility, so it was good to keep this demon saint and hold back the morally mortal sect, there was no need to end it with one foot. A few moments later, a terrifying divine thought descended. It transformed into an even loftier and taller giant ape silhouette. Who the hell is it? This giant ape silhouette let out a low roar as it looked at the corpse of the Grand Imperial Prince, its heart raging to the extreme. It had great expectations for the Great Prince, and if all went well, the Great Prince would only need to sleep for another 5,000 years. He would be able to enter the level of the refined void ancient sage. Sessions. The savage demon saint nest will have two demon saints sitting in it. It might be able to get its hands on the middle kingdom. But now. The grand prince is dead. Many of its schemes have been dashed. Within a short period of time, among the countless demonic beasts in the savage wasteland, none of them had the potential to ascend to demon saint. Eh? This giant ape silhouette gazed into the distance, at several trembling demonic beasts. Spinning around, he raised his right hand, and these few demonic beasts appeared in front of him. Soul searching. The giant ape shadow's mind moved slightly. Several demonic beasts had just seen a scene of images. Clearly surfaced. Such strength. When the giant ape silhouette saw Lin Yuan stomp on the Grand Imperial Prince several times. His face changed slightly. There are no rule subtleties involved, just the power of the physical body, this kind of means, from a human body cultivator, is this person a void refining stage body cultivator? The giant ape silhouette muttered. Physical cultivation is originally good at physical combat, combat power in the same level can be said to be extremely strong, but has been because of various reasons, can only become the subsidiary of the immortal road. The Virtue Immortal Sect? Cultivating a void refining level body cultivator? The giant ape silhouette's face was ugly. No matter what, physical cultivation was part of the immortal way. Now that there was an alchemy body cultivator out, it could only think towards the Virtue Immortal Sect. Half a day later. A mirrored light spanning an infinite distance descending on the gently rushing area between the Middle Kingdom and the Barbarians. The Demon Saint's heir is dead? Daoist Immortal Sect Patriarch Mu Qinglu frowned. Patriarch, at that time. Jun Prowler immediately opened his mouth to explain. After sensing that the savage demon beast Grand Emperor was about to awaken, Jun Easy then allowed many of the Immortal Sect's disciples to return to the Middle Kingdom for the time being. Also, Jun Prowler also passed the secret art. Watch the movement of the thousand-foot giant ape from afar. The result was an unbelievably appalling sight. There is the great prince of a thousand feet tall. Surprisingly, he was trampled to death by a tiny figure several feet. Jun Easy did not see the appearance of that tiny figure. It was because this person's chi and blood surged around him, repelling any artifacts and aptitudes. Let's see. Immortal sect patriarch Mu Qinglu came to the place of the incident. Then with the help of the mirror light of the Tai Hao Immortal Mirror, he began to conduct a retrospective up. This was the ability of the Tai Hao Immortal Mirror, capable of forcibly retracing a certain image from an area's past. Sure. 
The retrospective picture cannot involve the refined void level. Ancient saints had already begun to influence the surrounding heaven and earth, and were the nemesis of this type of retrospective means. Buzz. The images flowed. Next moment. The image was filled with endless chi and blood. It really is an ancient saint, and it's also a physical cultivation ancient saint. The immortal sect patriarch Mu Qing Lu was silent, although the image did not specifically go back to anything, but based on June Prowler's explanation, as well as the scent that remained at the scene. He could already surmise a lot. Ancient saint of physical cultivation? When has my Middle Earth Divine Prefecture ever given birth to such a strong person? Mu Qing Lu thought with a frown. He didn't know whether this ancient sage of physical cultivation, with his virtue immortal sect, was an enemy or a friend. However, there was no doubt that a physical cultivation ancient saint who excelled at attacking and attacking could completely affect the balance of the four major powers today if he so wished. North of God's Country The Sea of Blood and Magic The Blood Demon Lord sat cross-legged on a small island deep within the Blood Demon Sea. Although he was also a refined void ancient saint, he was one with the Blood Demon Sea. So possessing the ability to be nearly immortal, but at the same time losing its freedom. The present could not leave the range of the Blood Demon Sea. Sure. If one is willing to pay the price. The Lord of Blood Demons was also able to enter the Middle Earth Divine Realm. That was to catalyze the Blood Demon Sea so that it would begin to expand. As long as the Blood Demon Sea was large enough to cover the entire world. Then the restriction that the Blood Demon Lord could not leave the Blood Demon Sea was the same with or without it. Ha! Huh? A message from the Demon Saint? The Lord of Blood Demons raised an eyebrow. To work together to fend off the moral immortal sect. Between the Demon Saint's nest, the Blood Demon Sea, and the Underworld Ghost Palace, there had always been a habit of sharing information. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. The moral immortal sect was too powerful. They will only lose faster if they don't join forces. A physical cultivation ancient saint has appeared? The blood demon lord looked grave. Physical cultivation lineage, the upper limit is the stage of god realization, so it is a vassal of the immortal way, many immortal cultivators have been using physical cultivation techniques as a means of strengthening the body. Even so. If one did not rely on external objects, a physical cultivator of the same level was always not much weaker than an immortal cultivator of the same level even stronger in some ways. Especially. The lineage of physical cultivation begins at the transformation stage. Then there is an extremely low probability that a fleshly aptitude will be born. A transformation stage body cultivator has a probability of mastering the fleshly body aptitude. Theoretically, a void refinement stage body cultivator had a higher possibility of mastering fleshly aptitude. This ancient sage of physical cultivation, where the hell did he come out from, is the backhand of the virtue immortal sect? The blood demon lord desperately wanted to know the identity of this body cultivation ancient saint. If this ancient saint of physical cultivation was truly from the virtue immortal sect. In the next thousands of years and tens of thousands of years, the blood demon sea, the demon saint's nest, as well as the underworld ghost palace, will not be able to turn over, and can only hide in their respective territories to languish. South of God. The underworld ghost palace. Ancient saint of physical cultivation? The withered man sitting on the throne had a bit of a headache. The world has changed so much in recent decades. First, a Yuan Yang Islander appeared out of nowhere in the East Sea, with the strength of a half-step refined void ancient sage. As a result, now, there was another body cultivation ancient saint. As the king of ghost cultivators, how could the withered man not know the might of a physical cultivation ancient saint? These people, they all came out of nowhere. The withered man rubbed his brow. That Yuan Yang Islander in the East Sea, let's leave aside the half-step refined void strength, maybe a certain reclusive powerhouse. But the ancient sage of physical cultivation? This thing hasn't been around since the beginning of time? There has to be some kind of warning, right? For example, Xian gave birth to a group of transformation stage physical cultivators. Then from within this batch of god transformation stage body cultivators, a body cultivation ancient saint was born. That's what you call a step-by-step -step approach. Still need to check. What exactly is the position of this refined void ancient saint? The withered man did not think that this ancient saint of physical cultivation came from the virtue immortal sect. With the latter's overbearing style of acting. If a physical cultivation ancient saint was born in his own family couldn't wait for the publicity to come out. How is it possible that we haven't heard anything until now? Cloudy bliss. Lin Yuan silently appeared in the cultivation chamber. No one noticed. Lin Yuan looked at the situation in the cloud mist blessed land in the past 10 days or so since he left. All was found to be in order, no one else had come to visit, and the spring flowers and autumn moon were all honestly guarding the outside. Flesh avatar. Lin Yuan breathed a light sigh of relief. At this moment, he vaguely felt a throbbing deep within his bloodline that had almost taken shape and could break out of its shell at any time. Exactly which kind of fleshly aptitude is it? Lin Yuan looked expectant and quietly waited up. After a small half day, the fleshly body aptitude was thoroughly formed. In an instant, a great deal of information about the fleshly aptitude. It flooded into Lin Yuan's mind. Flesh avatar, blood drop rebirth? 
Lin Yuan was glowing. This fleshly body aptitude was all-powerful. It's good to stay alive. So much for wrestling. All of them are of great use. According to the introduction of this door's divine power. As long as Lin Yuan's physical body had not completely turned into nothingness. But where a drop of blood exists, it can be quickly reborn. That would be very scary. Like Lin Yuan, an evolved person who possessed the martial Dao Yuan Shun. Even if the flesh collapses, the Yuan Shun still had the power to fight. But for the vast majority of Sixth Order Evolvers, if you don't have a physical body, although it's not considered death, the strength of the soul body spirit body, but it will be greatly discounted. First realize the essence of the principle of this divine power. Lin Yuan's thoughts collected and he began to carefully study it with his heaven-defying enlightenment. The avatar dripping blood to rebirth was certainly very good, but it came from the power of Jun Wuji's bloodline in this world. That is to say, once Lin Yuan's residency time was up, he returned to the main world, even if he re-became a void refining stage physical cultivator. The awakened fleshly aptitude was not necessarily a blood drop rebirth. After all, the two had different flesh bodies and different bloodlines. Only. As long as one realizes the essential principle of the blood drop rebirth avatar. No matter where he was, Lin Yuan was able to use this divine ability. The so-called divine ability, the so-called talent, was nothing more than a complex art. When you realize the essence, you can easily perform it. This is the terrifying aspect of counterintuitive enlightenment. Study of all things. In turn, they apply all things. Moral Immortal Sect. The Great Hall at the Top. Patriarch Mu Qinglu sat there expressionless. Can't keep waiting. Mu Qinglu stood up and whispered to himself. The trail of an ancient saint of physical cultivation appeared in the gently rushing area between the Middle Earth and the Barbarians. This made Mu Qinglu a little uneasy, as well as feeling a hint of pressure. If this ancient saint of physical cultivation were to join forces with the Underworld Palace, the Blood Demon Sea, and the Demon Saint's Nest, even though it still wouldn't be able to shake the foundation of the Tao De Immortal Sect, it would still cause great chaos in the world. Today's Tao Deity Immortal Sect was in dire need of a second refined void ancient sage to sit on the sidelines. Originally, Mu Qinglu had wanted to wait and see for a while. Choosing the ultimate heir from between Jun Dongjin and Mu Mingting. Just for now. There's not that much time left. The current resources that the Tao De Immortal Sect has at its disposal, as well as its means. Only enough to forcefully push one person to the refined void stage. As long as the Immortal Sect has two ancient saints in attendance, even if that physical cultivation ancient saint, joins forces with those three old guys, it won't help. Mu Qinglu thought silently in his heart. Two ancient saints sitting on Mount Tao De Immortal, the effect that that produced was not as simple as 1 plus 1 equals 2. Jun Dongjin Mu Mengting. The names of these two flashed through Mu Qingliu's mind, and his heart had already made up its mind. End of chapter. Chapter 10, Attack and Kill, Out of the Way, Request for Subscription. On Qualifications. Definitely Junto Jin has the advantage. Mutant Heavenly Spirit Root Talent, enough to squeeze into the top 50 in the hundreds of thousands of years of history of the Tao Immortal Sect. And Jun Dongjin is a steady person, if he can cross into the refined void stage. It wasn't difficult to continue maintaining the Taoist Immortal Sect's dominant position in the Middle Earth Divine Realm. But. Jun Dongjin was an outsider after all. Even if you marry a female cultivator of the Mu family. But also an outsider. Jun Dongjin became the future sect leader of the Taoist Immortal Sect. Definitely won't let the Mu family continue to be dominant, for whatever reason. Both will suppress the Mu family. It's a higher power instinct. On the contrary. If Mu Mengting became the next patriarch of the Tao De Immortal Sect. The above would not have happened, after all, Mu Mengting was a Mu family cultivator. Mu Qinglu looked calm, at his realm, no matter who became the next Immortal Sect patriarch. It didn't matter much. Most importantly. How can I defend the interests of the Mu family? And. Numantii is just not as good as Jun Dongjin. Compared to the rest of the Tao Immortal Sect, Mu Menting was already located at the top. With the hundreds of thousands of years of accumulated heritage of the Virtue Immortal Sect, Mu Mengting would not have any problems sitting in the position of the sect leader. Don't blame me, Tojin. If you want to blame it, blame it on the fact that you're not a Mu family member. Mu Qinglu thought secretly. In fact, if it takes a few more decades and centuries. Jun Dongjin if Mu Mengting impacted Refined Void first. Mu Qinglu really had the idea of training Jun Dongjin to be the next generation of the Immortal Sect's Patriarch. Unfortunately, time is not on my side. With both about the same progress. Mu Qinglu naturally prioritized his own family. Since he had decided to fully cultivate Mu Mengting, Mu Qinglu naturally began to suppress Jun Dongjin. Otherwise, Jun Dongjin would inevitably have an unbalanced state of mind when he saw Mu Mengting attempting to impact the void refining stage with the clan's full assistance. At that time, no matter what move was made, it would be a loss to the Immortal Sect. So, Mu Qinglu was going to transfer Jun Dongjin out of the Virtue Immortal Sect ahead of schedule. With Dong Jin's qualifications, even without the clan's assistance, he is still expected to cross into the half-step ancient saint level in the future. 
I'll be the villain and step in to transfer the Tojin family. When Meng Ting becomes the patriarch in the future, he can gain the allegiance of Dong Jin by transferring him back and reassigning him to a new position. Mu Qinglu thought in his heart. In the immortal Tao world, individuals grasped greatness. But harnessing a power didn't mean that strength alone was enough. Especially for the virtue immortal sect, with the underworld palace, demon saint's nest, and the blood demon sea eyeing them, an ancient sage level patriarch would need to sit on the virtue immortal mountain at all times. At this time, if one wanted to manage the entire Middle Earth Divine Kingdom, it depended on whether or not one's subordinates gave a damn. And in Mu Qingliu's opinion, Jun Dongjin was clearly a very qualified subordinate. Even if he can't become the immortal sect patriarch, being a stewardship elder, I don't know how much heart he can save for the patriarch. Moral Fairy Mountain Jun Dongjin, Mu Runner, and the family of four, Jun Easy and Jun Jilan, sat there with furrowed brows. What does grandpa mean, letting our family go to sit on Mangjia Mountain? It's a remote location and there's not much in the way of important supplies, so why let all four of us go? Jun Jilan said with some dissatisfaction. She was living well in the Virtue Immortal Mountain, which was full of aura and had a suitable environment for cultivation, as for the Mangi Cliff Mountain? Although it was still located in the range of the Middle Earth Divine State, it was naturally far worse compared to the Doubt Immortal Mountain. The Patriarch should have the Patriarch's considerations. Perhaps Munchkin Mountain has important resources that we don't know about? June Prowler was always thinking from the Patriarch's point of view. I'm going to ask father what's going on. Mu Renner got up, intending to go see Mu Qinglu. She couldn't understand why, for no reason at all, her father had suddenly made such a transfer to their family. All these years, Jun Dongjin had done the tasks that the patriarch had explained to him, well, without the slightest mistake. There was no need to come to this kind of order. Mercy. Jun Dongjin hurriedly stopped Mu Renner. The patriarch has issued a clan order for this matter, this matter is already nailed down, you going over there is making things difficult for the patriarch. Jun Dongjin shook his head and said, just in time, the last few decades have been busy with the affairs of the clan, and now I am idle just in time to rest and relax. I've heard that over at Munchkin Mountain, there are a large number of mortal kingdoms converging, so I'll take you guys on a nice stroll then. Father you can be so optimistic. Jun Jilan rolled her eyes. Jun Dongjin was right about one thing though. Regarding the mobilization of their family, it was ordered by the patriarch through a sect order. There is no more room for change, for maneuver. Even if they were no longer willing, they could only follow the order. To do otherwise is to betray the immortal sect. Maybe father just wants to sharpen your hearts and will soon transfer back. Mu Runner comforted. Moral Fairy Mountain. Mu Family Peaks. Mu Mengting and several of his beloved subordinates arrived at a secret room on top of the mountain peak. This was also one of the few places in the entire Middle Earth Divine Prefecture that was not under the surveillance of the Tai Hao Immortal Mirror. Senior Brother Mengting, have you heard that Jun Dongjin is going to be transferred out, and the family of four is heading to Mengjia Mountain to sit in the town? A round faced man whispered, unable to keep his tone from emitting pleasantries. Over the years, Mu Mengting and Jun Dongjin had fought openly and secretly for the position of the patriarch for I don't know how many times. Jun Dong Realm was a mutant heavenly spirit root, and was quite well liked within the sect, and was valued by those few supreme elders. So even with the background of the Mu family, Mu Mengting had suffered many times. Even Mu Mengting was like this, and his beloved subordinates were even more needless to say. Now that they heard that the Jun Dongjin family was about to be transferred, the pleasure in their hearts could be imagined. If they weren't subject to the sex rules, they were afraid that they would have already celebrated outside. Why did Patriarch transfer the Jun Dongjin family out? Numantin was in an equally good mood, but still began to think about it. He didn't realize that Patriarch Mu Qinglu had already planned to choose him as the future Patriarch, and had transferred Jun Dongjin away for his sake. And to lay out the groundwork for a later takeover of Jun Dongjin. I heard that some time ago, a big event happened over in the barbarian wasteland. The second subordinate spoke up, the demon saint Nest's Grand Emperor is dead, seemingly at the hands of an ancient saint. I've heard about this too. Numantin nodded. However, no one knew exactly how and which ancient saint had made the move. The patriarch should know it well, but if the patriarch himself doesn't say anything, no one dares to ask. Senior brother Mengting, whether or not it has anything to do with this matter. None of this matters. Now, there is an unprecedented opportunity. That Jun Dongjin was transferred away from the immortal sect, but that doesn't mean he won't return in the future. The third commanding officer lowered his voice. What do you mean? Mu Mengting's face changed slightly. Hey! In the past, that Jun Dongjin was surrounded by a large number of men following him. But this time, the transfer order, the patriarch made it clear that only Jun Dongjin's family of four would be allowed to travel to Mount Mangjia. If Jun Dongjin's family died on the way to catch the road, I'm sure it's not a difficult task, right? This commanding officer's tone was icy. The Taihao Immortal Realm covers the entire Middle Earth Divine Region, so as soon as we make a move, we'll be exposed. Numantin said, shaking his head. What the Taihao Immortal Mirror monitors is the Fey Aura, if the cultivators of the Blood Demon Sea, Demon Saint Nest, or Underworld Ghost Palace, dare to enter the Middle-Earth Divine Prefecture, they will naturally be detected by the Immortal Mirror. 
but if it's the aura of successive patriarchs striking out, the immortal mirror won't do anything even if it senses it. This commanding officer continued. Are you saying that you want me to use the talismans of the immortal sect successive patriarchs, left behind at the void refining stage? Mumantine said. The so-called talisman is to leave the power of one's own strike in the corresponding talisman paper through special means. If the descendant activated the talisman, it would be equivalent to stimulating the power of that strike within the talisman. The virtue immortal sect had been passed down for hundreds of thousands of years, and every void refining stage patriarch would leave behind some talismans that preserved their full strength strikes inside. Successive generations of void refining stage patriarchs had all been the owners of the Taihao Immortal Mirror. The aura of their strikes would be outside the range of the Taihao Immortal Mirror's vigilance. No. It was certainly not noticeable at the time. But afterward, if the patriarch pursues it, it's only a matter of time before it's exposed. Mumontan still shook his head. If Jun Dong Jin dies, the patriarch is bound to investigate. The ability of the Taihao Immortal Mirror to retrace. He can't hide that little trick of his. Yeah. The patriarch must know. But by that time, Jun Dongjin was already dead. In my virtue immortal sect, you, senior brother Meng Ting, are the only one who can succeed to the position of sect leader? The commanding officer continued. There are so many disciples of the virtue immortal sect, there is no lack of geniuses, besides me, there are a large number of disciples that are capable of being candidates for sovereign. Numantii remained a bit hesitant. Senior brother Meng Ting, you're underestimating your position within the clan. Unless the immortal sect can once again produce a mutant heavenly spirit root like Jun Dongjin. No within a thousand years, you are the most suitable candidate for patriarch, and there is a sentence I don't know if I should say. My virtue immortal sect, successive patriarchs, have reigned for a maximum of 15,000 years, and now patriarch Mu, has almost reigned for 12,000 years. Senior brother Meng Ting, you are also a member of the Mu family, a direct descendant of the patriarch, and excluding Jun Dongjin, if he doesn't cultivate you, who else can he cultivate? But if we let that Jun Dongjin come back alive, it's impossible to say who the future sect leader's position will actually be in the hands of. Listening to the advice of his beloved commanders. Mu Mengting's face changed color. Good. After a long time, Mu Mengting violently got up and said with an icy gaze. Outside the cloud mist blessed land. Jun Dongjin, Mu Runner, as well as Jun Easy and Jun Jilan, were bidding farewell to Lin Yuan. Little brother, just stay in the cloud mist blessed land. Jun Jilan said with reluctance. In the clan's order, it merely allowed Jun Dongjin's family of four to travel to the Mangji Cliff Mountain. As for Jun Wuji, the youngest son who stayed in the cloud mist blessed land all year round and did not come out, he was not included. Perhaps in Mu Qingliu's eyes, Jun Wuji didn't need to pay attention at all, what was a Jin Dan stage physical cultivator to the Dao deity immortal sect. Besides, Jun Wuji had never voluntarily entered the virtuous immortal mountain since he worshipped the cloud mist blessed land and belonged to the absolute harmless objects. Be careful on your way. Lin Yuan looked at Jun Dongjin and Mu Runner and opened his mouth. What's there to be careful about? That Mangia mountain is also in the Middle-earth divine prefecture, and within the Taihao immortal mirrors might, those defeated dogs from the underworld palace, the demon saint nest, and the sea of blood demons will not dare to make a move against me? Jun Dongjin said with a smile. Obviously, he was very confident in his own Jinzong immortal weapon. Whatever. It's always right to be careful. Lin Yuan said. External enemies are not to be feared. The real thing to watch out for is the enemy from within. Let's say it's that Numantii. Knowing through the years. Lin Yuan knew that Mu Mengting belonged to the type of person who was vindictive. It's not that cultivators of this character are bad. But always have to be on guard. Got it. Then we'll go ahead. Jun Dongjin waved his hand and left with Mu Runner, Jun Easy, and Jun Jilan. Lin Yuan watched Jun Dongjin and the others disappear. Immediately, he turned around and went back inside the cloud mist blessed land. Cultivation chamber. Lin Yuan sat cross legged. Go on, follow them. Lin Yuan's mind moved slightly. The Taiyin Yuan Shen came out from within his body. It quickly disappeared in place. The old Munchkin Road. This is the way to Munchkin Mountain. In the middle of a dense forest next to an ancient road. Several figures stood here at their best. These several figures, with their hidden auras, were all unexpectedly strong heavenly monarchs at the god transformation stage. Arrived. That family of Jun Dong Jin is almost here. Several figures watched carefully. Sensing the scent from thousands of miles away. One could only see a jade carriage rapidly approaching, clearly a top-grade airship magic treasure. We don't need to do anything later, we can just activate this talisman together. The figure in the lead, with great difficulty, took out a light golden-colored talisman from within his storage bag. This light golden talisman, even if it wasn't activated, emitted an incomparably terrifying power. Void Refining Stage Talisman Several figures beside him were full of scorching heat as they sized up this talisman. This is the heritage of the Virtue Immortal Sect, if it is not Mu Meng Ting who comes to the Mu family cultivators, not to mention taking out a piece of refined void stage talisman, even if the contact cannot be contacted. Just the jade carriage later. 
the leader, a heavenly monarch of the god transformation stage, began to make arrangements. A void refinement stage talisman, just to catalyze it, would require a joint effort from all of them, the heavenly monarchs of the god transformation stage. Suddenly. Just then. Under the watchful eyes of several god transformation stage heavenly monarchs. The light golden refinement stage talisman within their line of sight seemed to be stimulated by something. Surprisingly, it catalyzed itself. Buzz. The refinement stage talisman directly exploded. Forming an illusory defense barrier. Just the next moment. The defense barrier shattered. From the refined void stage talisman catalyzed on its own. To the barrier formed blew up. All that happened in an instant. Even with the reaction speed of a heavenly monarch of transformation. It was also a bit confusing at this point. What happened? This? The god transformation stage cultivator at the head of the group seemed to have thought of something. And a look of panic appeared on his face. Alchemy stage talisman. There are two general types of use. One is active prodding, and this method is offensive. The other is passive defense. It is when there is an irresistible threat. The alchemy stage talisman will operate on its own. Form a defense barrier. In this manner, even when facing the same level of refined void ancient saints attacking, the defense barriers can also block for a moment. Yet just now, a defensive barrier formed by a void refining stage talisman that only lasts for an instant? The heart and soul of the head transformation god stage heavenly monarch trembled. He subconsciously looked towards the canopy. Between heaven and earth, a breathtaking aura appeared at some point, ancient and pale, covering the sky. This heavenly monarch at the god transformation stage could vaguely see that above the sky, under the bright moon, there appeared a figure that exuded the aura of Tyeen and almost became one with the bright moon. Although this figure was under the bright moon, it seemed to encompass the entire bright moon. His left hand was behind his back, and his right hand was pressing down towards them, as if he was going to crush a few ants, only it seemed to be blocked by something and paused for an instant. Two more shifts are over. I'm begging for a monthly ticket. Quill. End of chapter. Chapter 11, Refined Void Ancient Sage, nothing more than that, request for subscription. The bright moon hangs high. The power of Tai Yin pervades. Lin Yuan looked down and looked at the several heavenly monarchs of the god transformation stage whose legs were weak. Although the Taiyin primordial spirit was following behind Jun Dong Jin and the others, how great was its perception? As early as tens of thousands of miles away, he had detected an ambush here. So he arrived early. Intending to run him over in the process. Only the power of that void refining stage talisman was still above Lin Yuan's expectations. Surprisingly, it blocked him for an instant? The immortal way cultivation system, too, has its faults. Lin Yuan's thoughts rose and fell, then such a talismanic way could preserve the power of a refined void ancient sage in a nearly complete state. The subtleties involved were such that Lin Yuan was somewhat awestruck. Boom. Just then. The center of the Middle Kingdom. A terrifying aura violently erupted. One could only see a mirror light that emanated infinite light and infinite jinxes descending in an instant, condensing a mirror light incarnation. Then directly will strike a blow towards Lin Yuan. This strike vaguely caused the surrounding space to prohibit condensation, and a terrifying power swept along every inch of air. Ordinary god transformation stage heavenly monarchs, even if that great prince of the barbarian demon sacred nest was resurrected, in the face of this strike, if they dared to resist it, there was a direct risk of falling, and the might of this strike had vaguely reached the peak of the cave realm of the refining void stage. Tai Hao Immortal Mirror. Trouble. Lin Yuan frowned slightly. He had already been very careful to restrain his power just now, but still, the Tai Hao Immortal Mirror detected the abnormality and directly descended over. However, it wasn't necessarily because the Taihao Immortal Mirror had discovered Lin Yuan's strike, it could be that the Void Refining Stage Talisman had crumbled, causing the Taihao Immortal Realm to sense something. Wow. Lin Yuan took a step back. The large sleeves fluttered, lightly blocking this strike that had almost reached the peak of the Void Refining Stage's Cave Void Realm. Buzz. Invisible fluctuations shook in all directions. And with the clash of the two ancient saint-level powers, if it wasn't intentionally restrained, the earth for thousands of miles in a radius would probably have already begun to crack. Thousands of miles away. Jun Dongjin and the others rode their jade carriage magic treasures a little closer and were the first to notice the fluctuations of the collision of ancient saint-level forces. There are two ancient saints fighting? One of them is the sovereign, who is the other? Jun Dongjin was astonished, there were only a few refined void ancient saints in the world, no more than two handfuls of them, and every one of them was renowned. There? Jun Dongjin raised his head to look up at the firmament and discovered that two figures were facing each other, the one on the left was draped in immortal light, it was none other than the mirror light incarnation of the immortal sex patriarch Mu Qing Lu. The figure on the right, with fluttering sleeves and a blurred face, stood under the bright moon, his aura as vast as the bright moon in the sky. The power of Taiyin, could it be that king of ghost cultivators from the underworld palace? Jun Dongjin guessed in his heart that amongst all the ancient saints of the world, only the king of ghost cultivators was closest to the aura of this figure. Dad, what do you see there? Jun Jilan seemed to have discovered something, pointing in a direction and whispering. 
Jun Dongjin looked along, only to see several heavenly monarchs of the god transformation stage, staying in a hidden corner shivering. These few god transformation stage heavenly monarchs were so pale that they didn't even have the courage to escape. They are? Jun Dongjin watched carefully. In the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture, including the East Sea, the Barbarian Wasteland, the Blood Demon Sea, and the Underworld Palace, there were a few strong people who were able to reach the God Transformation Stage. But they were all famous. The aura of a Void Refining Stage Talisman. Jun Dongjin looked grave. He vaguely sensed that there was the aura of Void Refining Stage Talismans around these several fear-filled God Transformation Stage Heavenly Monarchs. Void Refining Stage Talisman. In today's world, the only one who can make them is the Taoist Immortal Sect. Not that you have the strength of the refining stage, you can leave the refining stage talisman, refining the refining stage talisman, need a specific talisman Dao attainments, and talisman of a certain core material, is the moral immortal sect unique. That is to say. At this moment, Jun Dongjin felt the trace of the refined void stage talisman's aura, which could only have come from the Dao deity immortal sect. This void refining stage talisman should belong to the 21st generation patriarch of the immortal sect, Mu Shoujuan. Jun Dongjin thought silently in his heart. Every void refining stage ancient saint was unique, and the void refining stage talisman carried the full force of that ancient saint strike. Therefore, just based on the talismanic scent, one could separately say which ancient saint it was, especially since the virtue immortal sect had been passed down for hundreds of thousands of years, and had set up a divine statue of each patriarch who had reached the level of the refined void ancient saints for the worship of countless disciples of the immortal sect. The Mu family's void refining stage talisman. Jun Dongjin had mixed emotions. As one of the three main veins of the immortal sect, the Mu family had given birth to more than one void refining stage sovereign. 21st Patriarch Mu Shuku. As well as the current 30th generation Patriarch Mu Qinglu. All from the Mu family. Jun Dongjin was no fool. On the old Mangia Road. The path they must take to Mangia Mountain. There were several God Transformation Stage Heavenly Monarchs in ambush, and these God Transformation Stage Heavenly Monarchs were holding void refining stage talismans. What's this about? Patriarch. Jun Dongjin sighed lightly in his heart. Jun Dongjin knew that these people were definitely not arranged by the Patriarch. If the patriarch wants to kill him, there is no need to be so troublesome, and directly suppress the Taiho immortal mirror, why waste a talisman of the void refining stage? But not by the patriarch, but also by the Mu family. And it was also a high-ranking person of the Mu family, otherwise it would be impossible to bring out a piece of refined void talisman left behind by the ancestor of the Mu family. Mu Monti I wants to cut off the roots? Jun Dongjin was a bit disheartened for a while. He admits that he has a rivalry with Mu Montin, and the two go toe-to-toe -to -toe from time to time. But that is only on the surface, immortal sect disciples, disagreements, very normal, only now, Mu Mengting is a direct killer. High below. With the help of the Taihao immortal mirror, immortal sect patriarch Mu Qinglu descended into the mirror light incarnation and looked at Lin Yuan with a grave gaze. Through the brief exchange of hands just now, Mu Qinglu deduced that the strength of the strong man in front of him was at least the peak of cave void. One must know that although he was not descending in his own body right now, this place was still in the range of the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture, the area covered by the might of the Taihao immortal mirror. A detachment descending from the immortal mirror's mirror light had to be at least at the refined void cave void level of power to resist it. And just now, Lin Yuan blocked that strike with incomparable ease. Indicating that he had at least peak Dongxu battle power. Who the hell is your honor? Mu Qinglu gazed at Lin Yuan, from his aura, Lin Yuan was similar to the king of ghost cultivators of the underworld ghost palace. The same power of Tai Yin. But Mu Qinglu keenly sensed the difference. Compared to that king of ghost cultivators, the aura on Lin Yuan's body was much purer, as if he was the embodiment of the power of infinite Taiyin. It doesn't matter who I am. It's just that within your immortal sect, it's interesting to see the open and secret struggles. Lin Yuan glanced at the several shivering heavenly monarchs of the god transformation stage below him, as well as the jade carriage dharma treasure that had stopped in the distance. Open and shut? Mu Qinglu sighed in her heart. The moment he descended and sensed the aura of the void refining stage talisman, he had already guessed things to a T. How could Mu Qinglu not expect that Mu Mengting's temperament was so small that he himself had transferred Jun Dongjin's family to Mani Mountain, which was far away from the core of the immortal sex power? Mu Mengting still had such scorn for Jun Dongjin that he didn't hesitate to kill him midway. This is an internal matter of the immortal sect, it has nothing to do with your excellency, right? Mu Qinglu said with a calm face. In fact, he had been keeping an eye on where Jun Dongjin was going. Even if Lin Yuan did not make a move, the moment those several god transformation stage heavenly monarchs activated their void refining stage talismans, they would likewise be sensed by him. For Mu Qinglu, what he was concerned about was the entire Dao the immortal sect's general situation. Jun Dongjin's qualifications and talents are rare, in the future, even if he can't be the patriarch, he can still be reused, so he absolutely can't die. In fact, to become or not to become an immortal sect patriarch, the qualification is not the most important, as long as one can cross into the refined void stage and hold a Xinzong immortal weapon, one is invincible in this world. As for whether one could eventually go to entering the void, caving the void, or refining the void in the refining the void stage, there was no essential difference. 
This was also the reason why Mu Mengting had chosen the latter even though he knew that Jun Dong Jin's qualifications were higher than Mu Mengting's. Mu Mengting was also a heavenly spirit root qualification, and with the immortal sex many internal reserves, such as the nine heavenly glazed water and other treasures, breaking through to the void refining stage would not be a problem. In a nutshell, the natural qualification advantage that Jun Dong Jin held was not necessary. However, the advantage that Mu Mengting possessed, which was from the Mu family, was something that Jun Dong Jin did not possess. If the current generation of the Mu family did not have a talented disciple such as Mu Mengting, Mu Qinglu would definitely choose to cultivate Jun Dong Jin as the immortal sex sex sect leader for the sake of the immortal sex future. Blatantly meddling in the affairs of my immortal sect, this sect would like to see what kind of backbone your excellency has. Mu Qinglu raised his right hand and an immortal mirror shadow appeared. It was precisely the projection of the immortal weapon of Jin Zong, the Taihao Immortal Mirror. Mu Qingliu's original body and the Taihao Immortal Mirror's original body are seated in the Taoist Immortal Mountain and cannot come out easily. However, the Mirror Light Incarnation and the Immortal Mirror Projection can descend to any location under this world. Especially within the boundaries of the Middle Kingdom. It was able to retain the power of the refined void level. Boom. Shasta. Mu Qinglu struck again. Go to the Nine Heavens. Lin Yuan's figure disappeared, and when he reappeared, he had already crossed hundreds of thousands of meters to the heights of the sky. In this realm, the ancient sage levels would all choose to use the Nine Heavens as a battlefield when fighting and exchanging blows. The space here was even more vast, allowing the ancient sage to go all out. North of God's country. The Blood Demon Sea swirled, the Blood Red Sea water raising the slightest of ripples. Deep on the island. The Blood Demon Lord's expression changed slightly. There are ancient saints fighting in the Nine Heavens? The Blood Demon Lord raised his head and looked in a certain direction. A casual strike from an ancient sage of refining void could shake heaven and earth, let alone two ancient sage existences sparring? That kind of breath fluctuation, low-level cultivators might not be able to feel it, but at the stage of refining, it was basically like a reverse palm view pattern, and it was impossible to miss anything. It's that old fellow Mu Qinglu? It should only be an immortal mirror incarnation, but the location is within the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture, even if it's only a mirror light incarnation, it still has the battle power of a peak cave void, in the end, which ancient saint is it that dares to make a move with Mu Qinglu here? The Blood Demon Lord was a bit incredulous. Normally, no void refining ancient sage would be willing to cross paths with Mu Qinglu within the boundaries of the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture. Because it wasn't even a normal fight. Mu Qinglu, who held the Jin Zong immortal weapon, was invincible to the world in his own right, and his battle killing power exceeded the limits of the refined void stage. As for the Mirror Light Incarnation, it would be weaker. But what was the point of sparring with the Mirror Light Incarnation? He himself paid a huge price and won, what Mu Qinglu lost was just an avatar, with the power of the Jin Zong Immortal Artifact, he would recover in half an hour. If he lost then he would be chased and beaten by the Mirror Light Incarnation, without any ancient saint dignity to speak of. This aura, the power of Tai'in, is it that old guy from the underworld? Wasn't the underworld quite a wimp before? Why do you have so much courage this time? The Blood Demon Lord looked surprised. Savage Demon Sacred Nest. The giant ape demon saint similarly felt the fluctuations of an ancient saint level fight. It's rare. That old man, the underworld, has actually made a move this time? The ape demon sage sked, for existences like them, there was not much fun left, but fighting at the same level would definitely be a concern. South of God. The underworld ghost palace. The withered man sat on his throne. Feeling the fluctuations in the aura of an ancient saint level battle, he fell into deep thought. The withered man frowned, the ancient saint that fought with Mu Qinglu did have an aura that was somewhat similar to his. But it's only similar. The power that ghost cultivators wielded was the power of Tai'in, but it also included the underworld death chi. But that figure, completely is the power of Tai'in, and its power of Tai'in, to be much more pure, even the withered man such as refined void level ghost cultivator, cannot compare. Which one is it, anyway? The withered man immediately contacted the blood demon lord as well as the demon saint of the demon saint's nest, sternly stating that he had not fought with Mu Qinglu, and inquired about the matter of which of the ancient saints who had fought, was it? Cloudy bliss. Lin Yuan was lazily lying in the mountaintop attic. At the same time, he paid attention to the movements on the side of the virtue immortal sect. The cloud mist blessed land was not far away from the virtue immortal sect, only tens of thousands of miles, and with Lin Yuan's current perception ability, he was able to cover it easily. Eh? Lin Yuan vaguely sensed that the aura of the Virtue Immortal sect was beginning to change. Mu Qing Lu was holding a Jin Zong Immortal weapon and wanted to insta immortalize it to travel to the Nine Heavens and leave that mysterious Tai'in One Ancient Saint behind completely. Consciousness Synchronization The Nine Heavens The Lin Yuan In God glanced in the direction of the Dao Immortal sect and forced Mu Qing Lu back with a single strike, his body dispersed and transformed into a wisp of Tai'in power that disappeared between the heavens and the earth. Run away? Mu Qing Liu's face was ugly. He was just thinking about this meeting up with his own father to give this mysterious ancient saint a fatal blow, only to have the other party run away? Is it a coincidence, or? Mu Qingxiao's expression was heavy as his figure similarly disappeared. 
This battle between Lin Yuan and Mu Qinglu had a great impact on the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture, and even the Blood Demon Sea, the Underworld Palace, and the Barbarian East Sea. This was an ancient sage level fight that wouldn't occur once in an unknown number of years. There were only a few refined void ancient saints in the entire world, plus under the oppression of the Tao deity immortal sect, the ancient saints seldom made a move. Not to mention the ancient saints who had struck out this time, one of which was the Tao De immortal sect sect leader Mu Qinglu. East China Sea. White Jade Island. The many White Jade Island disciples were similarly discussing the matter of the ancient sage exchanging blows. Have you heard? On the nine heavens of the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture, there were ancient saints who fought not long ago. Ancient saint? Ancient sage of refining void? My god, such an existence would also make a move? It's unclear, but one of the refined void ancient saints who exchanged blows was none other than that patriarch of the Tao Te Immortal Sect, a refined void ancient saint who has already stepped into the cave void realm. I heard that the peace of nine heavens where the two ancient saints fought, the astral winds tore apart, and the killing intent belonging to the ancient saints hasn't dispersed to this day, and ordinary heavenly monarchs of god transformation don't dare to come close. That's a refined void ancient saint, and it's fortunate that the battlefield is in the nine heavens, if it was in the middle earth divine prefecture, tsk tsk. Refining Void Ancient Sage Ah, I don't know when we'll be able to see such a powerful person once. On the White Jade Island, the many disciples rested talking in low voices, their tones exuding a sense of longing. The core area of White Jade Island. Lin Yuan sat cross-legged. The conversations of the disciples on the island naturally could not be hidden from him. Refined Void Ancient Saint? Lin Yuan slowly got up, walked outside, casually sat on a boulder, glanced in the direction of the Tao Deity Immortal Sect in the Earth and Divine Prefecture, and smiled, nothing more than that. End of chapter. Chapter 12, Jun Wuji, I know your big secret, 4,700 words, request for subscription. It's just that Jin Zong immortal weapon. Lin Yuan's expression was slightly gloomy. So far, Lin Yuan had seen the Tai Hao immortal weapon twice. The first time was during the cave ceremony, when Lin Yuan and his parents traveled to Dao Immortal Mountain to congratulate Mu Qinglu. During this period, Lin Yuan's Yangshan burned out the forces of the Black Veil Archipelago, causing the layout of the Taoist Immortal Sect to fall through, and Mu Qinglu was so enraged that he directly mobilized the Taihao Immortal Artifact and descended into his incarnation on the East China Sea Archipelago. The second time was not long ago, when Lin Yuan used his owning spirit to fight with the Mirror Light Incarnation for a while, and felt the true power of the Taihao Immortal Mirror. Through these two contacts, Lin Yuan concluded that the level of the Taihao Immortal Realm should surpass the Void Refining Stage. That is, above the Void Refining Stage, the Harmonization Stage Dharma Treasure. Harmonization stage. Already beyond the limits of this world. Only the legendary spirit world had great powers of such heights. The spirit world. Lin Yuan's face fell into brief contemplation. There are rumors that the virtue immortal sect grasped that ascension platform from this realm to the spirit realm. Successive generations of immortal sect patriarchs had disappeared after ruling the virtue immortal sect for 10 or 20,000 years, precisely through the ascension platform to the legendary spirit realm. Of course, there was no basis for such a claim, and it was assumed that only the Taoist immortal sect patriarch knew the truth. Perhaps that refined void ghost king of the underworld ghost palace, the blood demon lord of the blood demon sea, and the demon saint of the demon saint's nest knew some of them as well. Irrelevant. As long as I am given another 200 years to cultivate to the peak of the sixth order, or even break through to the seventh order. Any secrets will not be considered secrets in front of me. Lin Yuan shook his head slightly. There was no need for him to pry into the secrets of the spirit world or ascension now there's no point. It would be better to spend all your time practicing. Let's be invincible first. Moral Immortal Sect. Patriarch Mu Qinglu sat high above him. Mu Mengting knelt down, his face pale and his expression flooded with fear. How could he not have expected that after using that void refining stage talisman from the Mu family's collection, he still had not killed Jun Dong Jin? Not only was he not killed, but he was also detected by the patriarch in the first place. Now that an incomparably precious void refining stage talisman had been consumed not to mention that Jun Dong Jin was not dead. This meant that he, Mu Mengting, was not the only candidate to inherit the immortal sect. Mu Qing Lu had other options, such as reusing Jun Dong Jin. If that happened, it would mean that he, Mu Mengting, would have no chance with the patriarch. Do you know what's wrong? Mu Qing Lu looked towards Mu Mengting, disappointment showing in his eyes. He did not expect Mu Mengting to have no determination at all, and had no tolerance for others. Patriarch, I shouldn't have struck out at my fellow disciples, I shouldn't have made a move against Jun Dong Jin. Mu Mengting immediately admitted his mistake. Since Mu Qinglu called him over alone and personally mentioned this, Mu Mengting realized that it was impossible to hide those small actions of his. As it is. It's better to admit mistakes openly. Maybe things will turn around. After all. His relationship with Mu Qinglu was far less simple than the relationship between a patriarch and a disciple. Nope. Your mistake was that you moved your hand too soon. It's also too fast. Mu Qinglu looked at Mu Mengting and said faintly. When he first inherited the position of the immortal sex patriarch, he also used some means, Mu Mengting's behavior of killing off competitors in advance is not something rare, our Mu Qinglu played the rest of the first time. Just. 
There has to be a bottom line to this behavior. Jun Dongjin was transferred out of the Taoist Immortal Mountain, already far away from the center of power, and his ability is good, public and private, let him live to be far more useful than dead. Ha! Huh? Mumontii looked bewildered. He had originally thought that the patriarch would reprimand him for his behavior, but he didn't expect it to be that he felt he had done it too quickly. When you reach the void refining stage, you will realize how ridiculous all those fights once were, Jun Dongjin or anyone else, they are all pawns in your own hands, and killing them is the same as weakening your own power. Mu Qinglu said in a calm tone. This was also his greatest epiphany after crossing over into the void refining stage. Standing at the height of the ancient sage, how ridiculous were some behaviors once. Grasping absolute power, all is subordinate. Me. Mumontine's eyes widened. When Mu Qinglu said when he reaches the void refining stage, Mu Menting's entire body trembled. What does the sovereign mean by this? What do you mean, wait until he steps into the void refining stage? With the order to transfer Dong Jin to Mangjia Mountain, can't you see that I've already chosen you to be the next generation of patriarchs? Mu Qinglu said flatly. Patriarch. Mu Qingliu's mind was thrilled to the core. Indeed. When Jun Dong Jin received the transfer order in the first place, it did cross his mind that Jun Dong Jin had been excluded from the sovereign's shortlist. But Mu Mantin only dared to think so, there was no way to be sure if his thoughts were true or not. What if Jun Dong Jin just transferred out for a while and came back soon after? So, it was for the sake of being safe that Mu Mengting decided to take a risky move. Above the high seat, Mu Qinglu looked at Mu Mengting, whose excitement was overflowing, and sighed once again in his heart. It's true that Mu Mantiai is not as good as Jun Dong Jin. But who asked Mu Mantin to be his heir? Actually, with the hundreds of thousands of years of heritage of the Virtue Immortal sect, it's pretty much the same whoever is the patriarch. Even if Jun Dong Jin became the patriarch, it would be impossible for him to level the Blood Demon Sea, the Underworld Palace, and the Demon Saint's Nest. Even if Mu Mengting was a bit worse, if he became the sect leader, he couldn't do anything to make the Tao to Immortal Sect's power diminish greatly or anything. The Taoist Immortal Sect's hard power was there. Even if it was a pig that became the patriarch, as long as it had the cultivation of the refined void stage and held the Taihao Immortal Mirror, it would still be able to kill in all directions. In this world, the Virtue Immortal Sect was the great power. Do you still want to kill Tojin now? Mu Qinglu asked as he glanced at Mu Mengting. Don't want to. Patriarch, I can make a vow that I won't make a move against Jun Dongjin. Mu Mantin said without hesitation. As long as he was able to become a refined void ancient saint, he could become the immortal sex patriarch. What does the district Jun Dongjin count for? At this moment, Mu Menting already vaguely understood the mindset that Mu Qinglu had spoken of. Even Jun Dongjin, who he had once viewed as a great danger to his heart, would be used for him in the future to subdue the immortal sex great cause for him. Under such circumstances, Mu Mengting couldn't wait for more talents like Jun Dongjin to appear, so what else to kill? Woji is the youngest son of Dongjin, he has no spiritual roots and rarely leaves the cloud mist blessed land, he is also no threat to you. Mu Qinglu said again. Sovereign. You underestimate me. I, Mu Mengting, how could I possibly make a move against Woji? Mu Mengting immediately said with a straight face. That's true. Over the years. Mu Mengting was jealous of Jun Dongjin, even of Mu Runner, Jun Yi, and Jun Jilan. Even the juniors are scared. But the only one who hadn't scorned Jun Wuji. What is there to fear from a wastrel who doesn't even have a spiritual root? That's why Mu Mengting had never made any moves against the Cloud Mist Blessed Land either. Because there's no need for it. So be it. Wuji is also pathetic. Mu Qing Lu nodded. No matter what, he was also Jun Wuji's grandfather. Knowing that Jun Wuji had no spiritual roots since he was young, although no one dared to bully him, he was extremely sensitive inside, otherwise a normal person, where could he hide in the Cloud Mist Blessed Land and not come out once for decades? As long as Wuji is still around, the Cloud Mist Blessed Land is his, no one can touch it. Mu Menting heard Mu Qingliu's meaning and immediately assured him. In that case, Mu Qinglu nodded slightly, come with me, I'll take you to see my moral immortal sects. The greatest secret. That mysterious refined void body cultivator in the gently rushing area between the barbarians and the middle kingdom. Not long ago, the mysterious ancient sage whose body emanated the power of Tyene and whose strength was at the peak of the cave void. These two refined void ancient saints that seemed to have appeared out of thin air caused the pressure in Mu Qingliu's heart to increase by another point. Here's the pressure. It's not referring to the danger of the destruction of the morally mortal sect or anything like that. Rather, he was worried that these refined void ancient saints, joining forces with those three old guys, would once again start a great war in the Middle Earth Divine Kingdom. Admittedly, no matter what level of great war, it didn't affect the rule of the Virtue Immortal Sect, and with the Virtue Immortal Mountain and the Taiho Immortal Mirror, the Immortal Sect was solid as gold. But it's disgusting. It was as if there had been three flies, flying around and around, and now there were a few more. And an ancient saint-level battle would easily shatter the Middle-earth Divine State, which had long been regarded by the Virtuous Immortal Sect as something at home. Consequently, the Dao Dao Immortal Sect must have a second refined void ancient sage as soon as possible. 
two refined void ancient saints, one sitting on Mount Taoism immortal. One held the Tai Hao immortal realm and stepped out of the immortal mountain to swat away all possible enemies. Munchkin Mountain. Jun Dongjin, Mu Runner, as well as Jun Easy and Jun Jilan converged within a cave dwelling. In a short time, we may not be able to return. Jun Dongjin sighed. Nowadays, he counted on realizing that the patriarch was paving the way for Mu Mengting by transferring him away from the Dao Immortal Mountain. In other words, the candidate for the future ancient sage patriarch of the Virtue Immortal sect had already been confirmed. That would be Mu Mantin. The future of his Jun Dongjin needs to be decided by Mu Mengting. Father. Muriel looked downcast. Mu Qinglu ultimately chose the Mu family to be the patriarch. This decision was considered to be expected, after all, people have feelings, even if they were refined void ancient saints, they couldn't do absolute justice. Abandon Jun Dongjin and choose Mu Mengting. Not a strange thing. It's a good thing Woji didn't follow us here to suffer. Jun Jilan whispered. The cloudy blessed land has the effect of prolonging life. Jun Woji did not have a spiritual root, and the physical cultivation lineage did not have much of an increase in longevity. So staying in the cloud mist blessed land, Jun Woji would be able to live for a few hundred years at least. If you take some kind of life-extending elixir or something, you might be able to live for a thousand years. But if they left the cloud mist blessed land and followed them to this mangy cliff mountain, that longevity must have plummeted to the level of a normal person. Time passes slowly. A hundred years have passed in the blink of an eye. During these hundred years, the situation in the Middle Earth Divine Realm gradually became turbulent. The Blood Demon Sea, the Demon Saint Nest, and the Underworld Palace had secretly joined forces, wanting to start the Great War of the Middle Kingdom once again. The only thing that disappointed the Blood Demon Sea, the Demon Saint's Nest, and the Underworld Palace was the two mysterious ancient saints that had appeared. An ancient saint of physical cultivation. An ancient saint of the Tai Yin Dao. No trace was ever shown again. If we can unite these two ancient saints, their certainty of setting off a great war in the Middle Kingdom would also be much greater. Cloudy Bliss. Cultivation Chamber. Finally. Lin Yuan sat on his knees, a smile appearing on his face. For a hundred years, Lin Yuan did nothing but practice enlightenment as usual. It was in an attempt to realize the essence of the principle of that fleshly body divine ability, the blood drop rebirth. This fleshly body divine ability was extremely complex and involved many aspects, even if Lin Yuan had heaven-defying enlightenment. It also consumed a hundred years before it was barely realized. In that case, even if we return to the main world, we'll still be able to use this divine ability. Lin Yuan's mind was delighted. Dripping blood to be reborn had a miraculous effect in preserving one's life, and naturally, the more of such means, the better. It's just a pity that this divine ability cannot be popularized, it will operate differently depending on each person's physique. The blood drop rebirth technique that I have realized after spending a hundred years using the main world's physical body as a template can only be used on the main world's physical body. Lin Yuan looked a little regretful. He had originally planned to sell this divine ability to the goddess of wisdom, only now it seemed that it would probably not work. But although Lin Yuan was a bit disappointed, he quickly adjusted. The higher and more powerful the avatar talent, the higher its limitations. In the starry sky of the main world universe, certain special secret method inheritances had uniqueness. That is to say, in the same era, there is only one being that can master such a secret law inheritance. This is the iron law of the rules of the main world, even if you have realized the secret art inheritance, you cannot use it. The Sea of Blood and Magic The Lord of Blood Demon sat on the deep island. It's been more than 100,000 years, and it's finally time to start a great war in the Middle Earth Divine Realm again. The Blood Demon Lord looked excited. 12,000 years ago, he and the Demon Saint's Nest and the Underworld Palace had set off a great war in the Middle Earth Divine State. Only then it failed miserably, and only in the last few thousand years has it recovered. The Virtue Immortal Sect has occupied the Ascension Platform, forcing us and others to reside in this realm. The Lord of Blood Demons muttered. Master. At that moment, a blood-colored figure coalesced from the Blood Demon Sea and bowed towards the Blood Demon Lord. The Middle Earth Divine Prefecture is littered with spell formations laid down by the Virtue Immortal Sect. If you want to enter the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture with as little loss as possible, you need to feel out the exact location of these spell formations as well as other details. This blood colored figure whispered. What are you planning? The Blood Demon Lord asked directly. There aren't many people in the Virtue Immortal Sect who know about these spell formations, and one of them is Jun Dongjin. The blood colored figure said with intent. It was no secret that Jun Dongjin had been transferred to Mangia Mountain for a hundred years. The next patriarch of the Virtue Immortal Sect was almost certain to be Mu Menting. Jun Dongjin had already become an outcast of the Dao Deity Immortal Sect. In my opinion, Jun Dongjin can be drawn in. As long as he can be used by us, it will be much easier to invade the Middle Kingdom. The blood colored figure continued. Nice. The blood demon lord nodded slightly. He could surmise that Jun Dongjin should be full of resentment towards the Dao Deity Immortal Sect. Now is the time to pull the plug. But there is one thing to keep in mind. Jun Dongjin can't be pulled indirectly. 
There are definitely backstops of the moral immortal sect near Mangia Mountain. The Lord of Blood Demon spoke. Then the master is trying to. The blood-colored figure inquired in a low voice. Go and rope in that young son of Jun Dongjin, Jun Wuji. Then through Jun Wuji, he will go and pull in Jun Dongjin, so that it will be foolproof and the Dao Dei immortal sect won't notice any abnormalities. The Lord of Blood Demon said. Master is wise. The blood-colored figure sniffed, pondered for a moment, and was suddenly in admiration. It is indeed too risky to pull the plug on Jun Dongjin directly. Jun Dongjin, as a former senior member of the Dao Deity Immortal Sect, even if he wasn't being reused now, he definitely had many means of protection around him. By pulling in Jun Dongjin, they were undoubtedly telling the Deity and Immortal Sect what they were going to do. On the contrary, that youngest son of Jun Dongjin had a much lower presence. Coupled with the fact that the Cloud Mist Blessed Land was right next to the Dao Deity Immortal Sect, the principle of darkness under the lamp was remarkable, and I'm afraid that the Dao Deity Immortal Sect themselves wouldn't have imagined that they would have thoughts about Jun Wuji. Remember. When dealing with Jun Wuji, one must not use coercion, one must threaten or promise heavy benefits. The Lord of Blood Demons barked. At the same time, he opened his palm and a blood-red crystal appeared. Carrying this item, you will be able to temporarily escape the supervision of the Tai Hao Immortal Mirror. The Lord of Blood Demons said. For hundreds of thousands of years, he had fought with the Virtue Immortal sect many times. The Blood Demon Lord had naturally accumulated some means of guarding against the Virtue Immortal sect. Especially that Tai Hao Immortal Mirror. Only. The means of evading the monitoring of the Tai Hao Immortal Mirror required the Lord of Blood Demons to pay a great price. And it has many limitations. Unable to popularize on a large scale. Cloudy Bliss. Hilltop Loft. Lin Yuan was lying on a reclining chair, relaxing in the sun. You guys go down. Lin Yuan waved his hand. Yes. Spring Flower, Autumn Moon bowed and left. I don't know how long it's been. A blood-colored figure silently appeared in the shadows of the attic. Jun Wuji. The blood-colored figure walked to Lin Yuan, his figure hoarse and deep. I know your big secret. The blood-colored figure stared at Jun Wuji. The big secret? Lin Yuan was slightly stunned. He had long since detected the presence of the blood-colored figure. The other party's ability to sneak into the Middle Kingdom and the Cloud Mist Blessed Land originated from a special layer of aura emanating from his body. Originally, Lin Yuan had wanted to see if the Scarlet figure had specifically sneaked in for something. He was just a little surprised to hear the other party confess that he knew his big secret. The big secret. Which big secret do you mean? Lin Yuan inquired with a cautious expression on his face. Which big secret? The blood-colored figure was a bit confused. Could it be that this Jun Wuji has a lot of secrets? Which big secret? Two more shifts are over. Please, 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 please. Quill. End of chapter. Chapter 13 Ancient Sage of the Sun. Top of the sky, request for subscription. Jun Wuji, are you not joking? Which other big secret? The blood-colored figure sneered, feeling that Jun Wuji was pretending. He had been ordered by the Lord of Blood Demons to come and draw in Jun Wuji, wanting to go through Jun Wuji to draw in Jun Dongjin, a former senior member of the Dao Deity Immortal Sect. Jun Dongjin had been abandoned by the Dao De Immortal Sect and must have a grudge in his heart, so as long as the Blood Demon Sea paid a large enough price, the chances of success were high. In order to ensure Jun Dongjin's complete defection, there must not be any coercion in the matter of pulling Jun Wuji together. Otherwise, how could Jun Dongjin not have second thoughts in his heart when he saw the Blood Demon Sea treating his youngest son like this? Coercion cannot be used. So they can only promise heavy benefits or engage in semi-threatening tactics. Before the blood-colored figure infiltrated into the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture, it had browsed through the information and intelligence related to Jun Wuji in detail. It really turned out to be a secret for him. A secret related to Jun Wuji. I do really want to know which big secret. Lin Yuan said with a straight face. He had so many secrets that for a moment he was surprisingly unsure which of the blood-colored figures he was referring to. Was it one or two hundred years ago, when he incidentally burned out the dark son of the Dao Deity Immortal Sect, more than a dozen heavenly monarchs of God transformation in the Black Veil Archipelago, and more than fifty Jenning true monarchs? Or to become an ancient saint of physical cultivation that hadn't existed in hundreds of thousands of years in the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture, and to stomp the Demon Saint's Nest's Grand Emperor, who claimed to be able to call himself an ancient saint, to death with several feet? Or perhaps as a Taiyin Yuanshan, he fought with the Taoist Immortal Sect's Patriarch Mu Qing Lu on the Nine Heavens and finally retreated in one piece? In addition, there was also that Yuan Yang Islander in the East Sea, who was not the half-step ancient saint that the world recognized. Poof. The blood-colored figure seemed to be truly unaware when he saw Lin Yuan. So a reminder was intended. Jun Wuji, you shouldn't be a Jin Dan stage physical cultivator. The blood-colored figure whispered. Eh? Lin Yuan looked squarely at this blood-colored figure who was not even as good as an ant in his eyes. Twenty years ago, a batch of cultivation resources that you had your men acquire from the outside, among them was the ancient hidden flower. This is the cultivation resources needed by a Yuan Ying stage body cultivator. 
your physical cultivation realm should have crossed over into the Yuanying stage. The blood-colored figure spoke eloquently and triumphantly. This was the biggest card he used to threaten Jun Wuji. In just a short span of 1 to 200 years, Jun Wuji had cultivated from an invalid to the Yuanning stage of physical cultivation, and with this kind of physical cultivation talent, crossing over to the transformation god stage physical cultivation in the future would not be much of a problem. This matter naturally wouldn't have been a problem if it was more than a hundred years ago, but nowadays, Jun Wuji's parents had both been transferred to the Mangi Cliff Mountain, which was tantamount to losing their backing in the Virtue Immortal sect. Coupled with the fact that Mu Mengting had risen to power, if he were to know that the son of a hierarchical rival would have such potential, would he have other ideas? And this was the biggest bargaining chip of the blood-colored figure. This bargaining chip came from within the Doubt Immortal sect and it would also serve to stir up Jun Wuji's resentment towards Mu Mengting. In one fell swoop. Oh. Lin Yuan was expressionless. Thought it was true that Scarlet Identity had discovered some big secret. So that's what this is about. Lin Yuan did have the habit of having his men go out and purchase cultivation resources on a regular basis. But that's for outsiders. As for what the blood-colored figure said about the ancient hidden flower. It should be something that she casually bought from Autumn Moon. You? After the blood-colored figure finished speaking, it was originally full of anticipation, wanting to see Jun Wuji's horrified expression, the kind of panic of having his own secrets revealed, and even the manifestation of the idea of killing and exterminating people being born as a result. All of this was expected by the blood-colored figure. Corresponding attitudes of response have even been developed. Only the blood-colored figure was disappointed. He didn't see any change in color from Jun Wuji's face. How is that possible? The blood-colored figure's thoughts were a bit messy. Any other secrets? Lin Yuan asked patiently. Isn't that secret enough? The blood-colored figure's voice raised a few notches as he spoke. Concealing the strength of a Yuaning stage body cultivator was bound to attract Mu Mengting's gaze once exposed. What will happen then is anyone's guess. The scarlet figure's original intention was to rely on this secret to pin down Jun Wuji. Jun Wuji, as long as you are willing to work for us, Mu Mengting can't do anything to you. And my master will grant you a lifespan that far exceeds that of the immortal cultivators. The blood-colored figure sensed that the situation was developing incorrectly and immediately said. To draw Jun Wuji in, one should not rely on threats alone, but should also promise heavy benefits. And the heavy benefit of the blood-colored figure is longevity. It was well known that the longevity of the physical cultivation lineage was far inferior to that of immortal cultivators. However, the Lord of Blood Demons could transform Jun Wuji into a blood godchild through his own means. The blood godchild was bound to the blood demon sea and had a terrifyingly long lifespan. And the life and death of the blood god's son was at the whim of the Lord of Blood Demons. When Jun Wuji became the blood god's son, he was considered to be completely integrated into the blood demon sea and could not even betray it if he wanted to. I was the one who overthought it. Lin Yuan shook his head slightly. The blood-colored figure came from the blood demon sea, and he had long since detected it. The aura of his body was able to hide it from other people, but not from Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan was beginning to think that the blood demon sea really knew something. Now it seemed that it was he who had been overly concerned. Even the virtue immortal sect, who was close by, didn't notice his true identity. The blood demon sea was far to the north of the divine kingdom, and there was really not much that could be done. Let me see what the lord of blood demons is trying to do. Lin Yuan gazed at the blood-colored figure. The reason why he had talked so much with the scarlet figure was because he was worried that the scarlet figure really knew something. Now it is certain that the other side presses nothing. Naturally, I intend to do it directly. When the blood-colored figure heard these words, doubts flooded his heart. But the next moment, the blood-colored figure then perceived a rapid fall in consciousness. Boo! A bloody light exploded on him. Obviously all of them were the blood-colored figure's means of preserving its life. Dare to sneak into the Middle Kingdom and the Cloudy Bliss. How could the blood-colored figure not have half a card? However, all the undercards, all the means to save your life, even the blood-colored crystal given by the Lord of Blood Demons, all of them are rapidly collapsing. You? The last moment when the blood-colored figure's consciousness completely sank. The gaze he looked at Lin Yuan was flooded with endless panic. Re. He's wrong. The Lord of Blood Demons was also wrong. The world where great wars were fought, they could not hurt its fundamentals. The Sea of Blood and Demons. The Blood Demon Lord sitting on the deep island suddenly opened his eyes. Dead? Die so fast? The Blood Demon Lord was incredulous. With the backhand he had on the blood-colored figure. Even if he was really discovered by the Dao Deity Immortal Sect, he would still be able to resist for a while. Can't it be that Gai Mu Qinglu struck out with the Tai Hao Immortal Realm in hand? The Lord of Blood Demons could only think in that direction. Cloudy Bliss. Lin Yuan was still lying on the reclining chair. After resolving the blood-colored figure, Lin Yuan was then considering a problem. My current strength. After a hundred years of cultivation, in addition to realizing the fleshly body divine ability rebirth by dripping blood. 
In terms of martial arts, Lin Yuan had also made great progress, and had already opened up the martial arts cultivation system to the 6th order and 11th section. The cultivation levels of the main world and the immortal Tao world, the 6th order corresponds to the refining void stage. And the void refining stage was further divided into the void entry realm, the cave void realm, and the refining void realm. The realm of entering the void corresponds to the 1st to 3rd stages of the 6th order. The cave realm corresponds to the 4th through 6th stages of the 6th order. The refining realm corresponds to the 7th through 9th stages of the 6th order. Lin Yuan was currently already at the 11th step of the 6th order, and although he had not reached the peak of the 6th order, the strength of his realm had already surpassed the limit of the void refining stage. Perhaps it was still not as good as the harmonization stage above the refined void stage, but the difference wasn't very far, and it was at least a lot stronger than the peak of the refined void stage's refined void realm. Peak of the 6th order. Lin Yuan's face was pensive. The 12 stages of the 6th order were nothing difficult for him. In as little as 1 or 2 decades, or as much as 5 or 6 decades, you will be able to cross over. Lin Yuan was thinking about how to cross over to the 7th rank. Regardless of whether it was in the main world or the immortal Tao world, the 6th to 7th order, as well as the refined void to the harmonized Tao, was a big threshold. The main world Chiku and Starfield, a million and two hundred thousand living planets, accumulated over thousands and thousands of years. The number of 6th order starfallers exceeded 100,000. But the 7th order even if the three senior brothers of the Red Cohen master planet were counted, the number of 7th order revolvers would not be more than a hundred. Even on the alien battlefield known as the Meat Grinder, a 7th order revolver was able to lead a party and serve as a general, a marquis, and a king. Moral Immortal Sect The Deepest Moral Mysteries A vast aura surged out steeply. Within the secret realm. A look of joy appeared on Moomingting's face. Void Refining Stage, this is the Void Refining Stage, this is the Ancient Sage. Moomingting felt the completely transformed mana in his body, and for a moment, he was ambitious. He, Mumantii, had his day. There is also a day to become an ancient saint. Sovereign. Mumantine took a deep breath. Calmed the vibration in his heart. Walking out of the secret realm, he said respectfully towards Mu Qing Lu. Although nowadays, he was also a refined void ancient saint, Mu Mengting knew that he still had a huge gap with patriarch Mu Qing Lu. This gap is not from strength. Instead, it's that immortal weapon of Zhong, the Taihao immortal mirror. Not to mention that Mu Mengting was only at the beginning of the refined void stage, even if he stepped into the peak of the refined void realm, deep in the Taoist immortal mountain, facing the Mu Qing Lu who had refined the Taihao immortal mirror he would still be instantly suppressed as a result. The Taihao Immortal Mirror, not only was it an immortal artifact of infinite power, it was also the hub of the entire Taoist Immortal Mountain. Having mastered the Taihao Immortal Mirror, one had mastered the countless array means that had been set up by the Virtue Immortal Mountain for hundreds of thousands of years. Get up! Mu Qinglu looked at Mu Mengting and a smile appeared on his face. Although it had long been known that with Mu Mengting's qualifications, with the help of the resources of the Tao Immortal Sect, crossing over into the Void Refining Stage would not be much of a problem. But at this moment, Mu Qing Lu was still relieved. The two were seated. Mu Qing Lu then spoke with Mu Mengting about his next plans. With you sitting in the immortal sect, I'm going to take a trip out with the Tai Hao immortal mirror in hand. It's been too long since then, and many people have forgotten what exactly it is that my virtue immortal sect is able to reign over the Middle Earth divine realm. A trace of coldness passed across Mu Qing Liu's face. Over the past hundred years, it wasn't like he wasn't aware of the movements of the underworld palace, the blood demon sea, and the demon saint's nest? It was only that he temporarily ignored it in order to protect the path for Mu Mengting. Now that Mu Mengting had stepped into refined void, there was him sitting in the immortal sect. Mu Qing Lu would be able to go out in peace. Although the virtue immortal sect was guarded by countless formations. However, if there were no ancient saints sitting around. Being surrounded by other refined void ancient saints would come at a not so low price. This was also the reason why Mu Qing Liu's principal had been sitting at the Tao immortal mountain all these years. As long as he dares to walk out of the Taoist immortal mountain on his own. Whether it's going to deal with the Blood Demon Sea or the Demon Saint Nest of the Underworld Palace. The other two parties would definitely make a move against the Taoist Immortal Mountain. But now there is no such threat. There was Mu Meng Ting, an ancient saint, sitting on Immortal Mountain. Even if three or five ancient saints surrounded them, it would be impossible to shake the foundation of the Virtue Immortal Sect. In this way, Mu Qing Lu could also let go and put the prestige of the Virtue Immortal Sect back on the heads of all beings. Which side does the sovereign intend to strike first? Mu Mantin inquired in a low voice. Which side? Mu Qing Lu pondered for a moment, just the East Sea first. Over the past hundred years, the East Sea White Jade Pavilion had developed extremely fast, and had almost unified the East Sea Islands. And that White Jade Island Island Master, Yuan Yang, was only a half-step ancient sage, and over the years, even if the other party had made a breakthrough, it would be impossible for him to cross over into the refined void stage. Since this was the case, Mu Qing Liu's own body plus the Taihao Immortal Mirror would be sure to completely kill the other party. And vice versa. If Mu Qing Lu had made a move against the Underworld Ghost Palace, the Demon Saint Nest, or the Blood Demon Sea first, then when the Yuan Yang Island Lord learned about it, he would probably hide in fear. 
Anyway, the morally mortal sect was an old rival with the underworld ghost palace, the demon saint's nest, and the blood demon sea. The latter three had special cards. And even though Mu Ching Lu was holding the Tai Hao immortal mirror, he could only suppress it, not kill it. That's why striking out at the East Sea was most in line with Mu Ching Liu's expectations. East Sea. That white jade island islander is damned. Mu Montine said with a nod. When the white jade island islander destroyed the Black Vale archipelago that he had operated for many years, this revenge was something he still remembered. The immortal sect is in your hands. After Mu Ching Lu said these words, his figure disappeared into the distance. East China Sea. White Jade Island. Hundreds of thousands of White Jade Pavilion disciples converged on the island. In addition, White Jade Island also had a large number of mortals converging on it, and although White Jade Island was called an island, its size was almost 2 million miles, equivalent to the size of several Kanglin stars. If the Middle Earth Divine Kingdom wasn't so vast, the White Jade Island should have been called the White Jade Continent. The core area of White Jade Island. Lin Yuan sat cross-legged. Dozens of disciples below were asking questions about their cultivation, and Lin Yuan answered them casually. A hundred years had passed, and the White Jade Pavilion's reserves had increased greatly, with more than 100,000 cultivators of the first rank of the Martial Dao, more than 10,000 cultivators of the second rank of the Martial Dao, more than 2,000 cultivators of the third rank of the Martial Dao, and 322 cultivators of the fourth rank of the Martial Dao. Eight Martial Arts Fifth Order Cultivators It's safe to say. Today, in the Eastern Sea Islands, the White Jade Pavilion deserved to be number one, and as long as Lin Yuan was willing, it would be easy to unify the Eastern Sea Islands. Eh? Lin Yuan seemed to have sensed something. Glancing up towards the sky. White Jade Island. Countless disciples were either gathered in everything or alone, holding martial arts techniques to study and cultivate. Suddenly. The Nine Heavens. A round of immortal mirrors emitting terrifying immortal light sank. The immortal mirror rotated slightly, and a terrifying mirror light descended from the Nine Heavens. The terror of the mirror light was so great that even space was vaguely still, and wherever it passed, the aura of heaven and earth was reduced to nothingness. Predictable. Once this mirror light was allowed to fall and land on the White Jade Island, the entire White Jade Island would be penetrated, and this holy land of cultivation would be completely destroyed. The aftermath of the mirror light would cause all living beings under the ancient saints to die. What's that? It's not good go. There's no way out, we're all going to die. Countless White Jade Pavilion disciples looked up at the sky, filled with despair. Under the terrifying immortal mirror mirror light, everyone had only one thought in their mind. That's death. No matter how it runs. It's all dead. Just then. A figure appeared over the white jade island. Then he turned to the heaven and earth, his body height was unknown how many thousands of feet, and the power of the sun was as dense as the second great sun. Only to see this towering figure that stood on top of the sky, gently raising his hand, he blocked the white jade island, which was the size of several Tsum Lan stars, under his palm. End of chapter. Chapter 14 to Grandpa, what do you want to work with me? Requesting subscription. The Nine Heavens. Mu Qinglu stood with his arms folded. The Tai Hao immortal mirror was sinking above his head. A terrifying mirror light had already blasted towards the white jade island below. At this moment, Mu Qinglu had arrived in person and was carrying the Tai Hao immortal mirror body. In this heaven and earth, he, Mu Qinglu, was invincible, and obliterating the white jade island would only require one strike. Yuan Yang Islander Mu Qingliu's eyes were indifferent. The Yuan Yang Island master was already a half-step ancient sage more than a hundred years ago. Nowadays, it was estimated that it was already very close to the ancient sage, but so what? Less than an ancient saint, under the mirror light of the Tai Hao immortal mirror, one would surely die. Even if it was an ancient saint, as long as it wasn't the three veteran ancient saints from the underworld palace, the demon saint's nest, or the blood demon sea, they would have to die of serious injuries from hammering. This was Mu Qingliu's confidence. This was the confidence of the Taoist immortal sex patriarch, who had been in charge of the Middle Kingdom for hundreds of thousands of years. Those three old guys, they should be scared now, right? Mu Qinglu glanced in the other three directions and was planning to head to catch up. In his eyes, the end of the alabaster island under his feet was already doomed, and that was to go up and smoke under the mirror light. However. Next moment. Mu Qingliu's complexion changed drastically. Snapping his head down to look. A giant of an unknown number of tens of thousands of feet, standing on top of the sky. With the lift of his hand. He blocked more than a million miles of white jade island. The astonishing mirror light struck by the Tai Hao immortal mirror quickly dissipated when it came into contact with the back of the looming figure's hand, and it wore away after a few breaths. That? Mu Qinglio's face was solemn. Yuan Yang Islander. Mu Qinglu looked at the figure that blocked the Tai Hao immortal mirror's strike and quickly recovered his figure, hands behind his back, his face ugly to the extreme. Refined Void Ancient Saint. Ancient Saints at the peak of the Refined Void stage Refined Void Realm. It has even surpassed the Refined Void limit and begun to explore the Ancient Saints of the Harmonization stage. Mu Qinglu judged in his heart. The means to be able to manifest a figure as large as that must be some kind of terrific great divine ability. 
and without leaving a trace, he blocked the Taihao Immortal Mirror's strike, his strength was even more unfathomable. Mu Qinglu never expected that the Yuanyan Islander, who had long been regarded as a fish in flesh by him, would have such a terrifying strength. North of God's Country On a small island deep in the Blood Demon Sea Just as Mu Qingliu's ether how immortal mirrors struck the terrifying mirror light. The Blood Demon Lord snapped his eyes open with a grave expression. Mu Qinglu left the Doubt Immortal Mountain? The Doubt Immortal Sect has given birth to a second ancient saint? The Blood Demon Lord immediately surmised many things. Yuan Yang Islander is finished. The Blood Demon Lord shook his head slightly. When Mu Qinglu stepped out of the morally mortal mountain, he was the first to strike out at the White Jade Island, aiming to completely kill that Yuan Yang Islander. I told you to join me a long time ago, you had to refuse, now you're dead? The Blood Demon Lord shook his head slightly. A hundred years ago. When the Yuan Yang Island Master occupied the White Jade Island. The Lord of Blood Demons then sent out his subordinates to convince the Lord of Yuan Yang Island to defect to him. After all, a half-step ancient saint didn't have much battle power in the Blood Demon Sea. It was just that at that time, the Yuan Yang Islander directly refused. And at this moment, in the current Blood Demon Lord's opinion, the Yuan Yang Island Lord had made the wrong choice in the first place. Pity. The Lord of Blood Demons shook his head. The Yuan Yang Islander was not from the virtuous immortal sect, nor did he have much to do with the Blood Demon Sea, the Underworld Palace, or the Demon Saint's Nest. Just by relying on himself, he had cultivated to the half-step ancient saint realm, and if he was willing to accept the bestowal of his blood demon lord and transform into a blood godchild, he might be able to ask for the true ancient saint level in the future. Eh? No? The blood demon lord was about to contact the other three ancient saints to consider how to face Mu Qinglu when he suddenly sensed something and his eyes snapped open. Mu Qinglu struck and was blocked? The blood demon lord's mouth widened, although he didn't watch it in person, but through his breath sensing, the strike of shocking mirror light that Mu Qinglu had blasted out didn't explode out, but dissipated into nothingness. In the meantime, a terrifying sun power that competed with the great sun converged. Ancient Sage of the Sun. A sun ancient sage that almost surpassed the limit of refining void? That Yuan Yang Islander, how could he possess such strength? The blood demon lord was incredulous. Even if that Yuan Yang Islander broke through to the refined void level, he, the lord of blood demons, would at most be shocked, not as unbelievable as this. Yuan Yang Island master was a half-step ancient sage a hundred years ago. And now that he had broken through the shackles and stepped into refined void, it was not absolutely impossible. Just now? Beyond the limits of the void refining stage? That was a level that could only be touched by an immortal sect patriarch who held the Tai Hao immortal mirror. And as a result, Yuan Yang Islander reached it by himself alone? How is that possible? Wrong. We were both wrong. A hundred years ago, the Yuan Yang Islander wasn't even a half-step ancient saint. The blood demon lord's thoughts churned. He suddenly realized that a hundred years ago, the Yuan Yang Islander had never said that he was at the half-step ancient sage realm. The so-called half-step ancient saints were all speculations from the outside world about the Yuan Yang Islander. Beyond the limit of the void refining stage, can it be that it's a great power from hundreds of thousands of years ago? The Lord of Blood Demons thought quickly. Originally, he had thought that the Yuan Yang Islander was a strong person born in the last few thousand years. Just with the battle power and strength displayed by the other party, how could it be possible to cultivate for thousands of years? The Lord of Blood Demons speculated that the Yuan Yang Islander, perhaps, came from hundreds of thousands of years ago. Hundreds of thousands of years ago, at that time, the Virtue Immortal Sect was not the undisputed ruler of the Middle Earth Divine Realm. Hundreds of thousands of years ago, the Ascension Platform had not yet appeared. Many incredibly strong people existed in the world, and beyond the refined void limit as well. It wasn't just the Blood Demon Lord who was shocked. Almost at the same time. The ancient saints of the Demon Saint's Nest and the Underworld Palace all detected Mu Qingliu's own self striking out with the Tai Hao Immortal Mirror in hand. As a result, it was easily blocked by that Yuan Yang Islander. Yuan Yang Islander, so strong? Doubt Immortal Sect, Mu Mingting was also paying attention to the East Sea. He wanted to see with his own eyes the Yuan Yang Island Lord, under Mu Qingliu's suppression, kneeling down and begging for mercy. It was only the scene that happened afterward that made his scalp tingle. Mu Qing Lu, who was invincible with the Tai Hao Immortal Mirror in hand, was actually blocked by the Yuan Yang Islander. The Nine Heavens. Mu Qing Lu had the Tai Hao Immortal Mirror above his head. Caught in a sort of dilemma. Originally, Mu Qing Lu felt that no accidents would occur in the suppression of the Yuan Yang Islander. That's why he came to the East Sea in the first place and struck out at White Jade Island. The persimmon has to be soft. Compared to the Blood Demon Sea, the Demon Saint's Nest, and the Underworld Palace. The Yuan Yang Islander naturally belonged to the undisputed soft targets. But I didn't expect it. This soft persimmon is the hardest stone in the world. For Mu Qinglu, at this moment, his battle power had reached the limit of the refined void realm, and was even going to surpass the limit Yuan Yang Islander. Definitely the last one you want to deal with. That king of ghost cultivators from the underworld palace, the blood demon lord from the blood demon sea, and the demon saint from the demon saint's nest had special undercards though. Even if Mu Qinglu held the Taihao immortal mirror, he couldn't do anything to completely kill them. 
but at least you can press the other team. However, facing the Yuan Yang Islander, Mu Qinglu didn't even have the certainty of winning the fight, let alone pressuring it. What worried Mu Qinglu even more was. If the Yuan Yang Island Lord joined forces with the King of Ghost Cultivators, the Lord of Blood Devils, and the Demon Saint. The Dao De Immortal sect feared that it would be faced with the worst situation in hundreds of thousands of years. Yuan Yang Island Master. I think there's a misunderstanding between us. Mu Qinglu was silent for a moment, put away the Taihao Immortal Mirror, and secretly transmitted his voice. Next, Mu Qinglu transmitted a few more words before turning around and leaving. The White Jade Island is empty. Lin Yuan stood in the air. Silently, he watched Mu Qinglu leave. Want to work with me? Lin Yuan pondered over those words of transmission from Mu Qinglu just now. To summarize. That's one thing. The feud between the virtuous immortal sect and his Yuan Yang Islander was not unresolvable. The two can work together. Exactly how to work together. We can talk about it in detail. Middle Earth. The Nine Heavens. Mu Qingliu's gaze was contemplative. Fine to come. Between the Yuan Yang Islander and the Taoist immortal sect. There is no irrevocable hatred. It was nothing more than Yuan Yang Islander erasing the Black Veil Archipelago, the fallen son of the moral immortal sect in the East Sea Islands. But this thing. Mu Qinglu can choose to forgive. It's just the Black Veil Islands. As for his strike towards the White Jade Island just now, it was indeed a bit presumptuous, but he, Mu Qinglu, could completely make up for it in other ways. If you can cooperate with the Yuan Yang Island Lord, Mu Qingliu's heartbeat accelerated. The Yuan Yang Islander was an ancient saint of the Sun lineage. And an ancient saint that surpassed the limits of refining void. Such an ancient sage was simply heavenly grasping those powerhouses of the Yin evil lineage. If you join forces with him, it was entirely possible to completely level the underworld palace and the blood demon sea. Before today, Mu Qinglu had never thought of tackling the underworld palace blood demon sea. Because it's hard to do. Even with the immortal artifact Tai Hao Immortal Mirror, he could not do it. This time, he held the Tai Hao Immortal Mirror and walked out of the Taoist Immortal Mountain. The purpose was also just to suppress and subdue those three old guys, so that they would suffer a little bit and not have any more ideas. That's all. But now. Mu Qinglu saw hope. Cloudy blessing? Mu Qinglu suddenly stopped. His eyes looked down to the cloudy blessed land below. Before he left just now, he transmitted a few words to the Yuan Yang Island Lord. Among them is the possibility of cooperation. As for how to work together, the two needed to find a place to talk in detail. This place, Mu Qinglu finally chose the Cloud Mist Blessed Land. As for why he didn't choose Mount Deodexian, Mount Deodexian is the lair of the immortal sect, and I don't know how many tactics have been laid down by successive generations of patriarchs. Mu Qinglu estimated that if he really chose the morally mortal mountain, that Yuan Yang Islander wouldn't have come over. Cloudy bliss would be great. The Cloud Mist Blessed Land, although it was one of the 108 blessed lands. But not many means were laid down. With the strength of that Yuan Yang Islander, the entire Cloud Mist Blessed Land was no different from thin paper in his eyes. Choosing the Cloud Mist Blessed Land meant that he, Mu Qinglu, had absolutely no other schemes. And the Cloud Mist Blessed Land was very close to the Virtue Immortal Mountain. So if the two of them didn't have a good talk, Mu Qinglu would have a way back. One last point. Compared to other cavernous places in the Middle Kingdom. The Cloud Mist Blessing was of little importance, the only thing that was somewhat useful was life extension. However, the life prolongation of the Cloud Mist Blessed Land did not have much effect on immortal cultivators. Whoosh! Mu Qinglu descended within the Cloud Mist Blessed Land. Greetings, Sovereign. Spring flower, Autumn Moon was filled with trepidation, not knowing what was going on with the Patriarch's descent. Where's Wuji? Mu Qinglu asked. Gongzi He, Gongzi He is in seclusion. Autumn Moon said in a trembling voice, I'll go and tell His Excellency. No need Wuji. Jun Wuji's appearance flashed through Mu Qinglu's mind. In addition, the looks of Jun Dongjin, Mu Runner, Jun Easy, and Jun Jilun flashed by as much as they could. For some reason, Mu Qinglu was actually a little sad at the moment. For the sake of his Mu family's interests, he eventually gave up Jun Dongjin, and even the two grandsons, Jun Yi and Jun Jilun, were transferred to the distant Manyi Mountain. Only Jun Wuji, the grandson who had not had much of an existence since he was a child, had dodged a bullet, but even then, he had been separated from his own parents and elder brothers. Wuji. Just let him keep practicing. Leave him alone. Mu Qinglu sighed. Although it was a bit cruel, he, Mu Qinglu, didn't feel that he had done anything wrong. Hilltop Attic, don't go up there. I will meet a fellow Daoist there. Mu Qinglu commanded a few words and his figure disappeared. Cloudy Peak. Outside the loft. Mu Qinglu sat cross-legged, facing the direction of the East Sea, waiting for the Yuan Yang Islander to come over. I don't know. What price I have to pay to make the Yuan Yang Island Lord cooperate with me against the Blood Demon Sea and the Underworld Palace? Mu Qinglu thought in his heart. He attached great importance to the Yuan Yang Islander, this kind of strong person, no matter in which period of time, even hundreds of thousands of years ago, that era where great powers beyond the limits of refining emptiness were frequent, was dazzling enough. 
be sure to talk about it later. Even if we can't talk about it in the end, we have to resolve the grudge. Definitely can't let the Yuan Yang Island master cooperate with those three old guys. Mu Qinglu thought secretly. He had already sent word to the Yuan Yang Islander that he would discuss cooperation in the Cloud Mist Blessed Land, so he thought that the other party would be here soon. The foot of Cloudy Mountain. Spring Flower and Autumn Moon's face barely recovered. Just now, the patriarch suddenly came over and really startled them. That was the Taoist immortal sex patriarch, the supreme great man of the Middle Earth Divine Realm. The two of them, two tiny gene dance stage female cultivators, could not reasonably be expected to come into contact with such a big shot in their lifetime. The patriarch came here to meet some Taoist friend? It should be whichever big shot it is as well, right? But to be able to make the patriarch personally wait, this Tao friend. Spring Flower and Autumn Moon were a little confused. With the identity of the immortal sex patriarch, who dares to come late under the sky? And let the sovereign personally wait? Is that too high? Do you really think that the word moral of the virtue immortal sect means having morals? The reason why the moral immortal sect is called the moral immortal sect is because all the enemies have been pierced and subdued, and all the rest are their own people. That's why they talk about morality. Just as Spring Flower and Autumn Moon were talking in low voices, a figure walked out of the retreat chamber at an unknown time. Ha! Huh? Duke! You're out? Spring Flower, Autumn Moon turned around, saw Lin Yuan, and immediately saluted. My lord, the patriarch came just now and is now at the top of Cloudmist Mountain, saying that he wants to wait for a fellow Taoist. Spring Flower immediately told everything she knew. I know. Lin Yuan nodded his head. Lin Yuan raised his head and looked towards the top of Cloudmist Mountain. It's cloudy there, like a fairyland. Almost. Lin Yuan's face was calm. Spinning towards the steps of the mountain path of Cloudy Mountain. Then down the steps, towards the top of the hill. My lord. Seeing this, Spring Flower, Autumn Moon thought about not blocking it. Although the Taoist immortal sect patriarch had said that no one would be allowed to go up. But the duke is not an outsider, he is the grandson of the immortal sex patriarch. Should be able to get up there, right? Cloudy Mountain is not high. Only a few hundred meters. Its mountain path steps, however, are somewhat rugged. Lin Yuan's eyes were lowered as he climbed the mountain path steps step by step. Lin Yuan did not use any means of divine power and just climbed up the mountain step by step. A little over half an hour later, Lin Yuan arrived at the top of Cloudy Mountain. He saw the immortal sect patriarch Mu Qinglu who was facing east with his back to him. Lin Yuan walked straight over. Wu Ji. Mu Qinglu had long ago discovered Lin Yuan. But there was no stopping it. I have spoken with Meng Ting, he will soon transfer Dong Jin and your mother back. Your family will be reunited. Mu Qinglu thought that Jun Wuji wanted to plead for his parents and said directly. Lin Yuan did not stop when he heard these words as he walked across to Mu Qinglu and sat on an equal footing with this immortal sect master who dominated the Middle Earth Divine Region. Wu Ji. Mu Qinglu frowned slightly. The position that Lin Yuan was making at this moment was the one that he had reserved for the Yuan Yang Islander. However, Jun Wuji was his grandson after all, and even with this rudeness, Mu Qinglu still did nothing. Wuji, you go down first, wait for grandpa, he has an important matter to discuss with a fellow Daoist, it concerns the overall situation of the Middle Earth Divine Kingdom. Mu Qinglu was pleasant to the eye. The matter of Jun Dong Jin, Mu Qinglu thinks he is right, but to this grandson, there are always a few points of guilt. Lin Yuan was silent and just quietly looked at Mu Qinglu. Wuji? Mu Qingliu's smile tightened. He was somewhat confused as to what this grandson of his really wanted to do, did he not understand how important what he was going to do later was to the Virtue Immortal Sect, to the Middle Earth Divine Kingdom? The two stared at each other. Grandpa. Right at this moment, Lin Yuan slowly opened his mouth. Mu Qingliu's expression soothed, but Lin Yuan's next words caused his pupils to shrink. What do you want to work with me on? Two more shifts are over. This copy, which is entering its later stages, will be over in a few more days. I'm begging for a monthly ticket. Quill. End of chapter. Chapter 15, Backhandedness and Negotiation, Request for Subscription. White Jade Island. Lin Yuan Yangshin drifted down. Countless White Jade Pavilion disciples' complexions were filled with fervor, they all thought that they were bound to die just now. That terrifying mirror light that ran through heaven and earth, but it turned out to be easily blocked by the island master especially his own island master, who ended up transforming into a lofty giant of an unknown number of tens of thousands of feet, completely enveloping the entire white jade island with just one palm. Such means an aptitude, even those refined void ancient saints couldn't do it, right? That mirror light, it should be the Tao Dei immortal sex Tai Hao immortal mirror? Our island master, blocked a strike from the Tai Hao immortal mirror? Doesn't that mean that the island master is already an ancient saint? Nonsense, it's not just the ancient saints. That Tai Hao Immortal Mirror is the Taoist Immortal Sex Jinzong Immortal Artifact, the three ancient saints of the Blood Demon Sea, the Underworld Palace, and the Demon Saint's Nest, who would dare to stand up to them under the Tai Hao Immortal Mirror. Our island master's strength is simply. 
A hundred years had already made the White Jade Pavilion the most powerful force in the East Sea, and the disciples of the White Jade Pavilion were so knowledgeable that they immediately deduced that the mirror light that descended from the Nine Heavens had a high probability of coming from the legendary immortal artifact Tai Hao Immortal Mirror. Lin Yuan swept his eyes at the many White Jade Pavilion disciples who looked frenzied and directly returned to his cave in the core area. Master! Li Qing and the other disciples that Lin Yuan had taken in immediately saluted respectfully. Under Lin Yuan's occasional guidance as well as White Jade Island's favorable cultivation environment, disciples such as Li Qing were either at the fourth or fifth rank of the martial arts. It was comparable to the immortal Dao cultivation systems Yuan Ing Jun and the Heavenly Monarch of Transformation. Those ordinary disciples outside only saw Lin Yuan's heavenly law. Blocking a strike from the immortal mirror that was enough to obliterate the White Jade Island. However, Li Cheng and the other disciples were strong and in a high realm, and they felt even more clearly how terrifying the looming giant that Lin Yuan had transformed into was. As well as what it really meant to be able to block a strike from the Tai Hao Immortal Mirror head on. Master! How is Master so strong? The hearts and minds of Li Cheng and the other disciples trembled, they had cultivated with Lin Yuan for over a hundred years and had been instructed by him. Already thought that his own master's strength was unfathomable, but at most, he thought that it was infinitely close to the level of refining void ancient saint. As for something like just now, blocking a strike from the strongest one in the world, that refined void ancient sage, and finally making the hallowed immortal sect patriarch retreat of his own accord. What a pie in the sky this is. Just in time, I have something to say. Lin Yuan looked towards the 30 to 40 disciples he had taken in over the years. These disciples were all good seedlings that were very suitable for practicing the Martial Dao Advancement System, and were also one of the keys to supporting the inheritance of the Martial Dao Advancement System after Lin Yuan left this realm in the future. Master please. Master please. Li Qing and the other disciples immediately said respectfully. Go and unify the East Sea. Lin Yuan calmly opened his mouth and said. For more than a hundred years, although the White Jade Pavilion had become the most powerful force in the East Sea, it had not taken action against other side sects. Not because it can't be done. Rather, he was worried about attracting the attention of the Virtue Immortal Sect. Only nowadays, there is no need for that. Lin Yuan's strength was already unrivaled in the world. And if it wasn't for that Tai Hao Immortal Mirror, he could have pushed his way across this realm with just a single Lin God Yang God. Unify the Eastern Sea Islands. Li Cheng and the other disciples were shaken in spirit. Lin Yuan's eyes lowered as he looked in the direction of the Middle Earth Divine Kingdom, in this world, there's more than just the Immortal Tao, my Martial Tao, it's time for me to go out as well. Munchkin Mountain. Every corner of the surrounding area was guarded by heavenly monarchs at the God Transformation stage. Jun Dongjin, as a former senior member of the Dao Immortal Sect, was even expected to compete for the position of sect leader. Nowadays, even if they were abandoned and transferred to the remote Mangia Mountain, there were still Immortal Sect God Realization stage cultivators who came over specifically to protect them. In fact, when it is said to be protection, it is more like surveillance. Jun Dongjin knew many of the secrets of the Dao Deity Immortal Sect, so if he ran away or was compelled by the Underworld Palace, the Blood Demon Sea, or the Demon Saint's Nest, it would not be a good thing for the Dao Deity Immortal Sect. Inside a cave a few miles away from Munchkin Mountain. The two God Transformation Stage Heavenly Monarchs sat on their knees. We are also Titanic Heavenly Monarchs, but we never thought that we would be transferred to such a remote place. The Dry and Thin Man on the left side. A Heavenly Monarch at the God Transformation Stage, even in the Dao De Immortal Sect, was considered a middle to high level cultivator, and could enjoy the Dao De Immortal Mountain spiritual vein, which greatly aided in cultivation. Now, however, being in the surroundings of Mangia Mountain, although there was also a spiritual chi of heaven and earth, it was naturally far inferior to the Immortal Mountain. Even Lord Jun Dongjin is here. What are you whining about? A round-faced Heavenly Monarch on the right glanced at the dry and thin man. I'm not whining, I just feel that the patriarch is a bit unkind, suppressing Lord Jun Dongjin is fine, why transfer his own daughter and grandson, together? The sovereign's decision naturally has the sovereign's consideration. The round-faced heavenly monarch shook his head and said. Tell me, is there still a day when Lord Jun Dongjin will return to Mount Dao De Immortal? The dry and thin man couldn't help but ask. Unclear. It depends on what Lord Numanti I thinks. The round-faced heavenly monarch pondered and replied. The current situation in the Dao Deity Immortal Sect was already obvious, Mu Meng Ting was the designated next Immortal Sect Sovereign. That's finished. The dry and thin man had a bit of a headache. Although one shouldn't talk about Mu Meng Ting, the future patriarch, Mu Meng Ting's vindictive character was not a secret. Perhaps after Mu Meng Ting stepped into the void refining stage, became an ancient saint, and became the Immortal Sect's patriarch, he would be at a different height and his personality would change, but it was only a possibility. Or Lord Jun Dongjin's youngest son, Jun Wuji is lucky, his whole family has been transferred here, and he's the only one left to enjoy his happiness in the cloud mist blessed land. The dry and thin man couldn't help but lament, sometimes, being weak, is also a blessing. The only reason why Jun Wuji was still able to stay in the cloud mist blessed land was because in the eyes of Mu Qing Lu and Mu Mengting, this person was no threat. Not even a hint of presence. That's why it was able to escape. Indeed. The round-faced heavenly monarch nodded in agreement. But whenever Jun Wuji excelled a little bit, he was transferred over together with those two elder brothers and sisters of his. 
Hey! Just as the dry and thin man was about to say something, suddenly his face changed. The round-faced heavenly monarch next to him was similarly so. Within the range of their perception, a breath appeared out of nowhere and straight towards Munchkin Mountain. Bold! Unbridled! Don't you know that this is the forbidden land of the Virtue Immortal sect? The Transfiguration Heavenly Monarchs in other locations also noticed it one after another. One after another, they showed up and burst out. You are? Mr. Jun Wuji? When the Heavenly Monarchs of the God Transformation stage saw the faces of the visitors clearly, they froze. Although the figure in front of him exuded an aura similar to that of the Bright Moon Tain, his appearance was that of Jun Wuji. Although Jun Wuji kept an extremely low profile in the Virtue Immortal sect, his appearance was widely known, after all, he was once an immortal third generation with a heavenly background. I'm here to get my parents out. Lin Yuan said in a calm tone. Before he showed his cards to Mu Qinglu, Lin Yuan had his Taiyin Yuanshan come to Mount Mangi. Regardless of the final outcome of the negotiations, Lin Yuan intended to receive his parents, his elder brother and second sister, to the East Sea Islands. At the very least, they wouldn't let them continue to fall into the hands of the Virtue Immortal sect. For this reason, this Taiyin Yuanshan of Lin Yuan had specifically changed into the appearance of his own body so that his parents could accept it more easily. Mr. Jun Wuji, may I ask if you have the Sovereign's Order? The round-faced heavenly monarch glanced with the other heavenly monarchs and asked tentatively. A skinny camel was bigger than a horse, and even though Jun Dong Jin was no longer at the top of the sect today, he was ultimately the son-in-law of the Mu family. Jun Wuji, moreover, was the grandson of the current immortal sect patriarch. After all the heavenly monarchs in the arena recognized Jun Wuji's identity, none of them dared to speak out of turn. A clan order? I don't have one. Lin Yuan shook his head and said. According to the rules, without a clan order, Lord Jun Dongjin's family is not allowed to leave. The round-faced heavenly monarch reminded. He repeatedly sized up the Jun Wuji in front of him, only to feel that his aura was very odd. No harm done. Lin Yuan smiled faintly. Next moment. The round-faced heavenly monarch and the other's expressions changed drastically. They only felt that the space around them was frozen, and the mana and God's thoughts in their own bodies were all unable to move, and they were bound in place. Immediately, under the watchful eyes of the many heavenly monarchs, Lin Yuan directly walked towards the Mangji Cliff Mountain. Inside the Munchkin Mountains. Jun Dongjin, Mu Runner, and Jun Easy Army Jilan, had also long since discovered the commotion outside. At this moment, he was filled with shock as he looked at Jun Wuji who was walking towards him. Wuji? Nuriel shouted tentatively. Although the looks were the same, the breath was inconsistent. Mother. Lin Yuan nodded his head. The cry fell. Mu Runner only felt relief in her heart. Although it was only one word, it made Mu Runner certain that this was her youngest son, Jun Wuyi. Long story short. I'm going to take you to the East Sea now. It's much safer there than here. Lin Yuan looked towards his parents, as well as his elder brother and second sister. Ha! Huh? Jun Jilan blinked. Everything that had happened from the beginning until now had left her in a state of limbo. How could one's own little brother be in such a state? And just in. How come the group of transformation god heavenly monarchs that were guarding them all of a sudden didn't move? I'll explain it to you when we get to the East Sea. Lin Yuan raised his right hand and waved his big sleeve. Space distorted as if compressed, Jun Dong Jin and the other four, constantly shrinking, were all included within the sleeves. Morally mortal sect heavenly grade technique, sleeve. Cloudy bliss. The Dowdy mortal sect patriarch, Mu Qing Lu, had his gaze fixed dead on the grandson before him, who was sitting on an equal footing with him. At this moment, Mu Qing Liu's heart set off monstrous waves. The sentence that Jun Wuji said just now, what do you want to cooperate with me for, almost caused Mu Qing Lu to lose his temper on the spot. Mu Qing Lu, as a refined void ancient saint, how clear his memory was, he was very sure that he had only spoken to the Yuan Yang Island master about his intention to cooperate with him. Only with to the others, just saying that they were discussing important matters with a fellow Taoist. There are many possibilities for discussing important matters, far more than just cooperation. But now, Jun Wuji was asking him to cooperate on what? Wuji. You? Mu Qing Liu's pupils faintly reflected the outline of a round of immortal mirrors. In just an instant, Mu Qing Lu had mobilized dozens and hundreds of secret arts, wanting to get a clear look at his grandson's bottom line. No way. That one sentence of cooperating on something had too much of an impact on Mu Qing Lu. Even if it was just Jun Wuji casually blindfolded, Mu Qing Lu would still double check. Buzz. Mu Qing Lu snapped his eyes shut, as if he saw monstrous blood chi, a red haze rolling around, within Jun Wuji's body, there was some sort of extremely terrifying power, which had actually blocked all of his probing secret arts. You, who the hell are you? Silently. Above Mu Qing Liu's head, a round of ancient mirrors blooming with immortal light sank and floated, the pressure that Jun Wuji had given him was just too great, so great that he subconsciously operated the Taiho immortal mirror to protect his body. Grandpa. I am Jun Wuji. Also. Yuan Yang Island Master. 
Lin Yuan's face was calm, since he had decided to show his cards, Lin Yuan did not bother to hide his identity, mainly because he was now so strong that he was already fearless of everything, even the immortal sect master who was holding an immortal weapon could not threaten him. You? Mu Qingliu's face changed color. At this moment, he even wondered if this grandson of his was possessed by the Yuan Yang Islander with great abilities. However, the means of possession, had many restrictions and with his strength, Jun Wuji would be able to detect the abnormality if he was truly possessed. Just not. This grandson of his own, his soul breath had never changed since the beginning. Yuan Yang Islander. Mu Qinglu looked up towards the direction of the East Sea, and vaguely, a breath like a great sun rose up, echoing with Jun Wuji in front of him. Terrific. After a long time, Mu Qingliu's complexion gradually regained its calmness, I didn't expect that my morally mortal sect, hundreds of thousands of years down the line, would give birth to a genius like you. Now, even though Mu Qinglu was incredulous, with the facts in front of him, he could only believe that the Jun Wuji in front of him was his grandson who had a very low sense of existence. When the most unbelievable possibility came true, the many doubts in Mu Qingliu's mind gradually became clearer. For example, that Yuan Yang Islander, when he first appeared, it was in the Black Vale Islands. And at that time, this grandson of his was congratulating himself on the cave ceremony. At that time, Mu Mengting was reporting to him about the Black Vale Islands. I want to work with you. Work with you to level the Underworld Palace and the Blood Demon Sea. Mu Qinglu looked in front of her, at Jun Wuji, who had become a stranger, and said in a low voice. At this time, he had completely placed this grandson of his, on the same height as him, and even his tone was consultative. No problem. Lin Yuan said indifferently. He had nothing good to say about the Underworld Palace, the Blood Demon Sea, or even the Demon Saint's Nest, and even if Mu Qinglu didn't say anything about it now, he would plan on stepping on it himself when the time came. So, Mu Qinglu let out a slight sigh of relief and continued, What are your conditions? As long as he was able to resolve the hundreds of thousands of years of heartache of the virtue immortal sect in one fell swoop, Mu Qinglu was willing to pay a large enough price. So, even if Lin Yuan asked for a lion's share of the money, Mu Qinglu would probably eventually agree. Come over from the enemy side. Lin Yuan is also his grandson. Even if he reaped more benefits from the virtue immortal sect. Sort of. Falling into the hands of one of our own. There's something to be said for fertilizer. Three conditions. Lin Yuan opened his mouth. First, I want the complete Taoist immortal scripture. The Taoist immortal scripture, which was the Taoist immortal sect's town level technique, involved the essence of the harmonization stage after the refining void stage. In the entire Tao immortal sect, only the patriarch could cultivate this scripture, and even the former Jun Dongjin had never learned it. Lin Yuan, as an immortal third generation of the Tao Te immortal sect, his elder brother, Jun Easy, had from time to time smuggled out many of the immortal sect's secret feats and techniques to himself. It was only the Tao Te Ching. But it was incapable of bringing it out. Up and down the Taoist immortal sect, apart from the patriarch, no one knew where this immortal scripture was hidden, let alone touching it as well as bringing it out. No problem. Mu Qinglu thought about it and nodded in agreement. End of chapter. Chapter 16, The Great Tao Struggle, Request for Subscription. For the Tao Deity Immortal Sect, the Tao Deity Immortal Scripture was of vital importance, including the Immortal Sect's many secret arts as well as means. It even has the essence of the description of the harmonization stage. So, in the Taoist Immortal Sect, only the Patriarch was able to cultivate the Tao Deity Immortal Scripture. Even if Mu Mengting had already stepped into refined void, he would not be able to touch the Tao Deity Immortal Scripture before becoming the Patriarch. This is the rule of the virtue immortal sect as well as the iron law, and it has been like this for hundreds of thousands of years. However, Mu Qinglu was clear. People make the rules. This grandson of his own, with his horrifying qualifications and terrifying strength, even if he were to hand over the Tao Deity immortal scripture to the other party, it would still have little impact. Anyway, whether it was given or not, Mu Qinglu did not have the certainty to beat Lin Yuan. It is only this matter that cannot be spread abroad, and everything about the moral preliminary scripture cannot be taught to a second person. Mu Qinglu spoke. He could only tolerate Jun Wuji alone knowing the Tao Deity Immortal Scripture. Could be. Lin Yuan nodded his head. Second condition. I want to know everything about the Ascension Terrace. Lin Yuan continued. The Ascension Terrace, the stakes are high. The reason why the Blood Demon Sea, the Underworld Palace, and the Demon Saint's Nest were so constantly setting off wars in the Middle-Earth Divine Realm was for the Ascension Platform. In addition, hundreds of thousands of years ago, the reason why the Virtue Immortal Sect was able to reign over the Middle Kingdom was also because of the Ascension Platform. It is said that the Ascension Platform connects to the spirit world. This is something that I will tell you even if you don't. Mu Qinglu said. Even if he didn't tell Lin Yuan. The three old guys from the Underworld Palace, the Blood Demon Sea, and the Demon Saint's Nest would also be unable to wait to tell the Yuan Yang Island Master. Third. Lin Yuan paused as he said this. The third condition, and the crucial one, is no match for the first two together. I want to spread martial arts in the Middle Kingdom. Lin Yuan said. The implication was that the Taoist immortal sect was not allowed to suppress the spread of martial arts. 
Budo? Mu Qingliu's face changed slightly. He knew that in the White Jade Pavilion in the East Sea, numerous disciples were practicing a cultivation system called the Martial Way. Even Mu Qinglu had watched some of the martial arts system's techniques. Wu Dao, a very different cultivation system from the Immortal Way, was not much weaker than the Immortal Way with its revealed potential. This time, when the Dao deity Immortal Sect had cultivated a second ancient saint, Mu Qinglu was the reason why he was holding the Taihao Immortal Mirror, intending to obliterate the White Jade Island. Apart from the fact that the White Jade Island was a soft target in his eyes, it was because Wu Dao brought a certain sense of threat to Mu Qinglu. East China Sea Islands, 800 side sects, 3,000 left paths, the cultivation system are not consistent, but there are obvious flaws. Almost impossible to give birth to the existence of the refining void ancient saints level. This was also the reason why the East Sea Islands had always been more than chaotic, without a strong enough cultivator, so it could only remain divided. But Budo. Mu Qinglu was almost certain that following the martial cultivation system, it would only be a matter of time before an ancient saint, the sixth rank of the martial Dao, would be born. Change it. That's impossible. Mu Qinglu shook his head and said. Others are negotiable. But allowing martial arts to spread? That's absolutely impossible. In Mu Qinglu's eyes, the biggest concession he could make was to allow Jun Wuji to become the next sect leader of the Immortal Sect. Whatever. Jun Wuji was also a disciple of the Virtue Immortal Sect. With such strength and such qualifications, he didn't know how far to throw off the Mu Mengting he had cultivated. It wasn't a problem to have Jun Wuji as the next patriarch. Instead, they were able to pull each other in completely. As for Mu Mengting? He could only condescend to him and be the Taoist Immortal Sect's protector. No way? Lin Yuan's face remained unchanged. Inwardly, he sighed softly. He had long anticipated this possibility, the martial way and the immortal way, the essential core was not the same. In a nutshell. What is the root of the moral immortal sect? Is it the successive patriarchs? Or is it an infinite number of secret immortal techniques? Neither. The fundamentals of the moral immortal sect. It's the way of the immortal. Immortal way for the moral immortal sect. The equivalent of a royal bloodline in a vast empire. In the empire, anyone can be an emperor, provided you have royal blood. Now that Lin Yuan wanted to make the Dao Deity Immortal Sect allow the spread of martial arts, it was tantamount to taking a bite out of the Dao Deity Immortal Sect and changing the dynasty. If Mu Qinglu really agreed to this matter, then he would be a thousand-year-old sinner of the Dao Dei Immortal Sect. The way of martial arts and the way of immortality were two very different avenues. There is no greater battle for the Great Tao. As for why physical cultivation did not conflict with the Immortal Way, it was because physical cultivation was not a complete cultivation system at all. In any cultivation system, when one goes to the depths, there is an all-around enhancement of oneself, physical body, soul, longevity, and so on. However, physical cultivation, however, could only enhance the physical body, and could not even increase the cultivator's most fundamental longevity. This would mean that physical cultivation was more like some sort of secret art. Not only was the immortal way able to incorporate physical cultivation into itself, but so could the martial way, and all the other devil's way and demon's way. Then forget it. Lin Yuan looked calm. He showed up to confer with Mu Qinglu. It was also just an attempt to see how the Taoist immortal sect's attitude towards martial arts was, really. Lin Yuan had long been prepared for failure, before he walked up to the top of the cloudy mountain, he had already asked the Tai Yin Yuanshan, to pick up his parents' elder brother and second sister, to the East Sea. Forget it. Mu Qinglu looked silent. These two words mean that cooperation has failed. Wu Ji. Mu Qingliu's gaze blazed steeply. The Taihao immortal mirror above his head was even blooming with wisps of immortal light. That Yuan Yang Islander, should it be one of your bilocations? Mu Qinglu said to himself. The method of splitting into two bodies was not rare. And the Virtue Immortal Sect had the secret art of refining split bodies. Only wanting to refine a bilocation required a huge price, and in the end, it was even more important to split a small half of one's soul and inject it into the bilocation. Losing a small half of one's soul meant a drop in cultivation speed, enlightenment, and other aspects for oneself. Therefore, Mu Qinglu did not practice the method of splitting, he was in charge of the Taihao Immortal Mirror, and in today's world, no matter how far away it is, a single thought can form the Immortal Mirror Incarnation, which is not much different from a split. Then today, I'm going to see just how strong you are for holding back until today, Wuji. Mu Qinglu fiercely got up, and the Taihao Immortal Realm above his head was even brighter. The Foot of Cloudy Mountain The two Jindan female cultivators, Springflower and Autumn Moon, were talking in whispers. Gunzi has been up there for so long, why hasn't he come down yet? Probably chatting with the patriarch, after all, the male hasn't been out for a long time. Indeed, it's just that the sovereign's willingness to talk to the prince like this is obviously emotional as well. Springflower, Autumn Moon chatted while glancing towards the top of Cloudy Mountain. Suddenly, a terrifying fluctuation came down from the top of the mountain. Springflower and Autumn Moon subconsciously looked up. His jaw dropped in shock. Only two figures were seen rushing up from the top of the Cloudy Mountain. 
The one on the left was none other than Immortal Sect Patriarch Mu Qinglu, with the head of the Jinzong Immortal Artifact Tai Hao Immortal Mirror, Infinite Light and Infinite Robberies, and Great Power. The figure on the right, on the other hand, seemed to possess a world-defying greatness, with a monstrous blood chi and a red haze that rolled around, flooding a hundred thousand miles in a radius. The Immortal Sect Patriarch Mu Qinglu, who had the Tai Hao Immortal Mirror on his head, was actually staggering like a ship that could capsize at any moment under the endless ocean of chi and blood. The key that made spring flower, autumn moon's mind go all mushy was that the figure that was pressing down on the immortal sex patriarch to beat him up seemed to be their male son, Jun Wuji. The duke fought with the patriarch? The sovereign doesn't seem to be able to beat the duke? Spring flower and autumn moon had their mouths wide open. The moment Mu Qinglu and Lin Yuan exchanged blows, terrifying fluctuations traveled in all directions. West of God's country. The demon saint's nest. The demon saint was pondering what strength that Yuan Yang Islander had to block a strike from Mu Qinglu, who was holding the Tai Hao immortal mirror. That? The demon saint's face changed violently. He clearly felt two powerful auras fighting against each other in the center of the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture. One of those infinite lights without measure, irradiating any corner of the world, should be Mu Qinglu. As for the other one, Qi and blood filled the air and shook the Middle Earth Divine Kingdom, and even though the Taihao Immortal Mirror was infinitely powerful and exceeded the limits of the void refining stage, it still shook under the terrifying Qi and blood. Who the hell is it? To think that you can pressurize Mu Qinglu to fight in the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture? The demon saint was really frightened. That was Mu Qinglu who was holding the Taihao Immortal Mirror, his divine might was overwhelming, invincible in the world, how had he ever been suppressed like that, and moreover, at his own doorstep? Show me. The demon saint took a light breath and reached out to press his hand in front of him. He was urging some sort of secret technique to project the image of that great battle in the center of the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture here. Wow. An illusory image gradually emerged. It was a battlefield located on the Nine Heavens. A crimson haze rolled around, and bright red chi and blood almost drowned everything. However, the demon saint vaguely discovered that there was a magnificent man, standing in the center of the chi and blood ocean, who was standing on top of the sky and was wielding some sort of fist technique, suppressing the Taihao immortal mirror, as well as Mu Qing Lu, in agony. Every time that man threw a punch, a shallow fist mark appeared on top of the Taihao immortal mirror's main body, and although it recovered instantly, it was the Taihao immortal mirror, a harmonization stage magic treasure. It should be indestructible. Monstrous chi and blood? Is it a lineage of physical cultivators? No, it's not just a physical cultivator. The demon saint swallowed his saliva, he hadn't had such fearful emotions for a long, long time, but now that he saw that magnificent man, the demon saint's heart and soul trembled. Who the hell is it? Who the hell is it? The demon saint continued to push the secret art, and the picture gradually became clearer, and the appearance of that magnificent man was vaguely revealed. He's. The demon saint's eyes widened. As a refined void ancient saint, how powerful his memory was, every time he awakened, he would go through the samples of all the cultivators of the Taoist immortal sect of the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture who had a slight identity. And at this moment, the appearance of that magnificent man was actually the wasteful immortal third generation Jun Wuji of the Dao Dei immortal sect who had no spiritual root qualification? How is this possible? The demon saint's jaw dropped and he didn't react for half a day. It's Jun Wuji? How is he so strong? Blood Demon C, the Lord of Blood Demons similarly set off monstrous waves in his heart. He had tried, once, to pull in Jun Wuji, and through Jun Wuji, to pull in Jun Dongjin. So he was more familiar with Jun Wuji, after all, he had paid attention. Just for now. The blood demon lord's soul trembled in fear. In the blood demon Dao, the most feared thing was the monstrous chi and blood of the most rigid in Yang. Although the lord of blood demons had extremely strong means of preserving his life, claiming that if the blood demon C did not wither, he would neither die. However, seeing that great figure with a monstrous blood chi, the lord of blood demons had a feeling that if he were in Mu Qingliu's position right now, even if the blood demon C was even more massive, it would be vaporized dry by that infinite chi and blood. Jun Wuji, I didn't expect to hide so deeply. The lord of blood demons settled down. At this moment, he suddenly thought of the blood-colored figure that he had sent over to pull in Jun Wuji. At that time, the blood-colored figure died very quickly, and the Lord of Blood Demons thought that he was unlucky to be discovered by Mu Qing Lu, who was holding the Taihao Immortal Mirror. But now, the scarlet figure was presumed to have died at the hands of Jun Wuji. Fortunately, the Lord of Blood Demons looked towards the battle that was being exchanged, and ready to say, it was Jun Wuji who was pressing Mu Qing Lu to fight, and for some reason, his heart was relieved. Although he did not know why Jun Wuji fought with his own grandfather, Mu Qing Lu. But that's a good thing. With the strength that Jun Wuji was displaying now. But whenever you join forces with Mu Qing Lu. Nope. Don't even need to join forces. As long as Jun Wuji had murderous intent towards them. You can't even run away if you want to. The other refined void ancient saints could still hide in a corner somewhere to languish. However, he was in the blood demon sea, unable to detach himself, and his target was too obvious, simply a living target. The palace of the underworld. The withered man's forehead was vaguely covered in cold sweat. He did not have a physical body, being a soul body, he should not have the concept of cold sweat, but when he felt the battle between Lin Yuan and Mu Qing Lu, his scalp almost exploded. 
if that vast ocean of blood comes to suppress him. The withered man didn't dare to imagine what the consequences would be. As the king of ghost cultivators, he mastered a certain immortality trait. But no matter how immortal, there is a limit. Being swished by that infinite chi and blood, one would have to shed their skin even if they didn't die. A few more swishes and you're probably really dead. Back off. The withered man immediately maneuvered the underworld palace and retreated towards the extreme south. He's really scared. The Nine Heavens. Mu Qinglu held the Tai Hao immortal mirror above his head and resisted with difficulty. Wu Ji. How is Wu Ji so strong? Mu Qingliu's face was unsightly, he had originally thought that the majority of Jun Wu Ji's strength was in that Yuan Yang Islander. Suddenly strike out on your own. Not to say that they won the place, but at the very least they were able to get a few points back. It's not good to be a grandfather and be worse than your grandson. But the opposite is true. Only moments of exchanging hands. He was then suppressed by Lin Yuan. There has been no subsequent counterattack. It wasn't that he didn't want to counterattack. Rather, it's a press that can't be counterattacked. It can't be delayed. Mu Qinglu had a decision in his heart. Although with the Tai Hao Immortal Mirror, he was still able to hold on. But it's not a good thing to continue. Return to the Virtue Immortal Sect. Mu Qinglu sighed. For the first time in hundreds of thousands of years, it happened that the Immortal Sect Patriarch was beaten and ran back to the mountain gate in front of his own house. Whoosh. The Tai Hao Immortal Mirror steeply emitted an infinite amount of light. Breaking through the heavy chakra. Shooting in the direction of the virtuous immortal mountain. Eh? Lin Yuan saw this. Follow in stride. Moral fairy mountain. Immortal aura fills the air. However, at this time, the entire immortal sect was like a great enemy. The sovereign's terrifying fluctuations from the great battle in the sky above the cloud mist blessed land had naturally long been detected by the many disciples of the nearby doubt immortal mountain. The many elders and supreme elders began to activate the clan protection formation as much as they could. Buzz. A mirrored light fell from a great height. The Taihao Immortal Mirror acted as the hub of the Great Formation on Mount Daode Immortal. One could ignore the many formations on Immortal Mountain and directly enter the Immortal Sect. Quickly activate the Nine Heavens Defense Formation, the Ten Earths Thick Earth Formation, the Five Elements Rotation Formation, and the Yin-Yang Intermingling Formation. Mu Qingliu's tone was urgent as he urged the Taihao Immortal Realm and activated all of the countless Great Formations that had been accumulated by the Virtue Immortal Sect for hundreds of thousands of years in a single brain. Next moment. Wow. The monstrous chi and blood, which was like a reddish haze, limitless, radiant and astounding. Then flooded the virtue immortal mountain. Two more shifts are over. Please, 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 please. Quill. End of chapter. Chapter 17 to Trinity, subscription required. Moral immortal mountain is lofty and magnificent. It stood in the center of the Middle Earth Divine Kingdom, like a giant pillar holding up the sky. In fact, it was true that for hundreds of thousands of years, the Virtue Immortal Sect had been on top of the Immortal Mountain, overlooking the living beings and condescending to them. Yet today, the pillar that supported the sky in the eyes of the billions and billions of cultivators in the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture was drowned by the monstrous Qi and blood. Wow! The radiant and astounding Qi and blood, vastly crushed over, and violently collided with the protector formation of the Virtue Immortal Mountain. Every instant, a large amount of Qi and blood was vaporized, while many protective formations collapsed. Only. The monstrous chi and blood that flooded the Virtue Immortal Mountain did not have the slightest tendency to slow down, as if it was endless. What's going on? My moral immortal sect, I'm being beaten at my door? This red ocean is the power of chi and blood? How could there be such a huge amount of chi and blood? Most of the Virtue Immortal Sect's disciples hadn't reacted yet. One moment they were still cultivating in their respective caves, and the next moment they sensed that a terrifying fluctuation was coming from the direction of the cloud mist blessed land not far away. And then. That's what it looks like now. The hallowed immortal mountain of virtue had already been drowned by the monstrous chi and blood, and at this moment, countless great formations within the immortal mountain were activated and were resisting the chi and blood erosion. Blocked? When immortal sect patriarch Mu Qinglu saw this, he didn't know why. But he was actually relieved in his heart. Jun Wu Ji. Mu Qinglu's expression was grave as he gazed into the depths of the chi and blood oceans, he could sense that Jun Wu Ji was in that very location, silently watching the virtue immortal mountain. Sovereign, what exactly happened? At this time, Mu Mengting quickly rushed over and asked in a hurry. His face was unsightly as he glanced at the red crimson haze that had surrounded the Virtue Immortal Mountain, and he couldn't help but tremble in his heart. If there was no immortal sect formation to isolate him, with his strength at the beginning of refining void, he would probably be melted by the red cloud in less than a moment or three. It's Jun Wuji. Mu Qingliu's tone was brief. At this time, he didn't want to say too much, the Virtue Immortal sect was facing the biggest crisis in hundreds of thousands of years, and most of his attention was focused on the sect protector formation. Jun Wuji? That youngest son of Jun Dong Jin? Doesn't he have no spiritual roots? Mu Mengting had long since seen the appearance of the person who had fought with Mu Qinglu, and with the means of the refined void ancient sage, it wasn't difficult to do so. 
It was just that the more so, the more unbelievable Mu Mengting became. Jun Wu Ji? Jun Wu Ji, who has never been in his eyes. How can it be so strong? How can it be so strong? Mu Mantin couldn't take it. It was as if a mole cricket that hadn't seen a single glance had become a heavenly god in the blink of an eye, and this kind of reversal almost caused Mu Mengting to be born with a heart demon. How would I know? Mu Qinglu glanced at Mu Mengting. That's just the way it is. Now blocking the door of the Taoist immortal sect, with his own strength. Almost suppressing the Taoist immortal mountain posture. He's Mu Qingliu's grandson from the past. That immortal third generation who had a very low presence and had never received any attention. Rumble. Boundless oceans of qi and blood spread out. Lin Yuan slowly stepped out, overlooking the entire Virtue Immortal Mountain. At this time, the Virtue Immortal Mountain, in front of him, exploded with powerful potential, and a defense spell formation was stimulated, cooperating and intermingling with each other, and connecting with the earth veins of the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture. Jun Wu Ji? Mu Mountain looked up at the figure, his thoughts reeling. Jun Wu Ji? He's Jun Wu Ji? That young son of Lord Jun Dong Jin? Countless disciples of the Virtue Immortal Sect, who had likewise seen Lin Yuan, were dumbstruck, not anticipating that the being who had displayed monstrous battle prowess today would be that immortal third generation who had grown up on the Virtue Immortal Mountain. Many of these immortal sect disciples had also come into contact with Jun Wuji, at that time, Jun Wuji had a heavenly background that no one dared to mess with, but he himself was unable to cultivate, and was despised and looked down upon by many of the immortal sect disciples. Just for now. Looking up at Jun Wuji, who stood high in the sky like a true immortal from the upper realms, many of the immortal sect disciples felt like they were dreaming. Let's see if we can break it. Lin Yuan carefully observed the Virtue Immortal Mountain below. It was difficult to deal with the Tao Deity Immortal Sect with just qi and blood dissipation, requiring Lin Yuan to take the initiative. Boom! Lin Yuan raised his hand. Remotely slapping towards the Moral Immortal Mountain below. Buzz! A red haze rolled and endless qi and blood coalesced. Forming a hundred-mile palm that slapped down towards the Immortal Mountain of Virtue. Space in the sleeve. Jun Dongjin, Mu Renair, and Jun Easy Jun Jilan's family were apprehensive. Husband, what the hell, what the hell is going on? Muriner asked in a low voice, her mind was in a state of tension since she was put into the space within her sleeve. Although Muriner was certain that the one who had picked them up should be her youngest son, Jun Wuji. But more questions arise from this. Her youngest son, why was he able to pick them up? Why didn't those transformation heavenly monarch watchers outside stop it? Moreover, such immortal sect heavenly arts as Draken in the sleeve, isn't it only a heavenly monarch at the god transformation stage that can be performed? Question after question confused Muriner beyond measure. Little brother. When did little brother become so strong? Even the dry sleeve has been performed? Jun Jilan couldn't help but say. In her eyes, her little brother, Jun Wuji, had always been the one who needed her protection, and now he was suddenly using the sleeve Chienkuan, which only a heavenly monarch could perform. Jun Jilan herself was only at the Yuaning stage. Even so, it was called a genius within the immortal sect. Could it be that little brother has some hidden spiritual root, has been cultivating in secret, and now that he has crossed over into the transformation spirit stage, he is pleading with the patriarch, to pick us up? June Prowler pondered for a moment and speculated. So far, that's the only thing that's most likely. Hidden spiritual roots Middle Earth Divine Prefecture has seen a few cases over the past hundreds of thousands of years, only the possibility was too small, so everyone didn't think about it. Transformation stage? You guys think this is the transfiguration stage's sleeve? Just then, June Dongjin, who had been silent. Suddenly spoke. Ha! Huh? Isn't dry sleeve only able to be performed at the god transformation stage? Can it be that there is a special means to be able to perform a sleeve in the Yuaning stage or even the Jindan stage? Jun Easy and Jun Jilan asked. If that's true, it's much more acceptable. Even though Jun Wuji possessed a hidden spiritual root, cultivating to the god transformation stage in over a hundred years was still too intimidating. Jindan stage and Yuaning stage are much more reasonable. At least Jun Easy and Jun Jilan themselves were at this level. So it is. It dawned on Mu Renner in her mind. It was just that even she, the patriarch's own daughter, had never heard of it, so what means were there to lower the threshold of using the heavenly grade divine ability, dry sleeve? The essence of the sleeve is the perception of space, less than the transformation of God, who can clearly feel the space and utilize it. You guys are missing the point. Jun Dongjin swept his eyes over a few people and suppressed the shock in his heart, a heavenly monarch at the God transformation stage, even if he performs the sleeve within sleeve, the most he can do within his sleeve is one mile. Jun Dongjin said this and paused for a moment, taking a deep breath before continuing, ancient saints of refined void, if they perform the sleeve, the space within their sleeves can reach up to a hundred miles. Jun Dongjin finished speaking and got up to look around. Looking into the space inside the sleeve they were in. Jun Easy and Jun Jilan similarly looked over. As far as the eye can see, it's empty and vast. More than 10,000 miles 100,000 miles? East China Sea. White Jade Island, core area. Lin Yuan Yang God stood with his hands behind his back. Buzz. A figure appeared. 
it was the Tai in Yuanshan. Wow! The Taiyin primordial god waved a big hand. Jun Dongjin and four others appeared. Where is this? Jun Dongjin looked around cautiously. Mu Runner, Jun Easy, and Jun Jilan were still immersed in the shock that the space within the sleeves of the refined void ancient saint was only a hundred miles. Father, mother, big brother and second sister, I have to leave first, I'll explain to you when I return. Taiyin Yuanshan smiled faintly. With the sun Yuanshan disappearing into the White Jade Island. After a hundred years of operation, the White Jade Island was able to hold out for a short period of time even in the face of several refined void ancient saints besieging it. Unless the Tao deity immortal sect patriarch wielded the Taihao immortal mirror and struck with all his might, it would be possible to pierce through the White Jade Island. But now, the immortal sect patriarch Mu Qinglu and the Taihao immortal mirror were both blocked inside the immortal sect by Lin Yuan. It could be said that White Jade Island was now one of the safest places in the world. Moral Fairy Mountain. The Qi and blood were endless. Lin Yuan looked down and slapped dozens of slaps continuously, but still failed to shake the immortal mountain of morality. What a turtle shell. Lin Yuan's face was calm. The Virtue Immortal Mountain was connected to the most massive earth vein in the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture, and attacking the Virtue Immortal Mountain would be tantamount to attacking the entire Middle Earth Divine Prefecture, and the power would be dispersed indefinitely. In fact, Lin Yuan also had the means to break through the Taoist Immortal Mountain, that is, to destroy the entire Middle Kingdom, inch by inch. With the loss of Middle Earth Divinity, the defense power of Mount Daodiai's Immortal Mountain would surely plummet. However, such an approach is tantamount to killing 10. 000 enemies at the expense of 8,000. Without the Middle Kingdom, Lin Yuan's path of martial arts advancement was not well spread. Inside the Morally Mortal Mountain. When Mu Qinglu saw Lin Yuan stop attacking, he was once again relieved in his heart. Even though he had great confidence in the immortal sex defense and thought that unless a harmonization stage powerhouse arrived in person, he would need some means to break through, he still felt a sense of trepidation when he saw the means displayed by Lin Yuan. Guarded. Next to him, Mu Mengting's hanging heart finally relaxed. At this moment, his thoughts were complicated to the extreme, Jun Wuji, who was once not in his eyes, had brought him this irresistible sense of oppression. Sovereign, what now? Mu Mantin asked in a low voice. Although the morally mortal mountain blocked Lin Yuan's attack. But with Lin Yuan blocking the door outside, they couldn't get out. What can be done? Mu Qinglu sighed. It's just going to have to wear out. Mu Qinglu said softly. With the current attack that Lin Yuan had erupted, up and down the Virtue Immortal sect, only he was holding the Taihao Immortal Realm, and he might be able to hold on for a while when he went out. The other disciples, including Mu Mengting, the newly promoted ancient saint. Going out is tantamount to certain death. My immortal sect has deep roots. Mu Qinglu was about to open his mouth and speak, cheering up the many immortal sect disciples. Just then. Moral Immortal Mountain in the other two directions. In the midst of the monstrous red haze Qi and Blood Ocean. Out stepped two figures. One of them exuded a solar aura, like a great sun falling to earth, and it was that Yuan Yang Island master of the White Jade Island. The other one had an endless Tai Yin Qi permeating his hands and feet, as if the bright moon was shining. And his aura was no less than the Yuan Yang Islander next to him. It's that mysterious Tai Yin ancient sage? Not good, this Tai Yin ancient saint is also one of Jun Wuji's doppelgangers. Mu Qingliu's complexion changed wildly as he immediately activated the Tai Hao Immortal Mirror, which in turn activated the Dao De Immortal Mountain Sect Protector Formation to the extreme. Rumble. The Taiyin Primordial Spirit and the Sun Primordial Spirit joined forces, and the power of the Taiyin's power of the Sun fused, transforming into the power of the Taiji, condensing around a black and white Yin and Yang grinding wheel, crushing towards the Taoist Immortal Mountain below. In the meantime, Lin Yuan's original body struck again. The monstrous Qi and blood was radiant and astounding as it once again blasted towards the Immortal Mountain of Virtue. The Yuan Yang Islander and that Taiyin Ancient Sage are Jun Wuji's two doppelgangers? West of the Divine State, that demon saint from the demon saint's nest looked wooden. The series of things that happened today far surpassed the past hundreds of thousands of years, and even hundreds of thousands of years ago, the era where mighty cultivators that surpassed the limits of refining void were commonplace, could not bring him such a great shock. The first one was the Yuan Yang Islander, displaying a combat power that surpassed the limit of refining the void, easily blocking Mu Qingliu's strike with the Taihao Immortal Mirror in his hand. And then the next thing you know, it's the loser in the eyes of the world who, for whatever reason, fought with his own grandfather. Even if they fought, what was unbelievable was that Jun Wu Jia was even pressing his grandfather to fight? pressing the immortal sect leader holding the Tai Hao immortal mirror. In the end, the immortal sect patriarch had no choice but to flee into the Dao De immortal mountain. And with the hundreds of thousands of years of the Dao De immortal sect's heritage, he was barely able to hold back Jun Wuji's killing power. Finally the Yuan Yan Islander came. That mysterious Tai Yin ancient sage had also come. The three were located in the three directions of the moral immortal mountain, and although their breaths were different, they were able to easily blend into one, and it was obvious that the three were one person. At this moment, the demon saint's mind was shaken, he had never dreamt that the Jun Wuxia had hidden so many cards. South of Middle Earth. The withered man who was the king of ghost cultivators was numb. 
He had originally planned to flee towards the extreme south, but now when he saw that Jun Wuji was suppressing the entire Dao De Immortal sect and that the Yuan Yang Islander and the Taiyin Ancient Sage were both greatly associated with Jun Wuji, the withered man immediately felt tasteless and didn't even want to escape. If it was just Yuan Yang Islander, a great power beyond the limits of refining void, and he made a strong effort to flee towards the extreme south, there might be a hope of escaping from the vortex. But the three, especially after the odds are that these three are one person. The Lord of Ghost Cultivation didn't even want to flee, because there was no point, no matter where he fled to, as long as he was within this realm, it made no difference. With the current battle power that Jun Wuji had erupted, the ends of the earth were just under his feet. How could such a freak be born in this world? The Lord of Ghost Cultivation sighed as he looked in the direction of the Virtue Immortal sect from afar. Compared to his current situation, the Virtue Immortal sect was definitely countless times worse. The Sea of Blood and Magic The Blood Demon Lord's mind trembled with unease. How can it be so strong? The Lord of Blood Demons knew many past events hundreds of thousands of years ago, but even hundreds of thousands of years ago, it was not uncommon for great powers to surpass the limit of refining void, and if they were as terrifying as Lin Yuan, there were only those one or two, right? Moral Fairy Mountain the terrifying immortal light formation could almost shine through space, and Mu Qinglu personally urged the Tai Hao immortal mirror to sit in the pivotal position of the immortal mountain. Next moment. The Yin and Yang Tai Tai Great Millstone crushed down. End of chapter. Chapter 18, a hundred years of rush, a multitude of people, seeing one person together, request for subscription. One time. The heavens and the earth tumbled down. It is like the destruction of all things. Lin Yuan gathered the two Yuan Shen, as well as his own body, and struck with all his might. Thoroughly surpassing the limit of the sixth order, purely in terms of might, perhaps it was close to the seventh order? A few moments later. The aura of heaven and earth gradually calmed down. Lin Yuan looked up and down. Pity. Lin Yuan shook his head slightly. He struck with all his might and still failed to break through the moral immortal mountain. Just. Lin Yuan didn't care much. The Virtue Immortal sect, inherited for hundreds of thousands of years, had unfathomable depths, unless a harmonization stage true immortal, or a seventh order evolutionary. Otherwise, it would be difficult to completely break through its clan protection array. Lin Yuan did not intend to settle the Virtue Immortal sect once and for all this time when he came over. Rather, he was trying to test his own strength, using the entire Virtue Immortal sect as a standard to measure his own strength. It can't be breached. But it's close. As long as one cultivates to the peak of the twelfth stage of the sixth rank and strikes out at full power, the attack power should be able to touch the seventh rank. At that time, it will be expected to completely break open the Moral Immortal Mountain. Lin Yuan thought secretly as he overlooked the morally mortal mountain below. Sure. Lin Yuan predicts the premise of it all. It's the legendary spirit world that doesn't intervene. The Dao Dao immortal sect mastered the ascension platform, and successive generations of ancient sage patriarchs, after ruling the sect for 10 or 20,000 years, traveled to the spirit world through the ascension platform. Hundreds of thousands of years ago, many of the powerhouses of that era, not a few of them exceeding the limits of void refining, had also long since passed through the ascension stage and traveled to the higher levels of the spirit realm. In the spirit world, it was almost certain that there were harmonization stage true immortals. Only. The soaring platform is a one-way passage. Those ancestors of the moral immortal sect in the spirit world went up and couldn't get down. This was the key to Lin Yuan daring to make a move against the virtue immortal sect. The two realms were separated, and even if they were able to intervene, the power they used was very limited, and since Lin Yuan was invincible in this realm, he had no fear of this. Go back. Lin Yuan glanced at the virtue immortal sect at his feet. The figure disappeared. Actually, Lin Yuan could completely leave behind his young god or Yin god to continue suppressing the Virtue Immortal sect. But there's no need for that. With the battle power he had just displayed. Even if they didn't leave behind a detachment to suppress them, the disciples of the Virtue Immortal sect would, I'm afraid, not dare to go out for a long time. Especially those Yuaning true monarchs and heavenly monarchs who had transformed into gods. Even if they were given ten guts, they wouldn't dare to step out of the range of Mount Dao De Immortal. As it is. It would be better for this Yuan Shen to return together, and Yuan Shen cultivation would similarly enhance Lin Yuan's enlightenment efficiency. Along with Lin Yuan's departure. Within the Daoist Immortal Mountain, countless Immortal Sect disciples were in tears. Just a moment ago, they really felt the threat of death, thinking that the Virtue Immortal Mountain, which had been inherited for hundreds of thousands of years, might not really be able to stop that round of the Great Grinding Wheel of Yin and Yan? Just for now. Moral Immortal Mountain was not breached. And that Jun Wuji, who stood high up in the sky, looking down on them as if he were a true immortal, had also disappeared and should have left. We survived. Ah ha ha ha, I knew I wasn't meant to be. Survived ah, really survived ah. Countless immortal sect disciples couldn't help but revel. From life to death, and then from death to life, such ups and downs, even for immortal cultivators, their state of mind inevitably fluctuates. Survived? High up in the sky, Mu Menting looked at the revelry of the immortal sect's disciples and couldn't help but feel a little heartbroken. Was there ever a time when a disciple of the lofty virtue immortal sect would emit such sentiments? 
Go to the patriarch. Lu Mengting fixed his mind and immediately flew towards the top of the morally mortal mountain. For ordinary disciples, it is true that they survived. But it's just the beginning for the top brass of the immortal sect. What exactly the immortal sect should do next is the key. That Jun Wuji was only gone, not dead. And it was far from time to celebrate. The great hall at the top of the morally mortal mountain. Patriarch Mu Qinglu sat on the main seat. Eyes closed, frowning in thought. Sovereign. Mu Mengting appeared in the grand hall and bowed slightly towards Mu Qinglu. Montin. Mu Qinglu opened her eyes and looked at Mu Mengting. Looking at Mu Mengting who had a respectful posture, Mu Qinglu subconsciously compared him to Jun Wuji. It turns out that there is no comparison between the two. Did I really choose the wrong one? Mu Qinglu thought silently in his heart. If he hadn't chosen Mu Mengting to be the next generation of immortal sect patriarchs, he would have chosen Jun Dongjin instead. Wouldn't there have been the scene just now that could be called the catastrophe of the Taoist immortal sect? Although, Lin Yuan wanted to spread the martial arts, this was something that he absolutely could not give in to, and neither could the virtue immortal sect. But with Jun Dongjin as the immortal sect patriarch, there would at least be room for detente between the two, and they wouldn't be as direct as they were just now. Sovereign, what should we do now? Mu Montin asked tentatively. What to do? Mu Qingliu's thoughts collected, we can't deal with Jun Wuji's strength, now we can only ask the ancestors what they mean. What do the ancestors mean? Mu Montin's eyes lit up. The virtue immortal sect had been passed down for hundreds of thousands of years, yet there had been 30 generations of patriarchs. On average, each patriarch had only been in charge of the immortal sect for 10,000 to 20,000 years. Why is that? One must know that the lifespan of a refined void ancient saint was far more than 20,000 years, and those three ancient saints of the blood demon sea, the underworld palace, and the demon saint's nest had lived from that era hundreds of thousands of years ago until now. A refined void ancient saint, living through hundreds of thousands of years was not a difficult task. However, in reality, there were many sect masters of the virtue immortal sect, and the reason for this was the spirit world. The virtue immortal sect grasped the ascension platform, this object was a passageway connecting to the spirit realm, and successive patriarchs had all traveled to the spirit realm through the ascension platform. It was said that the cultivation environment in the spirit realm was far superior to the Middle Earth Divine Realm, and in the spirit realm, those ancestors of the Tao Te Immortal Sect even had true immortals at the harmonization stage. You shouldn't expect too much from the ancestor. The ancestors are in the spirit realm, and it's hard for them to intervene in the lower realms. Mu Qinglu shook his head, if the ancestors were able to take on the Middle Earth Divine Region, then the Demon Saint's Nest, the Underworld Palace, and the Sea of Blood Devils would have long since been flattened, so how could they still exist to this day? White Jade Island Jun Dongjin, Mu Runner, and the Jun Easy and Jun Jilun. Is speculating and waiting uneasily. This is White Jade Island? Yuan Yang Island Lord's territory? Wuji is still related to the Yuan Yang Island Lord? The vibrations in Jun Dongjin's heart did not stop. Although he had vaguely surmised from the dry heaven in the sleeve performed by Lin Yuan's Taiyin Yuanshen that his youngest son, Jun Wuji's strength might be far beyond their imagination. But just how, without Jun Wuji's personal acknowledgement, it would not be considered certain. Just then, Lin Yuan appeared not far away. Wu Ji. Little brother. Mu Runner, Jun Jilan, and Jun Easy were the first to run over. What the hell is going on? The guy who picked us up earlier, how come he looks just like you? Jun Jilan couldn't help but inquire. That's one of mine. Sort of a diversion. Lin Yuan thought for a moment and explained. The Martial Dao Evolution Pathways Martial Dao Genjutsu was indeed similar to a bilocation, except that it was far less costly than cultivating a bilocation as such. Next. Lin Yuan told some things, all truthfully. For example, his own true strength, the so-called Yuan Yang Islander and Taiyin Ancient Sage were all his alter egos. As for why he possessed so much strength, the explanation given by Lin Yuan was that when he was a child, there were suddenly more memories in his mind. Among those memories, there were some broken cultivation methods. Anyway, it's nine parts real, one part fake. I've read in an ancient book of a certain sect that when that ascension platform hadn't yet appeared, those great powers who had surpassed the limits of void refinement would try to reincarnate when they faced the end of their lifespan. Woji you should be the reincarnation of a certain great power, but the saying of reincarnation is nebulous, and even more so, you have to face the mystery of the fetus, the true self of that great power may have already passed away, leaving only some memories that were accepted by Woji Yu. Jun Dong Jin pondered for a moment and spoke. The term reincarnation, though nebulous, is real. In the history of the Tao deity immortal sect, it had received certain extremely early disciples. These disciples were born knowing and with images of life in another world flashing through their minds from time to time. Junior brother, are you saying that just now you went to the Virtue Immortal Mountain and almost breached it? Jun Jilan blinked. Every word Lin Yuan said, she understood what it meant, but when combined together, how could it be so unfamiliar? I didn't mean anything else when I struck out against the Virtue Immortal sect, I just wanted to prove my strength in order to prepare for the spreading of martial arts next. Lin Yuan said truthfully. If you want to spread martial arts, you can't rely on mouth and affection alone. 
The Virtue Immortal sect had the backing of the Spirit Realm ancestors, and Lin Yuan simply did not have the idea of stepping on and destroying the Virtue Immortal Mountain. After all, Lin Yuan could only reside in this world for 500 years, even if he did destroy the Virtue Immortal sect. 500 years later. When Lin Yuan left this world, the Spirit World ancestors of the Tao Deity Immortal sect were perfectly capable of making a comeback. Re-established the Taoist Immortal sect. The two realms were separated, so even a harmonization stage true immortal would find it difficult to break through the world barrier and interfere in the lower realms. At most, he could only borrow some small means, and those small means were not much of a problem for dealing with ordinary beyond refined void limit powers, but naturally, they did not have half the effect on Lin Yuan. It was just that within 500 years, with Lin Yuan around, there was no need to worry about martial arts, but what about after 500 years? So Lin Yuan's real purpose for doing this was precisely to force out those ancestors of the virtue immortal sect located in the spirit world. As for why you don't use more peaceful means such as being honest with Mu Qing Lu. It doesn't really make a difference. If Lin Yuan didn't have enough strength, even if he displayed in a peaceful stance, he would be suppressed by the Virtue Immortal Sect. On the contrary, if Lin Yuan displayed the means to be able to step on this realm's moral immortal sect, no matter what he did, as long as he didn't break the bottom line, there would be room for negotiation. Also, Lin Yuan had another layer of reasons. That's taking it out on the parents. Who told you that the moral immortal sect chose the wrong person? Wuji, just do what you want. Jun Dong Jin looked at this son of his and spoke. He had experienced the pinnacle in the Virtue Immortal Sect, almost becoming the future sect leader, and he had also experienced the trough, spending a hundred years in a remote place such as Mangia Mountain. Saw through a lot of things a long time ago. After explaining with my parents' older brother and sister, Lin Yuan then arranged a cave residence on White Jade Island specifically for them. The White Jade Island was rich in spiritual chi, even if it wasn't the Taoist Immortal Mountain, it was still comparable to the cavernous paradise in the Middle Kingdom. Far better than the remote Munchausen Mountains. Lin Yuan was also relieved that his parents were practicing here. A few months later, Lin Yuan sat cross-legged inside the cave. Not far away, a man wearing a blood robe saluted with a respectful posture. Greetings, my lord. This blood-robed man was none other than the Blood Demon Lord. After several months of being on tenterhooks in the Blood Demon Sea, he still decided to pay a personal visit to pay a visit to Lin Yuan. After all, with the strength that Lin Yuan had displayed, leveling his blood demon sea was not a difficult task, and in the face of such a strong person, the lord of blood demons should naturally know what to do. Is this one of your incarnations? Lin Yuan surveyed the blood demon lord with interest. This was not the first ancient saint to visit Lin Yuan. Once again, before that, that king of ghost cultivators from the underworld palace and that demon saint from the demon saint's nest had already paid a visit. One after another. They offered their core gongfu secret techniques in order to obtain Lin Yuan's shelter. In fact, it couldn't be said that they were sheltering, all they were asking for was for Lin Yuan not to make a move against them. Lin Yuan naturally laughed at each of these. These old void refining ancient saints who had lived for hundreds of thousands of years still had many redeeming qualities in their inherited techniques and secret arts. My lord. My main body is unable to leave the blood demon sea, so I can only have this avatar come. The blood demon lord was instantly a little terrified, thinking that Lin Yuan was blaming him for being rude. No harm done. Lin Yuan waved his hand. My lord, this is the sea of blood indestructible law that I've been studying for a long time. The lord of the blood sea immediately presented a blood-colored jade slip. Immediately, he expressed his loyalty to Lin Yuan, saying something like as long as Lin Yuan gave the order, he would expand the sea of blood, invade the Middle-earth divine kingdom, and be immortal with that virtue immortal sect. Send the lord of the blood sea away. Lin Yuan began to browse through the blood sea indestructible law within the jade slip. Body merging with the sea of blood, immortal, no wonder for hundreds of thousands of years, the virtue immortal sect has been unable to suppress it, this already involves certain means at the harmonization stage. Lin Yuan's face was slightly grave. The reason why the demon sacred nest and the underworld palace were able to support themselves under the suppression of the virtue immortal sect until today was because the demon sacred nest and the underworld palace were originally a powerful treasure that was left behind by a group of great powers that had surpassed the limits of void refining hundreds of thousands of years ago. But the lord of the blood sea, is none of these. Hard to rely on the body to merge the blood devil sea, free until now. Such means, if altered slightly. Lin Yuan was quite moved. The hidden danger of the sea of blood indestructible method is that it is impossible to leave the object of bodily union. For example, the lord of blood demons would not be able to leave the range of the blood demon sea because he was the blood demon sea and the blood demon sea was him. But with Lin Yuan's heaven-defying enlightenment, he could not do anything to eliminate this hidden danger, only to make its indestructible characteristic weakened by a few points. The years are long. A hundred years have passed in a hurry. The White Jade Island became more and more prosperous, and the number of martial arts practitioners became huge. Jun Dongjing, Mu Runner, and Jun Easy Jun Jilan were having a great time on the White Jade Island, or at least there was no pressure. And nowadays, the White Jade Island's reputation had already surpassed that of the Daodae Immortal Sect, and Jun Easy and Jun Jilan's status had risen rather than fallen. Just then, a terrifying aura rose up from the core area of White Jade Island. 
This breath of the vastness, as if able to suppress all things, the entire East China Sea to billion billion miles area, the aura of heaven and earth are beginning to vibrate. The Demon Saint's Nest The Demon Saint looked in the direction of the East Sea full of shock. That Lord broke through? The Demon Sage muttered, a hundred years ago, that Lord was able to hang the Tao De immortal sect up and beat them, now that he had taken it a step further, what level would he reach? The Palace of the Underworld The King of Ghost Cultivators sighed. His gaze also looked in the direction of the East Sea. Not knowing what to think about again. The same was true for the Lord of the Blood Devil Sea Blood Devil. Moral Immortal Sect Mu Qinglu and Mu Mengting, the first to sense the aura from the East Sea, fiercely got up and looked in the direction of the East Sea. As the breakthrough breath became more and more voluminous. One time. I don't know how many living beings, seemingly sensed, subconsciously looked in the direction of the East Sea. It's as if. A multitude of people are not about to look at one person. Two more shifts are over. I'm begging for a monthly ticket. Quill. End of chapter. Chapter 19 Ascension Platform, Request for Subscription. Name, Jun Wuji, Lin Yuan. Identity, the ruler of the gate of all worlds. Bound talent, unbelievable enlightenment. Avatar, blood rebirth. Current status, consciousness descending. Remaining residence time, 220 years. White Jade Island Core Cave. Lin Yuan sat cross-legged, his terrifying aura spreading in all directions along the void as if it was a ripple created by a stone falling into calm water. This side of the world. Lin Yuan opened his eyes and looked towards the direction of the Taoist immortal sect in the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture. With his current perception of space, even though he was separated by a further distance, he could still detect that in the depths of the Virtue Immortal Sect, space seemed to have been torn open, presenting some sort of incomplete implication. It was like a piece of white paper that suddenly had an extra black dot somewhere, and it would appear unusually prominent in Lin Yuan's field of vision. That's the ascension platform that the Virtue Immortal Sect holds? Lin Yuan looked thoughtful. Compared to the world of God's soldiers, that spatial rift at the end. The spatial channel that this ascension platform was connected to was much more orderly and stable. It was similar to the spatial passage formed by the crystal magic cube that eldest brother had taken out and used to directly reach the Red Kuan main star when Lin Yuan had just broken through the sixth rank. Lin Yuan sat in the East Sea and carefully observed the ascension platform that was far away from the doughty mortal sect for a while before moving his gaze away. Nowadays, the ascension platform was no longer a secret to Lin Yuan, it was nothing more than a spatial passage that stabilized the passage to a certain world. Sure. Even if it was stable, it was still filled with some sort of spatial oppression, and one had to be at least at the sixth rank or refined void ancient sage level to pass through. 280 years. Lin Yuan sat cross-legged, having descended to this realm for nearly 300 years, with only a small half of the 500 years of residency time remaining. As early as 60 years ago, I had already crossed into the 12 stages of the sixth order, 50 years ago, it was the peak of the 12 stages of the sixth order, and just now, I even barely stepped out of the 12 stages of the sixth order by half a step. But the seventh rank, still haven't thought about it. In a hundred years' time, apart from the Tao Deity Immortal Sex Tao Deity Immortal Scripture, Lin Yuan had already understood any of the secret techniques in this realm and had used their essence as nourishment to fill in the pathway of martial arts advancement. However, Lin Yuan understood that he was still a bit short of truly opening up the beginning of the seventh stage chapter of the martial Tao progression pathway. Although there were numerous seventh order evolutionary pathways to refer to and learn from. The seventh order chapter that Lin Yuan wanted to open up for the martial Tao evolutionary pathway was definitely different and perfectly suited to him. Seventh order. Lin Yuan's face was pensive. In this realm's immortal Tao cultivation system, the realm that corresponds to the seventh order is the harmonization stage. What is the period of merging with the Tao? To be in harmony with the Tao, I am the Tao and the Tao is me. The harmonization stage was also called true immortal, and that was the level that truly belonged to immortals. Harmonize? If I can watch the Tao deity immortal scripture, perhaps it will help me with my seventh order chapter? Lin Yuan thought secretly. It had to be said that the immortal Tao cultivation system was indeed superior, and the farther back those true immortals went, the more terrifying the power those true immortals grasped became. Unfortunately. The end of this cultivation system. It should be occupied by a certain being. Lin Yuan shook his head slightly. The immortal way is prevalent in this realm, and it so happens that there is an ascension platform that connects to the spirit world, which is also suitable for the immortal way cultivation system? What kind of coincidence is that? In the world of dragon and tiger, a great power from the upper realm landed on the layout, leaving behind the true martial sword as well as the primordial demonic spirit. And in this side of heaven and earth, Lin Yuan still felt that there were traces of a higher level meddling. It's just that the two realms are separated, even if the most powerful person, it's impossible to cross over out of thin air, it will be subject to heavy limitations, at most, it's just a means of descending. Lin Yuan felt more and more the terror of the gate of 10,000 realms, comma. This kind of means of ignoring space and even time and forcibly dropping himself into a certain world was incredible. One must know that the gate of 10,000 worlds could not only perform consciousness descent, but also physical body shuttling, and could even pinpoint a certain world to shuttle through as long as the boundary-breaking source power was sufficient. A moment of contemplation. 
Lin Yuan got up and walked out of the cave. Nowadays, his strength, his realm, had reached a certain limit. Even if he continued his seclusion for another few more decades and centuries to come, he would not necessarily have gained anything. It wasn't that reverse gnosis wasn't working, if Lin Yuan didn't care about the high or low potential of the seventh order piece, he could have opened up the seventh order path by now. But there is a difference between the seventh order and the seventh order. There are seventh order evolutionary pathways that are expected to advance to ninth order evolutionary pathways. There are some seventh order evolutionary pathways where promotion to the eighth order is never possible. The White Jade Island was surrounded by spiritual chi, and a heavy light of formation sheltered the entire White Jade Island. Wu Ji. Jun Dong Jin, Mu Runner, as well as Jun Easy, Jun Jilan, and the rest of the crowd, immediately greeted Lin Yuan when they saw him walk out. The commotion when Lin Yuan made his breakthrough just now was not small, and the entire world, cultivators with a little bit of strength, all sensed it. Daddy. Lin Yuan walked over. What's the situation on the island now? Lin Yuan asked casually. He himself was in seclusion most of the time, so Lin Yuan basically left the matters of the White Jade Pavilion to those few disciples of his, as well as his parents and his elder brother and second sister to manage. Only. Jun Dong Jin and Mu Renair were not too willing to meddle in the White Jade Pavilion, but it was Jun Easy Jun Jilan who had some interest. Master. Li Cheng stood out, as the disciple that Lin Yuan had taken in, she was mainly responsible for everything in the White Jade Pavilion, even Jun Easy Jun Jilan, was just giving her a hand. Right now in the White Jade Pavilion, there are 16 million disciples of the first rank of the martial arts path, 8,900,000 disciples of the second rank of the martial arts path, 11,000 disciples of the third rank of the martial arts path, 24,221 disciples of the fourth rank of the martial arts path, and 24 disciples of the fifth rank of the martial arts path. When Li Qing said this, he paused for a moment and said in a low voice, there is yet to be a disciple who is cultivated to the sixth rank of the martial Tao. Nice. Lin Yuan nodded slightly. The pathway of martial evolution, from the beginning of its spread until now, was only more than 200 years old, and to be able to give birth to so many cultivators was already considered to be a rapid development. In fact, the fastest development of the pathway of evolution of the martial arts has been in the last hundred years. A hundred years ago, Lin Yuan had fought his way up to the mountain gate of the Dao De Immortal sect with a posture of absolute crushing, and although he did not ultimately break through the Dao De Immortal mountain, who didn't know about that kind of invincible might? Therefore, the pathway of martial arts advancement spread by Lin Yuan naturally attracted countless people, especially those from the side sects on the East Sea Islands, who rushed to join the White Jade Pavilion. The Sixth Stage of Martial Arts Even with Lin Yuan's guidance, so far, the White Jade Pavilion had never given birth to a martial Dao Sixth Order. There was no surprise to Lin Yuan about this. The Sixth Order of the Martial Dao corresponded to the refined void ancient saints, and even in the main world, the Fifth to Sixth Order was the threshold. The life essence of a sixth order revolver had been metamorphosed, and it was already possible to brand one's life imprint into the cosmic stars. This world is even more so, the refined void ancient sage is undoubtedly the ceiling in terms of battle power, as strong as the Tao deity immortal sect, there is only one ancient sage sitting around most of the time. In fact, if it wasn't for Lin Yuan's epiphany in the main world, which broke down the limitations of the pathways of martial arts advancement and made them all encompassing. Otherwise, I'm afraid that right now, not to mention the sixth rank of the martial arts, it was estimated that there weren't even a few fourth or fifth ranks of the martial arts. Not everyone is gifted in Tai In Sun Tai Chi. Next, I'm going to take a trip away. Lin Yuan chatted with the family disciples for a while and opened his mouth. Leave? Mu Runner had a guess in her heart and asked tentatively, Wuji, are you thinking of going to the virtuous immortal mountain? A hundred years ago, Lin Yuan didn't forcefully attack the virtue immortal mountain. After a hundred years and several breakthroughs, it was self evident why Lin Yuan's purpose was now to walk out of the White Jade Island. Right. Lin Yuan nodded his head. The moral immortal mountain was indeed one of his purposes. Woji. Muriel sighed, wanting to speak. Mother, don't worry, I'll do my job. Lin Yuan comforted. He had indeed traveled to the virtue immortal sect this time with the idea of peace talks in mind. Of course. Those who were qualified to negotiate with Lin Yuan could only be the ancestors of the virtue immortal sect located in the spirit realm. Outside the White Jade Island. Lin Yuan's figure appeared. Moral immortal sect. Lin Yuan glanced in the direction of the Earth and Divine State. Before heading to the Virtue Immortal Sect, Lin Yuan had one more thing to do. That is the White Jade Island at the foot. To be precise, it was the bottom of the deep sea beneath which the White Jade Island was located. The location of the White Jade Island is not fixed, he sinks to the bottom of the deep sea every 2000 years, and then comes up again 2000 years later. Nowadays, White Jade Island had become a holy place for martial arts practitioners. Even if, in the future, the center of gravity of the martial arts system moved to the Middle Kingdom, the position of White Jade Island was irreplaceable. Just like in the main world, the Human Civilization Alliance's home planet, Ancestral Star. The Human Civilization Alliance's territory was vast and included countless living planets, but there was only one Ancestral Star home planet. The symbolism is greater than anything else. In this case, if the White Jade Island is still according to the law of sinking and floating once every 2000 years, naturally, it is somewhat inappropriate. The bottom of the deep sea. It's near total darkness here. 
terrifying sea pressure came from all directions. Even Yuaning stage and God realization stage immortal cultivators would not dare to be in such an environment for a long period of time. Not to mention. At the bottom of the deep sea, it's not the extreme environment that's scary. Rather, they were those ancient demonic beasts and ferocious beasts that had existed since hundreds of thousands of years ago. Eh? Lin Yuan followed the white jade island to the bottom of the deep sea below it. This is an eye of the deep sea, and every 2,000 years, when the seawater circulates, it generates a huge suction force that swallows a large amount of seawater and sends it to the other end of the East Sea, week after week, once every 2,000 years. Lin Yuan thought secretly. The White Jade Island, which is in the upper part of the sea eye, will sink uncontrollably whenever suction is generated, until it comes to the bottom of the deep sea, the block sea eye, and only then stops. When the suction disappeared, the White Jade Island naturally floated back up. It's not difficult to resist the suction force, it's just a matter of sealing this mouth of the sea eye, not to mention the refined void ancient saints, even the heavenly monarchs of the god transformation stage can do it. Just. Lin Yuan glanced around. With his perception, he naturally detected that many deep sea beasts with terrifying auras were nearby. If he made a move to seal the sea eye, he would definitely startle those deep sea giants, which were huge in size, plus being on the other side's home turf. Even for the refined void ancient saints, if they were surrounded by a group of deep sea beasts, they would probably only be able to flee in a sorry state. But these were naturally nothing to Lin Yuan. Seal. Lin Yuan looked towards the eye of the deep sea, and with a slight movement of his mind, an aura surged out and began to suppress the huge sea eye. Buzz. Many deep sea beasts in the distance sensed the movement over here. Immediately towards the wandering. Next moment. These deep sea giants seemed to have sensed something. With a speed ten times dozens of times faster than wandering over, he fled towards the distance. Rather spiritual. Lin Yuan glanced at those deep sea beasts that were frantically fleeing. He had just intentionally leaked a little bit of his own aura, and he had almost made those deep sea beasts scared out of their wits. Although the deep sea beasts were not spiritually intelligent, they were not fools, and in front of the breath that felt far beyond their own, who dared to go up to them. One hour later. Lin Yuan completely suppressed the eye of the deep sea. Spinning around, he left the bottom of the sea and headed towards the Middle Kingdom. Moral Fairy Mountain. Lin Yuan's figure appeared silently. A hundred years had passed, and nothing had changed on Mount Taoist Immortal. The Immortal Sect disciples, however, obviously kept a much lower profile, and would almost never leave the virtuous Immortal Mountain if there were no important matters. You two stay outside. Lin Yuan pondered for a while, and with a slight movement of his mind, the Yin God Yang God walked out and stood on either side of his body. Although, with Lin Yuan's current strength, even if the Virtue Immortal Sect had really invited the Spirit World Ancestor down, it was probably not much use and could not pose much of a threat to Lin Yuan. But fear not, fear not. Being cautious, Lin Yuan still planned to leave the Yin God Yang God outside. Lin Yuan and the Yin God and Yang God are three in one, as long as one side is still there, the other two, even if they die out and fall, they are not considered dead and can be reborn again. With the Taiyin giving birth to the sun. Or with the sun giving birth to the Taiyin. In the end, Taiji gave birth to all things, and the all things here referred to Lin Yuan's physical body. Leave a drop of essence blood out. Lin Yuan raised his right hand and a drop of crimson essence blood emerged and fell within the Yangshen. Although it was said that the Taiyin and the sun were fused into the Taiji, and the Taiji then went on to derive the physical body. Such a method would take a short period of time. And it also consumes some origin. It would be much better if it was replaced by essence blood. The fleshly body aptitude that Lin Yuan had mastered, dripping blood rebirth. Even if there's only a drop of blood, it can be quickly reborn. This is the power of the avatar. That's about right now. A smile appeared on Lin Yuan's face as he looked at the arrangement he had left behind. With this hand, even if the most unlikely scenario occurs, one can recover as fast as possible. Moral Immortal Sect Lin Yuan turned his head and looked at the immortal mountain not far away. Many protective formations flashed in Lin Yuan's eyes. If it was a hundred years ago, when faced with these clan protection formations, Lin Yuan would have still many forcefully broken them. However, after a hundred years of time, Lin Yuan, in addition to cultivation, but also with heaven-defying enlightenment, all of the Tao immortal sects protective formations, as much as possible to eat through the enlightenment. A hundred years ago, Lin Yuan's original Yang God and Yin God had joined hands to strike, and even had the purpose of observing the operation of his formation. Under the tremendous pressure caused by Lin Yuan's strike, the many protective formations of the Virtue Immortal Sect were all overloaded, thus allowing Lin Yuan to see some of the nature of these protective formations. With his heaven-defying enlightenment and comprehending the essence of these formations, today's Lin Yuan could definitely be called the topmost formation master of the Middle-earth Divine Prefecture. In particular, he knew the many protective formations of the Virtue Immortal Sect like the back of his hand and could easily enter and exit. End of chapter. Chapter 20 Coordinates of the Spirit World, It's Not Impossible, Returns Tomorrow. Begs for subscriptions. Moral Fairy Mountain. The Great Hall at the Top. Mu Qinglu and Mu Mengting had heavy faces. Not long ago, the aura that came over from the East Sea side made the two of them a bit fidgety. If it was said before, Mu Qinglu was very confident in the Immortal Sect Protector Formation, believing that no one could break through and kill them. 
But after that scene a hundred years ago, Jun Wuji was like a true immortal, three times in one piece, hitting the Taoist immortal mountain and shaking it. Mu Qinglu then didn't have as much confidence. At that time, he realized that the original moral immortal mountain, too, had a day when it was constantly shaken by people? And in the last hundred years, he had felt at least three times, the scent of a breakthrough coming from the east seaside. Mu Qingliu's heart became even more speculative and uneasy. A hundred years ago, the Jun Wuji had almost attacked the Daodei Immortal Mountain, and now that another hundred years had passed, if the other party continued to strike at the Daodei Immortal Sect, can Moral Immortal Mountain still hold it back? Mu Qingliu's face was heavy. He already had the answer in his mind. Unstoppable. Even a hundred years ago. If Jun Wuji was willing to stay and suppress the Immortal Mountain of Virtue, with the strength of his own body and the two doppelgangers, he was completely capable of slowly dissolving the Dao deity immortal sex protector formation. If it lasted for a few hundred years, the protector formation of Mount Daodei's immortal mountain wouldn't even break down. Sovereign. What did the ancestors of the spirit world say? Mu Mengting is equally uneasy, compared to Mu Qing Lu, the pressure in his heart is greater, who does not know that he and that Jun Dong Jin, is a rival? He even secretly had someone carry void refining stage talismans and wanted to kill that Jun Dong Jin? Now that Jun Dong Jin's son had so much power, once the Taoist immortal mountain was breached, would he still be able to have a good ending? Already told the ancestor. Ancestor said that if Jun Wuji attacks immortal mountain next time, he can be contacted at any time. Mu Qing Lu whispered. A hundred years ago, when he saw that Jun Wuji had the strength to threaten the Dao deity immortal sect, he had already contacted the ancestors of the spirit world. This was how the ancestor responded at that time. In recent decades, whenever Lin Yuan made a breakthrough, he would contact the spirit world ancestor once, and each time he received the same reply. That's good. Mumantii was slightly relieved. The only ones who could give him a sense of security nowadays were the high and mighty spirit world ancestors. Speaking of which, Mu Mengting was also quite suffocating. Which of the generations of void refining ancient saints of the Tao deity immortal sect didn't overlook the world and reign over the heavens and the earth? Even if the previous generation of immortal sect patriarchs were still around, the newly born refined void ancient saints had many honors to add to their power. But he's good. Having just broken through to the void refining stage and become an ancient saint, he had invoked the darkest period in the hundreds of thousands of years of the virtue immortal sect. Almost even his own mountain gate did not hold, the whole clan disciples trembling, he this refined void ancient sage is even more afraid to go out, for fear of being killed by that Jun Wuji seized the opportunity to strike. With the spirit world ancestors, that Jun Wuji. Numantin was about to say a few harsh words. Suddenly. A voice came. I what? This statement was made. Numantin froze as if wondering who had said that. But the next moment. Numantii then trembled all over. This was because he turned his head and saw that a figure had appeared at an unknown time on a seat on the side of the great hall. This figure's face was calm, without the slightest hint of a powerful aura emanating from it, but just standing there caused Mu Mengting, the refined void ancient saint, to nearly suffocate. Jun Wuji. It's Jun Wuji. How did he get in? How did he get here? Many thoughts flashed through Mu Mengting's mind. At this time, he was in a million different ways, obviously the clan protection array outside, there was no warning, nor was it breached. How did Jun Wuji get in? Jun Wuji? Mu Qinglu also saw Jun Wuji. At this moment, his face was slightly white. Only, no matter how frightened and uneasy Mu Qinglu and Mu Mengting were in their hearts. None of them thought about running. What a joke. Run? Where can I run to? This is the safest place in the Taoist immortal sect. Even here, Jun Wuji was able to come in unnoticed. It was tantamount to the fact that there was nothing left between heaven and earth that could stop Jun Wuji. Okay. Do the business. Lin Yuan looked at Mu Qinglu, take me to the soaring platform. The Taoist immortal sect patriarch didn't have much of a say in how martial arts were able to spread in this realm. It was mainly up to those morally mortal ancestors in the spirit world. This time, Lin Yuan had come to the virtue immortal sect because he wanted to negotiate and negotiate with the immortal sect spirit realm ancestor. Good. Mu Qinglu was silent for an instant and immediately agreed. With Lin Yuan's strength, the moment he appeared in the Great Hall, if he had a killing intent, none of them would survive. As it is. Mu Qinglu then knew what he had to do. Follow me. Mu Qinglu finally looked deeply at Lin Yuan. Looked at this former grandson of his. Patriarch, the ascension stage is my, Mu Mengting was a bit anxious when he saw this. The ascension platform was the key to contacting the ancestors of the spirit world, it was the last card of the Dao Dei immortal sect, so to just take Jun Wu Ji there? Noisy. Lin Yuan glanced at Mu Mengting. Shasta. Mu Montei's gaze dimmed as his vitality drained away. Dead. Montin. Seeing this, Mu Qinglu sighed in his heart. Originally, Mu Mengting had a grudge against the Jun family, and had even sent someone to kill Jun Dongjin's family. In this situation, if Mu Mengting was honest and tried not to raise his presence as much as possible, he might still be able to survive. But it's just. Mu Qinglu didn't know what to say. 
Can't you see that you're being so cooperative, and you're still thinking about keeping the Ascension platform? The deepest part of the morally mortal sect. A secret place. Mu Qinglu stopped in his tracks. This is where the Ascension table is placed. Mu Qinglu looked at Lin Yuan and said in a low voice. Open. Lin Yuan nodded his head. This was consistent with the location where he had sensed the opening that had torn through space. Mu Qinglu was quite sensible and didn't play around with this matter. Good. What Mu Qinglu didn't know in the slightest was. If he had any other thoughts just now, he would not be able to hide them from Lin Yuan at all. At Lin Yuan's current realm, space was like paper in front of him. And any fluctuations could be clearly felt. Wow. Under Mu Qingliu's manipulation. The entrance to the secret realm in front of him was gradually opened. The space inside reveals itself. In the deepest part of space. A stone portal, only a small half meter high, was introduced to the eye. That's the ascension platform? Lin Yuan gazed over. This stone portal, vaguely surrounded by spatial fluctuations, and the inside of the portal was even silver white in color. Just the moment Lin Yuan gazed at this portal. Deep in the depths of his mind, the lofty, magnificent gate of the Ten Thousand Realms steeply began to glow. There seemed to be invisible fluctuations that swept across that ascension platform in the distance. A few moments later, a stream of information was transmitted from the gate of Ten Thousand Realms to Lin Yuan's mind. Eh? Lin Yuan's spirit was slightly shaken. He looked at Mu Qinglu next to him. It was found that he hadn't noticed the change just now in the slightest. It was as if the power that swept out of the gate of ten thousand realms was in another dimension, unnoticed by anyone. The coordinates of the spirit world. Lin Yuan rubbed his brows, the information that came out from the gate of ten thousand realms was precisely the coordinates of the spirit realm. At this very moment, part of Lin Yuan's mind sank into his mind. Looking towards the lofty and magnificent gate of the ten thousand realms. If one observes for oneself, one will realize that it is below the gate of all worlds, near the threshold. Five seals exist. These five seals were the world coordinates of the world of martial arts, the world of dragon and tiger, the world of divine warriors, the world of five domains, and the current world of immortal Tao. These five worlds were all worlds that Lin Yuan had traveled through before. So they were all locked by the gate of ten thousand worlds, capturing the world coordinates. It was because of this, with the world coordinates, that Lin Yuan was able to spend ten strands of boundary-breaking origin power to redescend into these worlds. But now, after these five world coordinate seals, the sixth world coordinate imprint reshaped itself. It is the world coordinates of the spirit world. Although Lin Yuan had not descended to the spirit world. But the ascension platform was connected to the spirit world, and the interior must contain the world coordinates of the spirit world. Just now, the power of the gate of ten thousand realms invisibly swept through the ascension platform, replicating the coordinates of the worlds within it, over. The spirit world. Lin Yuan looked slightly odd. Theoretically, with the world coordinates of the spirit world. Even if Lin Yuan returned to the main world, he could still redescend to the spirit realm by spending ten strands of boundary-breaking source power. When Mu Qing Lu, who was beside him, saw Lin Yuan gazing at the ascension platform, he didn't dare to urge him, so he could only continue to wait. Let your immortal sect ancestor come down. Lin Yuan waited patiently for a while, and after confirming that within the ascension platform, there were no other world coordinates, he opened his mouth. Ha! Huh? Mu Qing Liu's heart was slightly shaken when he heard this. He didn't expect Lin Yuan to dare to be so open and give him time to summon the spirit world ancestor down. Good. Mu Qing Lu hesitated for a moment and agreed. Anyway, this was what Lin Yuan had asked him to do, and whatever happened later, it had nothing to do with him. Mu Qing Lu walked into the secret realm and came to the ascension platform, with a respectful posture, performing some sort of secret technique, and his lips moved slightly. As if he had said something. A few moments later. The ascension platform then began to glow. The spatial fluctuations began to become violent, and it seemed that there was a terrifying force that ran through the two realms, descending down the fixed spatial channel. In front of the ascension stage, a Taoist figure in a Taoist robe slowly coalesced. I am the Tsun Qing immortal, and it is you who wish to see me? This Taoist priest had an illusory figure and looked at Lin Yuan with a smile at the corner of his mouth. A wisp of projection from a harmonization stage true immortal? Lin Yuan was similarly observing the other party. Spiritual realm in the middle kingdom of God, separated by two realms, the upper realm powerhouses, even if they are no longer how magical, it is not possible for the principle to descend to the lower realm, and in the end, it is the descent of a projection. And this projection, it could not leave the ascension platform too far, or else it might disconnect from the upper realm body and collapse directly. Eh? Immortal Song Chang looked at Lin Yuan, and the more he looked, the more shocked he felt in his heart. Mu Qing Lu had long ago informed him of the many intelligence information about Lin Yuan. For example, if one cultivates for a few hundred years, one surpasses the extreme level of refining void while creating another cultivation system that is not weaker than the immortal path, and so on. Immortal Tsung Ching also informed the other ancestors of the Tao deity immortal sect of this information intelligence. All the ancestors agreed that Lin Yuan should have been seized by some great power hundreds of thousands of years ago. Otherwise, 
In the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture, going to this level alone without relying on the virtue immortal sect for cultivation was almost impossible to happen. Especially the martial arts cultivation system. How could such a cultivation system whose intention and potential were no less than that of the immortal way have been created in a few hundred years? It must be the reincarnation of those mighty men, mighty men who have lived through long ages, who have experienced many eras, who have obtained this martial arts cultivation system, and are now beginning to spread it, thus triggering a series of movements in the Middle Earth Divine Kingdom. This was the truth that the immortal sect ancestors of the spirit world had surmised. The reason why immortal Tsung Ching descended to project the lower realm this time was because of all the generations of ancestors of the Tao deity immortal sect, immortal Tsung Ching was the one who had lived the longest and had known the most old monsters, and might be able to tell Lin Yuan's followers, and by which mighty one he had been taken over. As long as he knew where Lin Yuan came from, everything was fine. Yet now, immortal Tsung Ching was a bit confused. Because according to his observations, Lin Yuan's soul was perfectly attuned to his physical body. It didn't look like it had been taken over at all, noting that even if a harmonized true immortal had taken over, there would be a subtle rejection due to the different origins of the soul and the physical body. Relying on this rejection, it is easy to discover the identity of the taker. Just for now. However, there was no such sense of rejection in Lin Yuan's body at all. Then there are two possibilities. For one thing, this projection of himself descending was so weak that he couldn't detect the repulsive feeling of taking over. The second was that Lin Yuan had not been taken over. Immortal Tsung Ching felt that the former was unlikely. This projection that he had descended upon, even if it was weak, it was still the projection of a harmonization stage true immortal. With his gaze, he was naturally able to tell that Lin Yuan had not crossed over to the harmonization stage. With this kind of realm gap, immortal Tsung Ching didn't think that he would not be able to see the repulsive feeling of taking over the body. Since the first possibility is ruled out, that would be the second possibility. Lin Yuan had come so far, growing to be the strongest in this realm over the centuries and opening up a cultivation system that was not weaker than the immortal way. It's entirely up to you. I didn't expect the barren lower realm to give birth to such a demon. Immortal Song Ching silently looked at Lin Yuan, even in the spirit world, such qualifications can only be attained by the core disciples of those immortal king level powers, right, and even open up a cultivation system different from the immortal way, such potential. Immortal Song Cheng's thoughts churned. No doubt about it. Lin Yuan's potential was definitely one of the most perverted he had ever seen, even those immortal king's children, or even the teenage years of certain immortal kings, were not necessarily comparable. After all, Lin Yuan had reached this current level of achievement in the lower realm, whereas those immortal king heirs, the junior immortal kings, grew up in the vast spirit realm, and the two could not be compared at all. You want to spread the martial arts cultivation system in the middle kingdom. Immortal Song Chang looked at Lin Yuan and said slowly. Next to him, Mu Qinglu heard his own ancestor utter these words. Immediately the mind tensed. He remembered it very clearly. When he himself first informed the ancestors of Lin Yuan's information and intelligence, as well as his idea of purpose. What a response from the grandmasters. What a nerve. Thinking of spreading other cultivation systems in my Middle Earth Divine Prefecture, dream on. The Middle Earth Divine State. Shrouded by the light of the Immortal Tao, can only be dominated by the Immortal Tao, other cultivation systems, lingering on can be possible, and reversing the Lord with the second, is absolutely impossible. The above is the attitude of the grandmasters. This time, Immortal Song Ching descended to the lower realm of power, apart from the fact that Immortal Song Ching had lived the longest and was most likely to recognize Lin Yuan's heel. It was because Immortal Tsung Cheng was the strongest. Even if it was just a projection, it could still exert a battle power close to the harmonization stage. Is there going to be a fight? I don't know if Wuji is the ancestor's opponent. Mu Qinglu subconsciously took a few steps back, as if she had already seen the ensuing saber rattling. It was only Immortal Tsung Cheng's next words. But it made Mu Qinglu freeze in place. It's not impossible. Immortal Tsung Cheng pondered for a while and said seriously. End of chapter. Chapter 21, Oath, after 200 years, step into the 7th rank, beg for subscription. Little friend wants to spread the martial arts cultivation system. It's not impossible. Immortal Tsung Ching secretly observed Lin Yuan for a while and said seriously. With Immortal Tsung Ching's late-stage harmonization eyesight, he was naturally able to tell that Lin Yuan's potential was so great that it would not be too much to say that it was unbelievable. Such a character, as long as he reached the spirit world, stepping into the harmonization stage would be a breeze. It was even expected to touch the immortal king realm above the harmonization stage, overlooking the spirit world. In the face of this kind of immortal king seed, suppressing and stifling it was the most foolish choice. Because it's pointless, there's nothing to be gained by succeeding, and if you fail it's doom and gloom. Therefore, friendship is the best choice. And even if you can't make friends, you should never be offended. Lin Yuan wanted to spread the martial arts cultivation system in the middle kingdom. This would definitely have an impact on the immortal Tao cultivation system, which was why Mu Qinglu didn't dare to agree no matter what. If you promise, when you enter the spirit world through the ascension platform, how can you explain to the successive generations of ancestors? It was just that immortal Tsung Ching, as the strongest person of the virtue immortal sect in the spirit world, was qualified to make this decision. Eh? You can spread martial arts? 
Hearing Immortal Song Ching's words, Ling Yuan was slightly surprised. Originally, he had thought that he would at least have to exchange a few blows, show off his strength, and finally threaten to exterminate the Dao lineage of the Dao Dei Immortal sect in the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture, and the two of them would engage in negotiations and eventually come to some sort of agreement. As for what if the Dao Deity Immortal sect reneged afterward? As long as Lin Yuan did not ascend to the spirit world, the Dao Dei Immortal sect would not dare to back out. Even the Blood Demon Lord was able to live for hundreds of thousands of years, so Lin Yuan, as an existence that far surpassed the Blood Demon Lord, it was possible for him to live for millions and millions of years, right? Of course, that's what the outside world thinks. In fact, Lin Yuan would have to return to the main world in another 200 years or so. However, this matter was only known to Lin Yuan, and the Virtue Immortal sect and even those ancestors of the spirit world were not aware of it. Even if Lin Yuan disappeared, they would only think that Lin Yuan was hiding in a corner somewhere, quietly watching the situation in the Middle Kingdom. And it wasn't that Lin Yuan couldn't come back after leaving this realm. Through the world coordinates of the Gate of 10,000 Realms, Lin Yuan was able to vaguely feel that this realm's general trend and as long as he paid for the boundary-breaking source power, Lin Yuan could also come back to this realm. Ha! Huh? Next to him, Mu Qinglu was a bit confused. Ancestor Tsunqing compromised this? What happened to all the big words that were said before? Mu Qinglu couldn't understand it, but he knew that every move the ancestor made had a deep meaning, and since he said so, he must have discovered something. Nice! The Middle Earth Divine Prefecture, just one of the millions of lower realms in the spirit realm, is nothing, for a genius like little friend, the true stage is the spirit realm. Immortal Song Cheng said gently. For a while there was something that made Mu Qinglu a little inapplicable. The spirit world. Lin Yuan glanced at the spirit world coordinates on the gate of all worlds. In the future, if he encountered any bottlenecks that he couldn't cross by relying on ordinary shuttling, he could go to the spirit world to take a stroll. What do I have to pay? Lin Yuan said directly. Although Immortal Song Ching acted amiably, Lin Yuan knew clearly that the other party could not be some great benefactor. It's simple. In the future, little friend will ascend to the spirit realm and help the immortal sect once when you can. Immortal Song Ching spoke. This was not an excessive request, first of all, it was the four words within his ability, there was a lot of room for manipulation, it was mainly to see if Lin Yuan wanted to help or not. Immortal Song Ching knew that when dealing with a genius like Lin Yuan, one should never set too harsh a promise. No problem. Lin Yuan nodded his head. He vaguely felt that this immortal Song Qing was ingratiating and investing in himself, without even the most basic restrictive conditions. Lin Yuan completely belonged to the category of those who could help or not. But anyway, one's purpose was accomplished. How is it guaranteed? Lin Yuan asked the crucial question. How could there be any guarantee that the Taoist immortal sect would always allow the spread of martial arts cultivation systems? I can make a Taoist oath. Immortal Song Cheng said without thinking. Taoist oath? Lin Yuan was slightly puzzled. Little friend may not understand that the Dao Oath is an oath made in the name of the great spirit realm that even an immortal king wouldn't dare to break. Immortal Tsong Ching explained smilingly. Later, I'll make a Dao Oath and draw the attention of the spirit realm consciousness, and little friend will know then. Immortal Tsong Ching finished. The color of his face was slightly grave. I, Tsong Ching, swear in the presence of the great spirit realm consciousness. Immortal Tsong Ching spoke roughly about the promises related to how he would ensure the spread of the martial Dao. After listening, Lin Yuan did not find anything wrong, at least Immortal Song Ching did not play any word games. In reality, it was impossible for the other party to tamper with this, since they wanted to make friends with Lin Yuan and looked favorably on Lin Yuan's future potential, the minimum sincerity was still there. The Taoist Oath Just as Immortal Song Ching finished making his oath, Lin Yuan vaguely sensed a distant and magnificent fluctuation coming from him. This fluctuation did not follow the ascension platform, but descended from beyond the world. Buzz the fluctuation circled around Immortal Song Chang, and Lin Yuan had a feeling that as long as Immortal Song Ching broke his oath, this wisp of fluctuation would appear again. The world consciousness of the spirit realm, it can even be used like this? Lin Yuan was a little surprised. Compared to the world that Lin Yuan had previously traveled through, the world consciousness of the spirit world was already in an incomparably mature state, not much different from the heavenly Tao. Little friend, that's a relief, isn't it? Immortal Song Ching noticed that the fluctuations were far away and looked at Lin Yuan and said with a smile. I have another request. Lin Yuan pondered for a moment and continued. The corner of Mu Qingliu's mouth next to him twitched slightly. Lin Yuan was the first one who dared to negotiate with his own ancestor like this. My little friend, please. Immortal Tsung Cheng said without a care in the world. Even the Dao vow had been made, and what was left to ask for was already inconsequential. I hope that, in the future, if the martial cultivation system can give birth to the Sixth Order, it can also travel to the spirit realm through the Ascension Platform. Lin Yuan said. The spirit world was a large world that far surpassed the Middle Earth Divine Realm, and allowing cultivators who practiced the Martial Dao progression system to travel to the spirit world and thus take root in the spirit world would also be of great benefit to Lin Yuan in spreading the Martial Dao. Sure. Losing the shelter of Lin Yuan. The spread of the Martial Way evolution system in the spirit world might not be so smooth. 
But this was just an idle move that Lin Yuan would drop at any time, and success or failure would have little effect. And for martial arts cultivators in this realm to fight for a chance to ascend to the spirit realm was already considered okay. No problem. Immortal Tsong Chang nodded. All of them allowed the spread of martial cultivation systems. So ascending through the ascension platform was naturally not a difficult task. Next. Under Lin Yuan's gaze. Immortal Tsong Chang once again made a Dao oath. After Lin Yuan left. Immortal Tsong Chang's smile tightened. Ancestor. Mu Qing Lu was beside him, wanting to say something. The conversation between the ancestor and Jun Wuji just now, even he could see the problem in it. Immortal Tsong Qing was simply letting Jun Wuji whore himself out for nothing. You don't understand. Immortal Tsong Qing glanced at Mu Qing Lu and shook his head, such a genius, even in the spirit realm, he can shine, he can come to me now to make a request, in another thousand years or ten thousand years, I won't be able to do it even if I begged him to make a request. Immortal Tsong Qing's gaze was calm. It wasn't too much of a loss for him anyway, even if he let the martial arts spread, the immortal path would still be there. The immortal sex next patriarch will be chosen from this little friend's direct bloodline. Immortal Tsong Qing pondered for a moment and continued. Generally speaking, he didn't care much about the selection of the immortal sect patriarch of the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture. It was because this kind of thing could not even enter the picture, but now, when it involved Jun Wuji, it was still necessary to intervene. Yes. Mu Qing Lu said respectfully. At this moment, he also felt the importance that Ancestor Tsong Qing placed on Jun Wuji. Send off that Tsong Qing immortal. Mu Qing Lu returned to the Great Hall at the highest point of the immortal mountain with complicated thoughts. You? Mu Qing Lu saw, at a glance, Jun Wuji standing outside the Grand Hall. I would like to borrow the Taoist immortal scripture for a moment. Lin Yuan stated his purpose. In the Taoist immortal scripture. The essence of the description of the harmonization stage was still quite interesting to Lin Yuan. Mu Qing Lu was silent for a while, thinking about immortal Tsong Qing's attitude, and painfully handed over the Tao deity immortal scripture, which only successive patriarchs had been able to cultivate. The Nine Heavens. Lin Yuan sat cross-legged. Many descriptions of the Tao deity immortal scripture kept surfacing in his mind. Your enlightenment is unbelievable, and by comprehending the Tao Te Ching of the immortals, you have deepened your understanding of the nature of the harmonization stage. Your enlightenment is unbelievable, and by comprehending the Tao Te Ching of the immortals, you have deepened your understanding of the nature of the harmonization stage. Your enlightenment is unbelievable, and by comprehending the Tao Te Ching of the immortals, you have deepened your understanding of the nature of the harmonization stage. Harmonization stage. Seventh order. Lin Yuan looked thoughtful. After comprehending the Tao Deity Immortal Scripture, it was indeed very helpful to Lin Yuan in opening up the seventh order chapter of the Martial Tao Progression Pathway. There are now 12 directions at the beginning of the seventh order chapter of the Martial Way Progression Pathway. These 12 directions, possessing their own essence and advantageous characteristics, are just that I am still somewhat dissatisfied. Lin Yuan frowned slightly. After comprehending the Tao Deity Immortal Scripture, Lin Yuan once again opened up a four direction seventh order chapter opening, however, there was still a gap between it and the seventh order chapter of the pathway of martial Tao advancement that he had envisioned. Is it keep waiting? It's better to talk about it after breaking into the seventh rank first. Lin Yuan pondered for a while and decided to choose the latter. If it was in the main world, he would definitely plan to take his time and choose to continue his enlightenment. After all, the main world's physical body was his very own body, and after the sixth order, once he went astray, it would be difficult to turn back, especially at such a critical stage from the sixth to the seventh order. But in the shuttle world, even if he took the wrong path, it would have little effect on Lin Yuan's main body. After the sixth rank, it would be difficult to turn back, as the evolutionary pathway practiced had affected the soul. In this case, changing a replica of a good flesh body or taking spiritual wonders that cleanse the flesh body would be of little use. Because the soul is affected in a way that doesn't go away. As for scrubbing the soul soul is mysterious to the extreme, who dares to scrub their soul easily? Not afraid of an all-consuming downfall? However, these were not restrictive for the current Lin Yuan. Every time he traveled through the world, he descended in consciousness. What is consciousness? That is an essence more central than the soul. The sixth order, or the seventh, or even the eighth, all involve the soul, but hardly have any effect on the consciousness. Lin Yuan was clearly not satisfied with any of these twelve seventh stage chapter directions, yet he still chose to forcefully choose one to break through. Except for the fact that it can't have much of an effect on your own being. Even more so because, there was a qualitative difference between the sixth and seventh orders. Even if the seventh order of water is again, that is still the seventh order, and being in this realm, what one sees, what one thinks, what one knows and what one thinks, are all above the sixth order. If Lin Yuan stepped into the seventh order, he could completely go up high and re-enlighten the sixth order chapter to the seventh order chapter of the martial Tao progression sudden advancement. In the main world, those evolutionary scholars have the strength of the eighth or even the ninth order, and with such a high level, it is not difficult to create a third order, fourth order, and fifth order evolutionary pathway with great potential. Time passes slowly. A hundred years passed in a flash. Ever since Lin Yuan had talked to Immortal Song Qing, the spiritual realm ancestor of the Tao deity Immortal sect. 
the White Jade Pavilion then saw unprecedented development and even began complementary cooperation with the Dao De Immortal Sect. The Immortal Sect's patriarch, Mu Qing Lu, even came to the White Jade Island in person and discussed a lot with Jun Dongjin and Mu Runner. What Mu Qinglu meant was that he wanted to ask Jun Dongjin to become the Immortal Sect's next patriarch. Jun Dongjin had little interest in this, ever since he spent a hundred years in Mangjia Mountain, Jun Dongjin had seen through the so-called power struggle, and now the environment of the White Jade Island was very much to his liking, so he also declined Mu Qinglu's invitation. And under the final negotiations, Jun Easy would succeed the Immortal Sect as its next patriarch. Jun Easy was Jun Wuji's elder brother, and the two were very close in bloodline, meeting Immortal Tsung Ching's requirements for the Immortal Sect's next generation patriarch. Far West this place was even deeper than the barbarian wasteland, and the spiritual chi of heaven and earth was almost non-existent, so it was also sparsely populated. And even the demonic beasts with tenacious vitality were not resident here. And now. On a boulder. There was indeed a figure lying. Seventh Order. I didn't realize there was world suppression? Lin Yuan had some helplessness in his heart, decades ago, he was infinitely close to the seventh rank, only that after attempting to break through, he did feel the suppression from heaven and earth. It's no wonder that hundreds of thousands of years ago, there existed quite a few great powers that surpassed the limits of void refining, but at the harmonization stage, there was not a single one. It wasn't until the ascension platform appeared that those great powers who ascended to the spirit world stepped into the harmonization stage one after another. Lin Yuan sighed. What to do? I don't really want to enter the spirit world through the ascension platform. Lin Yuan was lost in thought. Without knowing what was on the other side of the ascension platform, Lin Yuan did not want to risk his life. Plus. Even if you want to enter the spirit world. Lin Yuan would also enter the spirit world through the gate of 10,000 realms by descending in consciousness. This method can be perfectly integrated into the spiritual world without being deliberately targeted or anything. The so-called world suppression is not an absolute inability to break through to the seventh rank. Lin Yuan secretly thought to himself that over these decades, he had then tried to realize a way to evade world suppression, and now he had some clues. Take your time. There's still over a hundred years to go. Lin Yuan was not in a hurry, as long as he could break through to the seventh rank under the great limit of residence time. Time passes slowly. A hundred years have passed once again in the twinkling of an eye. At the end of the East Sea, it was still an endless ocean. Logically speaking, there shouldn't be any people who would come here, after all, there wasn't much aura, and the immortal cultivators wouldn't even look at it. As for ordinary people? They can't even get here. Above the ocean, tsunamis, behemoths, and many other threats are simply not something an ordinary person can resist. Just for the moment. A small boat was floating on a calm sea. Buzz. An inexplicable aura, from within the small boat, began to spread and spread in all directions. End of chapter. Chapter 22, Return, Subscription Required. Moral Immortal Sect. Patriarch Mu Qinglu stood at the top. Today's Moral Immortal Sect. Mu Qinglu silently looked at the many Immortal Sect disciples below. Since admitting martial arts practitioners, the Immortal Sect's disciples were obviously much more relaxed. After all, the existence of the one who stood behind the martial cultivation system was too intimidating, and many disciples did not know what Lin Yuan's current strength was. But just over 300 years ago, Lin Yuan had transformed into three in one body and had joined forces to shake the Dao Immortal Mountain. That horrifying scene was still a nightmare for many Immortal Sect disciples. And now. The Immortal Dao and the Martial Dao were already in a state of semi-fusion, and Jun Wuji's elder brother, Jun Easy, was now even being groomed as the future patriarch. A blessing in misfortune. Mu Qing Lu sighed. At this point in time, it was at least much better than angering Jun Wuji and the two being completely on opposite sides. At least, Mu Qinglu didn't dare to imagine what kind of consequences that would be. Just. Why didn't Wuji come over until now, the ascension platform is ready at any time. Mu Qinglu was a bit puzzled. By all accounts, 200 years ago. Jun Wuji's strength had already reached the upper limit of the world. According to the spirit world ancestors, in the Middle Earth Divine Realm, under world suppression, one could at most approach the harmonization stage indefinitely. As for stepping into the harmonization stage, there was basically no such possibility. This has nothing to do with qualifications, but rather the limitations of heaven and earth. Just as Mu Qinglu was wondering. A distant aura came from the end of the eastern sea. Eh? It is? Mu Qinglu's pupils shrunk. This kind of aura was far less than the time 200 years ago, when Lin Yuan had made a breakthrough, which had caused cultivators with a little bit of strength between heaven and earth to sense it. But Mu Qinglu at this moment, was trembling from his soul, as if the source of this silk breath was an existence that was comparable to the entire heaven and earth. It's Wu Ji. Mu Qinglu fixed his mind and immediately rushed to the deepest part of the immortal mountain, in the secret realm where the ascension platform was placed. Mu Qinglu didn't hesitate to activate the ascension stage and contact the ancestor of the spirit world. What the hell is going on? I wonder if there is a price to pay for the old man's trip down here. A slightly grumpy voice came out, clearly not that Sung Qing immortal from before. 
Immortal Song Ching, as the strongest person of the virtue immortal sect in the spirit world, with a late stage of harmonization cultivation, spent most of his time in seclusion and cultivation. The only time he would be made aware of it was if the Taoist immortal sect of the Middle Earth Divine Prefecture was at a point of life and death. And after negotiating with Lin Yuan, the virtue immortal sect basically had no worries of being overthrown. So Immortal Tsung Cheng did not continue to pay attention. According to the instructions left behind by Immortal Tsung Cheng, the next time he would be contacted would be when Jun Wuji ascended to the spirit world. It's the true flame ancestor. Mu Qingliu's heart trembled once again. Of the many immortal ancestors of the Dao Dao immortal sect, ancestor Jin Yan's character belonged to the one with the hottest temperament, and successive generations of immortal sect patriarchs were all afraid of dealing with this ancestor. After all, if one was not careful, one would be punished by the true flame ancestor. Although the punishment didn't hurt the root, after all, they were all descendants of the immortal sect, but they definitely had to suffer a lot. Ancestor, it's about Jun Wuji. Mu Qinglu said immediately. Jun Wuji? Ancestor True Yan's brows furrowed, the descendant that Song Qing esteemed? The True Yan ancestor's strength was not as good as Song Qing's, but it was extremely close, and 200 years ago, immortal Song Qing called them all together to talk about Jun Wuji and to speak of the Dao that he had made. There was some disapproval in True Yan ancestor's heart. He didn't think that the district lower realm Middle Earth Divine Prefecture would give birth to a top genius who was expected to ascend to a mortal king. That's an immortal king. Ancestor True Yan was not questioning Immortal Tsong Ching's vision. He just felt that perhaps Immortal Tsong Ching had overlooked something. That Jun Wu Ji wasn't the kind of genius he had imagined, what with the fact that as long as he ascended to the spirit world, crossing into the harmonization stage was as simple as eating and drinking water. As well as hopefully touching the immortal king realm. Immortal King is not for the time being, even in the spirit world, it's still an overlord giant, let's talk about the harmonization stage. This realm is also known as the Immortal Realm, is it so good to cross into? The True Yan Ancestor was not impressed. Eh? True Yan Ancestor was about to speak and inquire as to what exactly was because of Jun Wuji. Similarly, he felt that distant aura from the end of the Eastern Sea. This is the divine harmony of heaven and earth, someone has crossed over to the harmonization stage? True Yan Ancestor's eyes widened. Harmonization stage immortals were considered strong in the spirit world and belonged to the ruling class. True Yan ancestor felt the aura of many void refining stage immortal cultivators when they crossed into the harmonization stage. So the scent was familiar. If it was in the spirit world, true flame ancestor didn't find anything strange. The spirit realm was vast, the world ceiling was higher, and it was normal for a harmonization stage immortal to be born. But what is this place? It's the lower world. It's the middle kingdom. Hundreds of thousands of years ago, their group of great powers who had surpassed the limits of refining void had been all but certain that this realm would not be able to give birth to the harmonization stage, and at most they would only be able to come infinitely close. Is that Jun Wuji? True Yan ancestor twisted his head and stared at Mu Qinglu. It should be. Mu Qinglu nodded. This long-lasting aura had the shadow of Jun Wuji's aura back then. And within this realm, to be able to erupt such an aura, who else could it be but that Jun Wuji? Monster. True Yan ancestor swallowed his saliva. This is crossing into the harmonization stage? When he ascended to the spirit world back then, he had also expended countless efforts to advance to the harmonization stage, but it turned out that a junior in the later generations had done it so easily? And it was still done in the middle kingdom. Such that theoretically no harmonization stage could be born in the lower realm? Such talent. That old man, Sang Chang, would he have underestimated it? True Yan ancestor's thoughts turned over. Below the spiritual realm, there are millions of lower realms, that is, lower realms such as the middle earth divine realm. However, since ancient times, there is yet to be any lower realm where a harmonization stage ascender has appeared. This is incredible. Ancestor, what should we do now? Mu Qinglu asked in a low voice. What to do? True Yan ancestor glanced at Mu Qinglu, what else can we do? If it was before Lin Yuan broke through to the harmonization stage, True Yan ancestor still had confidence that he could use this projection to fight with him. But now? The opponent's strength was almost as strong as his own original self in the spirit world, so what's the point of boarding the wrist? Isn't that an insult? However, when you break through to the harmonization stage, you will have the ability to survive in the void turbulence. The Middle Earth Divine Region is the lower realm of the spirit realm. As long as you break through this realm, with the strength of the harmonization stage, you will be completely able to follow the void turbulence and enter the spirit realm. True Yan ancestor thought silently in his heart. Ancient saints at the void refinement stage did not have the ability to survive in the midst of the void turbulence, so if they wanted to enter the spirit realm, they could only do so through the ascension stage by following the stable spatial channel to the spirit realm. But this would not be necessary for a harmonization immortal. With the strength of a harmonization stage immortal, it was entirely possible for them to travel to the spirit realm on their own initiative. The spirit world was located above the Middle Earth Divine World. And harmonization stage immortals could easily sense the aura of the spirit world. This is the seventh order. At the end of the East Sea, on the Calm Sea, a smile appeared on Lin Yuan's face. At this time, his aura was internalized, but he could easily tear through the spatial cracks. 
The suppression of heaven and earth is just that. Lin Yuan's mind was delighted. This world suppresses the void refining stage from breaking through to the harmonization stage. That is, the sixth order breaks through to the seventh order. Even the strongest individual could only come infinitely close to the harmonization stage. However, with Lin Yuan's heaven-defying enlightenment, he quickly thought of a way to cross over to the harmonization stage. That is to separate the present from the Yin God and the Yang God. The Honored One, the Yin God, and the Yang God were all cultivated to the point where they were infinitely close to the harmonious Tao stage. The three then merge again, their powers fusing and stacking. The quantitative change caused a qualitative change, eventually forcing him to break into the seventh rank. Such a wonderful feeling. Lin Yuan closed his eyes and fell into some sort of immersion. After stepping into the seventh stage, Lin Yuan's realm was elevated, and everything he saw and felt was far beyond the sixth stage. The same piece of fallen leaves, when viewed at the sixth order, and when viewed at the seventh order, brings a very different feeling, not to mention all the things in this world? The same was true for the reverse gnosis, depending on the height that Lin Yuan stood on. If Lin Yuan was just an ordinary person, the most that he had realized would be in the category of first and second rank martial arts. However, Lin Yuan was already considered to be of the seventh rank at this time, equivalent to an immortal in the spirit world. And the essence of everything in the world was slowly unfolding in front of him. Continue to immerse yourself for a few moments. Lin Yuan opened his eyes. The direction I choose to break through to the seventh rank this time favors the immortal way. Lin Yuan thought secretly. The Taoist immortal scripture had helped him a great deal, with four extra seventh order directions, all of which were influenced by the immortal Tao cultivation system. Sure enough. It wasn't the seventh rank I wanted. After stepping into the seventh stage and sensing the many current details, Lin Yuan shook his head slightly. If other strong people who opened up the road, now can only be hard to continue to cultivate forward, even if it is not satisfied, so what? Really stepped into this field, body and soul are all metamorphosed in this direction, there is no way back. Lin Yuan, however, had the means to return to the main world, and could abandon everything in the shuttle world and return to the main body. Returning with only memories and realms. In the past, this approach was more bad than good. After all, after decades and centuries of hard cultivation in the shuttle world, and as a result, you can't bring back any power at all? However, today, it was Lin Yuan's greatest base to attempt to explore the path of the seventh rank. As long as the path was right and the direction was right, what was power? The last thing the main world lacked was treasures for accumulating power. Any more power, you have to be able to harness it. For the time being, do not continue the cultivation behind the seventh stage, and fully enroll in the direction of the other paths from the sixth to the seventh stage. Lin Yuan stopped his senses, the direction he was currently standing in was not a direction he was satisfied with. It was pointless to continue cultivating and exploring. But, Lin Yuan seemed to have thought of something and raised his right hand, gently slashing it towards the air in front of him. Click. A gash was torn open. Revealing the grayish void turbulence within. Break the void? A hint of a strange color appeared on Lin Yuan's face. With my current strength, I would be able to survive the void turbulence. Lin Yuan pondered for a while and put his hand into that spatial opening. He withdrew it in a short while, realizing that there was no injury on his arm. The scent of the spirit world. Lin Yuan continued to perceive towards the inverted spatial crack that he had torn open. It was discovered that in the infinite heights, a world as vast as a great sun released an infinite breath. Lin Yuan had seen the ascension platform that passed through the spirit realm and determined that this kind of aura was consistent with the aura on the ascension platform. And 40 years of residency. Lin Yuan glanced at the illusory font below the realization. White Jade Island. 200 years have passed. Most of the White Jade Pavilion had already relocated to the Middle Earth Divine State, after all, the cultivation environment there was much more favorable, and the 72 cavernous heavens, 108 blessed lands, and other cultivation sanctuaries were all in the Middle Earth. The number of White Jade Pavilion disciples that remained on White Jade Island today was not large. In the core area of White Jade Island, Lin Yuan's figure appeared. Wu Ji? What are you doing back here? Mu Rinner was sitting there chatting with Jun Dong Jin when she suddenly saw Lin Yuan and immediately stood up. Wu Ji? Jun Dong Jin also got up and looked at Lin Yuan with a somewhat emotional tone. How could he not expect that this youngest son of his would achieve so much that he would make the spirit realm ancestor of the Tao Deity Immortal Sect give in? I'll just come back and see. Lin Yuan nodded his head, this should be the last time he returned to the White Jade Island, there were only 40 years left to reside, Lin Yuan's plan, the first 10 years would be to continue to walk the world, and later on, he would try to leave this realm and head to the void turbulence outside of the world to gain enlightenment. When he was in the Divine Soldier world, Lin Yuan did not perceive the spatial cracks very well even though he had heaven-defying enlightenment. However, now that he was already at the 7th rank, watching the void turbulence and the spatial rift once again, there were many auras pouring out. This is the difference brought about by the difference in strength and the height at which one stands. Next. Lin Yuan chatted with his parents some more. Wu Ji. Mu Rinner was vaguely a little sad, she vaguely felt that the number of times she would see Jun Wu Ji should be few. These are two breakthroughs to the void refining stage cultivation resources. Lin Yuan's mind moved slightly and two storage rings appeared in front of him. 
Over the years, Lin Yuan had traveled all over the world, going up to the Yellow Springs, and had naturally found quite a few good things. Those treasures and resources, which were of little use to Lin Yuan, were kept, and it was just the right time to give them to his parents. With these resources, breaking through to the void refining stage is not a problem. At that time, father and mother. You can enter the spirit world through the morally mortal sex ascension platform. Lin Yuan opened his mouth and said. Big brother, Jun Easy, had already been groomed as the next generation of the Dao Dei immortal sex patriarch, and breaking through to the void refining stage shouldn't be much of a problem. As for the second sister, Lin Yuan had also reserved a share of resources for her to break through to the refined void stage. This was the last thing Lin Yuan could do. Wo Ji. Jun Dong Jin wanted to say something. He always felt that this little son of his was preparing for his afterlife? It was just that with Jun Wu Ji's strength, who could make him prepare the aftermath? Wu Ji, are you preparing to ascend to the spirit world? Jun Dong Jin asked tentatively. Pretty much. Lin Yuan nodded his head. What he had ascended to was not the spirit realm, but the main world, which was even more vast than the spirit realm. Time passes. Once again the last ten years. The top of the far north. Lin Yuan sat cross-legged. Wandered around a couple more times. There's nothing more to see. Lin Yuan raised his right hand and gently wiped it towards the air in front of him. Rip. A space crack several meters long appeared. Lin Yuan stared at the spatial crack. Your perception of the nature of space deepens as you watch the turbulence of the void. Your perception of the nature of space deepens as you watch the turbulence of the void. You are perceptive against all odds, watching the void turbulence, and the system of evolution of the martial arts path begins to continue to be perfected. Beyond the world of Middle Earth. Lin Yuan's figure appeared. Giggle. The terrifying void turbulence dissipated as it approached Lin Yuan's range of a few feet. This is space? Violent and sharp? Destroying everything? Lin Yuan was a bit shocked in his heart. Within the world, space is stable and orderly, a cradle capable of harboring a great deal of life. But beyond the world, space is filled with the power of extreme destruction. This back-and-forth contrast caused Lin Yuan to deepen his understanding of the power of space by another layer. That's all. Lin Yuan drifted alone in the void turbulence beyond the world. Until thirty years later. Buzz. Deep within his mind, the gate of all worlds shone brightly. End of chapter. Chapter 1, Harvest, Uploading, and the End of the Black Prison Family, Request Subscription. Chikuan's main star. Thirteen mountain peaks, deep in the palace. Lin Yuan slowly opened his eyes. Finally back. Looking at the familiar scene around him, Lin Yuan lightly breathed a sigh of relief. The five hundred years of Middle Earth had had quite an impact on Lin Yuan. Especially when he finally crossed over to the seventh level, even if this seventh level was not the seventh level that Lin Yuan wanted. But it also allowed Lin Yuan to see light that was once inaccessible. The higher you stand, the farther and wider you see. Let's hope this backhandedness is not used in the future. Lin Yuan thought secretly. Before leaving, Lin Yuan purposely returned to the Middle Kingdom. To place one's physical body, properly, in some hidden location. Only then did the realization return. The purpose of this move. That is, if he returns to Middle-earth someday in the future. One could directly enter the physical body left behind and master the strongest power of a realm at the fastest speed. After breaking through to the sixth rank, more functions of the gate of all worlds appeared, the. Among them is the return to a world that was once traversed. But even if he returned. Lin Yuan would still choose to descend with his consciousness. As for corporeal shuttling, one, it was dangerous, and two, it consumed more boundary-breaking source power. If the consciousness descends, you can only start cultivating from scratch. Even if one possessed a higher realm, one would have to take time to take it one step at a time. But with the physical body he left behind, everything is simple. All that's needed is for the consciousness to detach and enter the physical body. It will be restored to the strongest strength in Middle-earth. Sure. Left this behind though. However, Lin Yuan did not want this backhand to be used. Because it means. There's been some kind of unanticipated change in Middle-earth. This led to the danger of the martial arts cultivation system tipping over. Descending into Middle-earth again required the consumption of ten strands of boundary-breaking source power. Lin Yuan would not choose to do this until he had to. The spirit world. Lin Yuan's face fell into brief contemplation. In the last thirty years of residency time, Lin Yuan had wandered alone in the void turbulence beyond the world and had also gazed from afar at the huge spirit realm located high above. It's a behemoth, far beyond Middle-earth. The many auras it emits hang down like radiation. Lock the millions of lower worlds, including Middle-earth, firmly in place. Unfortunately, ascending directly to the spirit realm is still a bit risky, there's no need to do that. Lin Yuan thought secretly. The world level of the spirit world is very high, there is no doubt about it, the. Uh? There were immortal king level powerhouses there that were comparable to the eighth rank of the main world, and there were even existences that surpassed the immortal king level. If Lin Yuan were to enter the spirit world as a harmonization stage ascender, 
he would inevitably attract many gazes. Under such circumstances, even if Lin Yuan only descended with his consciousness and had no fear of death, there was no guarantee that everything would be fine. In front of those truly powerful people, Lin Yuan wouldn't necessarily die even if he wanted to, he might be soul-searched and expose information about the main world. Also, Lin Yuan did not pass through the Ascension platform and entered the spirit world for much the same reason. The Tao immortal sect's ancestor Tsung Ching, who was located in the upper realm, had made a Tao vow before him though. But if one really ascended to the spirit world and fell into the hands of those harmonization stage immortals, Inevitably, accidents happen. Lin Yuan never allowed himself to be passive. Besides, having mastered the world coordinates of the spirit world, Lin Yuan was completely able to enter the spirit world unknowingly, so there was absolutely no need to take any risks. At least. As long as one did not enter the spirit world through the ascension platform. Then the martial arts cultivation system of Middle Earth could not have been suppressed, the. At least the immortal sex upper world ancestors will be scornful. Is it possible for Lin Yuan to come out of nowhere? Don't want to think about that. Lin Yuan's thoughts collected and he no longer paid attention to the events of the Middle Earth Divine World. Now that he had left, there was no point in thinking about it anymore. The takeaway from this shuttle. Lin Yuan was in a good mood, 500 years in Middle Earth, Lin Yuan had not only gone to the extreme of the Sixth Order, he had even finished exploring a path to the Seventh Order. Need to know. The Sixth Order revolvers in the main world wanted to cross over to the Seventh Order, and they didn't know how much it would cost them, their own evolutionary pathways. The consummation of their fleshly souls, and so on. Chikuan's lineage, the 4th, 5th, 6th and 12th brothers. These nine disciples of the Red Koan Star Lord, none of them were true evolutionary geniuses, plus they had the Star Lord's guidance, but they were still stuck at the 6th rank. Is this because the senior brothers can't? Not really, but the difficulty of crossing over from the 6th order to the 7th order was too great. That was a metamorphosis of the essence of life, going beyond the 5th to 6th order. Lin Yuan had a deep understanding of this, and after he forcefully stepped into the 7th rank, he similarly felt the gap in realms. Space. Lin Yuan sat cross-legged. In the last few decades of the fifth shuttle, Lin Yuan's perception of space increased like a rocket. In the midst of the void turbulence, the other side of the space that Lin Yuan was viewing, the other side that was filled with destruction. Comparing it with the calm, stable, and orderly space of the main world, under the counterintuitive enlightenment, it allowed Lin Yuan to reach the essence of space. It could be said that during this shuttle, Lin Yuan's gain in terms of spatial rules was even greater than stepping into the seventh rank. I can sense that the seventh stage of the martial Tao that I want is related to the rules of space, but I still haven't opened up a satisfactory seventh stage chapter because my perception of the rules of space is still insufficient. Lin Yuan thought secretly. The spatial rules were vast, it was the main rule that supported the world, and the more Lin Yuan sensed, the more he felt that he was smaller and smaller in the spatial rules. If in the past, Lin Yuan was in a well, only the starry sky that was as big as the mouth of the well was the rules of space. Now then. Lin Yuan had climbed to the outside of the well and saw an even more vast and boundless starry sky. Take your time to enroll. It's not like I'm in a hurry. Lin Yuan thought for a moment. Although I haven't realized the perfect seventh stage chapter of the martial way, the sixth stage chapter is almost ready, organize it and upload it to the goddess of wisdom. Lin Yuan rubbed his brow, the sixth stage chapter of the martial Tao, which added the physical cultivation lineage's deep excavation of the physical body. Theoretically, it was possible for an evolver who had cultivated to the sixth stage of the martial Tao to be born with a fleshly aptitude. Of course, exactly which fleshly aptitude it was depended entirely on the aptitude fragment deep within one's bloodline. But no matter what, even if it was just a fleshly body assisting aptitude, it would still be of great use to evolvers. Unlike secret arts, there was no need for any restrictive conditions to cast a divine ability, and it could be activated with a thought. Reborn in blood. The breath within Lin Yuan's body began to change, a path of qi and blood intertwined and collided, vaguely forming a mysterious pattern. It was Lin Yuan who, in the Middle Earth world, had spent a huge amount of money to realize the blood-dropping avatar, and then deduced the blood-dropping avatar technique based on the fleshly body of the main world. This technique was only adapted to Lin Yuan, and even if other people obtained it, they would not be able to form a technique imprint. Strictly speaking, this fleshly body of mine right now can also condense a new fleshly aptitude? Lin Yuan thought secretly. After all, his current fleshly body Genjutsu was only at the beginning of the sixth stage, and if he walked through the opening chapter of the sixth stage, he would naturally give birth to a new fleshly body divine ability. Try again later. Let's organize the sixth order chapter and upload it first. Lin Yuan was in no hurry. A day or two later. Lin Yuan had organized the sixth order chapter of the martial way pretty much to make it more suitable for the human race in the main world. Then connect to the goddess of wisdom. Dear citizen Lin Yuan, the goddess of wisdom is pleased to serve you. The solemn, cool voice of the goddess of wisdom came. I'm going to upload the sixth order chapter of the pathway of martial evolution. Lin Yuan finished. Just start uploading the sixth order chapter. Citizen Lin Yuan, please wait, the goddess of wisdom is in the process of making a full determination. After the goddess of wisdom received the sixth order chapter of the martial Tao, she immediately began to judge it. 
Actually, the immortal Dao cultivation system, on the contrary, has not appeared in the main world. Lin Yuan seemed to have thought of something. He could completely upload the immortal Dao cultivation system to the goddess of wisdom as a way to gain rewards. However, after pondering for a while, Lin Yuan gave up on this idea. The immortal Dao cultivation system was definitely created by a certain being as well, and if one allowed it to spread in the main world, wouldn't that be doing a favor to that being who founded the immortal way? Disseminating one's own evolutionary pathway or cultivation system was related to the ultimate leap, and in this regard, Lin Yuan was naturally unwilling to work for nothing. Plus, the immortal Dao cultivation system, although the upper limit was quite high, reaching the 7th and 8th or even 9th orders. But it's very restrictive, like needing aura, like needing spiritual roots. The main world starry sky universe was filled with many energies. But there weren't many cosmic energies that were similar to auras. The most crucial point was still the spiritual root, at least according to Lin Yuan's knowledge, the human race in the main world did not have a spiritual root to speak of. If Lin Yuan were to upload the Immortal Dao Cultivation System, the first thing he would have to do would be to change the Immortal Dao Cultivation System to the extent that it adapted to the human race of the main world. That is to say, to deduce a substitute for the spiritual root. This kind of cost was too great, with this time and energy, Lin Yuan might as well continue to perceive the Martial Dao Progression System and make it to the next level, far more cost-effective than the former. While waiting for the Goddess of Wisdom's final judgment, Lin Yuan began to check the other information. 500 years in Middle-earth, the passage of time in the main world was just under 4 months. Lin Yuan pulled open the information record and roughly skimmed through it. Saint Son of 10,000 Sons Lin Yuan saw the message that Saint Son of 10,000 Sons had sent to himself a month ago. Probably means. He himself had broken through to the 6th rank. I hope to fight and spar with Lin Yuan again. The Saint Son of 10,000 Sons was a rare Nanyang divine bane, and for the hundred years that he had slept in the depths of the star, the depth of his body was so deep that only when he reached the sixth order would he be able to truly bring it into play. When he was at the extreme end of the fifth rank, Lin Yuan had fought with the Saint Son of 10,000 Sons and finally crushed him. This matter was still remembered by the Wanyang Saint Son even now, he was clear that Lin Yuan's evolutionary path was special, and that the soul fit had reached perfection, which was an exceptionally large increase in battle power. But when it came to the sixth order, the competition wasn't just about evolutionary pathways, but also about one's own physique's underpinnings. After the Wan Yang Saint Sun had broken through to the sixth rank, he felt the qualitative change in his own strength, and his confidence rose once again, wanting to seek out Lin Yuan for a sparring session to wipe out his former shame. He hadn't won against Lin Yuan, but at least he couldn't be crushed like he had been earlier and let Lin Yuan beat himself into admitting defeat with a few slaps. Cut with me. Lin Yuan was somewhat silent at that moment. In the eyes of the Wan Yang Saint Sun, Lin Yuan was also at the beginning of the sixth rank, which was why he was confident in challenging. But actually, at this moment, Lin Yuan was already at the extreme end of the sixth order, and was even on a certain path to the seventh order. The gap with the 10,000 Sun Saint Sun was far greater by countless times than when they were at the same fifth order extreme. When he was at the extreme end of the fifth rank, the Wan Yang Saint Sun was still able to support a few slaps in front of Lin Yuan. But now, forget it. There's no point in wasting time. Lin Yuan shook his head slightly, with his current strength, sparring with the Saint Son of 10,000 Sons was completely bullying the small with the big. Earlier, he had sparred and exchanged blows with the Saint Son of 10,000 Sons because Lin Yuan was able to realize the benefits from the other party during the sparring process. The difference between the two is now too great to be comparable. After replying to the Wan Yang Saint Son with a I don't have the time lately, Lin Yuan continued to browse through the follow-up messages. The Black Hell Family Lin Yuan saw the messages that several senior brothers had sent to him. Since he himself, before the shuttle, had commanded to go into seclusion. His senior brothers had only left him a message. The black prison family has collusion with the Fei? Lin Yuan's face flushed with eccentricity. Before he had yet to disclose the identity of the Thirteen Peaks master, Lin Yuan had some conflicts with the black prison family's black prison key later. In turn, the black prison shell used the power of the black prison family to suppress Lin Yuan. When Lin Yuan broke through the sixth rank later on and made his identity public, the Black Prison family became terrified, and Black Prison Desert even brought the Black Prison shell to the Red Koan Master Planet in person, begging to see him in the hope that they could make amends for their sins. It was just that at first, Lin Yuan was busy carving his life imprint into the cosmic stars, so he did not pay any attention to the other party. Afterward, the senior brothers asked Lin Yuan for his opinion. Lin Yuan then stated that he did not intend to reconcile with the Black Prison family. With Lin Yuan's words, the senior brothers had a number in their hearts and planned to suppress the black prison family through many means, causing it to completely fall into decline. This was the consequence of offending the peak master of the Chikuan lineage. As strong as the five major forces of the Red Kuan Starfield, they were essentially dogs raised by the Red Kuan lineage, other things were fine, if they dared to devour their masters, then there was no need for them to exist. Originally, according to second senior brother's intention, it was to make things difficult for the black prison family and investigate thoroughly in all aspects. After all, forces such as the Black Prison family, which had operated for hundreds of thousands of years, simply couldn't afford to be scrutinized. When the time comes, just find an excuse. 
in order to try to be nice to Lin Yuan, this time to investigate the Black Prison family. The second senior brother personally stepped in. However, this investigation had surprisingly allowed the second brother to discover the problem. The Black Hell family is suspected to have had connections with the Fei. The second brother did not find any concrete evidence of the Black Prison family's connection with the Fei. But some things don't need evidence at all, and when the second elder brother found out about it, he immediately intended to take control of the Black Prison Desert. No matter what, let's first take Black Hell Desert, the highest authority of the Black Hell family, away. To be on the safe side, second senior brother secretly contacted the Red Coin Star Lord. Under the gaze of the Red Coin Star Lord, the Black Prison Desert had no room for resistance at all. After being taken away, they were soul searched by the Human Alliance's specialized Soul Class 8th Order Evolutionary. Such as the Black Prison Desert, such a strong person, has long been able to control their own memories, and unusual soul searching is simply useless. But a Soul Class 8th Order Evolutionary could construct a huge illusory world, and the memories of the Black Hell Desert from childhood to adulthood would all evolve in that illusory world. Such tactics could only be done by a Soul Class 8th Order Evolutionary, and the number of such powerhouses was extremely rare. The Black Hell Family. It's over. Lin Yuan shook his head slightly. If he was merely offended, the Black Prison family would at most be fallen and could retire with dignity. After all, the laws of the Human League were still in place, and it was unlikely that anything would happen to a family as large as this. Lin Yuan's senior brothers, the means of dealing with the Black Prison family, were also only investigations, in line with the Alliance's laws. Just colluding with the foreigners. That would be betraying the Human Alliance. And whether the rest of the Black Prison family knew it or not, it was over. Just as Lin Yuan was lamenting, a solemn, cool voice came. Dear 6th level citizen Lin Yuan, the 6th level chapter you uploaded has been judged complete. The voice of the goddess of wisdom rang out. End of chapter. Chapter 2 Chikuan Star Lord, good disciple, your question is a bit over the top. Requesting subscription. The judgment is complete? A smile spread across Lin Yuan's face. Whenever he returned, he immediately uploaded the newly opened subsequent step chapter of the Martial Dao Evolution Pathway to the Goddess of Wisdom. In addition to receiving a large reward of merit points and a better way to spread martial arts advancement. It is to see what the potential is of the uploaded rankings with the help of the Goddess of Wisdom's vast arithmetic power. The potential of an evolutionary pathway involved all aspects and was extremely difficult to estimate, and the Goddess of Wisdom and the other three goddesses could only deduce roughly. But that's enough. The evolutionary pathways included in the Cosmic Human Alliance are vast, and the final judgment of three goddesses, including the Goddess of Wisdom, is still of great relevance. In a nutshell. The Goddess of Wisdom is not necessarily right in determining that this evolutionary pathway has low potential. But if the Goddess of Wisdom judges an evolutionary pathway to have high potential, surely she can't be much wrong. Dear Level 6 Citizen Lin Yuan, according to the final judgment, the Martial Way Progression Pathway 6th Order chapter that you uploaded is worth 400,000 merit points. 400,000 merit points? Lin Yuan was quite satisfied in his heart. The last time I updated the Martial Dao Evolution Pathway, and re-uploaded the 2nd Order, 3rd Order, 4th Order, and 5th Order chapters with all the refinements I could muster, the merit point reward I received was only half a million. This time, just uploading the 6th order chapter was worth 400,000 merit points, which was already high enough. One must know that 400,000 merit points was already equivalent to the value of beheading a small half of an 8th order alien race. On the alien battlefield, the merit point reward for killing an 8th order alien powerhouse was usually only a million. And an 8th order foreigner powerhouse, was it that easy to kill? It was possible to defeat an 8th order foreigner powerhouse, but just killing it was difficult. The 8th Order alien races were the backbone among the various ethnic groups, most of them had life-preserving cards, as strong as the Red Coin Star Lord, it would be difficult to kill an 8th Order alien powerhouse even if he traveled to the battlefield of the alien races. The 8th Order alien powerhouse wasn't a fool and would definitely run when he realized that he couldn't beat them. It takes 2 million merit badges to get from a level 6 to a level 7 citizen. Lin Yuan swept his eyes at the merit points required for the next level of civic rank advancement and instantly shook his head. 2 million merit points was simply a heavenly price, not to mention the other revolvers, even Lin Yuan felt his scalp go numb. The average 7th order revolver, I'm afraid that squatting in the alien battlefield for tens of thousands of years and hundreds of thousands of years, wouldn't be able to scrape together enough for such a huge amount of merit points. The alien battlefield was extremely dangerous, and the evolvers of the human race could risk their lives at any time as they fought against the alien powerhouses. Although it was said that evolvers of the 6th rank, as well as above, had the qualifications to be resurrected, without potential, who would resurrect you? Most 6th and 7th order revolvers are really dead when they die. Forget it. Lin Yuan didn't have much of an idea about advancing to a 7th level citizen for a short period of time. It was estimated that he would have to wait until he had created the 7th order chapter of the Martial Dao Progression Pathway before he could meet the requirements for promotion to a 7th level citizen. Take a look at the latest evaluation of the Martial Arts Evolution System. Lin Yuan began to look through the information on the pathways of Martial Dao Advancement. The Goddess of Wisdom would be the first to update Lin Yuan's profile with the Martial Way Advancement Pathways every time she redetermined them. 
As for other citizens or revolvers, they would only be able to see the changes after the update of the martial evolution pathway when the evolution list was refreshed in the early hours of the morning. The likelihood of advancing to the 7th rank is 60%. The likelihood of advancing to the 8th order evolutionary pathway is 20%. Nice. Lin Yuan nodded slightly. Without the uploading of the 6th order chapter, the likelihood of the martial way evolutionary pathway advancing to the 7th order evolutionary pathway was only 30%. The likelihood of advancing to the 8th order evolutionary pathway was only 10%. Both are now doubled in size. In particular, the promotion of the 8th Order Evolutionary Pathway has a 20% possibility to know whether or not to open up a new 8th Order Evolutionary Pathway, but the Universe of Human Civilization Alliance to determine whether or not to become the evolutionary scholars of the key. Nowadays, the Martial Dao Evolutionary Pathway had a 20% certainty of even advancing to the 8th Order Evolutionary Pathway, the potential was already extremely terrifying. 9th Order Evolutionary Pathway Lin Yuan's thoughts were scattered, so far. There was no possibility of advancing to the ninth rank in any of the martial arts evolution pathways. How many places can I rank on the Chikuan evolutionary ranking now with the martial Dao evolutionary pathway? Lin Yuan continued to watch the updated martial Dao advancement pathways and tapped on the ranking column. Ranked number one on the Kanglin evolution list. Ranked sixth on the Red Kuan evolution ranking. Sixth. Lin Yuan's heart moved slightly. After the last time he perfected the Martial Dao Evolutionary Pathway so that it was no longer limited to the Taiyin Sun, the ranking of the Martial Dao Evolutionary Pathway killed the 12th in the Red Kuan Evolutionary Ranking. Now the uploaded 6th Order Chapter kills it straight into 6th place. One must know that none of the top 10 evolutionary pathways on the Red Kuan Evolutionary list were 7th Order Evolutionary Pathways, and had the hope of advancing to the 8th Order Evolutionary Pathway. And the top 3 evolutionary pathways on the Chikuan Evolutionary list were all 8th Order Evolutionary Pathways. In the hundreds of thousands and millions of years of history of the Chikuan Starfield, a total of three evolutionary great scholars had been born. And these three eighth order evolutionary pathways are from three evolutionary scholars. The number of evolutionary grand scholars was, however, far rarer than the number of eighth order evolvers. After knowing the rankings of the pathways of martial arts advancement, Lin Yuan then scanned the approximate number of current martial Dao evolution pathway evolutionists. First order chapter, 97,323. Second order chapter, 32,600. 3rd Order Chapter, 136. 4th Order Chapter, 0 people. Nice. In more than a year's time. The number of 1st Order Chapter and 2nd Order Chapter Evolvers has grown 2 or 3 times. More than a 100 Evolvers have begun practicing the 3rd Order Chapter. Lin Yuan nodded slightly. In the Middle-Earth Divine World, after hundreds of years of development and with his own personal guidance, there were only so many martial arts practitioners. As for the main world, only a few years had passed before the number of martial Dao evolutionists had reached such a scale. In terms of growth rate, the main world is far ahead of the Middle-Earth world. Lin Yuan was not surprised by this, in terms of external cultivation conditions, it was definitely the main world that was superior to Middle-Earth world. After all, the existence of various high technologies, as well as high-level evolvers and the like, made things like cultivation easy. Also, Lin Yuan's perfection of the Martial Dao Evolutionary Pathway and his ranking of 12 on the Red Kuan Evolutionary Ranking were also a major factor in the skyrocketing number of Martial Dao Evolutionaries. Still too little. Gotta speed things up a bit. Lin Yuan considered for a while and prepared to record a video that would specialize in martial arts cultivation. It was something he'd wanted to do for a long time, but hadn't had much time. The end of this shuttle would be a good time to get into the matter. As the founder of the Martial Dao Evolutionary Pathway, Lin Yuan's understanding of the Martial Dao was definitely the best in the Lord's world, and the recorded cultivation analysis video was no less than enlightening to other Martial Dao evolutionaries. Chikuan's main planet virtual world, Central Square Area. Numerous evolvers converged here, and in the Human League, most evolvers, as well as high ranking citizens were very laid back. The strength of human civilization and its victory in foreign wars benefited all races. 12th on the Red Cohen Evolution Ranking To be ranked 12th with only a 5th order evolutionary pathway, if one were to advance to a 6th order evolutionary pathway, what would happen? Ever since the Martial Dao Evolutionary Pathway had appeared on the Red Cohen Evolutionary Ranking, the topic of conversation in the entire Central Plaza area had basically revolved around the Martial Dao Evolutionary Pathway. No way. Compared to other evolutionary pathways that couldn't move a single point for hundreds of years, the martial evolutionary pathway was so exaggerated that it was hard not to notice. A sixth-order evolutionary pathway? It shouldn't be that easy, right? Even a great scholar of evolution would have to think deeply for some time if he wanted to create the sixth-order chapter of today's martial evolution pathways, right? An evolved person couldn't help but say. Now that the potential of the pathway of martial evolution was too high, the corresponding sixth-order chapter was exceptionally difficult to open up. The higher you go, the harder it is to go further. For evolutionary great scholars, opening up a sixth order chapter of an evolutionary pathway is no mean feat. But that refers to the normal fifth order evolutionary pathway. Is today's martial evolutionary pathway still considered an ordinary fifth order evolutionary pathway? 
Trying to open up the sixth order chapter of the Martial Dao evolutionary pathway without fail was probably much more difficult than opening up the seventh order chapter of any other evolutionary pathway. That's not necessarily true. Another evolved person spoke up. The Martial Dao evolution pathway had soared all the way up the rankings. But he had seen it completely in his eyes. Every time before the rankings of the Martial Way evolution pathways were raised, there were a whole bunch of people there shouting that it was absolutely impossible. But in the end? Still, it's not like these guys are getting slapped in the face hard. So now, many evolved people have learned the hard way not to speak out ahead of time. Save your face. But there's one thing to be said, opening the sixth order chapter isn't an easy task, the martial arts are starting too high right now. A small number of evolvers watched for a while, but they still couldn't help but open their mouths. Just then. The time came in the wee hours of the morning. The rankings of the Chikuan evolution rankings began to update. Only a few moments of blurring the names of a hundred evolutionary pathways. It quickly became clear. Crap. Some evolvers lost control of their emotions. The other evolvers looked up, their expressions complex to the extreme, from shock, to fruity, to disbelief, to how could it be possible. This was because the pathway of martial evolution, which was originally located in the twelfth place, had disappeared. In its place is the original eleventh ranked evolutionary pathway. As for the martial progression pathway, it came to the top ten, sixth to be exact. Killed the top ten? Still sixth? That's too soon. Is it an updated sixth order chapter? Countless evolvers whispered. Most evolvers have experienced several previous leaps in the martial evolution pathway and have become somewhat immune to it in their minds. However, there were still some newly arrived evolvers whose faces were incomparably shocked. This was a top 10 ranking change in the Red Coin Evolution Ranking. I've come to see what qualitative changes are involved in the sixth order chapter uploaded by the great scholar of Yuan. There were evolvers who did not hesitate to purchase the contents of the sixth order chapter of the Martial Dao Evolutionary Pathway. Before Lin Yuan uploaded the sixth order piece, the pricing for this order piece was $5 billion. However, in the eyes of many powerful evolvers, 5 billion was nothing, the potential of the Martial Dao evolution pathway was so great that spending 5 billion to purchase the 6th order chapter was completely worth it. Perhaps through the 6th order piece, a touch of the evolutionary pathway that one cultivated, and thus a further step? This was something that no amount of civilization coins could purchase. The 6th order chapter, in addition to the metamorphosis of life and the substantial enhancement of the fleshly body, Yuanshan soul, it is a deeper exploration of the fleshly body, and is expected to give birth to fleshly aptitude? Flesh body aptitude? My human race, like those foreign races, can also possess this type of talent? I see, the depths of the human bloodline contain a lot of information as well as abilities. These information abilities, which are extremely rare, could never, by definition, be manifested. But the sixth order chapter of the martial way is a special means of expanding the capacity for information deep within the bloodline. It's incredible. I remember several great scholars of evolution who specialized in the study of powers inherited from deep within the human bloodline. At that time, it was concluded that it was possible to stimulate it through bloodline concentration potions, but bloodline concentration potions, which carry a great deal of risk and are of high value, cannot be popularized. But the sixth order of martial arts chapter. The many evolvers were talking. It was obvious that they were very interested in fleshly aptitudes. It was a power that came from deep within the flesh and blood. Everyone's fleshly aptitude is different and has a great deal of randomness. I've decided, I'm going to switch to a martial cultivation system, not for anything else, just for this fleshly body divine ability. A fifth order evolver got up and said seriously. As long as it is less than the sixth order, for a price, you can switch to another evolutionary path. Sure. The cost here is great, perhaps a fourth order, fifth order evolver, amassing hundreds or thousands of years of wealth. However, there are still many evolvers who have decided to switch to the martial evolutionary path. After all, with the potential demonstrated by the current pathway of martial evolution, there would be no mistake in following and joining. Lin Yuan came out of the gate not long ago. After acclimatizing a little, he went to apply for the red spirit liquid, which he used to restore his strength. Although he said that Lin Yuan still had doubts about the seventh rank, it was still possible to recover to the sixth rank limit first and see which fleshly body aptitude was born. 13 Peak Master. The red spirit liquid will be delivered to you in one hour. Good disciple, after four months of seclusion, you should have already stabilized the sixth stage realm, come over now and voice out any questions you had during the cultivation period, the master will still be able to answer one or two of them. Just then, the red Koan star lord sent a message to Lin Yuan. During Lin Yuan's shuttle, he had stayed in the depths of the Thirteen Mountain Peaks Palace and advertised the retreat to the outside world. This matter was not a secret and the Red Koan Star Lord naturally knew about it. Now that Lin Yuan had come out of the gate, and had even chatted with a few senior brothers for a while, the Red Koan Star Lord likewise knew about it. Yes. Lin Yuan immediately responded. To the Red Koan Star Lord, Lin Yuan still had great respect. Not only because of the other party's strength, but also because the Star Lord was really nice to Lin Yuan. Soon. Lin Yuan then arrived at the Crimson Palace where the Red Koan Star Lord was. The Red Koan Star Lord sat high on the main seat, looking at Lin Yuan with a gaze full of praise and kindness. 
As soon as Ling Yuan came to the Red Coin Main Star, he didn't do anything, so he first went into seclusion for a small half year. This kind of enthusiastic cultivation behavior was very much in the eyes of the Red Kuan Star Lord. Teacher. Lin Yuan bowed slightly towards the Red Kuan Star Lord. Get up, get up. The Red Kuan Star Lord said in a hurry. Have you encountered any problems with cultivation? The Red Kuan Star Lord said fervently. Problems in cultivation. Lin Yuan's heart fluttered. He sensed the rules of space and was indeed stuck in some sort of bottleneck. And in this regard, it would be a good idea to ask for advice from the Red Kuan Star Lord. The Red Koan Star Lord's original body was a Star Ocean Swimming Koan. The Star Ocean Swimming Koan, which could devour all things, was the favorite of the space rules in the universe. Every Star Ocean Yokoan was able to reach an extremely high level of understanding of the rules of space, which was their talent. The Red Koan Star Lord must have high attainments in spatial rules. Teacher. I do have a problem with cultivation. Lin Yuan immediately said. Yeah. The apprentice speaks quickly. When the Red Koan Star Lord heard this, his heart was overjoyed instead. Lin Yuan's qualifications were too good, so good that from the time he had worshipped the master until now, the Red Kuan Star Lord had not even properly instructed him once. Now the opportunity has finally come. That's right. Lin Yuan thought for a moment, I have recently been comprehending the 965 models of spatial rules. Lin Yuan raised his right hand, and with a slight movement of his mind, strands of spatial power, like kittens, converged at his fingertips, forming a model pattern. There are Rubik's Cube shapes, two-dimensional space shapes, weird black hole shapes, and infinitely thin paper shapes. Wisps of spatial power continued to intertwine in front of Lin Yuan, and eventually paused when the 876th model was formed. Teacher, the 876th model of spatial rules, I'm still a little confused. Lin Yuan said as he looked towards the Red Kuan Star Lord on the high seat. 965 models of the rules of space? The corner of the Red Kuan Star Lord's mouth twitched slightly. Wasn't this something that Seventh Order Revolvers had begun to comprehend? Lin Yuan had just entered the sixth stage and he had already realized it? And also finished most of the enlightenment, many seventh order revolvers, are far from reaching the level of enlightenment of the first 800 models. The Red Koan Star Lord carefully looked at the space force that was constantly intertwined in front of Lin Yuan, and then looked at Lin Yuan carefully, and then looked at the space force that was constantly intertwined, and then looked at Lin Yuan once again. Good disciple, you're confusing. The Red Koan Star Lord thought for a moment. End of chapter. Chapter 3 sucks, am I going to be surpassed by my apprentice? Requesting subscription. The Red Koan Star Lord swept his gaze over Lin Yuan's hand. A model composed of many spatial forces. The rules of space, vast and endless, had no specific shape, and it was too difficult for ordinary evolvers to perceive space. Space is not like fire, which can radiate scorching heat and be felt, nor is it like earth, which can be touched. So, in the 600,000 years of the Star Ocean calendar, a certain powerful evolver of the Alliance of Human Civilizations who excelled in the spatial path, based on his own understanding, replaced the superficial essence of the spatial rules with 965 models. These 965 models were far from being able to express the true rules of space, but they were able to show the way for other evolvers. It has a similar effect to the formula. Normally speaking, comprehending these 965 spatial models was basically equivalent to an introduction in terms of spatial rules. And to do that, you basically need the seventh order. After all, only a 7th order revolver would be able to begin to sense the rules of space, and even then, to realize the 965 spatial models, one would need to be at least a 7th order marquee or even a king to be able to do so. But Lin Yuan? The Red Koan Star Lord was unable to understand. In his long life, he had seen many demonic freaks, but most of these demonic freaks had powerful bloodlines, or powerful physiques, etc. For someone like Lin Yuan, who had first entered the 6th order in less than half a year, to do something that could only be done by a marquee king of the 7th order was a little too incredible. Can it be that the apprentice's spatial talent is also strong? The Red Koan Star Lord's thoughts diverged. In the last five or six thousand years, the most highly qualified junior in space that the Red Koan Star Lord had seen was the silver-haired woman Yin Ling from the last Seven Star Cave Test. The Red Koan Star Lord also specially granted her the Red Stripe identity and opened the Seven Star Cave Test world. However, Silver Spirit's spatial talent was just like shit compared to Lin Yuan. Teacher? Lin Yuan saw the Red Koan Star Lord staring at the spatial model in front of him and spoke in a low voice. And Master just remembered something else. The Red Koan Star Lord immediately reacted with a serious face. With the strength of the Red Koan Star Lord, the 900 or so models that expounded on the surface of the spatial rules had naturally been realized long ago. However, when the Red Koan Star Lord realized these 900 odd models back then, he was also on the verge of crossing into the seventh stage, and this was still based on the fact that his main body was a Star Sea Yokoan, naturally attuned to the rules of space. If he wasn't sure that Lin Yuan was a human, the Red Koan Star Lord would have felt that the other party was more like a Star Sea Wandering Koan than himself. 876th Space Model. The Red Koan Star Lord similarly raised his hand and manipulated the power of space, forming a model of a strange shape in front of him. The model is not fixed, or changes slowly as space fluctuates. 
876th space model. Lin Yuan immediately looked carefully, and in the cultivation treasury of the Red Kuan lineage, there was a special detailed narration of the 965 spatial models. There are even specialized spatial class evolutions that actively unfold models. Only, space changes and fluctuates every moment, and the previous model of space is not necessarily applicable to the current fluctuation of space. Therefore, the Red Kuan Star Lord's current cohesive space model belonged to the model that best fit today's cosmic space rules, and it naturally inspired Lin Yuan even more. Your perception is unbelievable, viewing the unknown space model and deepening your sense of space rules. Your perception is unbelievable, viewing the unknown space model and deepening your sense of space rules. Your perception is unbelievable, viewing the unknown space model and deepening your sense of space rules. A large amount of spiritual light surged in Lin Yuan's mind, and countless insights about the power of space, accumulated over the previous decades of wandering alone outside the Middle Earth world and watching the void turbulence, exploded out. Buzz. In front of Lin Yuan. Hundreds of space models collapsed in unison. Wisps of spatial power rapidly intertwined and collided. Surprisingly, a new spatial model is formed. This spatial model, which slowly changed with the spatial fluctuations, was surprisingly consistent with the spatial model in front of the Red Kuan Star Lord. So it is. A smile appeared on Lin Yuan's face. This kind of spatial model had been confusing Lin Yuan for almost a month. Now that I have received guidance from the Red Kuan Star Lord, I have finally realized and understood. That's a realization? Above the high seat, the master of Chikuan Star was numb. He just demonstrated it just once and Lin Yuan knew it? The Red Kuan Star Lord was just now ready to open his mouth to explain a few things, such as reminding Lin Yuan of what he should start with to perceive such models. But the result. This is like a teacher who is explaining a topic in class. I have just written out the answers and am ready to go over the process and solution. Yet the students below have learned them all, even by example. Thank you. Sensei. Lin Yuan was in a good mood and immediately thanked him towards the Red Kuan Star Lord. Without the Red Kuan Star Lord, with his heaven-defying enlightenment, Lin Yuan would eventually be able to realize it, but he would definitely waste a lot of time. No harm, no foul. The Red Kuan Star Lord waved his hand. Logically, the thanks of a genius such as Lin Yuan should make him feel accomplished. But the Red Kuan Star Lord was a bit unavailable for some reason. It always felt like something was wrong. Teacher can you demonstrate the hundred spatial models in the back, again? Lin Yuan seemed to remember something and asked with some embarrassment. Demonstrate it together? The Red Cohen Star Lord was silent for a while and couldn't help but ask. 965 spatial models, involving the essence of spatial rules, each of which required an evolved person to expend great cost and effort to realize. Lin Yuan now asked him to demonstrate all the subsequent models in one fell swoop. Equivalent to. An elementary school student told his teacher to take out the middle school curriculum, the high school curriculum, and the college curriculum. No problem. The Red Cohen Star Lord nodded his head. If it was one of his other disciples, the Red Kuan Star Lord would definitely open his mouth to reprimand, with his eyes high and low, and first do the right thing in front of him before saying anything else. It's just Lin Yuan. Thinking of the speed at which Lin Yuan had just realized the spatial model, the Red Kuan Star Lord felt that he should just listen and do as he was told. Buzz. A variety of spatial models continued to coalesce in front of the Red Kuan Star Lord. Lin Yuan carefully observed each spatial model, although he could not comprehend it in a short period of time, with the Red Kuan Star Lord demonstrating it. Lin Yuan's future speed of enlightenment would definitely exceed that of before. Little more than half a day later. Lin Yuan had a satisfied look on his face. The Red Kuan Star Lord, on the other hand, stopped demonstrating spatial modeling with complex thoughts. Many thanks teacher, disciple already has a bottom to the subsequent space model. Lin Yuan thanked him seriously. Aha. Uh -huh. The Red Kuan Star Lord nodded. In fact, he demonstrated the many spatial models all over again without saying a single word for the past little half day. Totally Tolman like Looking at Lin Yuan's harvest-filled expression, the Red Kuan Star Lord had a sense of unreality? Is it that easy to teach disciples? He was already good at teaching disciples, and was clear that wanting to teach a good disciple was a very exhausting task. Teacher, the 7,782 space models in the back. Lin Yuan thought about it and intended to make the most of this opportunity to be instructed. The 965 spatial models that Lin Yuan was currently comprehending were the superficial essential analysis of spatial rules. To realize these 965 spatial models, one can be introduced to the spatial rules. However, after the initiation, there was still a need to comprehend more of the essential rules of space. So after the 965 spatial models, there are 7,782 spatial models. The spatial modeling in the back is difficult for outsiders to instruct, and one needs to rely on oneself to perceive it. The Red Cohen Star Lord's tone was calm, but in his heart, he was extremely helpless. Even he had not fully comprehended the 7,782 spatial models and the Red Kuan Star Lord vaguely had the illusion of being hollowed out by Lin Yuan. And, even if he had comprehended the 7,782 spatial models, he could not demonstrate it. 
When it comes to spatial rules, the surface nature is demonstrable, but the deeper nature of the rules even if they are the same spatial model. Different evolutions unfolded their focus differently after enlightenment. Good. Lin Yuan nodded his head. He was also a bit anxious, the spatial rules, as the main world pillar rules, were vast and endless, the side of the spatial rules that other people perceived was not necessarily adapted to Lin Yuan. If you really want to sense the complete spatial rules, you can take a trip to the alien battlefield. The Red Koan Star Lord spoke. A foreign battlefield? Lin Yuan knew about these types of places, which were places where the human race fought with other groups in the depths of the starry sky. The battlefield of the foreign races, where countless powerhouses fight, and even supreme powerhouses intervene in hand-to-hand -hand combat, where space is unstable, and there are even permanent spatial cracks. The Red Koan Star Lord spoke in an emotional tone. The supreme power? Lin Yuan's expression was grave. In the current cosmic human alliance, there are nine supreme powers, each of which sits atop a tower of evolution that shines through the stars of the ages. Even if you look at the entire universe and stars, the supreme power is the ceiling of battle power, there is no one. Only killings between the most powerful can cause permanent spatial cracks, otherwise with the self-healing ability of the main world's cosmic space, even the largest spatial cracks can be slowly healed. In the more than two million years of the star ocean calendar. The main reason why human civilization expanded rapidly and beat those alien races to death was because the number of supreme beings held the advantage. As strong as the peak war machine clan, the bugs, with only six supreme powerhouses, had the upper hand in the middle and lower battlefields. But in the midst of a supreme warrior encounter, the insect race was at a bit of a disadvantage. The universe we live in is spatially stable and the rule fluctuations are introverted, thus making it difficult to sense the rules of space. But in the alien battlefield, space is not so stable, especially those permanent spatial cracks that have been torn open, where infinite spatial power pervades, which is no less beneficial to sensing spatial rules. The Red Koan Star Lord said. The alien battlefield came to be a meat grinder for countless ethnic groups in the universe, where there were many crises, but there were also many opportunities. Easier to feel the rules of space is only one aspect. There are others. For example, certain legacies, many treasures. Many strong foreigners fought and died together, their treasures were scattered in hidden locations, and their corpses were hidden underground. The corpses of strong foreigners also had great value. Also, the permanent spatial rifts of the alien battlefield sometimes welcome out-of-bounds visitors. If you can seize the opportunity, you can also gain a lot of benefits. However, disciple, if you want to travel to the battlefield of the foreign races, you must not go there in your true body, and just cultivate a bilocation to go there. The Red Koan Star Lord commanded. For a genius like Lin Yuan to travel to the battlefield of the foreign races in his real body was tantamount to an orgy for those foreign races. If Lin Yuan were to hide within the human frontier, hiding in the Red Koan main star. If the foreign races wanted to assassinate Lin Yuan, they would need to pay a huge price and Lin Yuan would be resurrected afterwards. But in the alien battlefield? As long as the information that Lin Yuan had appeared at the Fei battlefield got out, believe it or not, there would be a bunch of 7th and 8th rank Fei powerhouses squatting there. Anyway, on the battlefield, there was no price to pay for killing Lin Yuan, and it didn't matter even if he was resurrected later. I know. Lin Yuan nodded his head. He even used the gate of 10,000 realms to shuttle to other worlds through such a secure method as consciousness descent. Not to mention traveling to the crisis-ridden alien battlefield. There are more than a dozen split arts in the treasury, disciple you just watch and choose one when the time comes. You are now at the sixth rank and can withstand the cost of soul cutting when you split. The Red Koan Star Lord said. In the main world, the price paid to cultivate a bilocation was much lower than in the immortal Tao world. But even so, it was necessary to cut out some of the soul power and inject it into the bilocation. Without a soul, there would be no difference between a doppelganger and a puppet. Just cutting part of the soul below the sixth stage of evolution simply could not be done, and even if it could be done, it would lead to a great loss of origin and potential. My martial arts Jinjutsu, the Yin God and the Yang God. Lin Yuan subconsciously compared his Yin God, Yang God, to the main world's traditional splitting technique. Finally found. Martial Jinjutsu is supposed to be superior to most diversionary techniques. At least it's not necessary for Lin Yuan to take the initiative to cut his soul, the Yin God Yang God and Lin Yuan's own body, shared a consciousness, a trinity. It is said that in the depths of the stars, certain rare and special beings are born with the gift of bilocation comma. And most of these bilocation methods of the human civilization are borrowed from those gifted bilocations. Lin Yuan thought secretly. Those bilocation talents, on the contrary, were similar to his martial Dao Jinjutsu, without the need to cut his soul and share his consciousness. Next. The Red Kuan Star Lord admonished Lin Yuan a few more times. It probably meant that even if he refined a doppelganger and traveled to the battlefield of the foreign races, it would be best not to expose his identity. Not to mention don't try to kill those foreigners, there was no need for that, and in case the bilocation was planted on the battlefield, it would have an impact on Lin Yuan's main body as well. The Crimson Palace. The Red Kuan Star Lord watched Lin Yuan leave. This disciple of mind's comprehension on the rules of space, other than the boss, no one else should be able to match it. The Red Koan Star Lord thought silently in his heart. 
Comprehending more than 800 spatial models, only his eldest disciple could barely press ahead, as for his second and third disciples, they were at most equal or even weaker. The fourth disciple and fifth disciple in the back and so on, not to mention, were not even seventh rank. The Gift The Red Koan Star Lord sighed. In Lin Yuan, the Red Koan Star Lord surprisingly realized that he seemed to be old and unable to keep up with the times. In such a short period of time, Lin Yuan had grown from the fourth rank, the weakest one within the thirteen peak masters, to now, second only to the great peak master. The Red Koan Star Lord could foresee that with Lin Yuan's current speed of cultivation and perception, it would only be a matter of time before he surpassed the Great Peak Master. Queer. The Red Koan Star Lord's heart suddenly tightened. Crap, he wasn't going to be surpassed by his own disciple too, was he? End of chapter. Chapter 4, The Second Flesh Body Avatar, Request for Subscription. I should be overthinking this. Even if my good disciple's spatial rules are initiated, stepping into the seventh rank is easy. But breaking from the seventh rank into the eighth is not that easy. The Red Koan Star Lord consoled himself. Thinking about his countless chances, but also seized a star CU Koan pup, crossing into the Eighth Order is also incomparably difficult. Even if Lin Yuan's qualifications were better than his first time, but when faced with the bottleneck of the Eighth Rank, he couldn't just cross over, could he? Hey! Sometimes the disciple is too demonic, and it's not much fun to be a master. The Red Koan Star Lord sighed. Inside the Thirteen Peaks Palace. The Red Spirit Liquid has arrived. Lin Yuan looked at a small kettle in front of him. The small kettle was a spatial storage treasure, it looked only palm-sized, but in reality, the red spirit liquid loaded inside was the weight of a small pool. Begin. Lin Yuan pulled out the stopper of the small kettle. The seventh order chapter of the Martial Dao progression pathway was certainly undecided, but the sixth order chapter had already been finalized. With the red spirit liquid in the kettle, Lin Yuan was able to walk to the sixth order limit in a short period of time. I also wonder, which fleshly aptitude will be born this time? A look of anticipation spread across Lin Yuan's face. In the immortal Tao world, the fleshly aptitude of the physical cultivation lineage depended on the strange power contained deep within one's own bloodline. Lin Yuan's creation of the sixth order chapter of the pathway of martial Tao advancement was a reference to the lineage of physical cultivation. Especially in the area of physical body excavation. So, the sixth order chapter of the martial Tao was also theoretically capable of giving birth to fleshly aptitudes. Lin Yuan retracing his steps through the sixth steps would cause the fleshly aptitude that was eventually born to be different because of the differences in his fleshly body. Ku, of a dove. Lin Yuan picked up the small kettle and swallowed as much of the red spirit liquid as he could into his mouth. When the spiritual liquid entered his throat, it turned into pure energy and began to contain it along between Lin Yuan's limbs and bones. A few days later, Lin Yuan snapped his eyes open. Sixth Order Extreme Lin Yuan didn't dare to continue his breakthrough. Now, as long as he was willing, he would be able to quickly cross over to the seventh rank. However, that kind of seventh stage, Lin Yuan was not too satisfied with it, and it did not match well with the five major stages in front of the Martial Dao Progression Pathway. The seventh stage chapter of the Martial Dao Progression Pathway should have enough sense of spatial rules, at least spatial rules for initiation. Lin Yuan thought secretly. As the more he comprehended the spatial rules, the deeper Lin Yuan's sense of this aspect became. The essence of the Wudao Progression Pathway is to use the way of Taiji as the core to contain all paths, and then to imperialize all paths. The Tao that one understands and senses, accommodates it, and turns to perfect the way of Taiji, and from there, one can then use the way of Taiji to control the 10,000 ways. Lin Yuan felt that nowadays, the seventh stage chapter of the Martial Dao Progression Pathway, the most perfect pathway for himself was to incorporate the rules of space. Sure. This was only for Lin Yuan himself. For other evolutions, there is no need to have to incorporate the rules of space. Other rules are fine. Depending on which aspect one is good at, the introduction to spatial rules is extremely difficult, and only seventh order evolvers are sure of it. But the bar is much lower when it comes to getting started with other rules. For example, in the Seven Star Cave test world, that red stripe tester, Brute Force, was an introduction to the rule of force. With a body of the fourth rank, the introduction of the rule of force was indeed a genius, but it also meant that the matter could be done. Other martial Dao evolutionists could expect to cross over to the seventh order simply by initiating some sort of rule that suited them at the extreme end of the sixth order. The fleshly body aptitude is being nurtured. Lin Yuan carefully felt the changes in his body. Because it was detected that deep within the bloodline, a strange power was awakening and condensing. This was very similar to when in the immortal Tao world, when the fleshly body divine ability was first born. Should be another day or two. Lin Yuan speculated in his mind. The birth of a fleshly aptitude was not an instantaneous matter, but required time would be nurtured. According to the current rate of conception, Lin Yuan felt that in a day or two, the flesh body avatar would probably have been conceived. Eh? Fang Qin came to see me? Lin Yuan scanned the visit records and found that Fang Chang wanted to see him. Virtual worlds. Personal space. Lin Yuan and Fang Qing sat looking at each other. There is no need to be formal, just do the same as before. Lin Yuan could see that Fang Qing was a little nervous and said casually. 
He and Fang Qing had a good friendship. From the beginning of the Seven Star Cave Test, Fang Qing had helped him and provided relevant information. Facing the suppression of the Black Prison Chelsea in the back, Lin Yuan was accused by tens of billions of citizens of the Kanglin planet in a thousand ways. It was also Fang Qing who stepped in and went out of his way to send a large number of favors to re-establish trade relations for Pale Blue Star. Although it is said, the Black Hell Chelsea was only able to do those in the first place, and the public opinion of the outside world didn't affect Lin Yuan at all. But Fang Qing did want to help him. Big brother Lin, it's easy for you to say, like before. Fang Qing let out a slight sigh of relief and squeezed out a smile, brother Lin, your current status is that of the peak master of the Red Coin lineage. Although Fang Qing said this, the heart hanging in the air was sort of put down. At this moment, he was incomparably glad that he had fully helped Lin Yuan through his difficulties. Otherwise, with Lin Yuan's current status, he was afraid that he wouldn't even be able to meet him. As far as Fang Cheng knew, Lin Yuan had basically not seen any outsiders after arriving at the Red Coin Main Star. How have you been? Lin Yuan asked casually. Not bad. Fang Cheng said in a low voice, many people know about my relationship with Big Brother Lin and want-